If you were to do Kumahimo with it, I'd say that's a Brucey special right there coming round your Bruce obviously loved this when he was taking the video of it. You could tell. What about the bubble technique? You've seen you've seen the bubble techniques going wild at the moment. Now have I not got a bubble technique? Please tell me I have. So all we do is talk about the bubble technique. It's not even in front of me. I apologize. But the bubble technique. Yes, that's a perfect idea of using these. It's just a it's just a great stash builder. If you're not a if you're not a seed beader, but you'd like to have a go, but you're not really sure, get these deals because you're not breaking the bank by getting them, are you? Genuine quartz, super sparkly, and this is one for your stacker bracelets. Stack them up, put them on your anklet. ZHX C sixty eight is your item code. Are you ready? Three pound thirty three a strand. That maths I can do, can't I? I can do that. 9.99 divided by three. It's the only, I've just got to ease into the maths, haven't I? 9.99, loads of you there. Hello, hello to every single one of you. I hope you're doing well today. You've got nine carrots um, on each. Is it nine carrots on each strand? I'm going to presume it is. Um, can she do nine times three though? 27 carats, two millimeters, and they are all long strands. They're all 38 centimeter strands. Um, now, don't forget, text us in. Have you? Are you loving the deals today? Is there a gemstone you can't wait to see? Uh, are, are you waiting for something in particular? Are you excited to get yourself for under two pounds some genuine amethyst today? Are you buying from us as a business? Do you sell on? We want to hear from you. If we know what you buy from us for, we can give you more of those deals in the future. Less than 20 left. And of course, these are all genuine gemstones, untreated, utterly gorgeous, 17 available. Uh, and Betty, you're in a basket. Sharon's got two in a basket. Corolla, Patricia, uh, you're all there. Please make sure you are checking out. I don't want anybody going home empty-handed today. 0800 644 It is a free phone number. Now, we're going to give you... Isn't this good? I tell you something, I'm going to give you uh, the mini faceted rounds now, but I'm going to give you three different sizes. So if you're a bit, if you got that deal and you thought, right, yes, because I use that gemstone all the time, or if you're thinking, Jenny, I need lots of different ones, I want to do lots of different colours, ideal, I've got it for you too. So you get three strands, the same size, but utterly different. Now these will all mix on their own. You've got blue agate at the top. You've then got blue rutile quartz, black rutile quartz, blue, and uh, then you've got blue agate, so dyed blue agate. I think these are just beautiful. And you know that dyed blue, you, yeah, the blue laces at the top, that's the really, really lovely sort of sky blue. But don't you just love the fact that this, you're getting the look of a neon appetite, but you're sure not getting the price. Well, if you had the bead loom, see, Ben's like, I love how you've stacked them up. If you had the bead loom, Ben, you could easily do that, you know. Easy piece of lemon squeezy. Nine pounds and 99 pence, POXC 49, uh, faceted rounds that are two millimeters. If you love your two mil rounds, remember, you can surround your cabochons with them. You can use them as spacer beads. You can use them as beady beads, but they're great for the bubble technique that is all over Insta right now. Can we have a look at a picture of the bubble technique if we've got time? Uh, nine, nine, you need them for that, you see. I know on Caro's, in, Caro's Instagram has, is literally swarming in them. If that helps you, uh, shout it's Caro underscore English, I think underscore jewellery or something. Um, Sharon in Lanarkshire, you've got yours. Roseanne, April in Berkshire, June in Hertfordshire, Hazel uh, and L Lorena, you've got yours. I've got Marie, £9.99, pence. your code is at the top of your screen. I'm sorry about the, the cues that we've got on the phones at the moment. I've got, I'm going to keep going, I'm going to keep giving you deals. We've got more. Yeah, let's have a look. Do you want me to have a look for you? I Because I've got it on Instagram. Let me just show you. I'm going to show you. Uh, have we got this on a picture to go roundy, roundy while I find it? Roundy, roundy. Roundy, roundy on the picture. Um, and I'm going to find you the... Um, I'm going to find you Caro's designs because I think she really... Oh, isn't that gorgeous? She really uses these well when, when we're talking about... Um, Oh, well, now she's got a lot, actually, just like... Let's look, let's look at these ones in particular. I'm sure she did a video as well. Let's, let's get them a video. So this is the bubble technique. Are you grand with that? 
There's the bubble technique. You see how she's used the little rounds and she's used them on top of a drop. Now that would be really nice with the lemon quartz hearts we gave you. And then you could perhaps use these colors. But this is why having, this is why having, oh, and you know something? I just, I just sort of did a double take. These are, these are smooth rounds, which I mean, I don't know why we call them plain. We mean smooth. Now that actually, that, that counts for a lot because most of our little two millimeter rounds are faceted. So if you're not looking for facets today, if you're just like, I don't want the facet to take away from the gemstone, I just want to give color and I want to give texture, then this is what you want. You need it. 9.99 for the two strands. But we're not staying there, so be very, very quick. You, we've got 100 of these. We want all 100 to sell out today. So remember that Remember that little video I just showed you of Caro's. Remember that bubble technique. See how they... Let me have another look and see what else she does with seed beads because, look, honestly, the woman loves a genuine gemstone seed bead. What can I tell you? What can I tell you? So here's the bubble technique as well. So this is just using two mil rounds. That's just using two mil rounds. Don't they look cute? Aren't they gorgeous? And you can imagine those in your ears when you're going out dancing, can't you? Uh, now I'm just gonna whip that away. Honestly, her designs are just full of two mil rounds. They're full to bursting. So, ooh, I've got too much choice almost. So this is a brand new bundle. It's going under five pounds today. More of a bold color for you here. And you can absolutely do these with either of these strands. That's just with little head pins. Are you ready? £2.50 a strand. They're genuine gems. So it's red agates and your green agate. They're both dyed. Both dyed. Agate does take to a dye very, very well. I'm not sure if the red's, is the red dyed? Well, it, I think it looks like onyx. I think it looks like green onyx, I do. Sharon, you've got yours, Roseanne. Uh, Debbie, you've got yours, Florence in Derry. I have got April with two. I've got Sharon in Lanarkshire. I've got Debbie in Hampshire. And you've got yours in the West Midlands. Loads of you shopping. Hello to each and every one of you. Utilize that one PMP. Fill those baskets up. These are insane deals. I'm going to give you an even crazier deal in the next hour. You are going to get is it two o'clock hour or three o'clock the amethyst three o'clock wayne's coming back two o'clock we got the satellites oh you know me uh, everything under 10 goodie box coming up for you in the four o'clock hour we got, we're kicking it off we're kicking it off today oh qxc 30 four pounds and 99 pence so let's see what else we can inspire you with let's try and find some let's get some more inspiration for you so surrounding a cabochon would be great using this for soutache uh, to, what about beaded embroidery let's have a look at beaded embroidery uh, online can we can we see some beaded embroidery uh let's let me i can try and find some if not because i think beaded embroidery would be brilliant Breed embroidery. I'll find some, don't you worry now. Images, let's have a little image vu. Images, images, images. So here I've got a great, I've got a, right, so bead embroidery looks like this. If you go to the big one on the, can you see? And you can do things like that. How cool is that? It's so cute, isn't it? Like, I'm, I'd love to do, and how, I love doing embroidery. It's really relaxing. When I'm doing basic embroidery, that it's not, it's not relaxing if you can't do, if, it, if, if you have to go beyond that. Gosh, if you Google bead embroidery, some crazy amazing stuff comes up. Whew. Now, satellite beads are coming up in about 10 minutes time. Let me give you another rendezvous. 10 minutes to go. Both strands. I'll tell you what, I love number 26. Can we do that? I love them. Mm. Can we do them? Because I reckon everyone would love these as much. I, these, these look like a patchwork quilt of colour, but I've never seen it mystic coated before. I love it. Definitely chakra bracelets. I love that strand. I've never seen anything like this. If you love it, you better shop smart and quick. We've got less than 10 of these, so they'll sell out fast. This is the first time you've seen it outside of a kit. $6.99, go, go, go. If you love it, you've got to secure this really quickly because these are gonna sell out. We own, we've got, I think we had nine of them, so there's not enough to go around, but that doesn't, they've sold out. 
let's go to yes this is do, do you know to get this uh, quartz crackled you have to heat it up so it can't stand anymore and then you plunge it in cold water and it finally cracks and i always think it's like parenthood now <laughs> wind us up till we can't take them more then you finally crack have a look you've got the most amazing so that's how it how it shatters from the inside yes it's called quenching ben it's called quenching yeah isn't it amazing how, you, again, remember about what I was telling you earlier about refraction, the play of light within the gemstone, just bouncing around. And the thing is, because you've got all of these cracks, you've got these little little inclusions. And what happens is the light can really play around with those. It gets bounced around. So you're getting a, a myriad of light coming from this gemstone when you move it. Now, do you remember Shambhala style bracelets? $7.99. And there's been a, I think this would be great for something like a Shambhala style bracelet, you know, because the Shambhala bracelets were a little bit spiky, a little bit uh, blingy, weren't they? And this is a way of introducing a genuine gemstone to a Shambhala style bracelet. I think these are really cute if you wanted to put them in little christening bracelets. I think they would be, I think they would be great for little girls. I think they're great for christening gifts, but I also think that they're really great for Christmas pieces. I, if you think of that sort of snowflake look and the snowy look of Christmas, I think these would be really good for hand, uh, wine glass charms, handbag charms, things like that. £7.99 pence KMP 081 is your item code 265 carats of crackle quartz these rounds are 10 millimeters and they're on 16 inch strand uh, I know these are I know these as fire and ice quartz exactly yes but that's true isn't it from Jax thanks Jax uh, because you heat it heat it heat it plunge it in cold water do you remember like I remember it, when I was younger if I ever went I, we used to have spa days me and my friend when we were younger like so we thought we were bougie and we would go to the local swimming pool and go in their little spa because they used to have kit that like days where under 16s were allowed and they had a plunge pool and it was freezing so we'd go in the we'd heat ourselves up in the sauna probably for about a minute because we were young we couldn't take any more and then you'd get in there and you'd be like oh so that's kind of what happens to this. Now, can we do, can we do, can we do? Oh, four. Because these are absolutely ideal, ideal for uh, stretchy bracelets. I love these for stretchies. Aren't these a beautiful color as well? So this is rose quartz and they're in pips, but the, the larger of the two sizes in the pips. So I think a little bit more substantial if you want to see your piece. But also I think this is gonna mix really nicely with the Laramar that's coming up later. So you might wanna use that as a real sort of consistency to your, uh, sort of to break the consistency of the nuggets. Now, I think this is such a soft, beautiful color. If, you, if you're looking to create bridesmaids jewelry, if you're looking to create jewelry for little girls, little princesses, if you're looking to create wish bracelets for love, this is the gemstone of love. So it's a great one for that. Wear some rose quartz on your uh, non-dominant hand to receive love and the opposite to give it out. VOK Y65. Let's have a look at the sort of prices you can expect to see rose quartz in. So it's set into silver and it's 260 pounds. Small rose quartz. But, but this is just to show you, you know, rose quartz is a serious gemstone in the gemstone world. This is such a beautiful color, this is. Such a beautiful color, wouldn't you agree? I think it would look, go lovely with aquamarine. Have a look, I've got, I think this, I'm pretty sure this is aquamarine next to me, the frosted rounds, isn't it? Let's have a look at those two together. I love those colors together. They're just breezy, aren't they? Breezy and beautiful. What about with Labradorite, with the greys? Gorgeous. V-O-K, Y-65. The fasted coins, they're perfect for stretchies. They're six pounds and 95 pounds. I would use these in long earrings, maybe rosary linking them too. I just think there's ever such a long way that you can take these gemstones. And I think if you're selling these as, as wish bracelets, let me see how many wish bracelets you can make, because you only need one for a wish bracelet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, 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 no,
31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 50. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 60. 1, 2, 3, 4, 64 gemstones on that strand. 64, that's 10 pence each. If you put them through cord, you can sell those for between eight and 12 pounds. Let's say you're selling them just for eight pounds a bracelet. What's that back? That's 512 pounds minus 6.99. And then minus two pounds for the cord, please. Oh, I feel like consonant, please, vowel. 503 pounds, clean profit. You'll have to pay yourself for your time out of that as well, though, but it's a nice, tidy profit, isn't it? And it's something that's only cost you six pounds and 99 pence. How many things can you buy that could potentially make you that kind of money back? It's such a super, such a super investment if you're, if, if this is a business and you're going to do that, it would be, a, it would be super, wouldn't it? Karen, Anne, Maker and Antrim with tree. Betty, Rosie, you've got yours. Helen, Donna, Jane's got four. Uh, Hampshire, Debbie, Roseanne, two. Carol, you've got yours. Amanda, Justine, Maker in Buckinghamshire, Emma and Joy, Tina in Staffordshire. Mary and Jerry, Karen in Cornwall, Marion in Norfolk. Hi, Marion. Uh, I've got Anne in West Midlands. I've got Anita, Ludmila, Marion in Norfolk. Oh, I've already said you, Marion. You deserve two, you deserve two, two mentionings. Uh, Yvonne with two. Jane, you've got yours. North Yorkshire. Emma in Herefordshire. Uh, I've got loads of you. But the satellite beads are upon us. They're coming up in three minutes' time. So I'm next going to give you some more rose quartz. These will go really nicely together, won't they? Maybe you're going to have the pips that I just gave you and then a drop underneath. I think that would look so, so lovely. We're gonna match the price of the coin, so please be quick. I actually think you can make rose quartz look quite modern by putting it with something like that. What do you reckon, jewelry makers? I definitely think it's great with Labradorite. Love that combination. IVP 059 is your ISIM code. Look at these cotton candy pinks. These are $6.99. And the great thing about a drop is you can have it either way. It doesn't matter whether it's up or it's down, or you can have them pointing towards each other. You can use them in a chain. You can use these. So remember I was just showing you Caro's designs. Imagine a drop and then having loads of the seed beads over the top because we saw how that looked great, didn't we? Well, it only takes one of these to complete the look. 38 centimeters, 100 carats, $6.99. Rose quartz of gemstone there. Pretty much everyone knows and recognises. I think we can sort of under, we can all agree with that, can, can't we? Karen, you've got yours. Justine in Bedfordshire. Donna in Carmarthenshire. Wendy in Kent, two for you. Carol in Berkshire. Anne, Jane, April in Berkshire. Loads of you there. Six nights down. Straight after the break, the satellite, satellite beads will be yours. You join us here as part of our under £10 day. Please get yourself on the website to have a look at all the deals that you might have missed out on. Maybe you just come in the door and you missed out on all the wonderful things that Al gave you this morning head to www.jurymaker.com to have a look. You can still continue to shop for anything that we've still got stock of. It will tell you if we've sold out of something. Utilize that one PMP by ticking the box at the end of your order. It says combine orders. And that means that we will take all of your orders in one day, combine them all, and it will cost you just three pounds and 95 pence. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you after this. exciting because guess what it's Thursday which means we've got the fantastic Jake Thompson uh, joining us I couldn't say that sentence then the fantastic Jake Thompson joining us from nine o'clock this morning for some beautiful beautiful opportunities um I'm casting my mind back gosh it must be and Jake will probably tell you this about 
five, six years ago when we actually launched uh, Serenite to the world. Beautiful Serenite, which is totally and utterly natural. Um, and I had the privilege and pleasure of launching that on our USA channel. And uh, it, it's known as Plush Diamonds as well. Tiffany's and Co. actually uh, branded it. That's their name. Anyway, but there are sort of different colors that you can get with your Serenite. And that is what... Jake is going to be bringing to air for the first time, to my knowledge anyway, um, in JM history. And I know, oh, they are utterly sensational. I mean, if you want, we should be driven by beauty with all gemstones, the history, uh, the rarity, all of those, are met, the value uh, uh, as well. Um, all of those are an additional bonus, I suppose. If you are driven solely by beauty of a genuine gemstone, a natural genuine gemstone at that, then this Thursday morning is going to be a treat for you. But before that, jewelry makers, we have got your amazing viewer's choice hour where we get very, very interactive. Um, so if there is anything that you want me to bring to air, you can message us. It's all locked and loaded, uh, locked and loaded on the website. Um, some items will be going lower, but if you can make your confirmations ahead of that, amazing, it's guarantee yourself success. Everybody will pay that final low price tag. We also have coming up, in fact, I'm gonna show you the star buys that are included in this morning show. Um, now, da -da. we haven't got all of them, uh, all of them here as of yet. Um, now, we have, we've got Green Aventry and Tiger's Eye also included in this hour. We've got some really beautiful, vibrant, tropical blue, banded agate. That's our early bird. That's what's starting the show. Then look at that luster. Oh, thank you, Lucy. Look at that luster of beautiful monochrome um, agate. That's coming your way as well. Lucy's just passing me the additional star buys. We've got some amazing, a really long strand um, of your Tiger's Eye coming up in this hour as well. We have some absolutely stunning... Lapis, lapis lazuli, and also we have this beautiful strand of green adventure. And these are all coming up this hour at epic, epic savings. And guess what Liam says? Because yesterday was super, 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 super duper busy, this hour is also... Oh, we'll try that again. Ready? Bippity boppity boo. <laughs> Under ten pounds because we had a massive day yesterday. Um, so, so I just kind of, yeah, Adam, you have to be a bit of a mind reader when you're with me, don't you? Sorry about that. Um, okay, so under £10 hour, everything guaranteed under £10 in this hour. So that's including the green adventuring, including the tiger's eye. In fact, they're already under £10, um, but they may well be going lower, jewellery makers. So absolutely incredible. In fact, they are, Liam says, for sure, definitely, Al. Um, so this is the website. It's all locked and loaded, all of your amazing items, jewellery makers. Um, everything guaranteed under £10 and maybe even more than that. Um, but I do love an interactive viewer's choice hour, so come and say hello to us this Thursday morning. Are you excited about your wonderful Serenite? Um, text us live 78070. Make sure you start your text with JM Studios. I'll put my teeth in in a minute. Um, so the message does come direct to us here at the studios. Um, okay, it's going to be amazing. Also, also, just before I move on, sorry about that, I want to show you as well one of the big star buys in the 12 o'clock hour because this is one of those beautiful combination strands um, that we have commissioned for you jewelry makers it's a combination of yeah you guessed it kunzite and also blue lace agate that's already knotted for you um, but you can of course separate that if you wish that's coming up as a big star buy in uh the 12 o'clock hour so it's going to be amazing okay should we get this show underway shall we are you ready on your marks get set go it's your early bird When you think about gemstones and beauty, blue we know is the most popular color of all your colored gemstones still to this day. And most of us immediately think of like your tanzanites, your sapphires, your kyanites, your turquoise, your larimar maybe. Let's not forget 
um, our faithful agate because this is a gemstone which has fantastic durability and if you think about malachite and I know that's not blue but it's got these wonderful patterns and these beautiful concentric lines orbs sometimes which form within the gemstone itself that's why we celebrate your malachite that beautiful beautiful patterning you get very very similar with your agate it is a beautiful gemstone that has fantastic uses in jewelry making um, we've been talking a lot about marla necklaces haven't we recently these are amazing in marla necklaces because they have the ability to show those concentric patterns whilst also holding some of the most sensational colors um, so i found it amazing that you know a gemstone can actually hold color in certain areas and not in others so you just see these lovely uh, sort of white circulations that form sometimes bands that form within your agate um, really adds interest to the beauty of the genuine gemstone and it is a genuine gemstone the likes of Lola Rose so fantastic designer um, actually uh, sells very successfully on different platforms um, it's also on another shopping channel not our sister channel I'm actually talking about other ones um, which which broadcast globally around the world I actually have a piece of her jewelry that I bought some decades decades one decades ago um, and I'll, I don't mind telling you even then it was a triple figure price tag and it's super super simple she favors agates because of this reason I mean look at how beautiful look at how vibrant those wonderful colors are and the natural patterns that you actually acquire within the gemstone um, it's taken on that beautiful vibrant blue um, through the treatment process we're at 7.99 for your 10 millimeter rounds so if you are inspired by the likes of Lola Rose uh, some of her designs with our gates are literally knotted they're maybe with a magnetic or a bolt ring clasp of choice and again you'll see them for 70 80 90 pounds upwards in many cases 7.99 you know you're already getting that incredible incredible saving if you want to multiply you absolutely can because guess what jewelry makers I have quantity but it's not going to be enough especially when we bring you the early bird deal jewelry makers it's the most popular color of all your gemstones be it you know colored gemstones as, as a whole blue is the most desired and most frequently purchased how can I miss out the likes of topaz yeah um, it has actually got quite Swiss blue-esque shades within this as well at £3.99 it's an absolute giveaway deal don't you think an absolute giveaway in that beautiful matte velvet texture something that we have um, been well launched with you um, quite recently I think it is to the jewelry maker portfolio it gives a nice sort of uh, vari variation I suppose of maybe agates that you might already have within your stash um, loads of multi buyers there good morning to you all do text in and say hi hi Maureen hello to you Maeve hello to you Susan hello to you Perth and Kinross hello to you Karen hello to you D uh, County Durham's just bought four well done to you Kate hello to you Jacqueline new customer on the phone lines hello to you, Christina Stafford is there in London congratulations simple designs I mean we were talking about this only well yesterday but also I think during um, our sh amazing show with Susie we were talking about how uh, uh, very desirable commercial jewelry tends to be quite simple techniques um, whether it be restranding or knotting super duper wearable 3 99 only a lot of you there we had by the way, um, we had a hundred big quantity of these have been snapped up already and they work with everything don't they I, I mean if you are uh, fairly new to the jewelry making um, uh, sort of hobby or craft or industry then you've got nice generous drill holes agate is a durable gemstone it's absolutely beautiful you've also got the most commercially sought after color of your gemstones um, so what's not to love about that especially at 399 okay I'm gonna leave that with you because I now want to stick with the agates and bring you, um, yeah, your faceted rounds. Now, I'm just recording. Of all your black gemstones, which we know there's black diamonds, spinel, tourmaline, onyx, agates. I'm sure there's more that I can't think of at the top of my head. This is one of the most right, light reflective. That's I'm referring to the exterior luster. Plus... You've already got your monochrome within the actual gems. I mean, look at that. Again, let's, let's not think about sort of uh, um, the price per carat certain gemstones can and do fetch. Let's not think about 
maybe, I mean, this is rare. Let's not forget, any gemstone is rare. But let's not say, okay, which is the rarest of the black gemstones. Let's be driven by the beauty of the black gemstone. And agate absolutely holds its own, don't you think? Look at that light performance. Look at that amazing luster as each and every single one of those facets gives you mirror-like reflection. Um, and then you have the added bonus of that wonderful deep uh, midnight black and those patterns that form within your banded, uh, your striped agate. Right, let's bring it to you at an absolutely unbeatable deal. It's under 10 pounds um, in your viewer's choice this hour. So if there's anything that you want to pre-order, you know that it is always going to be a single figure price tag. Multi-buyers getting involved, I don't blame you at all. You know it is complimentary of all your precious uh, precious metals and of course other gemstones. $2.99 for a genuine gemstone. You need to check out because there are there were less than 100 of this one and monochrome is always very, very, very popular. Like I said, just imagine with uh, um, some of your, I don't know, red, maybe a red cord going through the center or if you're not, uh, if you're not um, into your gemstone knotting, you're going to literally be fed onto all of your elastics. It could be fed onto your beading threads um, and certainly a memory wire. Just super, super versatile and absolutely beautiful. Hello to you, Jen. Uh, number two, um, go, go, go. <laughs> Hello, uh, Kirsty. Morning, Al. Please go see number two. On it, on it, on it. No problem. I'll do that right this second. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ooh, yes. Bridge beads. Oh, they're pretty, aren't they? So you're getting two packs, um, and they shouldn't be $9.99. I think you know that. I think that's why you've already asked for them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, two packs. As you can see, this beautiful blue luster of your bridge beads. Let me just look at those. You've actually got a three drill hole positioning, um, so through the arch of the bridge and then at either side. In that really beautiful, look at that lovely pearlescence that you get across the surface of, um, of your beads. Um, I have a limited quantity of these as well. There's only 30 of them. I mean, at 9.99 each, in each pack you're actually getting 20 grams. That's 40 grams in total. But no, no, no. It's 9.99 for the both of uh, for the both of these opportunities um, with this uh, with this viewers' choice hour. Well done to those of you who are checking out. Jen's got hers. Well done to you. Hello to you, Kirsty, Maeve, Brenda, Manny, and Cornwall. Um, West Midlands. Congratulations to you, Dorset. Hello to you, Newcastle. Hello to you, new customers. Keep on dialing through. There's lots of you there. Um, up bright and early, ready and raring for this morning show it's going to be absolutely mega absolutely mega hello to you maureen morning all number six please out no problem my darling Mwah. 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 um liam's just said number six is a bit rebellious oh six o's liam where have you found these he says he's being rebellious do it do it six o's are like gold dust they are like gold dust especially in the galvanized gold yeah absolutely because this uh, you don't have to be a seed beater i believe to actually want your six o's because they are kind of i don't want to say um a six o would be let me see if i can figure out the measurements of this what would it be like a four mil but obviously they're narrower than a four mil round um yeah but great in between so your agates that you just had so imagine your black agate that you had a few moments ago in a star by and then literally your pop of gold in between I mean, black and gold, talk about sumptuous, beautiful designs. Um, also, I'm thinking, alongside your beautiful green adventuring graduated necklace, that, uh, sorry, strand that we've got coming your way, that would be amazing. They should be £8.99 each, not £8.99 for the two. Um, that's why they're all getting checked out. Yeah, they are like gold. Six, six O's are so popular, and I think it's because it just it branches out of your um, out of your seed beading. There's only 20 of them left, though. By the way, jewelry makers. Um, so I'll leave those final few. Congratulations. Let's move on for, and stay with you. Stick with your seed beads. To number. Oh, these are a lovely colour. Oh, I like this colour. What's it called? Topaz gold lustre. <gasps> Oh, that's beautiful. It's got a little bit of presence of green. These are your 11 O's. Oh, look at this colour. I don't think I've seen this colour before. Correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't it beautiful? It's gold. It's obviously gold, but it actually has like this, a flash of red and a flash of green underneath. 
Your Mayuki Gold Topaz Luster, 11 O's, two 23 gram tubes that you were get, actually getting for £8.99, £4.50 per tube. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Um, and because they are the large tubes as well, you know, that's elsewhere, they bring you smaller sizes, not everywhere, granted, but that's incredible for a 23 gram tube. Straight away, we've got uh, confirmations on this one. It is gonna be busy today. Hello to you, Lynn. Morning all, 25 and 26, please. Not a problem, I'll do that next. Um, let's do 25 first then for you, Lynn. 28 is already sold out. Yeah, I'm not surprised. They're lovely. Um, these would look pretty with 28. So if those of you that got hold of those lovely little butterfly shells, um, how about a wonderful gemstone that is rhyolite? Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Did you have rain last night? At the window wide open, listening to the rainfall. <clears throat> the reason why I say that is because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking how lush everything's going to be this morning. It kind of gives everything a new lease of life, doesn't it, in the garden? Because I must admit, some of my my plants were looking a bit, little bit, little bit thirsty. Nine ninety nine for your rhyolite. Again, these are natural, and you get these really beautiful, sort of uh, very quintessential English country garden uh, sort of patterns within your rhyolite. You're getting both strands as well. That's five pounds per strand for rhyolite. I remember when rhyolite used to be quite abundant on our screens, but for some, uh, for one reason or another. Actually, they're very scarce. It's very scarce that it's uh, uh, brought to the live show. Perfect for things like stretchies. If you got hold of those six mils earlier on, just dotting those in between. Really nice, wouldn't they? Um, great with all of your beaded and knotted jewellery, of course. Um, because it is sort of earthy colours, very Mother Nature colours as well, it's going to complement um, any other gemstone, I believe, that you actually put alongside it. For example, this fabulous tiger's eye that's coming up as a star buy within this hour. I mean, look at those. It's a beautiful combination. The chatoyancy of your tiger's eye matching the patterning almost of your rhyolite. Right, let's bring you number 26. Ooh. Do you know what? Okay, let's do 26. This I, this I would put with the agates that we had earlier on. Rainbow Moonstone. Now, there is a massive difference between Moonstone and Rainbow Moonstone. How are you doing Rainbow Moonstone at 5 99 for two strands? Because Rainbow Moonstone, in terms of its actual uh, um, shiller, <clears throat> brings you not just one colour, and it's not so easy to show you here in the studio, which you get at home in natural light. You actually get the full rainbow spectrum um, across these. The more desirable moonstone will have that really beautiful, pure white colour, and this definitely has that. You're getting the two strands. We absolutely, categorically, should not be bringing you even one of these strands at 5 99 let alone two. <laughs> That's unbelievable, isn't it? Um, maybe you got hold of that black jadeite yesterday. That was bonkers, wasn't it? Black jadeite for under £10 for one time only. Um, if you did get hold of that, can you imagine bead bezeling these? Hello to you, Michaela. You'd like to see number 27, no problem. I can do that for you. Um, beautiful sea beads in 11 o Delicas. So these are the ones with the, with this, they've got the straight sides. Um, as opposed to sort of the curved side. Um, so it means that there's no gaps in your seed beading if you're doing things uh, like some of the fantastic weaves um, that uh, I see so frequently on, on, on Facebook and on, uh, on the Wall of Fame, etc. Really beautiful colour, don't you think? That silver-lined mauve um, really brightens up the actual purple. And I don't want to say ultraviolet purple because it has definitely got a sort of presence of pink as mauve does as a colour. Check out on these though. Um, at 5 99 you get the two tubes of your Delicas. Um, Liam says, speed up, Al. Okay. Okay, Liam. Anything you say. I can speed up. <gasps> when did we launch these? I haven't seen these before. Was I on maternity, maybe? January? Really? Can, have you got amber in your stash? If you've got amber in your stash, can you imagine this as a complete bracelet or necklace? Attention to detail. Having that gold-plated sterling silver toggle clasp. There's only nine of them left. It's beautiful. It absolutely should not be uh, 599. That is gold-plated 925 with an, a, a wonderful Baltic amber um, orb nestled on the front. How many did we purchase when we launched these? 
50 of them. Absolutely love these. I want to buy some of these because I've got lots of amber within my stash. Um, and I just think a really nice, simple amber bracelet, super easy to put on. Um, just, oh, that would be absolutely incredible. And would be hundreds of pounds if you were to look at an amber boutique. It's simple crimping that you'd actually complete this with. Um, there's only six of them left now within the vault to give you a heads up. Um, okay, leave that with you. Let's do what, sorry? A book under £10. I love our books. Stringing and linking jewellery workshop, handcrafted designs and techniques. This is under £10. It's gorgeous. So it comes from, and I've, I've certainly admired her work before, Sean Hamilton. Um, here it is. So a, a great gift if you want to start somebody maybe on their jewellery making journey, but also from time to time, um, we all lose our mojo, don't we? Or we just want a little bit of uh, something to reference to give you inspiration, or maybe there's a particular technique that you're struggling with. Um, so if I just give you a quick flick through. Um, it's quite hard for me to hold like so, but yeah, you get the idea. So even down to what's that, how to open a jump ring, how to uh, create a gizmo, techniques are in there. Let me just flick through. Um, you've got some beautiful sort of inspiration in those lovely earrings just here. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? Like bobble style. Uh, is that chainmail? Yeah, bit of chainmail in there too. Your Persian memories. Oh, fabulous. Um, aren't these incredible deco styles? So lots of inspiration that you can reference um, and wonderful techniques. Film star filigree, like the sound of that. Sounds very fabulous, doesn't it? Again, so much inspiration. Seed beading, fall elegance. Wow, that's beautiful. That's like something that you would imagine. Um, <coughs> something that you would imagine being within um, a museum, wouldn't we? Maybe the V&A Museum or something like that. Um, what's that? Have a heart. Ah, oh, that's beautiful. It's under £10, jewellery makers. I should imagine this is quite limited. Jet set. Yeah, perfect for your holidays. Who's, booked, who's planned their holidays? Have you booked one? Have you booked a holiday uh, somewhere to go? How are you getting all of this inspiration, all of this knowledge, an entire book for under £10? And significantly so. At £6.99. Uh, doesn't say it on the back. Wow, that's amazing. And it's a really beautiful glossy magazine as well. We've got 47 of these within, um, within the actual vault jewelry makers, but they will all go. I just think that's a perfect gift. I'm thinking Christmas now. There, I said it, okay? Don't shout at me, I said it. Why not at 6 99 Imagine that with a few strands. Here we go. Imagine this as a gift. And some threading material. What a fabulous gift that would actually be. And that's still going to cost you, what, way less, War significantly less, or oh, £20, less than £20 to get hold of all three of those things. Um, but you have to check out because it is very, very, very close to se uh, selling out. Belinda, Joe, Ella, Catherine, hello to you, London, Jan, Karen, you've done it, Kaylee, Karen, Elizabeth, Angela, Lorraine, uh, Gillian. For those who, uh, Barbara, you've just got yours as well. Geraldine, Linda, Dee, Judith, Barbara, Hampshire, Joanne, uh, Yorkshire, Cambridgeshire, Cynthia, uh, Manchester, new customers, new customer on the phone line, stay where you are, Josephine, £6.99. pence. So that's going to teach you how to string and how to do your general beading, but also linking. That's multiple mediums in one book. Um, absolutely incredible. Check out because there's only a few of those left now. Um, let's do next. Oh, this is a beautiful strand, an absolutely amazing strand of lapis lazuli. At a silly price, Liam says... Really? For lapis lazuli? Um, it's been revered for 4,000 years, and it's easy to see why, isn't it? This wonderful, deep, intense colour. Flashes of your pyrite inclusions. That's the presence of uh, um, gold that you're seeing, the gold colours that you're seeing. Flecks of pyrite create that beautiful vision. £4.79 for your 6 millimeter um, lapis lazuli rounds. It's beautiful. Absolutely incredible. I mean, we had clearance yesterday. This... Not clearance, sorry, under £10 yesterday. That's because we were talking about a clearance show um, in weeks to come. But that, that's beyond the clearance price for genuine lapis. Genuine lapis lazuli. Can you imagine this in um, some of those lovely designs that you actually saw in the stringy and linking jewellery? You know, including lapis lazuli, because it has got that sort of undeniable beauty. Um, I'll leave that with you at 4 .79. Do check out. Okay, let's now do... Oh, look at how much you get. 
two 100 inches. So that's 100 inches of labradorite just there, and you're getting that twice. And two. Oh, can you imagine that just worn like so? Five meters of genuine labradorite for under 10 pounds. Full of labradorescence. Look, this should be called blue sheen, to be honest, because you really have those really dramatic, intense flashes of blue. Can you see it? Oh, yeah, it's not really coming across on your screen. Massive, massive flashes of blue sheen coming through from these. Aren't they incredible? That wonderful, deep, midnight color of your labradorite. A member of the Feldspar family. It's easy to understand why. Historically, they believe this was the Aurora Borealis trapped within a gemstone. Just amazing. Um, again, with so many of your uh, many of your techniques, and I do know that. Am I allowed to mention about the chips and nuggets thing? Am I allowed to mention it? I'm going to say it anyway. <coughs> I don't care. Let's just say opportunities like this are being um, encouraged over to our sister channels because they're so beautiful, basically. So be quick, be quick. Um, at £7.99, uh, 79 pence even, that's an amazing price tag for five metres. You know, our sister channel, who, who do these wonderful, endless, elongated length necklace, uh, necklaces, can you imagine um, the popularity um, to, as finished pieces of jewellery, effectively? I would encourage you actually restranding these just because it is a temporary strand going through the heart. But maybe just a couple of um, pearls dotted in between would be quite nice. They'd be nice with your agate, black uh, striped agates that we had previously. Was there many of these available? then Liam 50 that's it so you're talking about what 16 1700 carats approximately Nicola Angela Joe hello to you Suffolk Joanne Sue you've got yours Susan in Perth and Kinross Francis well done I mean that's absolutely amazing yeah don't be surprised if you start seeing this beautiful uh, variety and shape of gemstones a little bit more on our sister channels because it's so fashionable at the moment so 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 fashionable and on trend to have these wonderful textures um, in your jewelry wear Barbara hello Hello to you, Belinda, congratulations, Josephine, Michelle, hello to you, Claire, uh, hi Jacqueline, hello to you, Herefordshire, Jackie, Leslie, Joanna, Shropshire, I can't keep up with you now, we only had 50 of them by the way, 5 metres, again shall I hold this up because it's quite hard to get perspective of just the sheer scale of how much you're actually getting here, 5 metres of labradorite, that's a lot, and it's all that really beautiful, deep, intense, grey that you get, so, a, a wonderful silky grey that you get with Labradorite. I mean, you could actually use these interior design now. Um, yeah, imagine that maybe as something like, I don't know, something on your wall possibly in your, um, in your dream catchers or your curtain spikes. That'll be fabulous. Okay, moving on to... I'm uh, moving on to... Oh, essentials. The shepherd hooks, under £10, Liam. You've made that promise. 20 pairs of your rose gold plated sterling silver shepherd hooks. Um, so Plus it's the, it's the sterling silver shepherd hooks with a difference. These tweezers are hilarious. Can I just, <laughs> can I just show you? <laughs> Hang on. Can you see, see one's like off on a, he's off on a tangent that one. Good. <laughs> I'll actually pick it up. Okay. It's, come here. He's off, he's, off, he's off on an adventure, that one, one part of the tweezers. There we go. Um, rose gold plated 925 sterling silver, and you're getting f how many pairs? To 20 pairs. That's working out at 45 pence each. Plus, you've got the wonderful brush, uh, blush colour of rose gold on your 925 sterling silver. Look at that. Way! I'm off. Way! <laughs> 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 oh dear oh goodness me someone's heavy handed with their tweezers but they're essentials aren't they we need the shepherd hooks and they are open by the way so they open and close like a jump ring um, so add them to your stash uh, lots more requests coming in oh this is pretty um, Liam we're going to do a showcase of rhodochrosite aren't we but by the way the rhodochrosite showcase includes did we say eight lines 
literally eight lines. That's all we have. This is very rare. Absolutely one for the gemstone collectors. Um, can I just quickly ask where this is from? Yeah, um, wonderful, because, okay, this is Chinese, and you've got this really beautiful rose color. The more rose, and this might sound obvious, but the more pink that you see within your rhodochrosite, the more desirable it is. It forms in stalactites and stalagmites. Um, <clears throat> Inca tribes actually celebrated this gemstone as well. It's completely and utterly natural, very, very, very rare, especially when you've got this amount of pink within the gemstone itself. So, I mean, use our vault as a prime example. There are eight lines, sorry, nine, including this one, um, that we can actually include in our in our showcase. It is very, very, very seldom seen. How on earth were we at 4.99? Um, I've only just looked up because I would have made the assumption that at a bare minimum, it would have been 9.99. There are certain gemstones I can bring you at single figure prices, but rhodochrosite wouldn't be one of those. Um, Liam says, talking of rare things, um, so Liam says, remember when you asked me for abalone, L, I do. You've got three lines. Is that it? Uh, apparently, the other shift side have got some abalone strands. We only have three. I actually asked for an abalone showcase because... Um, Oh, it, it, I remember bringing you showcases of abalone and it was a sort of hugely expensive. No way near, you would never buy this in showcases of abalone. Um, with, uh, even us previously, this would have been easily a double figure price tag. Abalone is an organic gemstone. It comes from the, um, uh, the abalone shell. This is a type of shell. And you have some really beautiful chromatic shifts. Look at the colors uh, sort of shifting and changing across the surface. Um, you have this full, sort of voluptuous shell which is drilled if I turn it that way through the center so literally pop it on your wire or memory wire or head pins whichever you wish the popularity and the price of abalone has gone through the roof a since the Kate Winslet film but also since um, um, uh, Moana um, because the grandmother actually wears uh, an abalone shell that, that actually holds the heart of the ocean um, amazing. Four ninety nine only. A gemstone which is actually farmed in the same way that pearls are. Um, so it's cultured in actual fact. Um, very it used to be sort of free dived. Uh, they used to free dive for abalone, but actually the location that you source abalone shell is is unfortunately shark infested. So they don't encourage that anymore. Four ninety nine for one of the only. What are you doing, Liam? One of the few abalone opportunities that we actually have in the entire business. There's not an abundance of abalone sadly um, in our vault and it is absolutely beautiful it's an organic gemstone that has pretty much every single color that you could possibly wish for in 45 seconds Liam I assume is taking this even lower um, even though 4.99 is already an absolutely crazy deal it's a large piece as you can see by the measurements 40 by 50 millimeters every single one will be slightly unique because it's an organic gemstone like the amber that you saw like pearls we know uh, that they will have their own individuality their little personality high quality amelie uh, abalone sorry will actually have maximum colors so i mean you can see greens blues pinks purples yellows golds it's all uh, across the surface and it almost seems to travel every single one of these little little uh, patterns that you're seeing is actually where the mollusk itself has changed its diet where it's actually eaten something differently and that's what produces the actual pattern on the surface of your abalone. Um, okay, we're going even lower than 4 dollars It never should be. If this doesn't sell out, I have to say, I will be absolutely flabbergasted. Because it's abalone as well, it's light. It's lightweight. Can you imagine these in earrings? Can you imagine how fantastic these would be in earrings? Because they're lightweight, it's not going to hurt. It's not going to, you know, some some gemstones can be quite weighty and dense. This isn't. So I would absolutely wear these in a pair of earrings at two pound ninety. That's crazy, Liam. That's absolutely crazy. It is ridiculous. You're right. Absolutely astonishing price point. I'm fairly sure I have brought abalone shells of this size and this quality to air, uh, way in excess of that, ten pounds upwards, um, and we own, and that's without there being just a limited quantity within our vault. I don't blame you for going crazy for it, jewelry makers. It is, it's, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? I really want to see these in earrings now. Is it double sided? Yes. Look. Yes. You get both sides. Which is amazing because that means if you are wearing it as earrings or a pendant, 
And if it flips over, it's still gonna look absolutely beautiful. That's incredible, isn't it? I want some of those, Liam. Let's stick with the abalone, shall we? Again, double-sided. Now these are very limited, I get up. If, if I had the time, I would literally put, can you see that there? Jump ring, jump ring, and then these. There's your earrings. There's your earrings, job done. Open and close, open and close, job done. You've just made yourself some sterling silver. We'll do, this, we'll do the filings pack next, by the way. And abalone, which again is double-sided. Look at the quality of this abalone. Can you see how much iridescence you're seeing? And again, beautiful, beautiful patternings. Um, very difficult to actually get flat abalone because you think about the, sh the, the actual shape of the shell itself. Should we do the findings back now? Yeah, let's do it. 28 pieces um, of your essential findings, including your shepherd, ho shepherd hooks, oops, shepherd hooks and your jump rings. Um, so you can get hold of the abalone circles and this finding pack for less than £10. Silver plated. Let's have a look at these little... Oh, are they what I think... Uh, oh, you've got little bees. Little bumblebees on your head pins. Oh, that would be perfect with the abalone, don't you think? You know, as if they're drawn to sort of the flowers. Uh, beautiful little bumblebee uh, head pins. Plus, you've also got the little bumblebee spacers. Can you see that? You get two of those which are, again, um, uh, yeah, silver-plated. You've got your bumblebee toggle clasp here as well, which I'll hold that up for you. Silver-plated base metal, £6.99. That's lovely, isn't it? Really beautiful. Two pairs of your shepherd hooks, plus also this lovely open link chain, your crimps and your crimp covers and jump rings. Um, I've not seen that findings pack before. Really pretty. Um, bumblebees are massive in jewellery. Uh, I think it was... Alex Munro, who started that wonderful collection, but then also other designs, um, uh, designers have included uh, in theirs. Moving on to 31 again, this is a lovely abalone shell, different shape, um, slightly smaller, slightly narrower. Um, so maybe you're thinking, oh, no, well, those abalones were far too big for a pair of earrings for me. Then maybe this might work. So slightly smaller, slightly more slender. Uh, 30 by 40 millimetres. Still statement, though, at the same time. Look at those wonderful colours. Many of our jewellery makers, especially if you retail your jewellery or photograph it to go into the Wall of Fame, will actually use these as displays. They're really lovely items to actually photograph your jewellery, especially something that comes from the sea, like coral or, or pearls. Really, I can't believe we're at £2.49. This would have easily been at £10 on top of that price tag. Um, probably about three years ago. Easily would have been here at Jewelry Maker. Um, £2.49. It's an absolute giveaway deal. You can use your gallery wire, CB bezeling, but they are actually drilled through the centre too. Can you see that? Okay, let's move on to Tiger's Eye in... Oh, so it's got to go with the drums. The drums are coming up as a star buy. We're doing them next, in actual fact. Oh, these are matte. Are they matte? I don't know. They just look... Here we are. I love that contrast. Look at this. Oh, that's a gorgeous kit. Very Thomas Sabo. So I'm bringing you the double treble of your micro-faceted um, Tiger's Eye duo. Um, in your two millimetre rounds, 2.5, I beg your pardon, Seven pounds and forty nine pence. Look at that classic tiger's eye in its natural form. That beautiful um, combination of chocolate colours, beautiful coffee tones, chatoyancy, and gold, all in one amazing natural gemstone. Um, okay, let's do your tiger's eye star buy. Um, so many gemstones will sort of uh, they'll be they'll be very relevant and very popular um, in jewellery trends. Big jewellery houses actually throwing their weight behind them, then they might sort of sort of subside somewhat and then they'll come back again. Tiger's Eye, however, is one of those gemstones that is always um, in the limelight. Big designers using it, like the likes of Van Cleef and Arpels, and I can tell you for sure, their quality of Tiger's Eye, A, you get far, far less, um, is no different to the quality that we're about to offer you. Beautiful, genuine, natural Tiger's Eye as a star buy.
one of the most my favorite words in uh, the gemstone industry is no not Monica Veneda is chatoyancy. I just think it is such a beautiful word. Uh, chatoyancy, it sounds wonderful. And when you say it, it just seems to roll off the tongue. Um, and what that basically describes is a phenomena effect that is found within tiger's eye. Tiger's eye in its natural form, which this is, you can dye tiger's eye, it responds, wonder responds wonderfully to uh, that treatment process. Um, but in its natural, most sort of recognized color, um, with that phenomena effect, we describe it as chatoyancy, and that's this, this wonderful illusion, this, this migration of light that finds its way across the surface of the gemstone. And that is, uh, comes about because you have these tiny little platelets within the gem itself that capture the light and bring you that wonderful flash, that wonderful movement. This is what we are describing. And I, can, I don't have to struggle to find um, one which will have that, that, that quality. They all absolutely have that quality. This is chatoyancy. Can you see how the light is almost gliding across the surface of your tiger's eye? Again, every single one of these will do exactly that. It's like the finest, uh, uh, finest sort of mahogany wood. You know, when it's high polished and you spray it, give it, give it a little bit of pledge, spray it, and you've got that wonderful high shine. But do you notice how it doesn't actually, the, the play of light isn't the same. That's what this gemstone has the natural ability to do. Is it any wonder that it's as popular as it is? As I said earlier on, massively relevant always has been uh, but within with some of the powerhouse jewelry brands um in the industry the likes of Thomas Sabo. So is this a bracelet, firstly, jewellery makers, that you can create? Is this something that you could easily make? In fact, is that not very similar cut? Yeah, it, it's almost exactly the same cut um, that you actually have in this strand. In fact, if you wanted to, if you replace uh, the, uh, the Thomas Sabo, what is that in the centre? Uh, tiger. Yeah, OK, that makes sense. Can you imagine replacing that for a Buddha, which, by the way, we're launching, relaunching again on Friday. Next Friday, that is. Not this Friday coming, next Friday. So put a note in your diary. Can you imagine replacing that with one of those lovely little Buddhas? And then uh, would it command £129? I think absolutely absolutely it could um, here is another amazing Thomas Sabo piece of jewelry and I'm not discrediting this brand I absolutely admire many of their um, many of their designs and certainly the choice of gemstones very 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 fashion forward something that uh, gents love uh, wear a lot of Thomas Sabo as well as, start again gents wear a lot of Thomas Sabo as well as ladies um, so for that really beautiful necklace you're talking 239 pounds Ours were not even under, we're not even 9.99. We're going even lower than that. You've got a beautiful graduation of your size from six by four up to 10 by seven for 5.99. And would we all agree? This doesn't look substandard to what you were seeing on the uh, Thomas Sabo pieces of jewelry. You've still got that wonderful chatoyancy. Um, what's that? You've still got that beautiful play of light that glides across um, each and every single one um, of your tiger's eye. Totally and utterly natural. 140 carats you're actually getting. You know what? Get this home. If you want some really quick make, some uh, some pieces of jewellery that are guaranteed to be recognised um, as genuine gemstones and certainly for the luxury that they are, T Tiger's Eye is absolutely one of those. So frequently we discuss here on Jewellery Maker the fact that this is a first purchase gemstones for many of us. It was my first gemstone, then, then quickly followed by Moonstone. Um, I know Carol has said the same. Tiger's Eye was her first purchase. I think it is because it's so clearly, so clearly Mother Nature. Um, again, stay where you are. I'm moving quickly so I can bring you as many of these amazing deals as physically possible. Now, I'm going to bring you another incredible star by. A gemstone which is often likened to the beauty of imperial jadeite. It isn't imperial jadeite, but it is, however, a beautiful, genuine gemstone. That is a venturine. Today, Liam, you know that beautiful aquamarine necklace that we were showing everybody? And the reason why I'm, I'm not saying it's the same gemstone, you'll understand why I'm making this reference in a few moments' time. Um, 
This is why we always encourage our jewelry makers, because even if you consider yourself to be a beginner, those early techniques that you master um, with our channel are the techniques that really make mainstream high-end jewelry. So we showed an aquamarine graduated necklace, which I think you'd all agree is super simple, very beautiful, very beautiful. I think they're knotted in between and they have a sterling silver clasp at the reverse. Um, the, would we all agree that's not out there? It's not, it's not something that's particularly ostentatious. It's not technically advanced. It's basic re-stranding and beading. £270 for that aquamarine. Now imagine that, say that, say this individual, this seller, this retailer, who I don't know who it is, um, say, I would imagine have got a collection. I imagine it's got a collection of these designs. And I imagine they're very successful and very, very popular. Um, there you go, you can see 236 sales of this design across the entire company. That's, that, that's, that's very good, very, very successful. I'd imagine that person would replicate this design in different gemstones. So what do you think your aventurine would actually be retailing at? Do we all agree it is nigh on identical? Aventurine is a variety of quartz. It has beautiful flake-shaped inclusions, which uh, almost seem to lift the actual uh, color, the natural color that you see within the gemstone. You often get a very, dis uh, a very striking display of aventurescence within aventurine, as the name suggests. The most common inclusions within aventurine, which by the way are very dif difficult to see with the naked eye, um, are fuchsite, Green chromium, which a chromium is like a superpower um, uh, composition to your gemstone. It really elevates the color of the gem, or even mica. It can also be lepidolite, muscovite, um, that will actually bring, bring you that phenomena effect. It is actually available in a few different parts of the world, India probably being the most uh, commercial producer, but you also get it from Russia, Spain, Austria, Tanzania as well, uh, but only in very, very, very small quantities. The, it's a hugely popular gemstone because of its, its similarity to imperial jade. And actually over in China, it's often retailed um, under the jade umbrella, as I've mentioned previously before. So imagine this on that, web, on that website with a finished clasp, with that knotting in between. How much do you think that would be retailing for? Is it going to be anywhere near £6.99? pence? No, how are you taking this lower? That, I mean, that's 14 millimeters that makes up that wonderful central stone. Right then, we have a really exciting morning show planned for you, jewelry makers. Jake is waiting in the sidelines, super excited about his show. I'm going to wake you up this Thursday morning with an absolutely unbeatable deal. The more of you that are there, the lower we can actually physically take this because we have over 200 of these available within the vault. You cannot deny that wonderful intensity of color, that glow vision of green that is summertime by definition whether you knot these whether you bead it with maybe some of your uh, gold plated Mayuki that we had previously you can use all of the different sizes um, yeah whether you choose to put it on elastic because these are great in stretchy necklaces as well not everybody likes to wear the clasps they work amazing with elastic also the more of you that are there the lower that we're gonna go then we're already at 6.99 for aventurine again if I was to show this to Jake and, and sort of say would this be something that would go on our sister channel I know the answer would be quite simply yes because it is that commercial design and um, when we're referencing just one retailer that we found online that has this graduation okay alternate gemstone still very rare gemstone four pounds 79 they were at 270 pounds for that aquamarine that's absolutely astonishing <clears throat> And you have, by definition, that most sought after color um, of this gemstone. Um, like I said, it is celebrated for its similarities to imperial jadeite, makes a beautiful adornment and also a gemstone for your sculptures. Um, okay, a lot of you there now, jewelry makers. Congratulations, Kerry, Judith, Pam, Dorset's bought three. Hello to you, Deborah, uh, Venetia, Norfolk. Hello to you, Jacqueline, multibind, Claire, multibind, Janet, well done to you, Sue, multibind, Lorraine, Maeve, Jackie, uh, Gillian, Jane. 
Jane, Shirley, hiya Anne, multi-buying, Susan, multi-buying, Hampshire, multi-buying. If you do commissions, if you create a gift, this is a perfect, do you want me to hold up to the neckline? Um, the perfect purchase for you because there's no way any gemstone should be under five pounds for that matter, let alone something which already has the work done for you. Uh, again, just imagine those with your Mayuki beads dotted in between um, and then one of your magnetic clasps. Um, Restranded, that simple, knotting him if you wish. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of jewellery and one that is incredibly wearable with all different generations. Do you see that similarity that I've been referencing? Can you see that similarity to your Imperial Jade? It's not Imperial Jade. If it were, then we'd be talking about hundreds of thousands of pounds, if not millions, um, because it is the most sought after color, but often actually retailed under the Jade umbrella. Um, 103 of you have this in your baskets and there is a little uh, queue on the phone lines. Um, do bear with us because our call centre are getting to you quite quickly. Um, keep on checking out on those phone lines. Have a little look on the website because there's a lot of items that we weren't, uh, didn't have the time to show. Items like symbols, £2.99. Uh, Ornella beads, £2.99 just there. Uh, sea beads at £2.99. Amethyst at £2.99, was it? chains you've got here as well so a lot that you can look at and you only have the 10 minutes but also big hand pointing vertically you've only got those 10 minutes before each of those items actually disappear stay where you are um adri i can see you there Anne marie i can see you there new customers sally i can see you there stay on those phone lines make sure you check out congratulations okay up next your designs is the wall of fame Okay, starting us off this morning is Anne Applin. Hello to you, Anne. Oh, that's beautiful. Hello all. My husband is a biologist and therefore interested in the 0% carbon issue. Um, he got up in the middle of the night with an idea for a logo, showed me the sketch and commissioned me to make it as a piece of jewellery. The outer symbol of carbon is beaded in microfaceted lapis. The inner gizmode circle is uh, O's. Um, and the percentage, a dangly link shape. The earth is represented by one of your atlas beads and the rose represents living things. All components are from Jewelry Maker. Where else? I hope you like it. Best wishes to all and that's from Anne. How fantastic. I love how thought out that is. Number 29 is from Pat Stewart. Hello to you, Pat. Good morning, everybody. Please find attached this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. It's two bracelets made for my granddaughter and her best friend. Oh, how lovely. Um, they are to remind each other of their their friendship as they will be moving away from each other in the summer as their parents are both in the military. Sterling silver butterflies and Swarovski butterflies both from JM along with findings chained from my stash hoping for a win. Pat how wonderful um, that's a really lovely and thoughtful gift. Number 30 is from Caroline Brown Oh, beautiful Caroline. Hello, everybody. This is my entry to this week's Wall of Fame. I was inspired by Monica's daisy chain demo. So here is my version. Thank you for the demonstrations in different mediums, which gives us a chance to try new things. Best wishes from Caroline Brown. They're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, 31 is from Patricia Ford. Hi, Patricia. Attached is my entry to the Wall of Fame this week. It's a suite of jewellery made using seed beads and also white opal. I got the link in a kit last week, uh, but knew it would go with the seed beads I already had. Very seaside, says Pat. It's gorgeous. Love that. Very summertime. Number 32 is from Joe Hall. Hiya, Joe. Oh, beautiful. Uh, morning, all. I'm still on an endless strand kick. This time, it's a Marlowe. It drove me bonkers as I kept losing count. Uh, made with multicolored aquamarine and druzy gurus all from you except the tassel keep cool she says love joe that's stunning joe uh, number 33 is fr from drakia beautiful loving those wonderful colors hi everybody here's my entry to the wall of fame it's been a while since i've entered just getting around to complete this uh, complete 
uh, this photo. Um, I bought the gems a while back and all findings and spaces uh, are from Jewelry Maker, except maybe the bee cap, she says. They're beautiful. Look at those wonderful visions of colour. Please do keep those entries coming in, Jewelry Makers, and fingers crossed um, for a win on Wednesday. Now, as you mentioned, Drusy, I can squeeze in just a couple more items before the top of the hour. Uh, yeah, in fact, this will go beautiful with your uh, with your designs as well, because I notice, uh, Drakia, that is really quite an opulent piece uh, or pieces that you created. So how about some gorgeous gold, like aged gold? You've got this wonderful, wonderful sort of brush detail of your Druzy. And the reason why they don't always polish Druzy is because it allows us to see these uh, caverns, these Aladdin's cave caverns uh, within the gemstone. No, you're not doing that, Liam. You're not, you know, you, you're not doing that, are you? Really? I can't remember the last time I actually saw Druzy on our show. Druzy has the, it's like, it's like sugar crystal formations that when you, when they are coated and treated with iridescence like this, give you this fantastic terrain, um, terrain of luster and sparkle for all times of year. You know, we used to say Druzy was a gemstone that we'd include maybe in our Christmas and New Year uh, pieces, but actually um, fantastic alongside your summer pieces and definitely with the aventurine. If you were lucky enough to get that aventurine, again, don't you think, as a combination of colors, um, do check out those baskets again. I can squeeze just a couple more items in before Jake joins us here in the studio. Oh, these are fantastic. Look how beautifully opulent they are. Top to bottom drill drops. I mean, look at that consistency. Yeah, I just, just I, I'd put one on the shepherd hook, so you had the findings back earlier on. One on a head pin, little loop at the top, attach it to your shepherd hook. It's that simple. Even I could create those, and that's saying something. Maybe include them with your pearls for a very Mary Quant-inspired piece of jewellery or very Chanel-inspired. Um, we were discussing sort of monochrome pieces with the Black Spinel auction opportunity yesterday. Six ninety nine for these top-to-bottom drill drops. It's my preference of uh, pr drill hole positioning um, because it's that much easier. If I actually show you, look, drill, uh, let's put, put a head pin through the centre or an eye pin through the centre, Loop at the top, job done. You've just made yourself a beautiful pendant, earrings, whichever you wish. Um, incredible, six ninety nine. Okay, let's do. Have you made a decision? <laughs> Liam's like, let's do. No, uh, yeah, let's do this. Ah, now your paisley duos. For obvious reasons, you have this really gorgeous paisley shape. If you look just here, they're also uh, double drilled. Look at that iridescence. A wonderful uh, light pastel green. 22 gram tubes times two, because you are getting both of them. So one of our uh, wonderful shapes that you can um, really build up some fantastic designs. They look amazing if you're creating things like flowers. You mentioned Monica's daisy designs. These would be fantastic, um, maybe alongside uh, the daisy stitch. Perfect with that. Um, okay, I'm gonna bring you one more before the top of the hour. And that is, oh, I'd use these with your adventuring. A cheeky add it to your order here. I mean, this is pyrite. Beautiful, lustrous pyrite. But one of the gemstones that has uh, distinct similarities to gold, as it was often referred to, fool's gold. Yeah, can you imagine just dotting those in between your adventuring? So they're your two millimeter uh, micro faceted rounds totally and utterly natural a very uh, beautiful dense gemstone which means that you get some fantastic uh, surface luster again dot those in between your adventuring graduated strand it would be just beautiful don't see pyrite that often here at jewelry maker which is a real shame um because as you can see it's got this wonderful almost like antiqued gold uh vision of beauty add it to your order at 2.99 that's crazy hello to you rachel nicola hello to you dawn elaine deb hello to you amy Ayrshire, you've got yours as well don't forget that book which was available jewelry makers and you might be able to get hold of that still I don't know it was flying out the door um, and definitely alongside your black jadeite uh, that we brought you yesterday at a, as a one-off deal um, do ch never to be repeated I agree it should never be repeated it shouldn't have even ever happened but we did have special permission so congratulations um, okay I can just quickly recap one of the star buys that we actually brought you this morning jewelry makers so vibrant tropical blues you know we're all crazy 
craving that holiday destination, aren't we? And uh, so popular are the Marla necklaces. Look, you saw one there in the Wall of Fame um, with one of our lovely viewers. Marla, imagine a Marla necklace in this uh, in this uh, strand. So you'd have to buy three of them to have the correct quantity for a Marla necklace, or you could do an inspired buy. We're running out of time, but do not go anywhere, jewelry makers, because coming up is an amazing show with the fantastic Jake Thompson will return after this. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi guys, I'm Dave Troth, uh, you know, responsible for sourcing many of the incredible gemstones uh, that, that we bring you here. And uh, coming up this week, I'm really excited to share with you some of these exotic treasures for the most incredible deals you'll ever see. singing all dancing warehouse we are so excited and this is going to make such a difference to what we can bring you here at jewelry maker mediums products treats storage because guess what we've now got more storage this is epic come and have a look here because come, come on come on come on i'm like challenge annika come on so look at that just just all those drawers all these points all these locations that we can pick your brand new items from now what does that mean for this weekend well come here and i'll tell you come on gotta get the clipboard come on Right, so, bear with me. Friday morning, we're starting with Carol. Milliput DVD launch with Gemma Crow. Oh, now in the afternoon, there's gonna be a brand new, I'm so excited. It's a new offer for you, and it's going to be magnificent. It's gonna be called Xena's Steel of the Week. I haven't decided what I'm gonna steal yet, but <laughs> I'm in the right place, aren't I? So that's gonna be Friday at 2 p.m. Now, Saturday morning, I'm gonna be joined by the fantastic Claire McDonald, and she's gonna be doing stacker rings with tube setting. Now, deal of the day, totally awesome tourmaline-tastic it is. That's gonna be epic. In the afternoon, I'm so excited, we are launching Susie Menham's first ever DVD. Everybody has been asking for a Marla DVD and we've got it. So Sunday at 1pm, uh, I'm going to be joined by Hannah Osborne. Checkmates, triangles and tiles with a booklet. Yes. Now then, right, is that enough to start? Because we've then got the rest of this absolutely huge warehouse that we've now moved into and it opens this weekend. Once everything's stocked, every one of these boxes will be stocked with treats for you. So, you know that steel deal? Bear with me, I'm just going to go and get it. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date news on mines, gems and the trade itself. Jake Thompson lifts the veil on the gemstone and jewellery industry, giving you a unique insight into the gem markets and the ability to buy from Gemporia with confidence. Welcome back, jewellery makers. How are we all? Oh, you know how much I love a Thursday morning show. Um, not only because we get oh, positively 
teased with beautiful genuine gemstone opportunities of extreme rarity but the sheer knowledge that we all acquire um, during these next few hours so it's immense pleasure as always that I welcome Jake Thompson to the show good morning Al good morning to you and good morning to you as well if we have never met before my name is Jake and my role here as lead gemstone investor is to help you make the transition from crafting jewelry let's elevate the type of jewelry you're making and enter the realm so few jewelers ever have fine jewelry i want to help you craft a portfolio worthy piece of jewelry i want to help you acquire the kind of gems that maybe sit in the the, the safety deposit boxes we always dreamed of being able to have well let's turn those dreams into a reality and that's what we do on a Thursday morning from 9 until midday and this Thursday morning we've been running these shows now for over a year a year around about 15 16 months now I have never brought you this next gem this next gem is well as we're gonna see from some of the biggest sources on the planet they grade this a better investment than diamonds. Wow. This next gem wins so many awards, it's almost unfair entering this gem into those competitions. And yet, despite those two things, I'm going to say right now, this gem remains an opportunity for you. It remains an opportunity for me as a gemstone investor because despite it being so highly graded by professionals. Despite it winning so many awards, it is still massively undervalued. And therein is our opportunity. Now, if you're wondering why I've waited till now to bring you this collection, the simple answer is I was intending to take these stones to the JCK show in the United States. And that, was, that show has been canceled now. The show's not taking place in June anymore. And that show really would have been, would have been wrapping up uh, around about now. Uh, but because of the global pandemic, the show hasn't gone on. Well, I'm saying the show does go on. I'm saying the show goes on here today with you and with many of those thousands of attendees who have been invited for this. And this is very much the, the pinnacle, if you will, the final flare of, 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 of our celebrations of the JCK show. So... When I talk about JCK, JCK is, uh, one, it is a big gem show, but also it is an industry authority. But there are other industry authorities out there, and one of them is the International Coloured Stone Association. Now, as its name suggests, it is a huge deal in the gemstone and jewellery world. The International Coloured Stone Association, the ICA. And every quarter, they publish a journal. They publish a journal for gem investors like myself, jewelry, uh, jewelers of the highest caliber, and the, jewel, jewel, the journals here, you can see, in color. And six months ago, the issue that was released six months ago, the journal's called In Color. And six months ago, you can see the focus was very much on one source of gemstones, America. American gems. Let's talk about North American mined gemstones. Now, before I dive into exactly what this article said, and this journal, this, this journal said, before we get there, let's establish who the ICA is. Because I've been a gem investor for 10 years, so I know In Colour is one of the greatest sources and highly influential throughout the jewellery world. They say something, the rest of the industry follows. But I appreciate you might not be a gem investor for 10 years, so you may, this may be the first interaction with In Colour and with the ICA. So here's the ICA. You can see what is the ICA, International Coloured Gemstone Association. Um, and here it is. The International Coloured Gemstone Association is a non-profit organisation. It is the only worldwide body specifically created to benefit coloured gemstone industry. So it's been founded for, in 1984, over 35 years now. And it comprises nearly 700 gem industry leaders from mine to market. So you've got miners in there, gem cutters, suppliers retailers, trade associations, gemological laboratories such as the GIA and the likes of, uh, academics, museums and so many more from 47 different countries. This is why I say what the ICA says matters 
hugely. They've got this global network that is developed, it's there to develop a common language for the promotion and constant business standards necessary to improve international communication and trade of colored gemstones. So this is, this is what the ICA is about. They're, you know, they're there to provide direct access to the source for colored gemstones and the related information. And there, there really is, they say it, but I'm gonna back that up. There is no other international organization with the same reach, the same collective access, and the same knowledge as well. And that's why this really is the gold standard mm. when it comes to the gemstone world and to, to information in the gemstone world. As a professional gem investor, I'm following what they say daily. So that in color journal you can see is a big tool of mine as a professional investor. And throughout that in color magazine, that issue particularly, it focused on American gemstones. And so there, there, there was a chapter in there, an article in there, which said Cal gems of California. There was another one which said gems of Maine. And you could kind of see the pattern that might be developing here. The format was very much, we're gonna talk about all the gemstones from California, then we can talk about all the gemstones from Maine, and we can work our way around the continental United States. However, there was an exception. There was an exception to the, that format, and it stuck out to me like a sore thumb. Have a look at this, this is the journal. Notice straight away how it doesn't say gemstones of Oregon. They could have done that, by the way. You, you've got plenty of gems in Oregon. You, you've got fire opal. You've got fire agates. You've got Oregon sunstones. You know, there's enough to write a whole article about Oregon. However, the, the demand, the impact, the potential of this material meant that this, this, this gem and this gem alone required its own dedicated article. Now this actually is available online, so you can go and read this yourself. I highly encourage you to do so. Uh, but I, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fly through this because I could, uh, I could do a whole morning just to go through this article, I find it so fascinating. But this is written by a gentleman called Arles, uh, Arles Krivenek. Uh, I wanna show you uh, Arles there, uh, there there's Arles. Um, Arles is, it used to be the owner of the Parna mine, one of the great famous mines of, uh, of, of Oregon Sunstone. Uh, and he was the founder as well of a, of a website, highly informative, called OregonSunstoneGuide.com. Uh, and and Arles is the author of that article, so really talking on behalf of the ICA um, in this journal. And Arles says this, look, Oregon Sunstone has been commercially mined for over 30 years. Though it is still fairly new to collectors, to investors, and even the majority of professionals. So let's unpack that a little bit. 30 years they've been mining this gem, and yet collectors, investors, and industry professionals, this is a new gem. Well, how can those two things be true? At the same time, Arles explains, he says, look, things that, although it's mined commercially, very small scale, very small scale commercial mining. And, and he says, Oregon Sunstone didn't really take off in popularity and, and, and price, because we know that demand drives value, until 2012, with the discovery of the now famous Sunstone Butte and Parna mines. It wasn't until their discovery, and we will come onto those mines in a moment's time, those are the mines that really sent the industry going wild and the valuations going sky Hi. So it was, it's really that 2012 discovery that changed everything. He says here, Alice says here, as of late 2019, every well-known American gem artist, so in the space of just seven years, it goes from something completely new to every well-known gem artist is working with Oregon Sunstone. It also frequently is seen on popular TV channels in the USA and in the UK. And, and in the UK, he is referring to us. Uh, they, they actually say Jim Pori TV there. It is this partnership. It is our community that have near exclusive access to this material. And the reason why is because this discovery happened in 2012. The first mining season took place in 2013, post-discovery. And then in 2014, I myself was actually out there in the Oregon desert, mining the gems that we have for you in today's show. I was there mining them for you in, 
uh, in June, July, in the summer of 2014. Um, so, and, and that tells you a few things. One, how quick we were to go direct to source. We have cut out every middleman possible on this jet. But also, we've been sat on this deposit for seven years for you. And so there is no rush to use these gems. We've been, wait we've been waiting for the wider industry, really, to see that appreciation of value. And we will show you that in a moment's time. Coming back around the article, though, he said about gem artists using this material, and I said it's almost fair, unfair that this gem egg gets entered into awards because it just it dominates every single time, whichever category Oregon Sunstone is entered into, be that carving category, be that uh, innovative faceting category, be that uh, classic cut category, whichever category Oregon Sunstone is entered into, it regularly places in the top three at the annual AGTA Spectrum Awards, many times winning multiple categories in the same year. It's unfair. This is a gem. This is a gem that is pushing sapphires away from winning spots, pushing emeralds away from winning spots, pushing rubies away from winning spots because it's performance of light, pushing paribas away from winning spots because it's performance of light is that strong. And that's from, uh, from Ales, who formerly owned the, uh, the part of mine. So if this gem, I'm going to come back to it, if this gem is such a proven, such proven pedigree, it's dominating Spectrum Awards, then how did we not know about this really before today? Well, again, it's because until that discovery in late 2012, to that discovery, we weren't able to get hold of this material. No one really knew even this particular grade. Take a look at the kind of jewelers who are working with this material. Okay, you've got the like of Dalen Hargrave, award-winning cutter, and Naranjan Kalsa, who is, the, uh, who is the, the, the chair of the Oregon Sunstone Mining Association, Daryl Alexander, so, uh, you know, Boyd Fox, so many leading designers working with this Oregon Sunstone now. There is this, there is this surge, this cascade of, uh, of, of interest in this material, which is pushing the price up and up and up over time. So how rare is this? Let's address this because we're seeing lots and lots of more jewelers uh, working with this material. We're seeing huge amounts of interest in this material. Is that gonna push forward uh, greater supply? Well, actually, a former mine owner, you can't get more direct than this. This is what the former mine owner had to say. He said, look, it's found on only a few square kilometers. Few square kilometers. Now, to put that into context, Tanzla is another single source location. That is found in a much bigger area. The Tanzanite seam is much larger than a few square kilometers. Uh, but, but this material, Oregon Sunstone, far rarer than Tanzanite, it's found in a few square kilometers in the southeast Oregon high desert. Oregon Sunstone is one of the rarest gems in the world. No question. One of the rarest gems in the world. And this is what we have for you today. He goes on, but before we go there, I want you to understand how this material forms and why, particularly some of the museum pieces, they are, they are, they are unbelievable in their size. Because when this material forms, it forms with a tiny kernel of colour. Let me show you what I mean by that. So you can see there's, uh, the, 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 there is a green specimen there, there is a red specimen there as well. You can see tiny kernel of colour. I'm not even talking about the clarity here. There isn't any. Uh, you, can see, you can see the big pits actually in them. Uh, but in terms of colour, the colour concentration, it's a tiny little uh, kernel right at the heart of the gem. And then it's surrounded by colourless material. And this is the material that potentially could go into sunstone. So whenever I bring in, I've, I've talked to you before about serenite and how serenite is essentially a form of Oregon sunstone. Well, this is the serenite material here, around the outside, around the outside. Not all the material has this kernel of color in the center. Most of it will not. And therefore, you know, imagine if that doesn't have any color, the whole thing can be a serenite gem. If not, maybe if these outside chippings are big enough, maybe we can do something with those to create the serenite. But the color is located in this tiny part right in the center 
of the gem. And by the way, those are two of the best samples that we could find to illustrate this for you, because otherwise it's really hard to imagine the color if, it, if it's a tiny little pinprick in there. So we picked out two of the best stones to be able to show you this in. If all the material were like that, oh my goodness, I'd be so happy. Unfortunately, it really, really isn't. Um, so that's how we get the color from this material. Uh, Arles continues again, in, in, you know, working with the GIA have, have been there. Uh, it says the exceptional gem quality discovered at the Little Eagle Butte location. Now this, by the way, is where we went to in 2014. So we went to the Little Eagle Butte location. Now how do we find out about it? Here's how. It was discovered, it changed everything, he said. Look, the gem quality discovered at Little Eagle Butte location changed everything for Oregon Sunstone according to a GIA research team during their site visit back in 2013. So this discovery happens in 2012. The GIA get there in the first season of minings. The miners are working it for the first season in this location. GIA team get there. We have contacts with the GIA. The very next mining season in 2014, we are there. I am there on the ground mining this material that has changed everything. But why did it change everything? Well, the GIA actually helpfully explained this. Essentially, these are gemstones that are created inside a massive magma chamber of, uh, of calcium-rich lava. And that lava cools really slowly. Normally, the lava will cool quite quickly. And what that does is when it cools quickly, you get lots of smaller gems because they crystallize really, really, uh, really quickly. Lots of smaller gems uh, and the color doesn't really get a chance to form. However, at this little Eagle Butte location, for, for whatever reason, millions and millions of years ago, the magma cooled very slowly. And what that allowed was the crystals over time to grow. They grew to an extraordinary size. They grew to extraordinary color as well. I'm talking deep C7 champagne hues. I'm talking sage greens. I'm talking in very rare instances, teal greens. We have all of those here for you today. All of them, because these are from that Little Eagle Butte location. Now, we've heard from Ales, we've heard from the GIA, we've heard from the ICA. But I mentioned that Ales created a website for, uh, for Oregon Sunstone called OregonSunstoneGuide.com. I'm not trying to claim any credit for what I'm about to show you. This, as a gemstone investor, these are tools that I use. I did not create this. But this is hosted at OregonSunstoneGuide.com. And experts, experts have judged this material to be a better investment than diamond. You can see this here. Oregon Sunstone as an investment. They, they grade it across five di different categories. Rarity, color, hardness, refractive index, and its current market value. Five different fields uh, there, each of them individually graded. Garnet, sapphires, diamonds, and Oregon sunstone. And when you aggregate all of those together, you put the whole thing together, appreciate the gem in its entirety, you'll see Oregon sunstone is a better investment, according to the creators of this guide, than diamonds, sapphires, or even garnets, which you know I'm a huge tip. I, I passionately believe in garnet as a, as, as, as a great gem to acquire. Oregon Sunstone pipping all of them, even diamonds, to the post. Now, because of this, another thing that OregonSunstoneGuide.com offers is opportunities to buy, and I want to be clear, not mines, these aren't mines, these are claims of mines. So this is, this is there is no mine, you can just get the claim. You can get the claim and then you can go out there and develop a mine on that plot of land, okay? It's not just the gems that are in crazy demand right now. <laughs> Take a look at this. I went to try and find if there were any claims available, all of them, every, every claim in the, in the area is completely sold. Every single claim. There is no way you can even enter the mining area right now. You know, and try and set up a new claim. Yeah, well, you can, but the, you'd, you'd be happy doing it right on the edge. Uh, every, every claim that we, we, we can say with a reasonable level of, uh, of confidence that there might be some Oregon Sunstone there, completely sold. So not only are the gems achieving record prices, the claim, not the mines, the claims to be able to legally mine are selling uh, completely sold out. Now, previously on this show, I have shared with you 
this talking about investing in Oregon Sunstone, this guide. And, and I've shared it with you in the context of a Serenite show. They say, you know, Oregon Sunstone is fully to semi-transparent. Well, you'll be seeing some fully transparent material here today. Uh, it is the most valued type of all labradite. The gem has found a wide variety of colors, pastel golds. We're going to see some of those, but they're not pastel. These are high saturated golds. We're going to see some oranges. We're going to see some teals there. You can see there. And we may even see a watermelon in this show. I'll point it out to you when we do. Um, Oregon Sunstone is extremely rare. Third line from the, from the bottom. Fully transparent to gemmy quality of color and a copper shiller sunstone is not found anywhere else in the world. Penultimate line, value of this amazing gem ranges from $8 a carat all the way through to $4,500 a carat. Now, when I shared this with you, it was in the context, it was in the context of a, uh, it was in the context of a serenite show. And I said to you, look, this serenite is not the $4,500 a carat material we're talking about. The serenite is not that material. Are you ready to see that four and a half thousand dollar a carat material? Have a look at this. Oh. Beautiful oranges coming through here. That deep, deep gold. If you're grading this as a diamond, it's C seven plus on the champagne scale. This, this is the four oh. and a half we're talking about. It's absolutely exquisite. Yeah, it's incredible material. This is one of the museum pieces we've got coming up in the show. Remember they said semi-transparent? Well, yeah. Eye clean material. Yeah. And bear in mind that four and a half thousand dollars a carat for this, that's what puts this as a, as a better than a diamond investment according to the guide, creators of this guide. I didn't get this material last year or the year before. I didn't get this material then. I told you, I mined this material myself back in the summer of 2014, before all of those crazy price rises, before guides like this came out. The savings you're going to get today, I don't think I have ever offered you opportunity like you have in today's show. I'll tell you what we do. This is the largest piece of the show. It is over 10 wow. carats. We're talking about a 12 carat giant here, wow. calibrated. That is just the one. There is just the one. A lot of these, I've got quite a few different museum opportunities, one or two in stock. That's yeah. the nature of the beast. Uh, the, 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 the later, later on in the show, there are some, uh, some, more, uh, some, some other opportunities for you. But the, the nature of the beast in this is this is a very, very rare gem, especially with some of these museum pieces. Let's go. Let's open the graphics right now. Wow. It's such, such a sophisticated gemstone. Yeah, and, and in this every si aspect. At this kind of size, you've got beautiful sage greens. This is exactly what we're looking for from this yeah. material. Sage greens there, khakis. It's almost serenite. It's almost, not serenite, rather. It's almost zarite esque. Do you know, I was about to say that, and I kind of was like, oh, should I, should I, shouldn't I? Yeah, no, 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 it has got absolutely. that similarity it, it immediately. Has got that simil it's got quite a few similarities. Yeah. It's got a single source location similarity. Yeah. It's got those beautiful sage greens that we're looking for. And it's also got valuation of thousands and thousands of carat. We heard up to four and a half thousand dollars a carat. There's just the one of these. Uh, Liam, four and a half thousand a carat. We've got 12 carats. Let's go 2,250 pounds. Wow. So Liam, you've just, I mean, he, Liam's just mentioned a figure to me of what this would be on, that, on, on the basis of that Potentially chart. over $50,000. That's astonishing. Um, and it's, it, it's there. It's been publicised, as you said, so frequently across lots of different uh, sort of magazines and authors. Yeah, we, we've seen uh, from some of the biggest sources in the world. Now, look, I put this for you on four split pays to be able to try and make this doable. Yeah. Liam, we are right now at the price that is about half the per carat potential value for this gem. What you are about to see, what you're about to see bears no relation to the value of this gem. What you're about to see reflects one thing and one thing only. I have not bought this last year. I did not buy it in the year before. I got this back in 2014 and I was mining for these gems myself. Liam, 800 pounds. 
Eight, eight on split pay? Seven nine nine. I'm going to hold the four split pays wow. in for you. No, I thought that was going to be like eight. Sorry, I hadn't looked at the graphics. Eight hundred pounds on the four split pay per split pay. That's astonishing. The, 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 the savings. This is just now. Let's be absolutely clear. What's happening here? This is wow. only because. I was able to go out back in 2014, the summer of 2014, mine these gems myself for you. I remember you. you going. All natural, all American gem material. Wow. Um, there are, just to make you all aware, eight of you showing interest in this one piece. Eight of you there. You can get this home for £199.99 pence across the four split pays. That's incredible. You are talking about one of... Uh, it's totally natural as well. There's no treatment. 100% natural. All natural, all American. This wow. is the Oregon Sunstone that is making so many head headlines in the industry. I mean, look at that. Such beautiful, beautiful elegance. I've never seen... I mean, it, it, when you say sunstone, most of us will make the assumption of... Uh, um, um, most of us will make the assumption of sort of, I don't know, those flashes of gold or, or orange that we see. It's totally different to that. Totally, totally different. This truly is one of the most beautiful gemstones I think I've ever, ever seen. Um, such class, such elegance and that fabulous. It is beautiful, isn't it? I agree. I agree. And the kind of piece that, you know, if had this been uh, commissioned into a one-of-a-kind piece of jewellery, um, would, of course, be sort of smothered in SI-graded diamonds and set into your high-end precious uh, precious metals, the likes of your platinums and your 18-karat golds upwards. That's what I expect with something of this calibre. What I'm going to do, Liam, we're going to make another saving for you. Oh. Let's go straight down, 499 We're going to take this under £500, and we've seen how this could be a 50 thousand dollar wow. gemstone in today's market 500 pounds and i'm going to say to you 30 seconds and i'm going to take that museum yeah. opportunity back it'd be the first person there are currently about nearly 10 yeah. different uh, i want to say collectors some of them might be investors some of them might be ateliers 10 of you nearly competing for this now uh, it, it'll be the uh, it'll be the first person to confirm checkout oh do you know what that is that's absolutely incredible. What an amazing acquisition. A one locational gemstone. There's 14 of you right, now. I'm going to leave that there. Yeah. We'll, we'll take that you. one away. Take that one away. We're going to show you lots of different gems here. The first, begin, first part of the show, different museum specimens, different museum worthy wow. specimens. Take a look at this next one. Same dimensions, exactly the same dimensions here, this time in an oval cut for you. I love this one. Take a look. Yeah, that's absolutely incredible, it's, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's combining. It's, this is a colour we very rarely see in the gem world. It's called green gold. Yeah. You can see how it's got that sage green in there. And then the, the key colour is almost a sage green. And then you get that beautiful brilliance of that liquid gold coming through as well. Wow. Now, the dimensions are exactly the same. I'm going to keep this really simple for you. Make you, you, you just present it as a really simple choice. Look at wow. this. Wow. Straight down, 499. Wow. You almost have the same visualities as colour change gemstones, don't yeah. you? Because you have those sort of occasional flashes of, of sort of greens, as you said earlier on. Beautiful, warm tones. Uh, nine and three quarter carats. And again, this is one. There's one in the world. Uh, we've got two chances on this one, oh, actually. Two. We've, got, so we've got two opportunities available wow. on this one. Again, it's going to be the first people to check out. This, this really is for those of you who want to build a, a masterpiece, you know, an atelier gem for you. Guaranteed minimum of nine and three quarters. On average, over 10 carats in the mm. gem. 18 by 13. So it is calibrated. It'd be very easy for a jeweler to go and make a mount for you if you, yeah. if you don't feel confident working with something of this potential value. But it's about the savings. I appreciate it's considered, but consider the savings you're making as well today. Oh, absolutely. And, and this, uh, yeah, well, I, I've, I, I'm by no means, um, I'm by no means a sort of a, a precious metal worker, but I agree with you, Jake. I mean, when you're looking at something of this pedigree, of this calibre, 
um, if you're creative, then I should imagine you can put pen to paper and design something absolutely amazing. And then uh, maybe at some point uh, sort of invest in the actual mount itself and um, create that one of a kind, that true legacy piece of jewellery with a gemstone that is... Um, like I say, breaking all records, winning every single award um, that the gemstone world actually has to offer. Again, there is a lot of interest in these. Um, you can get it home on your split pay, £124.99. The elegance of the oval, it's all down to personal preference, um, sort of which, which shape or, or you, you want. You've got that wonderful condensation of champagne-like colours, isn't it? Yeah, it's, you've got champagnes, you've got greens coming through, deep golden hues as well. Oregon sunstone. This is that four and a half thousand, up to four and a half thousand dollar carat material. The yeah. potential for what you can achieve in today's show is incredibly, incredibly exciting. The, one of the one of just a few museum pieces for you available right now. Wow! Make sure you check out. We've got Staffordshire, Bristol, Yorkshire, and West Midlands um, showing interest um, in this, and I, I don't blame you. It's absolutely divine, isn't it? Such luxury, and of course, and what rarity um, added with a beauty like this, astonishing beauty like this. It's a win-win situation. Incredible. Um, congratulations to the, the, the two people that are successful in this. And um, we've got discussions being made on the phone lines as well. Um, good luck. Don't hesitate. Don't forget you also get well the done. certificate to go alongside it oh, as well. You, everything's certified for you because what you have, remember, is what the, uh, what the ICA's authority, Alex Quivenek, former mine owner, describing as a better investment than a diamond here for you. Now, this next one that we've got for you, I am incredibly excited as a deal because we have specially commissioned for you one of the largest mounts we have ever made to host this incredible, incredible gem. Have a look at the gem. Oh, my goodness. In the mount there for you. This is an enormous 14 by 10 millimeter gem. We're going to do the... This is fine jewellery. Yeah. This is what this show is here to do. It's to help you. We're going to open that mount on pre-order for you. We'll run the mount auction immediately afterwards. Of course, it can accommodate any 14 by 10 millimeter gem. But really, this is fine jewellery that we're looking at mm. right now. An Oregon Sunstone, 14 by 10 millimeters, all natural, all American gem. Mined in 2014. And that is the only reason we're able to do these kind of prices. I mean, four carats times four and a half thousand dollars a carat. You're looking at what twelve to fourteen thousand dollars for the gemstone oh, alone. Sorry, sixteen to eighteen thousand dollars for the gemstone alone. For the gem alone, deep golden hues oh. right now. Deep golden hues with a secondary sage tone. Oh, that! Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness me! That. That's absolutely, utterly stunning. I, I'm about to say something um, that I don't, I don't say lightly, Jake. I think I've just found my new favourite gemstone. Uh, I, look, Al, there's so many. You are not alone. There are so many, so many collectors, investors, jewellery professionals mm. who, until they saw this gem, had so many different stones. A, a complete eclectic mix. Oh. And yet, once you witness this gem firsthand, there is no going back from what you've seen. Now, first crash, 399. First crash, first. 399. Because I want, I said this show is about creating for you the opportunity. It's about creating for you the opportunity to craft fine jewelry. We're opening up four split pays to try and make this doable for you. Are you ready for the opportunity of a lifetime? This is the fine jewellery you can have wow. a, you can have the opportunity to make. Wow. And the, the actual setting process is no different to any other gemstone that no, you had, the, we've set previously. It, absolutely not. Absolutely not. The, the, the opportunity here is it's in the stone. Yeah. It's in the size of the mount. The, the technical challenge is that... They are, th th there is no difference. There no. is no difference. This is exactly the same skill set you have already honed and perfected over the last 15 months. Now, if you've already got the stone, make sure you are getting the mount straight away as well. 
You can Liam. pre order that. Half the price no on screen for me. This has got to be right now the lowest, the most affordable, the best opportunity globally, globally to acquire certified Oregon Sunstone. All American, all natural, the gem of the moment, wow. the gem that is tipped by experts as a better investment than wow. diamonds. Up to four and a half thousand dollars a carat. We are at fifty pounds a carat right That's now. Incredible. You are going to have to be quick, though. Um, I, I, I don't know if I, you might, you might, you might tell me off for saying this, but genuinely, I want. Can you make a note of this code because I want to buy one of these? That's absolutely beautiful. Um, beautiful. Whether it's a a prong set ring, a pendant, whichever. I mean, look at that. It's it's that dance of brilliance that you actually have within each and every single no one of them. No other gem. No other gem is able to do this for you. And on split pay at forty nine ninety nine, wow. consider the savings you make. Consider the step, the bold leap you are making into the world of making fine jewelry this oh. morning. But. You, know, you can definitely go and get this made into a ring as well for yourself if you That's wanted to. Thinking. 14 by 10 millimetres, it's a calibrated size, so it's very, very doable. That, that's exactly what I'm thinking, Jake. I mean, uh, I... That's amazing, but can you imagine that? That the pendant's absolutely beautiful, but can you also imagine it in this lovely, in a sort of Tiffany-inspired S classic prong set? Are just gorgeous. I mean, it just oozes. The, the you know the price per carat that you were mentioning at the beginning. This is no reflection of that uh, uh, sort of the true value here. Do check out the baskets. Did we have many of these available? It's a silly question, really. No, no, no. Not, not, no. Look, remember, I, I've brought you quantities of, of. I've once bought a quantity of a thousand on this show. It, it, it's never going to be possible with this gem. No. You cannot get those kind of sizes with this gem. Opportunity to save money today. I think it's the best I've done in 15 oh. months of bringing you this guy, uh, di well, different kinds of gem material. I don't think I will ever tire of looking at this. No. Ever, it's, ever tire I mean, of If it. you look at the piece of jewellery one more time, the quality of what you are, the, the, the kind of jewellery you're being invited to make right now. This is. This is fine jewellery. The, the, you know, there's designer costume jewellery, fine. Of course. The, 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 there are other different categories of jewellery. But this is the world of fine jewellery right now. This is the world of Bond Street and Boutique that we're looking at. Mm -hmm. Totally agree. Um, you can actually get this home jewellery makers for £49.99. Well, I, I, listen, uh, consider me if there's any of them left uh, included in purchasing this, Jake, because that, that is desperate desperately um going to be my next acquisition i absolutely adore it you have this wonderful uh, combination um of champagne with the flashes of green and red that you were just referencing earlier on um those of you that have got one of these on their way to you massive heartfelt congratulations it's 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 incredible and I, um yeah add me to the bottom of that list if there are any of them available because that is absolutely utterly beautiful my new favorite gemstone um 49.99 that's incredible okay i'm gonna leave that with you do i have to part with that one have you written that code down thank you um okay what Where an amazing, to... no, amazing just, opportunity. just stunning now have a look at the pendant this is the jewelry that this mount allows you to make this is the jewellery that this mountain allows you to, to, to be able to craft yourself. You'll probably look at this going, there's no way I could make something this beautiful. It's absolutely in your power to do that. You are able to do this. It's a solid gold mount. You can see it's got this brave column of yeah. white zircon, uh, which f go the full length of the bale, essentially turning it into an invisible bale. And here we've set it with that Oregon sunstone that we just brought you. That's now, absolutely beautiful. I think, in fact, no, it is. This is the largest gold mount we have ever mm. made. This is the wow. largest mount we have ever made. For solid gold, I'm going to do the craziest deal on bullion I have ever done. Liam? Forty nine ninety nine on the mount. Have a look again. Have a look again. Here's the mount there. You can see it there. Beautiful to see. It'll fit, it'll fit any, it will fit any 14 by 10 calibrated gem. And I've brought you a few of them over the, over the, over the period of time. We put on four split pays again for you. 12.49. So it's £12.50. 
that Ooh. shows you how high this is supposed to be. It's the largest solid gold mount we have ever done for you. Have a look at the jewelry. You can make this incredible piece of fine jewelry. This is absolutely heirloom. You can craft this piece of jewelry for 250 pounds right some, now. That is absolutely when you, incredible. When you consider the worth and value, my goodness me, go and get this valued. Create yeah, it, yeah. go and get it valued. Yeah. Make sure you go to a valuer who understands the, appreciate, the, the value of, their, or, 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 of Oregon Sunstone, and you are gonna be blown away That's by the value you've created. Um, yeah, well, Liam's just made a really good point. You know, if you've bought 14 by 10 millimeter stones from previous showcases, then absolutely. If you, and if you are a gold wearer, then that's probably the lowest price I've ever seen on nine carat gold um, yeah. in, a, in a very long time. You know, the price has got a shot through the roof. But you want that luxury when we're talking about Oregon sunstone. This is not, you know, that we, we don't say that casually. This is not, in my opinion, it's not necessarily something that you would possibly include um, in... A, in the sterling silvers, it's going to be gold or platinums even because of the actual rarity of it. You can get it home for twelve forty nine on your split pay. Just amazing. You have that wonderful deep wide uh, um, gallery as well, really to showcase the brilliance, that performance of light that Jake referenced um, at, the, at the introduction of the showcase. Absolutely amazing. Huge, huge congratulations, everyone who is crafting this incredible, incredible piece of jewelry art. This incredible piece of high jewelry for 250 pounds. Oh. I mean, I don't think there's ever been a better opportunity to enter that fine jewelry world. Well done. Oh. Oh my goodness me. Oh my goodness me. You said about cutting, cutting. Yeah. Uh, lots of uh, gem artists are choosing to work lots with this. Lots of gem this. artists work with this. It, it, you know, this is a regular now at the AGTA Awards because oh. every single time you want to win an award, you put this gem in there. We've spent seven years perfecting the cutting for this material. Have a look at this. Oh my goodness now, me. Now, it's saying a square. It is a square silhouette, but it is a princess cut for you right now. That's Deep amazing. golds again, wonderful sages kicking through as well on this material. That's so beautiful. The return of light that you're getting here is just extraordinary. It really is. In uh, the definition, again, you said earlier on about how, I mean, I, I assume anybody that's cutting with, excuse me, sorry, with your Oregon Sunstone is going to be of the sort of most uh, highly qualified, highly skilled lapidarists in the world, I should imagine. And what they're aiming to achieve is what is on our screens right now, that performance of lightning. Look, at, look as I just rotate it, rock it gently back and forth, look at how um, each one of those facets in your princess cut just channels that light. That's absolutely incredible. Is a princess cut more complex oh, in absolutely. this, in this uh, gemstone? You know, take a round brilliant, it's typically got um, 56, 57, 58 facets on it. Uh, princess cut has over 70. Wow. So it's significantly more challenging, but look at the fire. Look yeah. at the explosion, look at the performance of light you get as a result of it. Liam, let's go straight down please on this one, 100, and 49 pounds for you on this what? princess cut. What? 149 pounds. Uh, okay, now there's one issue here, jewelry makers, and I think that's uh, A, there's not gonna be enough quantity of these to go around. And also, um, oh yeah, which one do you choose? I mean, look at that, that's absolutely incredible. The precision that you're getting within the actual princess cut. I mean, that, for me, surpasses any champagne diamond. Oh, absolutely. It's, it's, it surpasses it in several ways. One, uh, the, the, the performance of light, but particularly its rarity. Yeah. And, 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 and go on to OregonSunstoneGuide.com. It's value as an investment vehicle as well. Uh, the, the, the authors of that guide there, you can see rating this at 7.3. A diamond at seven. We're down to one final chance. Oh. It could be you. You could get this princess cut, the largest princess cut we have, largest princess cut we've ever cut in this material. You can do this today, but you do have to be quick. Wow. Uh, that is absolutely amazing. Yorkshire, well done. Bristol, well done. We've got multi-buyers on this as well. I'm going to leave that final one with you because we've got two customers on the phone line for that. Um, oh, 
goodness me, I can't. I'd love to see your reaction when you get that home. Um, okay, moving on to. Oh my goodness. Now, what happens when you take a princess cup? <gasps> Green. And elongate it. That's the question. And here is your answer. Oh. Have a look. Oh, wow. Now, you will notice straight away, one, how beautiful the cut is. But those of you who are keen-eyed will also have noticed the strength of the green yeah. in this one is a step up. Yeah. It is a step up in colour for you right now. Wow. And therefore a step up in value. Okay, so the more cut colour presence, the, the more valuable. The deeper the green, the more valuable. Wow. This is the deepest green we've had in the show so yeah. far. Yeah, uh, that was the first thing I noticed when I picked it up. Unquestionably to me, unquestionably the deepest green that we've had so far in the show. Now, those of you who are, you know, those of you who are looking to, 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 to acquire and, 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 and want to acquire those deeper hues, this is probably the one for you. It's the, la it's, the, it's the most green gem we have in these larger sizes. We do not have many of these, half a dozen of them, that's all. We're looking at 11 by 9 millimeter calibrated for you, radiant cut, octagon shape. Liam, I am not going to price in that green. If I'm going to do the first thing I can, I'm going to match the price. Let's match the price of the princess that we just brought you. I know it's got a lot more green. I know that. But when I was mining this gem, I was buying all of the rough. I was mining the gem and, and buying what I mined. When I was m buying this gem, the rough all cost the same. They don't say, right, okay, well, that bit of rough cost this and that bit of rough cost that. No price allocation for the green there for you. What an opportunity. Wow. But you have got to be quick on this one. Wow. Um, the Princess Cut sold out, and I think this is going to be um, making its way very, very quickly as well. Like you said, the precision of those facets, you've got that wonderful... Um, um, you have that really beautiful coolie, um, but the elegance that comes with your radiant cut as well, with the intensity of the green. Again, we have got um, people getting uh, showing a lot of interest in this. One hundred and forty nine ninety nine. This is. I mean. Uh, we were discussing today's show prior to Jake's arrival and we were thinking, okay, well, this is going to be a considered, of course, it's, it's Oregon Sunstone. They're going to be considered prices. I was expecting it to be way more than what's on your screen. Yeah, no, this is <laughs> what we're doing today. We are really winding the clock back seven years and you're seeing the kind of value that happens when you go to the mine, which I did. I went and mined this for you and we've applied no markup based on over wow. the years what's happened to the value of this gem. We've done nothing to that. We've just said, right, we got a great deal back in 2014. We got the best deal back in 2014 and you are getting that same deal right now. I wonder how many people today are starting up their own little gem trading businesses mm. right now on the fly saying, look, do you know what? I've never traded gemstones before, but Oregon Sunstone, up to four and a half thousand dollars a carat with this level yeah. of green for me, for me, this is the pick of the show so far. Wow. This is the pick of the show so far. Huge well done, those of you who are seeing this gem and, and, and getting hold of it. Wow, and, and this you, this was one of the gemstones that you were going to be taking to the JCK. Oh yeah, yeah absolutely. So this is the parcel that I was going to be taking to that JCK show. I know that in America, that's where we'll get the, the highest value for this material because yeah. it, obviously it's an all American, all natural gemstone, it's homegrown. Uh, they, they, the, the, the valuations, that's where it's hitting that four and a half thousand a carat. And then it ta it'll take maybe a year or two for that valuation to spread around the world because America is the world's largest gemstone market. So whatever happens there, it bleeds out to the rest of the world. This is the opportunity. Good luck getting involved in this for the deepest green of the show so far. Oh, again, the colors. That, that that come from, again. I can see. I can see green and pink in this next one. Now we will assess this together. Oh. Because when you see greens and pinks, you enter the fabled wow. world of watermelon, the most valuable color of them all. Have a look. Oh my goodness. 
Oh my goodness, man. Green in the center. You've got this kernel, uh, the center there of green. And then around the outside, you have the red. Essentially, it's the inversion of this, what you can see in this piece here. So in the piece on the left of the rough, you can see how you get the color center of red. And then on the outside, you get this uh, thin rind of green. The opposite is happening in your particular gem here. Watermelon sunstone. Green and the red on the outside. This is the most valuable. It is the most rare. It is around as well. I, I hate to break it to you. Two chances. That's all we've got on this. Two chances for the first watermelon sunstone of the show. I'm yeah. incredibly excited that we've even got one of these for you. Yeah. You are going to have to be so, so quick on this next gem. Uh, look, I know you always go wild for the rounds. We've got a round, but we've also got it in the rarest color of them all in the sunstone. The yeah. rarest color of them all in the sunstone. You've got that green center and then that red iris working its way around, turning this into a watermelon That's gem. <laughs> watermelon sunstone is the rarest of them all. Wow. I mean, uh, listen, I've my original statement, draw a line through the item code. I don't care which one of these I get, I, I get as long as it's one. This is in incredible already people um showed interest and i'm with you on that that is beautiful tell you what i'm gonna do let's go straight down on this 129 pounds for, for the for the watermelon for the most valuable of them all do you know what jake i'm looking at this and i said i i heard adam say in my ear earlier Gosh, it's even incredible on the underside. The part yeah. where we're not effectively going to be seeing it in, in finished jewelry. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that cutting. Look at the cutting. Look at the clarity yeah. as well okay. that you're getting here. Completely. Remember, they said this could be a semi-transparent gem. It is absolutely oh. finest water. And we've got one final opportunity now. Oh. There's four in baskets. It doesn't mean it's going to go to one of those basketeers. If you, it, it can do if they check out. But if you equally, you can dial right now for the final of this, That's the amazing. largest round of it sold out. Yeah. So add it to your wish list. Add it to your wish list. Now what That's we'll do, let's, let, let's go. We had that princess before, it completely sold out. Mm -hmm. I want to bring you another princess cut next. Another princess cut next. This one, a big nine millimeter. Take a look. Wow. Oh. Absolutely Beautiful astonishing. Beautiful greens. You can really see those sage greens kicking through here. That's the body color of the gem. And then the key color, that's the color of the brilliance, is this rich, deep golden hue. One locational. Oh. Every single, yeah, yeah, I can see the teals as well. Yeah, definitely. Look at this. Three carrots that you're getting in a magnificent natural solitaire. It's hard to choose, isn't it? They're all so effortless, effortlessly beautiful. I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's go straight down on this one, please. 119 pounds. That's astonishing when we were talking about $4,500 per carrot currently yeah. in the market yeah. for the gemstone alone. And, not, and, not and bear in mind that when they, when they said that this gem was, uh, look at that, £30 on split pay for That's you. That's crazy. When they said that this gem was a better investment than a diamond, part of the reason, a big part of that reason is because a lot of industry analysts say $4,500 a carat is undervaluing this gem. Wow. It is under, so four and a half thousand dollars a carat, it seems wild. That's undervaluing this gem. And actually the, the expectation of the analyst is that it's gonna go a lot higher okay. moving forward as more and more people find out about this material. More demand goes out there and supply just cannot keep up. We're looking at a seven year old mine. It was the first, sorry, the first year of mining was there when the GIA research team were there. We were there in the second season. I was there myself mining this gem for you. That's the only way anything like this is even remotely possible for wow. you. Wow. I mean, you, we've, we've referenced this quite a few times, Jake, you and I on the shows before. You know, we're, we're both passionate about our gemstones, of course. Um, but 
as as parents, uh, you know, uh, with with children, this is the kind of gemstone that we want to acquire for them. You know, yes. To be custodians uh, of this gemstone. Absolutely right. This is a, this is an heirloom gem. Yeah. This is a, this is a gem that gets passed down generations. This is a gem where. Because you are in the right place at the right time, you have the opportunity to yeah. acquire. They don't get the opportunity, so you have to act for them. We're down to the last, how many of these we've got? One. One, one, one final left. chance of this. Mm -hmm. the, the largest remaining princess cut of the show. That's absolute. I mean, just imagine it as a finished piece of jewellery. The fact that you can get this home for £30, that's incredible. So £300 on split pay, you know, if it was £300 at times four, I, I could totally make peace with that. £30 for something of this rarity and beauty. Okay, I'm going to leave that last one with you because, again, there is um, a lot of interest. Um, okay. Now, this cut, this cut is my favourite cut in this material. In this material. Let me show you the rough one more time and, you, and you'll probably see straight away why I love this cut so much. Um, it's down to how the rough itself tends to form. It tends to form in these quite square shapes, and you'll notice that the kernel of colour is itself quite a square form as well, mm -hmm. roughly a square form. And I think that it's square cuts particularly that really pull out the colour. So I present to you, for the first time in the show, the square cushion shape. Have a look at this. Lovely sage, really consistent right the way through. You can feel that this has been cut right in the center yeah. of that color kernel. Yeah, yeah you can. Uh, again, the green struck me immediately when I actually picked up this piece. Nine millimeters in that really wonderful soft cushion cut. Oh, and you're getting a two carat solitaire. I mean, I, 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 it's, I guess the same rule applies. The larger the stone, the rarer the oh, Oregon the, sunstone. Absolutely. It's the largest stones that hit that four and a half thousand a carat material mark. Right, let's go straight down on this. A hundred and nineteen pounds again, please. Wow. I can see that. Is it, is it, can everybody else see the pink on the sort of circumference yeah, of the like cushion? Yeah, there's, there's a little blush there, isn't there? Yeah. So having that combination of greens and pinks, and it's we're not we're not talking sort of the most intense vibrant. It's it, it, it's a it's an undertone. Well, isn't this, it? yeah, this one, especially that that, that pink is it, 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 it's very blush on the side there. But you're at thirty wow. pounds split pay for a green, unmistakably a green, all natural Oregon sunstone, well over two carats. This material up to four and a half thousand carats, uh, you know, in the trade that is. And you are at a huge saving compared to that, only because this material was mined seven years ago. We cut out all the men wow. and men to deliver this for you. Good luck, everyone, today who is acquiring this. Wow. You can get this home for $29.99. I'll be joining you on this sh showcase. It's absolutely sensational. You know, if you've admired the likes of your Zarite and thought, oh, what a beautifully elegant, sophisticated gemstone, I mean... Um, this, I think, is, is rivaling that beauty, isn't it? It's got distinct similarities. One locational. I'm not saying chemically it's the same, but certainly visually. There are a few parallels to draw. One location. Thousands a carat. And it's got yeah. that sage, that same sage khaki green colour palette to it as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Beautiful to see. I love it. Absolutely love it. Congratulations to our um, collectors. What a beautiful acquisition you have just made. Um, absolutely stunning. Congratulations. Yeah. And again, don't forget, every single one of these is certified. Um, has been certified to so actually get that. Um, okay, moving on to... Now, this is one of my favourite lots of the whole show. One of my favourite picks of the whole show. Why? Because you remember how popular the one was when we could make, allow you to make the pendant? Well, how about we allow you to make a fine piece of jewellery in a ring this time? Mm -hmm. The rings are always more popular. We're looking at a huge 10 by 8 calibrated sunstone here. An enormous oh. 10 by 8 calibrated sunstone. We've got a gold mount to fit. It's on pre-order right away. There probably aren't enough of those to go around, particularly if you if you want, if you're really specific about your size. So do get involved early. They're gonna do the gem first and then the mount. Have a look at this stone. 
You mentioned teals earlier on. There's a real dem uh, dominance of teal yeah, within which, this one. Yeah, this is the first one that I would say is, is fairly described as teal. You've got real blue-green drifting between the two uh, in this gem, and there's the mount it'll pop into. Wow. Look at that. I'm just going to show you against the back of my hand as well, jewelry makers. I mean, that is... Deep green. Oh, be, uh, deep, yeah. deep green, deep teal. This is one of the best of the show. Let me okay. really be clear about that. This is one of the best gems of the showcase. We've seen bigger. Had we seen more saturated? Okay. Absolutely not. This is, look, as a gem investor tell you, this is my pick of the show. I'm going to urge you right now to get involved. What we'll do is we'll show you how to get involved. We'll show you how you do that. Look at the color on screen. I promise you, you're going to be blown away by the savings you make for a guaranteed two carat gem. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee, so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. We have not seen a colour this saturated all show. The depth of saturation in these greens, wow. it is, look, it's game changing. This is what we're talking about. When we talk about up to four, four and a half thousand account, this is still all natural, all American material. Mined in the Oregon high desert, the gem of the moment. The GIA have been there. The ICA are tipping this, or authors from the ICA rather, are tipping this as a better investment than a diamond, despite the fact that it's already reached valuations of up to four and a half thousand a carat. Wow. That make it a $9,000 gem at a yeah. gem show. You can yeah. understand why I, as a gem investor, wanted to take this material to a gem show. Of course. When we, we, look, we could put on there $9,000 for the gem, and then if someone wants to come and negotiate a thousand or two thousand off, it, it's still a wonderful bit of business and they're saving some money. Liam, we are going to go for one crash and one crash only on this. Ninety nine, ninety nine. We are going under a hundred pounds wow. for the first time today, and we're doing it on quite frankly the best gem color of the day as well. Yeah, because it's that de definite deep green stroke. You can see that teal. It, you can see the teal. You can tell it should be a lot more because, look, you've still got your four split pays that yes. held in there. $24.99 to unlock for you, unlock for your family using the split pay method, unlock for you the incredible color that's certified Oregon Sunstone. Oh. All natural, all American, the gem of the moment. You know, we've seen this gem up at $4,500 a carat. We are here right now at, 90, at under £100 for you. The savings you're making right now, I tell you, you can make the whole ring we're about to show you far less than £200. But it's a piece of fine jewellery. Absolutely. You know, think yeah. about the names of the jewellers who are making this. Do you think Narinjan Kalsa is making and designing jewellery for you that goes for £200? No. Do you think Dalen Hargrave is going and making a piece of jewellery for less than £200? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. These are some of the biggest names in the industry, and yet they are working with this material. They're not making pieces for under £200. You can do that right now at this absolutely... It's the best deal of the show. It is the best deal of the show so far. Oh, I mean, and it is so classically timeless in your beautiful oval cut. $24.99 to get hold of this natural American beauty with the dominance of those wonderful greens and teals uh, coming through. N in the brackets, by the way, no treatment, natural. That's what it basically means. A huge acquisition, not just for right here, right now, jewelry makers, something that you are a custodian for, uh, for future generations. Because, I, I mean, we know it's one locational, so straight away we know the rarity is there. But, I mean, is mining ab abundant, Jake, or is uh, it very not, limited? No, we're, talking about, we're talking about a 
smaller mining area mm -hmm. than the entire of the Tanzanite mining area. Right. So take block A, B, C, and D. The area where they mine this gem is smaller than Tanzanite. It is a smaller mining area than Tanzanite right. is, which is, which is always regarded as, as the, the gold standard for small mining sections. It's not that Tanzanite's big. You know, think about the Mozambique ruby deposit. It's the size of New York City. Think about the Zambian Emerald, Foya Foya Belt. You know, it, it, it's about a 20 square kilometer area. Wow. The, the, the Tanzanite deposit, much smaller. And yet this gem, smaller even than Tanzanite, rarer than Tanzanite. Wow. Um, you can get that home jewelry makers at 99.99 or on four split pays. Uh, 24, I'm joining you. I'm joining you. And, and listen, I'm not a, I, I'm not a, um, a gem setter. It's not something that I've actually had um, really honed in on in terms of my skill. But this is 100% making me want to well, do the, that. Well, the other thing you can do, Al, really simple. Get the stone. Get them out if you're not sure. You've got the value parts yeah, right there. Yeah. Take it to your local jeweler, yeah, ask them absolutely. to put one in the other. I mean, uh, you can do it yourself. You absolutely, I, I know you can do it yourself. But if you really are unsure, then that's an option as well. A solid gold mount. Now, this will fit any, this will fit any 10 by 8 gem. Look at the amount of gold that's invested into this, of course. I've noticed that with your sunstone, it's only gold. It's only gold that we're actually bringing so far. Um, and again, that should be a, a, a sort of a, a highlight of um, the value of the gemstone. So this is solid nine carat gold. J2K has immediately gone limited on these. Tell you what we'll do on the ring, straight down, 69.99. For solid nine carat gold. A solid nine carat gold mount. You've actually got well over a gram of solid gold here. Yeah. That's amazing, isn't it? Absolutely amazing. Uh, because these have actually been sort of commissioned um, to complement your sunstone, um, is that why you have such a sort of a wonderful wide open gallery to allow the light? You yeah, well, what we're trying to do is we're going to be able to make it, you know, if you're making your sunstone jewellery, it's an estate piece of it's an estate yeah. piece of jewellery. So what we want is, you know, you want a mat that's going to last the test of time. That's why it's got that architecture built into the shoulders so that you, it, you know, it raises and feels like a premium piece of jewellery. But also open galleries so that it's easy to clean as you pass this down generation to generation. Easy to keep that sunstone sparkling as brightly as it has the very first day you got it. Uh, R to S has gone limited, um, L to M is now limited, J to K uh, is on the verge of selling out jewellery makers, so do be quick. You you can resize this, Jake, can't you? Because it is no solid problem. gold. You, you can resize it, and, and you know, you'll see that there's plenty of gold on, on, on the back side of it as well uh, to, to, to be able to do that. But of course, right now, I'd be getting, get your size, yeah, get your well, size so you yeah. can enjoy it. Exactly. And then future generations, they can, they can resize this, no problems at all. <laughs> it will also, of course, fit any 10 by eight gems. So if you've got yes. other 10 by eight gems in your collection and you're, uh, you, you, are, you are interested in getting hold of those, uh, the, the, uh, mounting those, this is, the, this is the mount to buy. Wow, I mean, we've been asking for nine carat gold mounts here at Jewelry Maker, and it's so lovely that we actually have them back. Um, we have them finally. Okay, moving on to... Um, now, one of the most popular cuts that we brought you before was the Radiant Cut. Yeah. The Radiant Cut just works. It is a dream to be able to experience the Radiant Cut. What we've got coming up for you is another Radiant Cut. We've only had one of them so far in the mm. show. Are you ready to see your next Radiant Cut? Have a look. The, the elegance of the radiant cut is just oh right okay. really concentrating that, yeah. those greens through as well isn't it this is what we want to see we want to see those sages we want to see those greens if you get a secondary blue hue in there even better this is what it's about another radiant cut coming up for you nine by seven so big size that's beautiful it's the yeah, greeny blue undertone yeah. that you actually get. Yeah, I think Radiant might be up there with one of my favourites. Uh, 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 you know, that cut works so perfectly with diamonds, but I tell you what, it looks even better with Oregon Sunstone, don't you think? Oh. Right, here's what we're going to do. Let's go 99.99 on an unquestionably deep sage green uh, in the Radiant Cut. Straight away, we've got collectors... Uh, 
loving this. Yeah, I, I want to join you, by the way. And I'm going to say right now, we are not stopping here for you. Despite this being one of the deepest greens we've seen in the show, despite the saturation being absolutely top gem, we're going to go straight down to the lowest price we've seen on an Oregon Sunstone. Really? Not five pounds off, not 10 pounds off. Let's take a huge 20 pound saving. And talking of 20 pounds, you can now get this for 20 pounds on split pay, uh, for split payments of 20 pounds, for a enormous, uh, well over a carat and a half, beautiful green Oregon Sunstone. Oh my goodness me. The, the, we're at £79.99. On Oregon Sunstone, which yeah. is just unheard of. So, I mean, honestly, so, I'm so glad. I'm so glad that right now on the west coast of the United States, it's around about 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, yeah, Because if yeah, Oregon yeah. miners, if the Oregon miners could see what we're doing right now, I, I would be a persona non grata across that entire western <laughs> seaboard. Uh, look, uh, seriously, the savings we're bringing you right now that they are completely against the direction the industry is going. This material, year on year on year, is gaining value. It's going up in price consistently year after year after year. And yet right now we are bringing you a sizable gem, a huge gem. Wow. We're bringing it at $79.99. Nowhere else in the world do I know where people are doing this. No, I mean, that that's, you can get it home for £20. So for one of the rarest gemstones on the planet. We're at $79.99. Imagine, with a radiant cut as well. I'd imagine, again, it cuts like radiant princess. You pay a premium for them oh, in any absolutely. other gemstone. Uh, absolutely. This is a, is a, look, it's a premium cut Yes. on a more than premium gem. Absolutely. All natural Oregon sunstone mined in the Oregon high desert. One place on the planet in a smaller area than Tanzanite. It's a gem that's rarer than Tanzanite. Mm -hmm. It's a gem that shares its colour palette with Zarite. It is a gem that is tipped by the authors of Oregon Sunstone Guide as a better investment than a diamond. You take all of that as a package that looks this beautiful and it's $79.99, just £20 on screen That's to get amazing. involved in that journey. H huge well done, those of you who are taking advantage. I mean, I mean, you just think, right, take, take a sort of a memory snapshot of what you've just achieved right now. Yeah. Fast forward, if you can, 10 years. Who knows what the potential will be? Oh, my word. I mean, word. it's pretty exciting now at $4,500. I mean, this, this is what I do. I regularly, in my day-to-day, -day is I help people build portfolios of mm. fine jewellery and gemstones. And this gem, it doesn't come better than this gem for achieving that. Wow. Now, let's go to our next op op option for you, our next lot. Very limited. Very, very limited. And wow. when you see the cut, well, have a look. Oh. Eight millimeter princess cut. Oh, I can't, I can't choose. They're all so beautiful. Eight Love millimeter this. princess. Beautiful Ima to see. Imagine that in a four prong elevated solitaire ring oh, yeah. mount. And I'm, I'm visualizing, you know, sort of, you know, one of those uh, sort of twisted shanks where you have the, the, the prongs almost cross over on one another. Imagine that. That is going to absolutely blow any diamond out the water. I believe, anyway, in beauty. And I'm a diamond girl. I like diamonds, of course. But blow it out of the water for beauty. Blow it out of the water for rarity. Yeah. Blow Play it out of light. the water for excitement over the next few years as we watch what happens around the story of this gem. Liam? Even though it's the Princess Cup, you've actually gone up in carrot weight here as well. Yeah. We have gone up in carrot weight. The last one was 1.8. This is a 2 carat. I'm going to match the price on this one. It is actually, at a per carat level, a better deal than even the amazing deal that we just mm. brought you for you. We do not have many of these. We have about half a dozen chances. $79.99 for a, a, an enormous princess cut. 
Wow. Um, yeah, you're going to have to be super quick on this one. It is very, very limited. Plus, you've got the two carat uh, status on the nose. You know, it's not it's not 1.9. This is two carat. Yeah, two um, carats on the nose. On the you, nose. You, you're crossing that threshold as well. Yeah. Guaranteed two carats. That is not an average. Look at the return of light. This is why we love the Princess Cut. This is why we love the Oregon Sunstone, because of its potential to perform and the, and the Princess Cut's been one of the most popular cuts of the show so far. Yeah, it has been. Um, Natalie, check out your basket if you want to guarantee your success. Um, uh, Gillian, David in West Sussex. Um, hello to you, Alison, as well. Route 1, T I, I can see you there. On Alison is really lines. building a portfolio today. Alison, oh. absolutely the right thing. You're going to get these home. Mm. By all, do not be in a rush to do anything with them. Put them away into a vault if you need to. Whatever you need to do on this. The, the, this is really... Look, we get to craft fine jewellery out of this. And we get to enjoy ourselves. But it's also exciting for the next few years. We've got how many left? Three quarters of the stock has already gone. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and and soon to be um, a sellout, I should imagine. But that doesn't mean that you can't dial through. Absolutely worthwhile. You can get this home for £20. £20. Which for this show, honestly... That's, that's Do you know incredible. what? Right, we, 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 when we are going to go to Tucson in February, and we've got plans to be able to take you there. And when we do, we will go and talk. I'll tell you who exactly who we can talk to. We'll go and talk to, if I come back to these jewelers that are working with this gem. Here we go. We'll go and meet Naringen. We will go and meet Naringen Kalsa. Wow. And we'll go and see what price this material is going for. <laughs> and look, you get to do two things. This is your choice today. In fact, for the next hour and a half, this is your choice. In February, we are going to go and meet Naringen Kausa, bottom left, one of the jewellers who work with this material. We'll see what he's selling his material for, what the prices are. I will not have Oregon Sunstone then. Mm. So you have two options. You can either get it today and be thrilled in February, or you can not get it today. It's your choice, not get it today. Hear the valuations in February and kick your June self, okay? <laughs> That's up to you. That's up to you. And let's have a look at the next one. Now, this is going to be really popular. I don't want to kick my June self. Oh, right. No, you really don't. No. Because I know. I know. I've seen it firsthand. I spoke to Narinjan at the last Gem Show I was at. I know what the value of the material is. Have a look at this. Oh, my God. Goodness me. Beautiful green, sage green coming through here. Wonderful cutting on this as well. An eight millimeter round. Now we've brought you this amount size before, and I did tell you at the time, buy forward for the gems you don't even know you're getting yet. Here it is, eight millimeter round. If you didn't do that, by the way, don't worry. We are, eight millimeter round mounts are, are, are regular. They, you know, there's something we bring you quite regularly. Oh, look at that. Can you imagine that on the hand? Can you imagine that as a, in the in a sort of in a pair of earrings? Can you imagine that as a uh, as a pendant? The amount of absolute adoration you're going to get from this beautiful acquisition, because you know when people say, "Oh my goodness, I love your champagne diamond," because people that outside of the um, sort of this show may well think that you can say, "No, this isn't a diamond. It's far, far, far rarer and more valuable." You know, you absolutely can say it's far rarer. You can also point out that the on Oregon Sunstone Guide.com, it's a better investment according to the authors of that particular guide. Yes. Liam, $79.99. That's the most affordable round wow. of the show. Immediate interest. I, I can't wait. I can't wait until we do do that Tucson show and you see the value of this material. I honestly. I am going to be over the moon for you when you see what happens there. You, you, you're going to find it so hard to compute the savings that you have made by getting involved today. And yeah. what an exciting time. And look, we're only about seven months away. And yeah. the, the, you know, it seems miles away, but that seven months is going to fly. And then you get to enjoy that moment. Eight millimeter round. We, we, we all, no one wants to keep themselves from missing a deal. Uh, this is that deal. Huge. Do you know what, in fact, Liam? Especially when it's that beautiful. I won't stop here. I'm not going to stop here. I want this one to be a sellout. Hold the four split pays in place. I'm going to make this round the most affordable of the show. 
69.99 for you. Oh my goodness. I'll say it again, this is my favorite gemstone. It's my new favorite gemstone. Well, you're saying that now, when you see the price at, at Tucson, when you see the price at Tucson, it, w it really, it will be your, it'll either be your favorite gemstone because you realize the savings you made, or you will hate this gem. Yeah. You'll hate this gem because you can't hate yourself for not getting involved in it. Yeah. That's the saving, that's the level of savings. I know, I've been there, I've seen them, I've talked to them. Um, the, 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 this material is arguably one of, the, it is the rare, one of the rarest gems on the planet, but in terms of opportunity to get right now, it's arguably the greatest opportunity I've ever brought you on these shows. Yeah, without doubt. Uh, Rubuanti, Gloucestershire, David, Deborah, Angela, Audrey, Gillian, Catherine, Jill, West Midlands. Um, those of you that have in your baskets, don't hesitate. Uh, this is breathtaking. That's, I mean, it, that's the only way I can describe it. Breathtaking, classy, natural. It's the definition of what a gemstone is in accordance to the GIA, isn't oh, it? Yeah, really, absolutely. the very definition. It, 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 and this is why it is such a favourite because we know the the, the you know connoisseurs. Vladislav Yavorsky, the author of um, Terra Spinal and Terra Garnet, obviously tips Spinal and Garnet are some of the best investment gems. He said only the other day he put out a statement saying, "Look, investors want natural gems. This is certified." all natural material, wow. despite these unique colors. It's got the same coloring agent, the copper, as Paris Batomaline. Yeah, is so, that what brings the play of light? That is, so that's what's really delivering those strong colors out there. It's, mm -hmm. it, it's the Paris Batomaline, which is why this has got that almost neon glow to it uh, in terms of its brilliance. It's extraordinary. This has got everything that top gem connoisseurs are looking for. Wow, I mean, uh, yeah, there are, you can get it home for £17.50, £17.50, Catherine, Audrey, Gillian, Helen and Murtha Tidville, um, oh, that's incredible, and again, I am joining you on this because I don't like looking back and thinking, well, why not? hindsight is a wonderful thing. Um, well, you know what? We're giving you that information right now. Get hold of the gemstone. Um, yeah, you don't want to be kicking yourself because this is absolutely beautiful in its own right. I was only saying yesterday, you know, beauty, be driven by beauty. Everything else is an, an absolute bonus. But you've got everything all tied into one gemstone here. You have the most breathtaking beauty that I think I've ever actually seen in a gemstone plus the rarity of it being one location, uh, one locational. Uh, I mean, that, 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 that marriage is just astonishing. Imagine this on your hand. Imagine this around your decolletage. Or in earrings even, they would be fascinating earrings, wouldn't they? Absolutely beautiful. And you can on split pay. If you wanted to buy two to make the most magnificent solitaire earrings, it's still just yeah. over, it's under 35 pounds on <laughs> split pay. And the thing for me is, yes, okay, it's 35 pounds on split pay, but what are you saving? Yeah. That's what true. are you saving? Uh, and in many ways, look, you know, there is an argument that probably I should have saved this show until the Tucson Gem Show, go and speak to Naran Naranjan, let you see what the value of this material is, and then we bring the show, and then you get to see the savings. Maybe, maybe that's what we should have done. <gasps> I don't want to wait seven months. Here's why I didn't want to wait seven months. Look at the colour and tell me I should have waited seven months for this. I can't sit on something like this. The colour you've got in this next gem is through the roof. Look at this. Oh, you have, again, pink in here. I can see that it's, it was that... Do you describe this as watermelon? So, for me, this one, I, I, I can see where you're talking about. It's just in that top right corner, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, blushes, that, that, pink. That, that blush is, is, is actually, it's a slightly different phenomenon there. That's what we call shiller. So, there's little tiny copper platelets that are what give the colour to the green area there. But if they don't become too concentrated, they almost form, uh, they almost form like a, a barrier that, that reflects the light. And that's why it's like this copper blush that you're seeing there. Wow. So for me, this is what, I, I, I describe this as a deep green, maybe yeah. borderline teal, uh, which is giving you valuable shiller as well. One of the deepest, we're, we're back up to that real top color material now, aren't mm. we? We're back to that real, top colour teal. This is going to be incredibly popular. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. 
we are actually, we, you know, we're right up there in size again. We're right up there in size. Now, guaranteed minimum is 1.35. When I weighed them before the show, we were looking at nearly two carrots on average. We've, we've brought you gemstone scales on this show before. We'll do it again moving forward. Use your gemstone scales to measure this. I'm going to price this at 1.35, but actually, you know, your carrot weight is closer to the, uh, closer to the two on average. Liam? Sixty nine ninety nine on this so one. That's incredible. I for that intensity of colour in a beautiful cushion. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're talking about one of the deepest yeah. hues of the show. These are the gems where we should be going up in price. Mm. These are the gems where we should be pushing the price of this show up because we are well under twenty pounds on split pay. £17.49 pence. you can get this home on your split pay for a 9 by 7 millimeter. Just absolutely incredible. Um, and that, by the way, the, car the carat weight that you can see on the authenticity is 1.35. That's as a bare minimum. So um, you will, uh, you'll be averaging more than that. Um, yeah, we have. Yeah, some We've got lots of regular bidders. Message in. Mm -hmm. A lot of people who are loving this material, not settling for one. Let me know. I'd love to hear. What are your plans for this gym? What are you, you going to do with it? Are you creating a suite? Are you putting these together as a parcel to trade online? What are your plans with Oregon Sunstone, all natural, all American, up to $4,500 a carat we've heard from industry sources today. We're at $69.99. That's incredible. Absolutely incredible for that beautiful, beautiful uh, cushion cut. Okay, keep dialing through. Stay on those well phone lines for done. that one. Uh, now, I'm gonna warn everyone, quantity on this next one is exceedingly low. It's one of the lowest opportunity quantity-wise we have had in this entire showcase. Have Ooh. a look at the color. It's all about the color for this material. We're back at the princess cut, but we're bringing you the princess cut with the most saturated hue we have seen in the showcase. Look at that. Yeah, it's beautiful, isn't it? Really deep, natural, intense it's a color. Deep, this is a deep green. Yeah. Very deep green, borderline teal actually. We're set, starting to see some blues come through as well in this material. First time we've seen that in the princess cut. You've been loving the princess cuts throughout the show, but this is the most saturated princess we've seen for you so far. What I'm gonna do, I'm also, despite the color saturation, I'm gonna make this the most affordable of the show. Wow. 69.99 for you on this one. Wow. Really? I know. For a seven millimeter, perf Perfect princess cut. So I was just having fun with the brilliance there. Can you see literally how it bounces from side to side? Can you see the brilliance on uh, sort of the uh, almost crown facets um, of your uh, of your princess? That's beautiful. Sixty nine ninety nine for the most saturated princess of the show. Yeah. Uh, goodness me, there's down to the final four of these within the vault. Totally and utterly natural. Uh, is the mining location remote, Jake? Is oh, it something that... Incredibly, incredibly. So Oregon as a state, Oregon as a state um, has a kind of lowlands in the, in, in the western part towards the coast. And then there's this great, uh, great desert, almost mesa-like landscape, uh, really up in the highlands. Uh, in fact, in the winter, it snows. It could, so you can't mine at all in the, in the winter. It snows, everyone basically evacuates the area. And then they've got to pray that the snow melts quickly uh, but not too quickly that it washes all the roads away because that ends the season before it's begun. Wow. Uh, hopefully the snow melts at just the right speed, not too quickly that it wipes away the, uh, wipes away the roads, not too slowly that the mine floods uh, because that's the other great risk with working for this material. But the result you get at the end of the day, so in the winter, oh. incredibly harsh cold. In the summer, it's baking hot. That's when I was mining there for a week for you seven years ago. If I was mining even two years ago, times this by 10. Yeah. Mining for this gemstone two years ago times this price by 10 and I'm proud to bring it you. Mining for this material seven years ago and I've not put a penny on for the appreciation of value over the seven years that I've owned this gem. This is now your opportunity. And, and look, there is nothing wrong with doing what I did. 
lock it away for seven years, yeah. and then decide what you want to do with it. Yeah. What, there, is, there are plenty worse things you can do with this material. Beautiful teal grade, one of the few teals we've seen in the show, and it is in a princess cut as well. Wow, keep on dialing through jewelry makers, um, okay, because they're getting quite limited. Uh, now, wow. what I want to show you, let's go back to fine jewelry. Let me show you a piece of unquestionably fine jewelry. Have a look at this. Absolutely perfect. Oh, that is absolutely stunning, isn't it? I mean, seriously. Did you, did you ever, did you ever in your wildest dreams think you could make jewellery like this? Oh, no, in all honesty. No, I didn't. Um, and, and I'm going to add to that. I didn't think I would own jewellery like this. Yeah, well, you know, four and a half thousand a carat, it, it, it's difficult to own jewellery like this, yeah, to be fair. Yeah, exactly. It, it's considered. This is the opportunity we are about to share with you. So, that cutting is beautiful. And again, as a finished piece, you really can see how it showcases that natural colour. You get to see deep colour. We've got really deep green here. It's incredible. a radiant cut, which has proved incredibly popular throughout this show. You've got the mount is available on pre-order right now. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. We do not have enough of the mount to go around. Okay? In fact, we've got about half the mount quantity than we do with the gem. Wow. Natural colour. For a 1.38 on average, that's the, the lowest carrot. You, you talk about colour driving the price tag, you know, really taking it to that sort of as most significant investment price. Here we are, casually bringing you opportunities, which should be and could be 4,500 US dollars per carat. Yeah. And we're bringing it to you today, or rather Jake is bringing it to you today, at double figure prices, which is just astonishing. Fine jewellery is something that Jake says on a regular basis. This is fine. It absolutely is. This is absolutely top gem fine jewellery. Now, what we're going to do on this, there's going to be a stampede to the phone lines. Yeah. Lowest price we've been so far on the show is what, 69.99? Liam, let's pop that on screen. 69.99. I'm going to tell you right now, for this radiant cut, over a carat, which will be four and a half thousand dollars a carat for this material, over a carat certified gem material in the radiant cut, we are not stopping at sixty nine ninety nine. Get the ring mount straight away because we have less of the ring mount than we have of the gem. Mm. Liam, we're going for the first time. I want to say in this show. I feel I've actually got to correct that to in my career. <laughs> Since I mined these gems myself seven years ago in the Oregon desert before only the GIA and the miners had seen this material. I was the first outsider allowed into the mine to be able to get this. In the seven years since, we've seen a whole host of some of the biggest names in the jewellery world, working with this material, seven years ago I mined this gem, and I'm proud to pass this on to you now. Its next chapter is your chapter for under £50. Oh my goodness, I'm going to hold the four split pays in there for you. I have never done four split pay under £50 before. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. Wow. Uh, wow. In terms of status, what you are getting here, jewellery makers, will rival, possibly surpass. And I'm not saying visually they, 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 they're different, chemically, certainly. But we're talking rarity of alexandrite, sarite, peribotomaline. Yeah, no, this is unquestionably it's one of the, status. the rarest gems in the world. I mean, I think that the, the, the comparison that often gets made with this material is zarite. Yeah, yeah you can see that. Okay, visually, they both have that beautiful sage khaki green. 
Rarity-wise, they both have single source locations that are so smaller than Tanzanite. Yeah. And value-wise, they are both thousands upon thousands of carat material. You have got to check out the basket because, look, the savings you're going to be making today, the savings you are making today, maybe you won't even realize them for the next 30 days. Maybe you won't realize them for the next six months. Mm -hmm. I promise you, we will do a feature when we go to the Tucson show in February next year. I will go and chat to the likes of Naranjan. Uh, Dalen will be there as well, so we'll chat to Dalen. We'll see what they are bringing their Oregon Sunstone for at the show, and you can just sit back and remember the savings you've made on your material. Wow. I mean, that is, that's absolutely incredible. Mark a date in your diary then, jewelry makers. Sue, uh, Michelle, Wiltshire, Deborah, hello to you, Alison, Natalie, uh, Surrey, Route 1, T, Kent, Michelle, Jill, Lancashire, uh, West Midlands. For the elegance of your, uh, of your Radiant Cup, which we have to mention, jewelry makers, is a premium. It's a premium cut in any gemstone, let alone a, a USA a Oregon sunstone. You pay a premium for it. I've spoken about that before in, the, in sort of the diamond world. Yeah. Uh, but this is far rarer than diamonds. Oh, it exceeds rarity of diamonds. I'd probably say by about 10,000. Wow. I mean, by about 10, it's about 10,000 times rarer than a diamond. And what do we say about tanzanite? Uh, about 1,000 times. 1,000 times. Yeah, so this so is about 10,000 times rarer. 10,000 times rarer than a diamond. That's would, would pretty be amazing. my estimate based on the carrot mind of this material. Availability globally, single source gem, 49.99. Opportunity to save money yeah. is through the roof. Look at the fine piece of jewelry you could be making. Yeah. Well under 150 pounds to put this ring together. But think of what, think of the value, not of the components, think of the value of your piece of jewelry after you've crafted it. Yeah, absolutely. It is not 150 pounds. No, definitely not. And the bulk of the actual value is in the sunstone itself, is in the actual uh, radiant cut. There are how many 40 people with it in their baskets, did you say? Oh my goodness me, look at that. You have to check out if you want to go, that's on 12 pound 50 split pay. £12.50. Can I also show you maybe another alternative at that price point? Can you imagine these? And I can't believe I'm saying this about the rarity of this gemstone. Can you imagine these in potential oh, Yeah, go earrings? and make earrings. Go and make earrings with this. Look at what you can be doing. Oh my goodness, incredible. But do check out now, jewelry makers, because it is getting quite limited. Um, okay, let's bring you the actual ring but, mount. Yeah, we'll bring you the ring mount. Remember the finished ring, hit, we'll show you the finished ring again. The, the quality of the jewelry that, you've got the stone now, the mount itself is, is, is it, the mount itself is, uh, is, is very high grade, solid gold, with beautiful ice white zircons there. The prongs set there so that you could you could use look you can use this to set capuchons if you want to do if you've got an eight by six capuchon, but the, the prongs are there to accommodate both capuchon and, uh, and 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 faceted gems. But look at how well they 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 clasp that gem. Yeah. Any eight by six octagon or even baguette will be able to be accommodated by this by this mount. So it's a very useful mount. Liam, straight down sixty nine ninety nine. Wow. That means you've made the... For gold. For well over a gram of gold. Yeah. This it is, also means you're making this ring for £120. That's, a, that's absolutely incredible. Which is, it? I mean, it's a steal. It is a steal to be able to craft something like this for £120. Yeah, because if you were to imagine it in any jeweller, and we obviously, I, I'm not talking about your high street jewellers, this is going to be, you know, fine jewellery houses, you know, the big, big, big brands that we reference throughout uh, um, on our shows. I mean, this is what I can imagine carrying that sort of full figure price um, that we expect and certainly is what should be happening right here, right now with your um, with your actual Oregon Sunstone too. You can get the gold mount home now just to confirm this is for the mount, the stone we bought to you previously, $69.99. Um, again, limited, um, so certain sizes are getting limited now. So J to K is limited, R to S is limited, L to M is limited. And I'm going to say N2O is probably going to uh, tip into that status very, very quickly. Um, very quickly. So, yeah, beautiful. Uh, be the luxury of these. That's amazing. I and mean, that's engagement ring worthy, isn't it? That, 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 that is 
the kind of piece of jewellery that you could present as an engagement ring. £17.40, or an anniversary piece. So it's special. It, this is... This is exactly the kind of fine piece of jewellery. When I'm helping people build portfolios of jewellery, this is exactly the kind of piece that I recommend to them. Just pick up one, one a year, just one of these a year, and you're building a portfolio. Absolutely. And there certainly are many of you doing exactly that today. I mean, look, fits perfectly again against a wedding ring. So look how beautifully that sits against the wedding band itself. Um, again, on the verge of selling out, congratulations, everybody. That is massive, utterly beautiful. Massive congratulations. Now, this next one, you know I love this cut. I'm, abs I'm all about this next cut. The square cushion in this material, the way it concentrates the colour, the consistency of the colour, the depth of the green that this delivers. I am so proud to present to you the square cushion in this material. Have a look. Oh my goodness. Beautiful depth of colour, top teal, top yeah. teal material. Now, I don't mind telling you, my pick of the show in this material is this next one. Uh huh. Pick of the show. This is the one that you mentioned. This is the one. Uh, right at the beginning of the show, I said it's in a square cushion. Yeah. It's the colour. Now, uh, Al, uh, earlier on, you said you were on about buying one of these yeah. you know, for, for your for your jewellery portfolio, one of these gems. Yeah. And you picked an early one in the show. And I actually said to you, mm, I would wait. Personally, I would wait. Because this is what I do. I help people build portfolios of gemstones and jewellery. Fine portfolios of fine jewellery and gemstones uh, that, that over time... Uh, are hopefully doing what we want all portfolios to do. And you literally said there's a really beautiful cushion I coming said, up. I said there's a really beautiful square cushion <laughs> yeah. coming up. How do I know? Because this is the one that I'm adding in my portfolio. Look at the colour. Look at the quality. Look at oh. the clarity. It has absolutely everything. It's got top. Remember, we heard earlier on from an investment guide saying it can be transparent to semi-transparent. This is, this is completely eye-clean eye material. Clean, yeah. We heard earlier on how top colour gets top valuations. Look at the colour. We have not seen anything this colour the whole show. No. And do you know what really sets this apart? Is it, if I ask this question, is it blue or is it green? Oh, it's hard to, hard to put your, your finger on it. It's a bit of both. It is slap bang in the middle. It is teal. Yeah. But it's not a pastel teal. It is a. We've seen teal so far in this show. They're a little bit, a little bit pastel. Yeah. This is the Ooh, vivid teal hue. Vivid teal hue. Look, I'm here to help you. Perhaps I'm here to help you create fine jewelry. I know I'm here on my day to day to help uh, lots of collectors and investors build their portfolio. This is my pick, and it's not only my pick in a, in a hypothetical sense. I've recommended it to my best friend L this morning, and I'm recommending it to you based on one thing and one thing only. It's the one that I am actually literally picking. Yeah, yeah. This one here today. And so I'm going to be joining this with you right now. Liam, this is our $4,500 a carat material. In British pounds, let me, excuse me, I'm just going to work out what that is in British pounds because dollars, sometimes, you know, they're not our local currency. That is approximately... Four and a half thousand divided by 1.4, over 3,000 pounds. And L, yep. when we do those two Sean shows, yep. and we go and talk to Norinjan, yep. and we go and talk to Dalen, and we go and look at this material, we will see gems like this. I know this because I've been to those gem shows. I appreciate you haven't, but you will do. You will. I'm going to take you there. You will see gems like this for 3,000 pounds. Forty-nine ninety-nine oh this morning. Me. I'm not capping. You can buy as many of my pick of the show as you want. I'm going to hold. You'll see this in a minute. I'm going to hold those split pays in there for 12, you. Twelve pound fifty for a gem. The split pay automatically is calculated based on uh, based on where, where yeah. this should be closing. Okay. Yeah. Four split pays. Well, look, it should be up at three thousand pounds. This is at £12.50 on split pay. It's my pick of the show. You have to be so quick. The only problem with this is we don't have enough of them. No. I'm here to help you build your portfolio. I'm not here to help everyone build their portfolio. I can't do this for everyone, but I can do it for you if you're quick. Can you see at 11 o'clock on this gemstone, uh, can you see how it flashes green? Can you see that there? 
and then around about nine o'clock I can see that beautiful wonderful flash of blue yeah that's what we're looking for that's top teal yeah and, and, and this is the difference people ask me well how do I go and become a gemstone investor you have to go and make mistakes for about 10 years okay okay uh, and I've gone Which and I done them which I imagine is expensive Look, uh, yeah they're, they're expensive mistakes <laughs> to make I've made the mistakes for you but now I'm in a position I'm now in a position to tell you not to make those mistakes to tell you which gems to pick. And this is absolutely, it's my pick of the show. This is absolutely my pick of the show. The color, the clarity, the quality of what we're looking at here, a top, top gem. Oh, goodness me. Um, a lot of you have it in your baskets. Please do not hesitate or you will. Um, you will uh, be disappointed. Alison, Christine, Robert, Wiltshire, Ruwanti, Angela, Suffolk, hello to you, Wiltshire, Ronald, Denise, Sandra, Joe, London, hello to you, uh, Helen, Heather's there, Bristol's there, um, Joe and Berkshire, you've just got yours. I tell you what, you are going to be utterly smitten, completely and utterly smitten. And I bet, I'm just, this has just dawned on me, Jake, actually, because it has that, uh, those copper platelets, those microscopic platelets, that's within the gemstone. Um, and I'm just thinking about the similarities uh, with Pereba, obviously yes. difference in colour. Outside, is this a gemstone that's a, is this a posy gemstone oh, outside? Oh, this is, a, look, the, the, I, I think there's a reason why this gem sees higher valuations in Tucson than any other gem show. And it's because it's so easy. It's so easy to just step out of the tent show it in that Arizona sun <laughs> and then say, no, I will stick to my four and a half thousand dollars a carat. Thank yes. you very much. Don't uh, try and barter. Yeah, absolutely yeah. <laughs> not. Uh, this is an amazing opportunity right now for you. Uh, the savings oh. compared to the market. And you know what? Look, I, I'm saying four and a half thousand dollars a carat. That was back at, that was back at, well, you know, a year and a half ago. Okay, yeah. So in many ways, I will be learning with you at the next Tucson show. But I'll be learning how big the jump has been. You'll be hearing from the first time direct from exactly these kind of jewelers the thousands and thousands and thousands of carat that this material can trade for. Wow, it's uh, absolutely astonishing. We are talking one of the rarest gemstones, which is utterly, completely, truly natural. And it's this most desired coloured uh, colour that we aspire to. Uh, Bristol, Suffolk, Ronald, you've done it. Wiltshire, you've got yours. London, I mean, certainly be adding my name to this. Uh, I was never imagining Jake was going to be, be bringing sp uh, prices like this. Um, when I knew how excited Jake was about today's show, and you were saying it's the colours that it's I'm the bringing colour. today. It's the colour. I, I know, uh, look, I, 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 there's a lot of messages coming through. Thank you so much, those of you messaging in talking about uh, oh thank you all for the solid gold mounts these gems deserve it Diane you thank you mm. for completely completely agreeing with what I believe it is a solid gem mount gemstone this one a lot of messages coming through saying you know never heard of this gem before never seen this gem before do not be afraid do not be put off by that remember right at the beginning of the show we heard from uh, from Arles Kruvenek one of the miners of this gem and he said look although it's been available for 30 years it's still fairly new to collectors to investors and even the majority of jewelry professionals. Well, that's great because if it's brand new, that means there's opportunity. The market is still trying to decide where the right price is for this material. And uh, that's from Ales Krivenek writing on behalf of the ICA. On that, actually, Jake, because I can remember, I, I forget which show it was, and I remember you saying about uh, um, um, getting in at that right point yeah. before, and I, I, some you, you hear this quite a lot actually in the financial world as well, don't you? Getting it at that point before it peaks. Yeah. Is so, it, so there's a, there's a big phrase. There's a big yeah. phrase. Uh, the, the, it's not my phrase. I actually borrow it from from uh, who it's someone. I'm not a financial advisor. Uh, but the person who who said this phrase uh, and it really stuck with me as relevant to the gem world is, uh, they said, look, it's not about the timing. It's about the time in. Yeah? So when do you get in on the gem? Are you getting in on the gem, right, you know, timing-wise when it's at the peak? That, that's not the right time. Let's get in on the gem at the earliest possible opportunity. Yeah. Now, I got in on this gem literally the year after the GIA research team were there. So the only people in the world who knew about this gem before that point were the GIA and, of course, the miners who discovered this new location. 
I've been sitting on this gym for seven years, letting just enough knowledge get out there into the wider industry. We're seeing it start to heat up now. We're at the beginning of what I believe to be an exponential curve. Mm. Now is the time. Now is the time to acquire this material. And the pricing, it's not even today's pricing. It's seven years ago. Take a look at this next gem. Oh my goodness. Wonderful color. Yeah. Again, beautiful greens. It is astonishing, isn't it? Here's that performance of light. You can see why the gemstone artists are favoring it, can't you? Yeah. You can see why, if, if you're a judge at a competition, <laughs> yeah. and you are presented with an oval of pretty much any other gem versus an 8x6 oval of this gem, it is out, it is performing. Yeah. It is performing better than those than those other gems. And so this is why, you know, those gem cutters, yes, okay, they're winning awards for their cutting, but how do you really show off your cutting? You've got to have world class material right, in the yeah. first place because you need that material to show off your cut. This is why it's an absolute favourite. Now eight by six is a size we regularly bring you. Eight by six is 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 a size we've brought you lots of mounts for as well. And we will continue to bring you lots of mounts in eight by six gems. Liam, $49.99. Straight down. It's an eight by six. Eight by six, huge gem. That's absolutely astonishing. I mean, we are now talking about multi-buyable deals here, Jake, for yeah. one of the world's rarest gemstones. Absolutely one of the world's rarest gemstones. That's a multi-buyable, 16 pounds and 66 pence. It is, as an estimate, Jake was saying, I don't think, it, you know, approximately 10,000 times rarer than a diamond. Yeah, approximately 10,000 times rarer than a diamond. At four and a half thousand dollars a carat, industry analysts are suggesting it's undervalued. Yeah. Four and a half well, clearly, thousand yeah. a carat, industry analysts say, no, nah, it's, it, it's not yet reached its top. You are nowhere near four and a half thousand dollars a carat. Look at your screen. 49.99. 49.99 for a top gem, Oregon sunstone, all natural, all American. Right now, look, I, I'm going to... Seven months, okay? It's not that long a time. No. Seven months, you and I, we're going to be at the Tucson Gem Show. Mm -hmm. We're going to go and talk to the miners of this material. And you and I are going to find out exactly, per carat, what this kind of material is going for. Mm -hmm. And there is a difference. The difference is this. There are those of you who've got this material, and you get to sit and watch that interview. You get to take part in that live show, and you go, my goodness me, what a saving I've made. And then there'll be those of you who go, you'll be messaging in, dialing the contact center, guys, I've just watched the show on Jewelry Maker, I've just heard the interview, <laughs> have you got any sunstone I can get hold of? And the answer is most likely to be no, not because I'm being mean, but because it's all selling today. Yeah. You've got to act quickly. Absolutely. I mean, uh, th th this, you, we do, you do sell uh, frequently, uh, certainly on your shows, um, into, direct into yes, the trade. absolutely. I mean, I, I know that there will be uh, uh, some very high-end jewelers Colored gemstone specialists um, that will um, be, be getting involved on this opportunity because maybe they won't have had the opportunity to purchase this gemstone previously before. Big names, big names, what you'll see at, attached to um, your Oregon sunstone. Heartfelt congratulations because we're at forty-nine pounds and ninety-nine pence. For, for, for an 8x6, which is huge. It's a huge it's size. 8x6. Consider, let's consider some other gems. I bring you an 8x6 Tanzanite for $49.99. Everyone loses their minds. I've never done it because I can't do it, right? This gem is rarer than a Tanzanite. Mm. Far, think, far, far rarer. rarer than a Tanzanite. Wow. In fact, I'm pretty sure if I brought you an 8x6 Serenite, at $49.99, everyone would be incredibly elated. Yeah. This is the rarest, most saturated form of the Oregon Sunstone. Wow. And you can get it home for $16.66. Amazing. Um, okay, well done. Check out those baskets for the final few of those. Now, it's time for your deal of the day. Now, in a show where I've brought you the cushion, which was my pick of the show, in, 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 in a show where I brought you gems for quite close to 99% saving versus potential market value, how on earth do we have a deal of the day? 
Well, some of the most popular designs this show have been the ones where you can go and make the fine jewelry straight away. We've got the mounts for you available. Brand new, solid gold mounts available for you in the show. Well, there are two that we haven't brought you yet, and I have not, you have not yet seen this cut in this gem material. Not all show. It's the first time we are debuting this cut in this show. The pair. The cut that does more to bend and manipulate light within asymmetric patterns than any other cut. Have a look. There's the pair. Oh. Beautiful green hue. Great quality. Top gem in that green. Yeah, that is absolutely stunning. Like you say, it does. It bends light, doesn't it? It moves it in ways that are just... It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal to witness. I'm showing you the mount that is also available on pre-order, I believe. Is that right? So you've yeah. got a ring mount. There are also just 20 earring mounts. Oh. 20 pairs of solid gold earrings. 20 of you. That's all. That's how exclusive these mounts are. Mm. Just 20 of you will be able to make earrings with this material. Oh. You're going to need three of these. We're going to open the phone lines. Coming up next is your deal of the day. Best of luck on this one. Hi guys, I'm Dave Troth, uh, you know, responsible for sourcing many of the incredible gemstones uh, that, that we bring you here. And uh, coming up this week, I'm really excited to share with you some of these exotic treasures for the most incredible deals you'll ever see. Did you know that we are live every day from 8 a.m. through to 5 p.m.? We can be watched on Sky, Freesat and Virgin. You can also watch us on Freeview SD from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. and Freeview HD from 1 p.m. to 5 p.m. Or you can join us online at www.jewelrymaker.com or download our app from the App Store. Guess where I am? In our brand new all singing, all dancing warehouse. We are so excited and this is going to make such a difference to what we can bring you here at Jewelry Maker. Mediums, products, treats, storage, because guess what? We've now got more storage. This is epic. Come and have a look here because come, come on, come on, come on. I'm like, challenge Annika, come on. So look at that. Just just all those drawers, all these points, all these locations that we can pick your brand new items from. Now, what does that mean for this weekend? Well, come here and I'll tell you. Come on, I've got to get the clipboard. Come on. Come on. Right. So, bear with me. Friday morning, we're starting with Carol. Milliput DVD launch with Gemacro. Oh, now in the afternoon. There's going to be a brand new... I'm so excited. It's a new offer for you, and it's going to be magnificent. It's going to be called Xena's Steel of the Week. I haven't decided what I'm going to steal yet, but <laughs> I'm in the right place, aren't I? So that's going to be Friday at 2 p.m. Now, Saturday morning, I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Claire McDonald, and she's going to be doing stacker rings with tube setting. Now, deal of the day. Totally awesome tourmaline-tastic it is. That's going to be epic. In the afternoon, I'm so excited, we are launching Susie Menham's first ever DVD. Everybody has been asking for a Marla DVD and we've got it. So Sunday at 1pm, uh, I'm going to be joined by Hannah Osborne. Checkmates, triangles and tiles with a booklet. Yes. Now then, right, is that enough to start? Because we've then got the rest of this absolutely huge warehouse that we've now moved into and it opens this weekend. Once everything's stocked, every one of these boxes will be stocked with treats for you. So, you know that steel deal? Bear with me, I'm just going to go and get it. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. 
don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker. How do we pick a deal of the day on something like today, on a show like today, where we have had some of mm. the most remarkable gems ever unearthed, in my view? Oregon Sunstone, a relative newcomer to the jewellery world, but one that is absolutely lighting fires wherever its trailblazing jewellery goes. We've done it with this one because we have two, not one, two solid gold mounts that this gem is going to fit in brand new for today a ring and two uh, and a pair of earrings so many of you are already buying three of these yeah. so you are getting three of these because you want to complete a suite for the first time i have ever offered this a suite of oregon sunstone jewelry i mean who even thought that was possible have a look at the gem that's going to make it possible for you today ah uh, it is just this is the first pair cut that we have seen all morning all morning the first uh, time never in my wildest dreams jewelry makers would we have imagined that this would be within within I, I think it's fair to say certainly my budget many of our budgets and now I'm fairly sure Jake has just suggested that we could possibly multi-buy yeah on, on the only pair cut that we have seen this morning, that concentration of colour, that absolutely unparalleled play of light in a nine by six millimeter natural Oregon sunstone. This is not, as you said at the beginning of the day, uh, beginning, of, beginning of this showcase, Jake. This is not serenite. No, 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 no. So, so both of them are members of the Sunstone family. Both of them are coming from the Oregon desert. The difference is the colour. Yeah. And that's where the difference is. And I explained that to you when I brought you the Serenite. I said, look, this material has been known to range from 8,000 a carat to 4,500 a carat. The Serenite is not the 4,500 carat material. It's mm -hmm. not the 8 either. That's commercial material. But it's not the 4,500. This is the 4,500 because of the colour. Now, straight away on your deal of the day, let's not mess around. Let's go straight down to $49.99. Wow. For over a carat in the only pair that we have seen. The elegance, it channels that colour. Oh. And I'm going to tell you now, we are not stopping here. We are not done here yet, but this is the opportunity for put guaranteed minimum 0.9 on average over a carat. The mounts, by the way, are incredibly limited. You've mm -hmm. got earring mounts, beautiful earring mounts. They're gonna come up straight afterwards. You need two stones to create the pair of earrings. You need one gem to create the ring. There's the full suite just below for you. Oh. St a, collector in Sta uh, a collector and a crafter in Staffordshire has gone and got her three. Absolutely the right thing to do for you on this deal of the day. Liam. To help make that possible, we are going to take our split pay under £15. But I'm not stopping at £45, not doing that to you. Liam, straight down please, £39.99 for your deal of the day opportunity. Wow. Think how you'll be feeling when we do that live from Tucson show. Yeah. You're wearing your sunstone earrings, yeah, you're wearing down. your sunstone ring and you're hearing how many thousands they would be to replace. How is that going to feel? How are you going to feel in just a few months' time when we go live from Tucson and you hear direct from the miners and the prices they're asking for for this kind of material? It's exactly this kind of material they're trying to charge the premiums on because look at the colour. Top green, teals even coming through the, on this sunstone. That is absolutely incredible that we have reached a, pi a price point 
um, below £50, £39.99. Um, but you do need to check out those baskets and again have a little look. Um, have a little look at uh, the, the, the mounts that we've, uh, we're also bringing to you. They are quite limited. Have you noticed, jewellery makers, that um, this entire collection, we haven't brought you sterling silver mounts, Jake. No. This is only in gold. This, so it, is it like Zara, exclusive? Uh, absolutely. Absolutely. We have never in our history as a partnership never set this gem into sterling silver. Every single time it's been in solid gold, most of the time 18 karat solid gold. Yeah. I once got invited to go and give a series of talks at a museum in Atlanta. This was one of the gems I was asked to go and talk about. I took a few pieces over, I took about 50 or to 100 pieces over, uh, all in 18 karat gold exclusively. I didn't come back with a single one. Ah, they all sold. They all sold. Afterwards, mm -hmm. the, museum, no, the museum didn't pay me. They said, look, come on over, bring a few pieces, though, and uh, you, you know, you'll get the opportunity afterwards to talk to the audience, and they might, they might buy a, a piece or two, and that's how you can monetize it. 50 to 100 pieces, 18 karat gold, not a single one came back home with me. Wow. Why? Because when you understand the value of this material, you understand the value, you understand the savings that you're making, you can't help but get involved in this one. If you love... If you don't love making savings, don't get involved. If you love savings, if you love, if you love the idea of getting something for far lower than you should be, this is the kind of thing you should be getting involved in. Wow, over a carrot. Look at that elegance. Imagine being the custodian of this beautiful piece. There are sweets being created, and when you consider what that's, that's 120 pounds in the actual carrot weight itself. In the actual gemstone that is Oregon sunstone. Now, uh, you know, Jake could, Jake, you know, you're one of those people that, you know, we, you can bring diamonds. You oh, yeah. can bring, you can bring those any day of I, the I, week. I've been, I've been asked to bring diamonds pretty much every week for the 15 months I've been with you. But I don't. Why do I not? I don't bring you diamonds because, one simple reason, I am here to help you both craft fine jewellery and build a portfolio. So with, with, with colored gemstones, I'm able to help identify those stones. I'm able to help pick those ones out and pick out the savings for you. With diamonds, there aren't really savings to be had. Mm. Okay, so I'm not, I'm not gonna be able to do that second part of that mission to help you build a portfolio. Because whenever you buy it from me from, that's probably the most, yeah, that's probably the same value it'll be for years and years and years and years because it's so tightly controlled. This gem, this is exciting. Now have a look at this, we're, we're, we're going to do those two mounts that we promised you. Mm -hmm. We'll do the ring first, I think, and then we'll do the earrings. Yep. Uh, uh, earrings first, sorry, okay. because they're about to sell out. Earrings first, have a look. Gosh, they're beautiful, aren't they? The movement that you're going to get as well. Absolutely incredible movement. Um, with that wonderful illusion of, uh, well, it's not an illusion, it is genuine zircon, but it creates that wonderful floating Yeah, vision. and do you see how the, the well, you can see there the, where the main gemstone is going to be, you see how it moves, you've got that articulation between yeah. the, uh, the column of zircon and, and, and where your main gemstone is going to be, you've got that articulation there. Liam, straight down please, $79.99. For nine carat gold, these are not gold plated sterling silver, no, no, this no. is solid nine solid carat gold. Solid gold here, and that will allow you, by the way, to craft the pair of earrings for £160 only. That's absolutely incredible. You know, uh, Zara earrings, you would be talking way in excess of that. And yeah, actually, Zara earrings, also Oregon sunstone earrings. Let, yeah. Yeah, let's make no bones about this. Elsewhere, go, I mean, I've shown you a list, I'll show you again, I've shown you a list of different jewellers who are working with this material. Go to any one of them. Go to any one of this, uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a jury of 12 there. Any one of these 12, mm -hmm. by the way, I'm not knocking them, I love their work, it's fantastic, it's cutting edge, yeah. and it's pushing sunstone values higher, so I definitely love their work. <laughs> but have a look at any of the 12 of these, yeah. find their sunstone jewellery, find their earrings, you are not getting them for 160 pounds. No, of course not, of course not. And that is why it has to be in your nine carat gold, the prestige of the actual gemstone. Uh, Jonathan, Margaret, check out your baskets, uh, uh, new customers. If if you got the set of three earlier on, you're going to need your mounts, but just to give you a heads up, they are quite limited, uh, quite limited on your earring mounts. Um, let's bring you the ring now, which I have to say, Jake, uh, I mean, 
these have been specially commissioned to to to, to, to marry yeah. with um, your sunstone. This mount is the, the, amazing, is divine. It is also, by the way, our final. It's our final mount, solid gold mount from today's show. Fits the pair perfectly. It'll accommodate any nine by six pair. And it's got that halo of solid gold it. all the way around. And the way that the prongs have been designed, you see the prongs essentially, uh, they, they, they bind together the inner and the outer pear shapes. Mm -hmm. And so when you set your stone in this, it gives the illusion that your sunstone or any other gem that's nine by six pair it, it, it is going to float yeah. in the gem. It's, uh, in the ring, rather. It gives gives the illusion that your ring is floating in the... Uh, that your, your stone is floating in the ring. Nearly 1.8 grams of gold. It's about double the gold weight of a typical gold ring. Liam, 89.99 for us, please. I wonder if I can. Bear with me a second. Let me see if I can actually position that in there. Obviously, it's not going to be fully set, but you can imagine... The actual finished piece of jewellery. So, um, wow. What did you say? 89, 89. You're, making, you're making your piece of jewellery for £130. Wow. Look at that. I mean, it's not mounted. Have a look, have a look at the piece of jewellery. Oh, my goodness And you're me. making this for £130 only. Fine jewellery. This, this is the attention to detail. This is the difference between fine jewellery and everything else. It's not about price, because we know that you can make this now for £130. What an opportunity you have at home. A solid gold mount. I mean, a solid gold mount for, for £90 yes. is unbelievable. You put the stone in, you finish it off, you craft your piece of jewellery, and you're looking at £130 to be making fine jewellery. That is absolutely remarkable, isn't it? Um, already size is getting limited. I, I tell you what, Jake, I mean, I, this is absolutely going to be one of my purchases today. The mount, I'm not a gemstone setter. Um, but again, like you said, if, you, if, if you've never mastered that, we have got the tutorials available to you on YouTube and on our website. But if not, just take it into a jeweler's that can actually cradle those prongs over to create. I wonder if I can actually try and balance it and show it on the actual hand here. Look at this as a piece of jewellery you, you absolutely can do this but also I, I would encourage you as well at home back yourself I know you've got the talent yeah I know you've got the talent absolutely. to do this don't be intimidated you can do this and when you do you're unlocking a whole brand new world of jewellery for you wow I set it without even knowing yeah. look um, amazing okay uh, moving on to now what have we <gasps> not brought you so far this show we're entering into the last 45 minutes. Oh, gosh. I'm running out of time. Okay. Last 45 minutes to show. One thing I try to regularly bring you in shows is parcels. Because I know we've got a lot of the trade watching this show. And even if you're not a member of the, you know, the, the, the professional trade, as it were, I know you love a deal. And the deals don't get better than the deals you can get in a parcel of gemstones. So what I'm about to share with you is our first parcel of gems. Now you have loved throughout this show whenever we've brought you around brilliant. You have loved it. We'll have a look at your first parcel of beautiful oh, Oregon again, sunstone gems. Wonderful sage greens. Beautiful greens coming through. Four by four millimeter rounds. That's crying out to be an eternity ring. Yes, absolutely. Four mil rounds, beautiful size as well. I love four mil round. I think it's so useful. Yeah. Wow. I mean, my eternity ring, I'm just thinking, imagine making a sunstone eternity ring like mine. Mine's probably needs a clean, but you can imagine, can't you? Imagine, they are the perfect size to recreate something like this, but it's rarer. Oh my gosh, yeah. There you go. They'd be perfect for that, wouldn't they? To they actually would be do perfect for it. Perfect to actually We've do that design. We brought you four mil mounts before. They yep. are part of the ongoing plan to bring you gem, uh, to bring you four mils as well. Liam, straight down, please, on this ten pound a gem. Ten pounds. In fact, you know what? No, let's go even lower. Take another ten pounds off. Eight pound a gem. Thirty nine ninety nine. Let's really go for it. In the last forty five minutes of the show, huge saving. Certified one carat of Oregon sunstone 
Should be what? Should be four four and a half thousand pounds. We're at thirty nine ninety nine. Yeah, oh, that is amazing, and they're all perfectly colour yeah. matched, which must be really difficult Across to do. Across the parcels with this gem, I'd say it's right up there with emerald as the hardest gem to match. Yeah, the hardest gem to match. And that's because of that sort of how it comes in its rough. Yeah, because, um, yeah you know, it comes in the naturally coloured. Every single Oregon sunstone is unique, so trying to match them is near and on near on impossible. Wow, you can get this home on your split pay, just thirteen pounds thirty three. Um, on three payments, 39 gets you five beautiful solitaires at eight pounds per stone. That's incredible. I dashed down to the butcher's last night to get to, to sort out something for, for tea. I paid more than that for, for, for a chunk of brisket that should be gone in, a, in, in, one, in one meal. <laughs> it's true. Here These we are, are gems looking, for a lifetime. Exactly. We are looking at a gemstone here, which is, as Jake has said, as your investor, your gemstone investor, one of the world's rarest and actually one of the newest gemstones. In fact, I was saying this, uh, I was saying yesterday that uh, Peru, um, the discovery of angelite in Peru was actually one of the youngest gemstones to the market. Here we are with one which is way, way, way younger and has only got... Um, um, excitement um, for its destiny in the in the years to come. Whether you are a custodian, well, that's down to you. Here and now, thirty nine ninety nine. Alison, Cornwall, Bristol, uh, Pam, Angela, Sandra, Russell, Cornwall, Margaret, Merseyside, Sally, Oxfordshire. Oh, I can't keep up. Check out those baskets. There were five of those. Uh, five of those you're actually getting. Sorry. Um, I don't know how many in quantity. Incredibly popular, that one. Well, well done, everyone. Okay. <gasps> Octagons. Now, this is the final time we're really going to see them the throughout the rest of the show. Oh, my goodness. The last of our octagons. But have a look at these. This is for a pair. A pair of top colour Top colour. Now, my prediction, I'm just going to call it now, the Radiance proved incredibly popular throughout the show. My prediction is these are going to be very... That colour is amazing. Very, very popular. We're going to open the phone lines immediately for you. The final time we see... the, uh, we, we will see octagons uh, in, in this show, I think. That, that colour is absolutely incredible, isn't it? Look at the intensity of the greens. Amazing saturation. Look at the quality. Yeah, here we go. Your beautiful radiance. Straight down radiance. on these, twenty pound a gem, thirty nine ninety nine. And to, uh, you were saying that this is one of the hardest gemstones to actually colour match because of the nature of the actual yes. rough crystal. Because it's all natural. It's all natural, and we know that you're going to get colour variation. That's why we love Oregon sunstone. Trying to match it as near on impossible. Huge, well done. Those of you who are doing this, the you know octagons we've not seen for a while. They've yeah. probably been the rarest cut of the show but they've also been incredibly, incredibly popular. Wow. Um, there's two left in the vault. Oh, is that all? Yeah. <laughs> Told you it's going to be quick. Oh, who's going to get those final two? It could be Pam. It could be Ronald. Oh, Ronald's got his. Well done, Ronald. I've got one left. Who got that, Pam? Well done. Well done. Is that sold out? Yeah. Okay. Amazing. Now, let's go to a princess cut. So, you, essentially... The octagon cut, the radiant cut we just saw is a princess cut elongated. Let's go back up in carat weight though, go for one of the bigger gems. We're going to go for a princess cut. Uh, this is lot number 29. Yeah. Uh, lot number 29. I absolutely love this lot. Yeah. I think it's a real special one out of what has been an incredibly special showcase. Oh. Have a look at this. Yeah, this is incredible. Um, oh my god. Deep. Goodness. Deep, 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 deep greens. Those sage greens getting about as saturated as they can get here for you in this one. What an opportunity. Look at that. Just perfection. I and mean, we pay premium straight away for a princess cut, don't we? In any, other, in, in any gemstone. We pay a premium because there's, I suppose, that much m m more involvement. Um, yeah, no, you, in order to a princess cut, you have to take the same kind of rough that you would maybe get uh, a seven or potentially an eight millimeter round or cushion, mm -hmm. and then you have to cut that down. You have to waste a lot of material to hit a six millimeter princess. Why do we make the sacrifice? Because the reward is worth it. Look yeah. at your screen, look at the fire 
you're getting from all of those beautiful uh, crown facets breaking through there. The dispersion you get off the princess is unrivaled. What's the lowest price we've been at a princess so far in the show? Um, gosh. I think it's 69 yeah. 99 Which is amazing for princess cut. Nine points. Tell you what, let's pop that 69 99 on screen. Graphics Alive Jewelry Makers. Already, uh, there's confirmations on this. I'm not surprised. The Princess Cut is just beautiful. Okay, we've opened up your split pay. We've done everything we can, but one thing. Liam, half the price for the most affordable Princess Cut of the entire show right now for you. Good luck. This has by far been the most popular shape for you guys at home. I am thrilled for those of you who are looking at this yeah. and maybe think, I can't get involved, can't get involved, can't get involved. $34.99, less than £12 on split pay. You can get involved. You can do this, but you have to be so quick because it goes without saying, we do not have many of these. No, uh, no $34.99. I mean, this is one of those pinch yourself moments. Is this really happening? If you've never heard of Sun Oregon Sunstone, appreciate it, it, it as, as, and to use your words, Jake, that you have said in the past, consider that um, an indication of its rarity. It is brand new to the market and you are getting in at the right time right now. You are getting the prices, really, um, just basically because, Jake, you were there. You were yeah, mining I, I, the gemstones. literally there. Uh, so this, this particular mine, which changed everything because of the quality the colour, uh, GIA saying it, it completely changes the, 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 the landscape. Mm. That was discovered in 2012, towards the end of the mining season. 2013, the GIA research team joined the miners at the mine to, yeah. to ascertain what was happening. 2014, the very next mining season after the GIA got there with their research team, I was there for a week mining this gem, mining the very stones in this show, I was there for a week mining them for you. And that is the only reason we were able to do this. Because if I hadn't gone there and mined them, I'd have to pay a premium. If I'd have gone there and mined them last year, I'd have had to pay a premium. Of course I would, because over time, the value of the material goes up. Yeah, yeah. Getting in there so early, getting in there seven years ago and doing the mining myself makes this deal possible for you. And that's the only way. It's the only way you're able to do this. Wow, incredible. Final few of those uh, left within the vault jury makers. So, um, incredible. Let. Ooh, right, okay. Uh... <gasps> I have to tell you, this is probably one of my favourite cuts. It always is, actually. Yeah. And this particular lot, very special. I'm going to call this out now. It's going to be the most useful, usable, and popular piece we bring you in the entire show. With 35 minutes to go left on the show, this is going to be the one that you just stock up on. Why? One simple statement. Six millimeter round. It's the most useful size. It's the most used size. The quality is pristine. Mm. You're really, you're really feeling that champagne in this one. Yeah. Beautiful quality. You've got that. You, you've very much got that. Uh, the, you know, the, 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 look at the copper that, working yeah. in the gem. That neon glow. The fire you're getting from this material as well. An absolute top gem. Half a carat on the nose. Well, just over half a carat on the nose. What an opportunity this one's going to be. I'm excited for you. Well, and I have to say, I'm just referring back something that's just really resonated with me, Jake, when I'm looking at this right now. In the introduction, you said... It's sage greens as well, beautiful. You, you said transparency yeah, it's, 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 is rare, clarity... Here we go. Uh, buying and investing in Oregon Sunstone. Oregon Sunstone is a fully to semi-transparent material. And then they go on further later down. Value of this amazing gem ranges from eight US dollars a carat, that's for the semi transparent material, all the way through to four and a half thousand US dollars a carat. Look at the clarity you've got yeah, here. This, and this. you can see, you can actually see the layers of copper platelets in this material. 
They light up in a phenomena very rare in the gemstone world. It's called Schiller. And they look like tiny clouds of blush pinpricks. Yeah. And then when the light hits them, they all light up in unison. You can see them just lending a little blush hue there to different moments of the gem. And then they fade away once the light moves angle. Absolutely extraordinary to see. A textbook piece, really. A textbook piece. Liam, we are going to do something we have never done in this show before. We have never done this in the show before. If you've watched this show so far today, you go, I love it. I love this show, but I can't get involved in it. You, you've got to change your mindset. You can do this because we're making Oregon Sunstone today for the first time in history. On average, by the way, over three quarters of carat, under 30 pounds. Oh Let's do it. 29.99. We are developing tennis bracelet mounts. Six mil, six millimeter rounds will always have mounts available for this. Of course, of of course. I mean that we look at how beautiful this natural, genuine gemstone is. Ten pound on split pay. That is bonkers. Ten pounds on split pay bonkers. for you right now. Well, yeah, the fact that the split pay is there is an indication that it shouldn't have been at that price tag, yeah. by the way. Yeah, that's, use that. I mean, to be true, if you've been watching, you've been going, you know, okay, uh, maybe maybe you're not in that place to be able to do the, to, to purchase right now. This is the best opportunity for you to get this gemstone. The high, like I said, there will come a moment, and I always do this with all purchases, all gemstone purchases, in particular with your Oregon Sunstone. Um, you know, fast forward six months, seven months fast forward a year two years three years five years ten years 20 years when you look back on this purchase and you've got a mental you you, you can actually remember that how how little you invested in this beautiful gemstone and then you think okay well how much is it valued at now do you think it's going to be 30 pounds oh absolutely not <laughs> oh, oh, i mean the the great thing is you don't have to wait years for that moment no. of validation this is what is going to happen we're already planning it. Tucson, 2022, the world's biggest gem show. I will take you there. We're gonna use the latest technology in a way it's never been used before. You will get to have interviews with some of the world's leading industry figures. I showed you jewelers who are using this material, the likes of Dalen Hargrave, award-winning cutter, the likes of Narendran Kausa, the chair of the Oregon Sunstone Miners Association. We will visit them. We will see the sunstone that they've got in their collections and you will see how it is this great. You will see what they are asking for per carat at the Tucson Gem Show, and you will recognize the savings you're making. $29.99 wow. is going to feel a world away. It's going to wow. feel terrible. You're going to feel uh, probably a little bit guilty because because you will know what savings you've made. You feel, it, it probably is quite close to daylight robbery because when, <laughs> seriously, uh, $4,000 a carat plus. Yeah. I know. It's an over half a carat gem. They, do, they don't offer this in parcels at the gem shows. It's this stone, this stone. And it's okay. true. This is the price. Oh, so this it's is one the price. of a kind it's pieces. One of a kind pieces to get hold of this material. Yeah. And, and, and we will. We'll, we'll, we'll talk to all of the titans involved in the mining of this gem. And you'll see how there is just a broad consensus that one, the price that they're offering is, you know, is thousands of carat. And two, how that represents a great deal compared to where it's going to go in the next few years. And, and this is what you're all about. You're about, Jake. You know. Um, you know. We. And this is why we love Jake being here at Jewelry Maker because you are changing, um, really, sort of flipping the jewelry industry on its head. These are gemstones that any other or most other brands certainly would go okay so that's the price it should be for this level of quality that's the price it's going to be you don't do that you pass on the savings no, from when uh, you were there i think there's a lot of businesses out there i would say too many that ask themselves how high can they get away with yeah and they invest they work don't get me wrong they work really hard asking that question yeah, they, they invest heavily in marketing, heavily in PR, heavily in mm. all that other stuff. And they work really hard to ask how high they can get away with. I have a slightly different view. My role is to help you build a portfolio of fine jewellery, wherever I am, at Gems or here. And that includes here to make that fine jewellery. That's my role. How do I help you build a portfolio of fine jewellery? 
And so I ask myself not how high I can get away with, but how low can I go? And I'll ask that every single week. Here's the difference this week. This week is one of the few weeks, I don't think I've ever, well, I haven't, I've never done a week like this where I mined the gemstone myself seven years ago. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be seven years, but I knew at some point in time you would make some of the biggest savings that have ever been made in the history of the gem world and industry. And I'm so thrilled that we're doing this now together. Huge congratulations. $29.99 for Oregon Sunstone. Madness. Utter madness. Wow. Do check out those baskets, everybody. And heartfelt congratulations again on the verge of selling out. Not surprised. Um, okay. Oh, wow. It now, is... where do we go? Because I realise that here, here is like an awkward point in the show. We've got half an hour left. Not got a lot of time left. I want to bring you, we've just had an amazing six millimeter round. Where do I go from here? Let's go to a cut that's proved incredibly popular. I apologize, I want to attract something I said earlier. Earlier I said it's the final octagon cut. I've just recalled there is one more lot. We're going to do this now. This is the final octagon lot. Actually, it's bigger than the octagons that you all missed out on before. It's a larger size. It's seven by five. It's a dream radiant. Take a look at this. Colour, colour, colour. Deep green. I mean, wow. this is, uh, I'm going to call it out right now, this is the most verdant green we have had yeah. in the show. It is the oh. most forest, the most beautiful verdant green we have had in the showcase. And the way the radiant cut is moving the light, you get these beautiful blush champagnes on the, on the edges of the gem. I will go so far as to say... This is the only gem so far in the show I'd be happy to describe as a true bicolour. Wow. Because it is gold and green, it's isn't it? gold and green, and they're really defined colour zones, aren't yeah. they? You've got on the edges of the gem, pristine gold. In the centre, running through about 40 to... Yeah, about 40% through the centre, maybe 50% through the centre, this column of verdant green that is extraordinary to witness. Look at the clarity. Mm. The clarity of your Oregon Sunstone is incredible. This is your gem. It's the only bicolor. And do you remember what we said? The bicolors are some of the rarest yeah. and also some of the most valuable of the show. Four and a half thousand dollars a carat. It's the bicolor that's trying to achieve that. Liam, I hope you're ready. I hope at home you are ready too. The only bicolor. I've not said it for anything else so far on the show. No. Only by colour of the show. You are going to have to be quick. Twenty nine ninety nine. Let's do it together now. Twenty nine ninety nine. The carrot weight is even bigger than the round. But how? how like, I mean, huge colour, bigger carrot uh, weight, keeping your ten pound or split pay. The only question, the only question we have to be asking right now is where are you? Where are you? Are you in the winning lane or are you in the slow lane? If you're in the winning lane, huge congratulations. <laughs> I am thrilled for you. Oh, my goodness. How many of these did we have available? Is there enough to go around? No, don't be silly, Al. It's a stupid question. This is Oregon Sunstone. Um, sorry, I mean, I, sorry, I'm just telling myself off there. I had that moment of realisation. Uh, for, for, for a moment, I thought this was, you know, just a casual opportunity because I saw 29.99 up there. You know, an acquisition of a gemstone that we might be able to bring more readily. The, the, these shows that Jake has been doing, your gem investor shows with Jake, have been going on for over a year now. And only now... Jake is bring it to, bringing it to you. Check out the baskets, because over, thir over 30 of you have allocated your baskets, this beautiful bicolored fusion. Um, and is that achieved by, you said about sort of tiny platelets, did you say, within uh, so, so the actual so gemstones? The, the bicolor itself, there might be an element where you've got copper platelets that are lightening the edges a little bit, mm. which is lending a ble uh, like a, almost a peach little moment to the hue. And you can, you can start to see that peach there, but it's more just... The little trace elements, little trace elements, the copper in there, other trace elements that will give the green versus the gold versus the red. So I know we've not seen any reds today, uh, but you've got little different, it's little different trace elements that are giving this material. That's what makes it so nearly impossible to match, but it's this colour. I mean, what we're seeing, we're actually seeing a colour hue here that we haven't seen. I don't, I'm not no. talking about the bicolour, I'm talking about one of the components 
difference of that bicolor, the green. Yeah. We have not, we've seen green so far the show. We have not seen a green that is this verdant. No, no. It's a very pristine green. Uh, yeah, like, and it's, it, it, it's immediate as well, that feeling. Um, again, you can get that home for $9.99. I adore the radiant cut. It's that beautiful hourglass like yeah, shade. Yeah, the, the hourglass, the way, it the way it delivers fire as well. It gives you everything. I absolutely adore it. Beautiful. Well done, jewelry makers. What an absolutely incredible acquisition. Um, oh, one that is already on the verge or very close to selling out. That's amazing, isn't it? Look at that. So we've likened it to Zarite. Do you notice as well from the, from the recording, which is exactly the same stone, by the way, the recording that Adam has um, yeah. uh, that you're seeing is exactly the it's same. Because it, the same does, one it does adapt to light. Yeah. It does it, adapt it, to light. We're it's not, not saying it's color, color change. change. Yeah. It's not color change, but it reacts to the light. Yeah. It reacts to the light, and you can see that there. Remember, all color is a relationship between light source, subject, and, and, and viewer, you know, the, you know and, and in one case, you're going to have, well, so far, everything we've showed you is with a camera. So you seeing it with a human eye, it's going to look better at home. Also, in different lighting conditions, that you're looking at it in our daylight simulator right now. Yeah. Uh, and then we, and then that's, that's the difference. We always see, as close as you can get to daylight, that's the optimum color. Look at the fire you're getting here. Mm, that is absolutely unbelievable. At uh, 29.99, I can't believe I'm saying that. You know, this was one of those showcases that I had every expectation of being probably one of the most considered, um, certainly at its price point. Okay, I'm going to leave that final uh, couple with you. Okay. Now, earlier on in the show, earlier on in the show, we brought you a cushion. And oh. I told you, my favourite material in this gem, my favourite shape is the square cushion simply because of what it does with the color. It concentrates the color, and the color is where the value is with this material. That investment guy talks about $4,500 a carat. That's not happening in the pastels. It's happening in the saturated color hues. So color is king when it comes to this gem. Offered you a cushion shape, and I told you, my pick of the show because of its color. But I appreciate a lot of you missed out on that cushion shape. Have this is really the last of what I would describe the top gem saturated. Last of your top gem saturated. We've got other cuts coming, they're beautiful for different reasons. But colour is king, and have a look at this. Oh my goodness, Jake. Teal. Beautiful teals. Yeah, Again, ocean. the square cushion performance is concentrated in exactly the same way we saw with the, with the previous one. This is why I love the square cushions. Over half a carat. Now, if you missed out on that last one, that was up to what, 50 pounds? Bigger gem, one millimeter bigger gem. Look, Look. at the saturation you have got here. That's this oceanic, isn't it? It, 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 it is. It, it, it is absolutely peacock. It, it, it is. And that is sometimes what this material is referred to, Peacock Oregon Sunstone, Party Oregon Sunstone also occasionally. The quality of colour that you have here wow. marks this out. So, so those of you who missed out on that, 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 that previous tip of mine, and you say, OK, but I missed out on that one, Jake. There's nothing I can do. How can I get a gem that you as a gemstone investor for 10 years, you as a gemstone investor would tip? Out, I know obviously you're on the show, so you're only limited by what you can get hold yep. of as long as it's got availability by the time you get off air, and I don't think that that previous square cushion does. Nope, this one. This is the one. Yeah. This is your one. And, El, you're one of my best friends, so I'm going to do you a favour, and at home I'm going to do you a favour as well. The colour is up there. It is the best we've seen in the show. Right up there. Liam, $29.99. What? $29.99, we're going to keep that price in place. Oh, we just saw smaller stones, less saturated at that price. We're here right yes. now, £30 for you. £10 on split pay. You want to talk about multi-buy, when is the right time? It's now. It's now and you get as many as you can lay your hands on. Yeah, I will definitely, absolutely. And that's exactly what I'll be doing, stop permitting jewelry makers, don't you think? Look, I've, we've not had colour like this, in my opinion. It's it, it's no. It has that, I've never... 
once actually uh, thought, okay, yeah, there's bicolors, you've got the greens, you've got the blues, but I've never once actually thought, you know what, that is almost a peacock shade. Yeah. You, I could see, and even in the packaging, Jake, the blue was really the, prominent. The blue in is prominent, the green is extraordinary. You can see the quality of colour here, the saturation. You've got those verdant greens, you know, you, you get little flashes. I'm looking just at the bottom left, I'm just focusing in because sometimes you, you, it's really hard to focus in on the whole gem. But you get little flashes, you, you know, you're getting deep greens, you're yeah, getting olive yeah. greens. You also get verdant greens, you're getting a little flash of what I might expect to see from a Zavarite perhaps. Uh, look at the top left now, let's just keep changing around. Yeah. Look at the focus in the top left, olives, greens, verdants again. Little flash of a Zavarite moment just there. It's extraordinary material to really build an intimate relationship with. And this is what you will do with your Oregon Sunstone. Particularly over time as you realize the savings you are achieving by getting involved today. Mm. The savings you're achieving, it is extraordinary. And, and, and you've, just, you've just said something there that sort of had made me think, okay, so this is another one of the reasons why I love it. It has those flashes of Zavarite green coming through. You get it all. You yeah. get it all from this, particularly up at this top gem mark. You know, is it a what? Is it a verdolite, which is one of the most expensive forms of tourmaline? Right up there with indicolite, you're getting some verdolite mm. hues. You're getting these beautiful olives. You get Occasionally, you might get a flash that, that would be reminiscent of a Zavarite, but it's none of those gems. No. Arguably, it's rarer than all of those gems. It That's is amazing. Oregon Sunstone. And it, if it's not rarer, I can tell you what it is, it's certainly rated as a better investment than those gems, or even by a diamond than by, uh, that's a rating from Arles Krivenek there, uh, who is an ICA contributor, in color in gemstone contributor there. Now, do make sure, hold those phone lines. We are aware we're quite busy today. Um, and it is like that, that, that wonderful, deep, intense velvet green. Um, what's that, sorry? Ah, somebody's asked a question for you, Jay. Great question. Bring it, let's, let's have a look. Um, a collector in the city of Bristol, uh, welcome. It's wonderful, thank you so much for your message. What is the most scared of this, please, Jake? Well, I can give you the answer, but actually I'm gonna let the investment guide give you, uh, investment, Oregon Sunstone as an investment, because it is actually one of the metrics that they use as an investment. So, uh, so, so this is, this is uh, you know, this is, this is basically a rating that's compiled of five different variables. How rare is the gem? What's the color? What's the hardness of the gem? What's its refractive index? And what's its current market value? So if you work our way along, in the middle column, you'll see the hardness. This is referring to the Mohs scale. So diamonds benefit from a really high score here. Mm. They get a 10. Oregon Sunstone, uh, it, it, because it's related to quartz, gets a seven out of hardness. So perfectly, perfectly hard enough to be able to make jewelry out of, uh, but obviously not as hard as a diamond or a sapphire. But what's so interesting is despite it being marked effectively down on the hardness because it gets 7 out of 10 rather than 10 out of 10, it still beats a diamond as a better investment according to Arles Krivenek. Why? Because look at its rarity. Far rarer than, uh, the, the, than any of the gems before. Colour. Top gem. Top, 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 top gem. Refractive index. Doesn't have a particularly high refractive index sunstone because its value is in the colour. So where it really gets marked down on this is hardness and refractive index. Where it's gaining serious points, look at this, current market value. Yeah. So we know diamonds, there's no such thing as a deal in diamonds, can't really get them. That's why it gets a low score in, in there. Sapphires, garnets, there's some deals but not a lot of them. Oregon Sunstone, it's current market value compared to where it's anticipated to get to, 9 out of 10, which means that overall, it is a better investment with 7.3 rather than 7 than a diamond. And also on that, because I'm looking at rarity, I, I was, both Liam, Liam was thinking, uh, said what I was thinking. Eight is quite high for the rarity of diamonds. So I'm assuming they're talking about premium grade. They are, they are talking about gem yeah. grade. Yeah, yeah, absolutely yeah. right. They are not talking about industrial grade. No. Nope. They're not talking about the melee either. So they're the kind of diamonds you get in clusters. Yeah. They're talking about... Premium half a carat plus diamonds yeah yeah half a carat plus diamonds and and, and of good grade yeah or, or you know of, of a strong grade and they are they are rare those diamonds you know relative to the whole to the whole diamond production but this gem much rare yeah. much 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 rare um wow okay mm, let me just pop that sorry Liam. what was that one there so i don't want to make sure it's going in the right place tell you what we've not done for a while we've not done a parcel Let's bring you a parcel of gems. 
Let's bring you a parcel of gems. I love the parcels. Here's why I love the parcels. Value for money, you can't beat them. They're, they're fantastic. If you want to sell, sell back into the trade, parcels have a huge value because they've essentially been matched up ready for you. But you want to make those beautiful floral motifs, clusters. Mm. I love cluster jewelry. It's quite controversial. Everyone goes, oh, you should, you should always pick better gemstones, bigger gemstones. No. I think pick your quality first, then go as big as your budget will allow. And clusters allow you to do that. Have a look at this, a full cluster of material. Oh, they are Beautiful gorgeous. greens. Look at the clarity you're getting yeah. as well. Top performance of light. A real treat, this one. Wow. Are just beautiful. Imagine this, jewelry makers. Don't forget, this will look even better when you have this home because, I mean, take this to the window. Take it outside. Yeah. That's oh when you'll see those little copper presences really do their thing. For a pack of five of them, they're four by three millimeter, perfect oval brilliant cuts. Immediate response to this, Drake. Let's go straight down then, 29.99. 30 pounds for the parcel, six pound a gem for Oregon Sunstone. That's six pounds. Six pounds a gem. Six pounds, which they are four by three millimeters. Four by three millimeters, they'll make a beautiful cluster. Yeah. Um, you can, I, I understand you can set this gem into silver clay. Uh, my recommendation, if you picked up any serenite and you want to test it first, use the serenite to test it because essentially they're, chemically speaking, the same gem. But I'm sure we've done the serenite, we've done the test and we heard some feedback that said they were mm -hmm. and therefore these will be absolutely fine as well. Uh, uh, as an alternative as well, Drew Makers, you can actually, uh, um, with silver clay, I don't know if you know this, you can fire it. Yes. And then set the gemstones. Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Because you fire it up, you, you craft your design, leave spaces where the gemstones would go. Yeah. Fire it up. That's what you were doing there. Leave it, it empty. It. Uh, yeah, of course, we'd, we'd make our mounts first and then we would set afterwards in the same way that you who are buying the solid mounts would do that exactly as well. Okay. Uh, but if you want to, I, I, do, I do think this is one of the gems that can There's go that straight possibility. into the kiln. That's incredible, isn't it? Um, wow, a parcel here, jewellery makers, for £9.99 on your split pay. Keep on dialing through. Keep dialing through for those really lovely ovals. Um, wow, wow. Okay. Uh, a couple, a duo. Now, let's go to pairs. We've not really seen, we saw one pair which was the deal of the day. That's it. This is your penultimate opportunity for this sunstone material. Now we've got a pair of these coming up, a pair of pairs, and have a look at the quality. Oh, they are so perfectly matched. And look at the green. Yeah. This is, for me, this is a really special lot because this is, I would say, the brightest green we've seen all show. They're mm. almost Demantoid-like. Yes, yes. They're almost Demantoid-like. It's a lime presence or, yeah, to these. Yeah, or, or indeed Pariba, which, yeah. of course, quite closely related to because both coloured by the presence of copper, mm -hmm. uh, Pariba being another uh, similar colour hue to what we've got here. Wow. A pair of perfect, zesty, natural Oregon sunstones. Tell you what we're going to do, Lowest of the price. Lowest price of the show. That's £12.50 a gem. They're six by four. They're six by four. Six by four. They're actually bigger. They're actually you know, yeah. bigger, bigger gems than we just saw in that last parcel. I'm going lower. Oh. Huge. Well done, those of you snap these up. Uh, a really useful size at six by four. We've done earrings. If you want to make the earrings done, yeah. uh, you want to pick up a couple of these and make a really big floral motif. The options are there. Ah, oh, that I mean that would just be amazing. Perfectly, perfectly colour matched. And I can remember you saying some time ago, Jake, that you know when you colour match your gemstones, um, immediately um, we should expect to pay at a, a minimum of fifteen percent premium. Oh yeah, and on no, no, this material, fifty. Oh yeah, yeah. On this material, fifty percent premium. Fifty percent. So, so 50% you would expect to pay higher for, uh, for, 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 for sunstone, for Oregon sunstone, no less. Please do not mis uh, mistake what you are looking at here for maybe other examples that we've brought you here at Jewelry Maker. And listen, that's not me being disrespectful to no, previous no, 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 sunstone. No. The reality is it's lovely, but it's not this. So th there are a lot of guides out there. There are a lot of guides out there who, who say, look, 
Yes, they both are technically speaking a form of sunstone. Mm -hmm. However, that's where the comparison ends. And it really is that simple. There is Oregon sunstone and there is everything else. And yeah. I've brought you other I've brought you other sunstones. I brought you Tanzanian sunstone, Shinya from an area called Shinyanga. Lovely, you get to really see the copper platelets. No colour, no transparency. I brought you sunstone from other places on the planet. Again, lots of copper shit, lots of copper shiller, no sunstone, no clarity. Uh, sorry, no, uh, no, no colour, no clarity. This, in many ways, it, it is a sunstone because geologically speaking, that's what we're looking at. But it is not the same gem. It yeah. really is not. I mean, that's like comparing my great brain capacity with Brian Cox. You know? <laughs> See, this, I, this, I personally this. was going down a uh, pa Pammy Spinel and a black Spinel. Yes. So, so there's it, a huge it, difference. There's a, there's a huge. Both of them are black. Both of them are Spinels. Okay, but one of them is from Tajikistan. Uh, mines that have been occasionally mined over a couple of a couple of thousand years. The, the, the Queen's Black, uh, Black Princess Ruby in the crown is mm -hmm. a Pamir Spinel. One of them is up at the very up top end, Mahenge Spinel as well, very, very top end. The other Black Spinel, thankfully, is relatively affordable. They are both Spinels, but they have nothing else in common. Yeah, and I'd absolutely. say with the Sunstone, that's probably the fairest... Uh, the fairest, the fairest oh, comparison I could make. Amazing, absolutely incredible. You almost—it's almost, almost one of those that does like Zarite has its own name. Maybe I, I, wouldn't it be lovely? Oh no, no uh, absolutely. Well, we did uh, actually. It's interesting you say that. So, if anyone's ever collected Lairite from us before, yeah, um, for the, exactly that reason, Al, because there was a lot of confusion in the industry, we um, we, we 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 named the gem Lairite after Glenn Lehrer, who was the, the link, really, between the GIA research team and us getting in there. Uh, however, the Oregon Sunstone mine, we did that to try to create clarity in the marketplace. So we had Sunstone and then, and then Lehrite. However, uh, or the Oregon Sunstone, rather, Oregon Sunstone and, and, and everything else. However, the Oregon Sunstone miners then came to us and said, look, this feels unfair because, uh, because it's actually created more confusion in the marketplace and people now are not are not sure whether whether our material is you know is, is Oregon sunstone is it the the treated material like everything else mm -hmm. how does it relate to Lara? it's created more confusion how can you help us with this and and our, our solution was simple look we always it was never our intention to create clarity we we'll always want to create uh, sorry never our intention to create confusion always want to create clarity and if the Oregon miners want this material referred to as Oregon sunstone then of course. Of course, they are the ones mm -hmm. who, as stakeholders, should be the most, the, 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 the biggest voice in that process. And that's why we no longer refer to this material as Lairite. But at the request of the Oregon miners and working with those incredible pioneers, we are giving this uh, the Oregon Sunstone designation. Now, this is my final Oregon Sunstone opportunity. Final chance for you. Have a look. It's the cut you've loved all show, The Princess. Yeah. Uh, Yet it's the most saturated princess we have seen in the show. Yeah. That's that beautiful, intense green that you were referencing earlier on. Yeah. Oh. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to open, I'm going to open split pay at 49.99. Wow. I want to open the split page here because it will not... Oh, hang on. Don't know what's going on there. It's... Not four payments. <laughs> yeah. I think that's a graphic problem. I think... You're confusing the system <laughs> I've confused now. confused the system very much here. <laughs> Liam, let's go straight down, please. Nineteen ninety nine. You don't need split pay, but talk to the contact centre to see what options you've got. <laughs> I think I've just broke the system with that one. Yeah, yeah. Nineteen ninety nine for the entire solitaire stone. <laughs> or you can pay four lots and get. <laughs> you know. Yeah, yeah. You might as well get four at the end of the day. 
Uh, that is totally a technical graphical uh, error. The, the, the truth is this should not be on split pay. I've tried to force the split pay open for you. And look, it's clearly the computer's not liking it. Uh, but 1999, let's focus in on that. 1999, look at the oh saturation you've got. Look at the quality. It's in the Princess Kai. It's our final Oregon Sunstone opportunity on what has been an amazing, amazing, incredible event. Thank you so much, everyone. Uh, who has really changed the kind of jewellery that you now have access to. I mean, you, you said it earlier, you, you say the word custodians, and uh, yeah. um, this really is one of those uh, gemstones that we'll be custodians of. Um, I can't wait for people to start getting valuations back on, oh, yeah. on these you opportunities. Know what, honestly, I, I tell you what I can't wait for. I can't wait. Seven months from now, we're at the Tucson show together. We go and talk to Naranjan. We go and talk to Dalian Hargrave. We go and talk to the miners of this incredible material. We look at their quality and you see there's no difference. We ask them how much per carat is the material that they're offering to the trade at a gym show. And you see the savings you've made today. I cannot wait for that moment. I'm so excited. It's only seven months away. And my goodness me, I think that will validate everything we've ever said on yeah, this show absolutely. times 10. Absolutely. And, and not just with your Oregon Sunstone. You know, that's going to be validation for many of the amazing gemstones that you treat us with, Jake. Um, absolutely. I mean, it's fairly obvious, I should, uh, for me to assume then, Jake, that this is not going to be a regular show. Oh, no, uh, no, no, no. Oregon no. Sunstone. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Uh, it's not. It, look, this is, this is seven years worth of cutting. Yeah. Seven years worth of cutting in this show, um, and it's only because we were supposed to take this to the JCK show. Okay. Only we were supposed to take this Which to the JCK Which would have been on around about Which now. Which would be wrapping up as we speak. Wow. Yeah. You'd have been finishing. So that is how it has been included and scheduled into your show. Jake has mentioned to you quite frequently the fact that he has members of the trade um, who tune in uh, to Jewelry Maker, trusty old Jewelry Maker, but we have Jake now as part of the actual, uh, um, as part of the team. So amazing that we can actually, thank you, Jake, so much for no bringing problem. these. No problem, no, thank you. And, and, and the best news, the very best news is that was only part of it. That was only part of, what, of it. The next time, so, so next week, we're going through a bit of a three-week American Gemstone celebration. So between JCK show and, uh, and the 4th of July weekend, we're going to be celebrating the very best of gemstones that come from America. We've just had the Oregon Sunstone. Next week, I'm going to be celebrating with you three different treasures from the Mojave Desert. Wow. Turquoise, Copper Mojave Turquoise. Copper Mojave Peridot as well, unlike anything wow. you've ever seen. And then the week after Elwyn, it's you and I, just before the 4th, it's the 3rd of July, I believe, the 4th of July, we have got, you've seen the teals, you've seen the greens of the Oregon Sunstone, but you might be at home forgiven for going, I've waited all show and I've not seen them yet. Where is the red? Where's the red sunstone? Where is, if I come back to the, well, the, the article in a moment's time, right at the beginning, you know, it won an award, red. It won an award, red. If I come right back to the very beginning of the article, you see one, two, three, four, five, six different cuts. One of them is red. In two weeks' time, we have the second half of the Oregon Sunstone Collection, which focuses in on the reds wow. and the peaches. Very, very excited to share that. Yeah, we're taking what we've seen today, stepping up our level in two weeks time. Good luck and I'll see you next week. Jewelry Maker are proud to be part of the Gemporia partnership. Our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Hi guys, I'm Dave Troth, uh, you know, responsible for sourcing many of the incredible gemstones uh, that, that we bring you here. And uh, coming up this week, I'm really excited to share with you some of these exotic treasures for the most incredible deals you'll ever see.
Here at Jewellery Maker, we want to still be able to support you in your jewellery making journey. We understand that during these unprecedented times, the priority is to keep everyone safe. We want to still give you the option to learn, experience and join like-minded people by offering our online workshops. Our online workshops are still run by our amazing designers who will guide you step by step and give you all the support needed to develop your skills. For more information, contact our workshop coordination team by emailing sarah.bingham at jewellerymaker.com. Jewellery Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewellery Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewellery making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like-minded people. Create. Wear. Share. Guess where I am? In our brand new all singing, all dancing warehouse. We are so excited and this is going to make such a difference to what we can bring you here at Jewelry Maker. Mediums, products, treats, storage, because guess what? We've now got more storage. This is epic. Come and have a look here because come, come on, come on, come on. I'm like, challenge Annika, come on. So look at that. Just, just all those drawers. All these points, all these locations that we can pick your brand new items from. Now, what does that mean for this weekend? Well, come in, I'll tell you. Come on, I've got to get the clipboard. Come on. Come on. Right. So, bear with me. Friday morning, we're starting with Carol. Milliput DVD launch with Gemma Crow. Oh, now in the afternoon. There's going to be a brand new, I'm so excited. It's a new offer for you, and it's going to be magnificent. It's going to be called Xena's steal of the week. I haven't decided what I'm going to steal yet, but <laughs> I'm in the right place, aren't I? So that's going to be Friday at 2pm. Now, Saturday morning, I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Claire McDonald, and she's going to be doing stacker rings with tube setting. Now, deal of the day, totally awesome tourmaline-tastic it is. That's going to be epic. In the afternoon, I'm so excited, we are launching Susie Menham's first ever DVD. Everybody has been asking for a Marla DVD and we've got it. So Sunday at 1pm, uh, I'm going to be joined by Hannah Osborne. Checkmates, triangles and tiles with a booklet. Yes, now then, right, is that enough to start? Because we've then got the rest of this absolutely huge warehouse that we've now moved into and it opens this weekend. Once everything's stocked, every one of these boxes will be stocked with treats for you. So, you know that steel deal? Bear with me, I'm just going to go and get it. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. My goodness how amazing was this morning congratulations every single one of you that managed to get hold of your Oregon sunstone it is utterly beautiful and as I said during the show I think I have a new favorite I do genuinely think my, I've got a new favourite. That is absolutely sensationally beautiful. Um, now what are we going to do this hour? I'm not going to try and top it so we're going to do something completely different. Completely different. 
So what we thought we'd schedule for one hour only, these will be available to you at these prices at one hour only. Uh, for the first time in a very long time, we're going to do an avalanche. So what that basically means, jewelry makers, that the first strand that you see will be priced at X and then everything thereafter that will be lower and they're on and they're on and they're on. You can pre-order yours now. So it's kind of like a viewer's choice. They're available. They're locked and loaded on the website and they are all in consecutive order. So um, the only one items that aren't included in the price avalanche, by the way, well, sorry, haven't been taken out, um, are the Kunzai and Blue Lace Agate, which by the way, which by the way, Jake was utterly admiring, wasn't he? He was saying that is an amazing strand. Um, so currently at £39.99, but it's sandwiched between a £21.99 and a £17.99. So you can kind of figure out roughly where that's going to be going. Um, and you can pre-order that right now. Kunzite and Blue Lace Agate, oh, in one strand. But can we go right to the bottom of the... of, of, of So hang on, £1. So, but what's that? Amber for a pound? No, 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 no. Yeah, hey, hey, yeah, you can pre order them right now, but they're available for one hour only. For one hour only. Sorry, I don't know where that came from, I'm not really sure. Should we get cracking then? So, as you'd imagine, we're starting at number one, and you are starting. With some beautiful blue diamonds. Oh, my goodness. They come in this beautiful gold box as well. So another indication of the quality of the gemstones that you're actually getting here. Look at the intensity of colour. When we're referencing diamonds, we talk about um, coloured diamonds, fancy diamonds, basically within the industry. We refer to, obviously, the four Cs, but also an openness of colour. How able are your, your fancy diamonds um, able to bring that, uh, produce the brilliance that they uh, that the we that we aspire to actually owning. Um, we're starting at eighty nine pounds and ninety nine pence. Again, you can get this home on split pay. Look at that! Um, Visualise the Hope Diamond if you can. If you ha if you can't do that, just you can you can Google it. Um, but do that after you've made your acquisition. The Hope Diamond has this wonderful combination of blues and greens, but it's the brilliance that we should be able to see as well and appreciate. Two point eight five of carrot uh, eight five carats of incredible vibrant blue diamonds in this absolutely beautiful graduated strand um, of genuine diamonds. We're not talking about synthetics. We're talking about the real deal. And yes, we are at a double figure price tag. It's the beginning of our price avalanche and we are immediately, jewelry makers, in a double figure price tag. You can get it home for £29.99. Uh, but Liam, you know, if you do anything right now, no, if, whatever you do now, you know there's implications in a price avalanche. That's the issue. If Liam says, okay, you know what, I'm, you know, it's not going quick enough, it's 10 past the hour. Um, if he drops the price, then everything else thereafter has to be dropped also. So £26.66 on your split pay for almost three carats, the lowest ever price of this strand by an absolute long shot. I mean, you're talking about sort of uh, uh, the realms of di diamond tennis bracelets here. You're talking about the realms of diamond tennis necklaces even. But even more than that, exciting is the fact that you have got fancy blue with that astonishing brilliance. Again, interest there. I'll leave that with you. Confirmation's being made. Um, so you know it has to go lower than 79 .99. Um, but there's something I really need to emphasise before before we... How are you doing that, though, Liam? Because it, 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 it's a fair assumption most diamonds are irradiated. Fine. It's fine. Most tanzanite's heat-treated. Lots of gemstones will undergo... Swiss blue topaz is irradiated. Natural, natural diamonds are astonishingly rare, <gasps> especially with this intensity of colour. Oh, they're in the cubes as well. I adore the diamonds in the cube. Straight into your price point. We're not chipping away at this. We're going through an avalanche here, jewellery makers. What on earth? So now you're saying that everything in this price avalanche is going to be under £50. 
for natural diamonds right now. Um, first time this was actually brought to air. It's sold out in less than two minutes. We have managed to uh, reorder um, a few more opportunities for you, jewelry makers. It's completely natural and get, again worthwhile getting your certificate of authenticity for this. You have that lovely uh, deep canary golden yellow under fifty pounds. I mean, just 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 pinch yourself a moment to to kind of think realize that these are genuine diamonds they're natural canary diamonds and we're under 50 pounds again confirmations being made massive congratulations to you beautiful cubes from one to one uh, one to two millimeters in their size in that lovely graduation can you imagine them with just a few of your sterling silver spaces dotted in between how beautiful they would be. Or maybe some of your other micro faceted gemstones. These launched and sold out, by the way, at £149. How have we just casually taken £100 off that price tag? Is it, oh, solely because it's the Avalanche. Okay. Okay. I mean, you could use these possibly alongside your Oregon Sunstone. They are of that caliber and of that status. Um, again, you can get hold of these on your split pay jewelry makers on the web. Make sure you make your confirmations um, to get hold of these. Um, less than five of these now remain within the vault. So, yeah, they're going to get snapped up super fast. I've, I, have you, uh, do you own a, one, one and a half carats of diamonds? Did you, if you do, did you pay 50 pounds? Uh if you did, can you tell us where? Yes, because we very much like to know. Because um, that, I can't, that's historical, tr to be truthful, especially when they are not even irradiated. Okay, moving on to, so you know that after, hereafter it's got to be below, it's got to be below 50 pounds. Now this is, I don't suppose we've got a bust handy, have we? Um, so this is, I imagine from our sister channel, is it? Yeah, so this is a Gemporia, high quality, thank you, Adam, a high quality piece of jewellery. If I actually show you, I'm going to be a bit unconventional and actually show you the clasp first, um, because it features, firstly, 925 sterling silver, plus also your magnetic clasp. If you want to use the bolt ring, you can, but you actually have the magnetic attachment there as well, so you don't even need to use that. Um, effectively, it's adjustable to, uh, um, to a length of two inches, but if I then just bring this up to the, the bust itself... You have glacial clarity of beautiful sky blue aquamarine. Look at that for £34.99. Look at that wonderful graduation. Look at the consistency of clarity from rondelle to rondelle. Um, complete uniformity of quality of colour um, with the sterling silver um, investment into this as well. So you are actually acquiring, you're actually acquiring, I'll show you on the black background as well, um, just so you can really see the quality of the aquamarines here as well different gemstones uh, prefer different imagine on your skin again it's it's darker than stark white so obviously you're going to see that wonderful color um intensely so you are looking at complete high quality high quality jewelry here not not strands this is complete high quality jewelry and we're at 34.99 that's absolutely incredible for 40 ca uh, 42 carats of absolute eye clean clarity. You can make your confirmations jewelry makers ahead of your av avalanche. Um, know that they will be going probably lower than what's on your screens. So from 34, from what number, sorry? Uh, I don't have a 49. Oh, hang on. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Gold. Literally gold. I've only got this one, I think. Let me show you. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I've got them. I beg your pardon. So, which one would you like to start with? Here we go. So, it's solid nine carat gold. In your serpentina chain, that's pretty, isn't it? Um, do you notice how it's a, it's a, a serpentina chain is one of those lovely flat chains that caresses the curves of your decolletage. Again, if I just turn this and <coughs> rock it back and forth, you have that wonderful uh, light transfer, that liquid luster that glides across your serpentina chain. 18 inches you're getting here. It is going to sit 
so beautifully um, on your decolletage jewelry makers for solid nine carat gold we're at 34 pounds and 99 pence um, with of course your bolt ring clasp as well i mean again this is the, 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 this is fine fine precious metal you know the price of sterling silver gold platinums have all absolutely skyrocketed and here we are bringing it to you in a, in a price crash um, price avalanche let's bring you the next gold um, so it's a different style of link now we can we can't go upwards on a price avalanche we can go down or we can price match for nine carat gold. I, I, I challenge you, set you a challenge after you've made your confirmations to try and find any gold, um, any gold chain up to this level of quality and with this, uh, this gram weight at anywhere near 34.99. I shouldn't imagine it's going to be possible. You're going to be talking about sort of what, 70, 80, 90 pounds for solid nine carat gold absolutely unbelievable um, again make your confirmations for this and now it's got a slightly different link to your serpentina don't forget they're all available right now things are already selling out ahead of your price avalanche the ethiopian pear cabochons have gone the butterscotch amber gone sold out so don't wait necessarily until the price avalanche um, you're going to have to trust us here at jewelry maker uh, to guarantee you the best possible deal which we always do which we always always do okay let's bring you now should we go back to the realm of diamonds gosh a huge parcel a huge parcel of black diamonds oh now obviously it's not I reference openness of colour with your blue diamonds and your yellow diamonds. With black diamonds, it's all about the exterior. Um, one of the reasons why we fell in love with rough diamonds in your pieces of jewellery, uh, the likes of Rihanna is wearing rough diamonds at the moment, is because of black. Um, because you actually have this really beautiful metallic-esque luster across the surface. This is a massive parcel. Ten carats of incredible genuine black diamonds in their rough form so rough refers to um the fact that they're not actually faceted or calibrated it's a massive trend at the moment do you see that lovely texturing do you see that beautiful light performance on the exterior of rough diamonds 22 pounds goodness me we're barely at 20 past the hour and we're already ready at 22 pounds in your price avalanche and if i just cast my eyes i can see tourmaline i can see amazonite i can see fire opal i can see uh beautiful pairs of turquoise earrings i can see so it's all available to you right now you know they are all going lower than the price that's on your screen already multi buyers you've just you've just purchased 20 carats by the way the multi buyers um again those of you with it in your baskets do check out because items are selling out already um okay moving on to oh no, 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 no. We've just launched these, Liam. They've only just launched. They're 925 sterling silver. So this has got to go to £22. And that's not that's each, yeah? That comes within price avalanche rules, doesn't it? You're getting all three. We've not long launched these here at Jewelry Maker. So again, sorry, those tweezers. Um Baltic Amber with all of those lovely internal inclusions. Um, not unusual for them to, to for them to treat your amber. This has the <coughs> excuse me, a very tropical essence. You've got almost the um, the bright orange sands of holiday destinations. Those wonderful lagoon blues. Look at the play of light that you get from the inclusions present within your Baltic amber. If I just quickly flip this over, you can see the investment of sterling silver as well, and they are nine two five sterling silver as also they are very new very new to the jewelry maker vault you've got basically a pendant and a pair of earrings in sterling silver um and we're guaranteeing it under well here we go at 21 pounds and 99 pence um add your uh, a, a, literally a jump ring that's all you need maybe a pair of your shepherd hooks and a chain job done you've just made yourself a full suite of jewelry of genuine amber jewelry at under 22 pounds wendy sabine sharon catherine hello you hazel joanna candice uh, jonathan you've got to check out your baskets if you want to guarantee your success as i said earlier on items are already selling out and they're available literally until the top of the hour um items are selling out okay uh, pop sockets are gone what else 
Amber's gone. Uh, Opal's gone. So there's there's the pop socket. Here we go. Sold out. Gone. Ethiopian Opal. Gone. These are going very fast, by the way. Some of these are very limited. Very, very, very limited. And you know they're all coming your way at under £21.99. Right the way down to a pound. Right the way down to a pound. Okay. Um, is, it, is, is it what, what? Is it time for that? Okay, so... No, I can't. You're right. Can you believe we're doing Kunzite for £21? No. Um, so, but some of you may, may, or may, want, may or may well not know that I actually started my uh, presenting career on one of our sister channels. Um, and it was around about the time that we had... Uh, the, the, the founder actually purchased a, a very exciting parcel of Kunzite that was called Minas Geris. Now, I'm not saying it is that location. And the reason why I'm mentioning it is because it had this presence of natural color Color, which had, hadn't been really found or discovered anywhere else um, previously, naturally. Now, kunzite is one of the most, regarded as one of the most feminine gemstones, but is also a, a big investment. It's generally speaking quite an investment as a gemstone. You know it's included in the price avalanche, which basically means that I'm bringing you that incredible gemstone, plus your blue lace agate, which is regarded as the queen of agates, in a beautiful knotted strand that could so simply be a perfect necklace at under $21.99. A member of the Spodumene family regarded as... I, I, I don't know, do I talk about the Kunzite? Do I talk about the Blue Lace Agate? Well, I'll try and squeeze in both while stocks last. Listen, it's all day long. I've got 150 opportunities. All day long, any other hour, they would be at £39.99 for this quality of Kunzite. And it is all about the colour. Um, as, a, as a general rule of thumb, when it comes to your colour gemstones, colour is king. That's the number one factor that will actually drive the value it's not the carrot weight it's not necessarily the clarity it is the intensity of color and absolutely the case when it comes to your kunzite and blue lace so a member of the spodumene family regarded as the most feminine of all gemstones um, quite new to actually the gemstone world um, discovered um, in the early 1900s 1902 to be precise kunzite has a very unique shade of pink that you don't find maybe in your morganite or your rose quartz or um, your or sapphires even because it has that perfect combination of uh, pinks and also violets um, it comes from trace amounts of your manganese within the actual gemstone and it is a stunningly feminine gemstone um, highly pleochroic as well so even in your rounds especially you know if you imagine wearing this jewelry makers be that in a mala knotted necklace alongside pearls whether you choose to use these individually um, you will still see secondary flashes of colors because it uh, because of its gemstones pleochroism and believed to sim symbolize, um, uh, symbolize innocence, purity, love, femininity, all of those wonderful things that many of us aspire to own in, uh, in gemstone jewelry. We've knotted this in the strand and of course complementing alongside your blue lace agate, which if I quickly talk about as well, because you are getting two very desirable colored gemstones here, which work so perfectly together. Your blue lace agate is considered to be one of the most beautiful of all your agates in the world. Um, it was actually discovered on in Southwest Africa by a gentleman called George Swanson and he called um, he called it the gem of ecology because it is because of its unique swirls and white blue patterns. Swanson felt it reminded him of the clouds above the earth. It's believed to help if you are into your crystal healing by the way believed to help you diminish anger um, and install one's calmness um, and alleviate anxiety it's both of these it has that innocence it has that wonderful purity that we spoke about before um, that complements one another massive designers are working alongside in particular you know Kunzite we're talking the likes of Tiffany when it comes to your Monica Veneda you're talking uh, sorry when it comes to your blue lace you're talking Monica Veneda Jigsaw Wolf and Badger Links of London to name just a few okay we're going to give you 60 seconds 
to get involved, to get ready, to get steady. Now, you know that this is going under £21.99. We have 150 of these available, but how much lower um, below £21.99 can it possibly go? Can you imagine wearing this in a Marla star necklace? You kind of get the illusion of how beautiful it's going to be with the knotting. Now, I think you can knot this far better than what, uh, what we're seeing on the strand. So I personally would actually uh, take it off the strand and, and then use your skills to get that wonderful consistency. Blue lace agate, the queen of agates, considered to be one of the most beautiful of all agates on the planet, plus the femininity of natural pink kunzite here, alternating in this absolutely exquisite strand. If you wanted this combination, if you wanted this duo, you'd have to buy a strand of kunzite, you'd have to buy a strand of blue lace agate. How often do we bring you both of those gemstones? We've put the two in this one amazing opportunity opportunity and in just a couple of seconds we're going to take it below 21.99 you know that's going to be the case and there are repercussions to this jewelry makers that means that everything else throughout the course of this hour also has to go under 17 pounds sabine i can visualize the necklace that you are creating from the three uh, beautiful strands that you have purchased nottinghamshire wendy rupwanti angela kerryann cornwall You've got yours as well. Uh, Deborah, Elizabeth, hello to you. Sarah in Cambridgeshire. Constance, Joe, hello, Gillian. Hello to Carmarthenshire. Hello to April. Hello to new customers. You've got to check out your baskets. It's natural kunzite. There's no heat treatment, which is ordinarily what we should assume for kunzite. It undergoes that treatment process. Kunzite, which is the pink, by the way, um, is the gemstone that you will see quite frequently in the Tiffany's & Co. collection. Imagine the price tag that it would commit. Uh, would actually command elsewhere um, your blue lace again I've mentioned big designers like Jigsaw Wolf and Badger Monica Venedra who chooses very fine and beautiful gemstones within their collection this is the queen of agates and the ultimate regard as the ultimate most feminine gemstone in the entire world it's an absolute giveaway deal you have 30 minutes to make those confirmations or until stocks last that might be the case um, because there are a lot of multi-buyers okay let's move on because i still have much to bring you moving on to uh uh, do you know, uh, Jake, Jake mentioned earlier on the fact that he's going to be travelling around sort of the USA uh, <clears throat> with some of his Gem Investor shows. Um, and actually, I was thinking, oh, Fire Opal, because USA Fire Opal is incredible. And I don't know if that's the location of this one. But you have this gemstone, which has just got the most. Mexican, USA, for me, they're parallel in terms of the quality, as long as they have a vibrant personality. Um, and it's not necessarily which colour is the most desired. It's actually the transparency that we refer to in your fire opal um how how, how beautifully transparent is uh, other gemstones look at that and that's natural by the way there is no deeper red than than than, than fire opal in my opinion well no there is that's not true but there's no more um how do i refer, how do i for, uh, phrase this there's no red colored gemstone which has the energy, I think, uh, that you're actually seeing in this beautiful graduated strand. You have those wonderful, soft, um, uh, delicate yellows working their way right, right the way up to those vibrant oranges and that wonderfully intense, hot, natural fire opal red. Um, so we don't see it very often on your screens, jewelry makers. You know it had to be under 17 pounds, 16 pounds and 49 pence only. Okay, let's move on to a bead scoop. A double bead scoop. Oh, I mean, hang on. I don't know if I should do this, so if we've got the time, but we'll do, I'm doing it anyway. Ready? Ready? This is a thousand carats. No, hang on a minute. No, it's not. That's 500 carats. Oh, look at those. How is, how is this under 15 pounds? Because it's price avalanche, isn't it? That's what you're going to say. You've got a huge selection. I mean, that's crying out to be your Marla, on your Marlas, isn't it? I've got some really lovely magnesite in your drums. I've got some um, hematite, loving this shape as well. Some really beautiful, chunky rondelles. You've got a multitude. I've got rhodochrosite there. I've got some lovely uh, green onyx. 
That's only the 500 carats. Shall I do it? Come on. Lucy's like, no! Look at the amount that you're getting here. I've got Amazonite in here. I've got Blue Lace Agate. I've got Moonstone. I've got Tiger's Eye. Um, in pretty much every single shape that you could possibly wish for. You've got Mookite just here. We've got some lovely Amethyst just here. What else? We've got Brush Stones, uh, Brush uh, Gemstones. You've got your Carnelian Brush Stones. Um, I've got a massive Garnet. Look at the size of that one just there. Huge, huge Garnet. Uh, black Rutile Quartz in your heart. Heart just here um, you know it's going under 15 pounds a thousand carats you have just purchased amazing imagine that in a lovely rosary link long line necklace um, okay what was that sorry already on the verge of selling out oh now if if this does no when this sells out next Friday so not tomorrow the Friday after set a reminder we actually have uh, some new Buddha uh, beads to bring you as well. Now, these are in a variety of your genuine gemstones. So you're getting two amethysts, two labradorite, and also one rose quartz. Look at the detailing of that Buddha carving. Isn't that amazing? Ab Has it gone? Yeah, absolutely incredible. Um, okay. <clears throat> Love these. Again, um... This is your spiny oyster turquoise. So it's actually a reconstitution um, of your spiny oyster shell alongside turquoise itself. It's really lovely. Um, on, our you, uh, on our sister channel, they do your copper Mojave collection turquoises. I've seen it in different gemstones. It's a wonderful, like a, like a beautiful mosaic of mother nature. Um, and you are getting that perfect pair. Um, they go beautifully in your prong set mounts if you have any that are 14 by 10 millimeters. In fact, I think we actually did that today. 14.99 for those. Um, I'm gonna move quickly on to, oof. Oof, is this Imperial Garnet? As the name suggests, very, very rare, very, very desirable. You have this uh, uh, very reminiscent of an imperial topaz, um, but you're actually getting a collection, a wonderful parcel of them too. Look at that, perfectly colour matched. Here's the key words, not enhanced. I think that's sold out. Has it sold out? Right, okay. Leave that with you. Price avalanche. Um, okay, moving on to... Uh, okay. Liam says, speed up, L. He wants to get to the bottom of the pole sheet. Okay. Uh, stop it. No, that can't be. That can't be twelve ninety nine. They are massive, incredible natural Amazonite. Amazonite is only ever natural. A member of the Feldspar family, and the more like this it is, the better. The more intense that Amazonite colour is, the finer the quality. Um, is, this is either Peruvian or Russian, one of the two. Is it? In, it doesn't matter, the country of origin. This is Indian. The reason... Has it gone? Yeah. I'm not surprised. Not surprised. Okay. Um, I've brought this strand to air. I remember it quite clearly. Amazon... Sorry. Did I go to the wrong one? I beg your pardon. Okay, we're getting to that then. That's exciting. You have your multicoloured tourmaline, a bundle. Uh, how? Can I buy some of these? They would be really simple, kind of stacker style, bra uh, stacker style bracelets. Natural pink tourmaline, natural multicolored tourmaline, all in this lovely, very dynamic uh, saucer shape. We've said it before and we'll say it again. There is no other gem, no gemstone that doesn't work with this amazing cut. It's kind of borderline marquise, if you see where I'm coming from, um, in that you've got those really lovely dramatic angles. That should be £12.99 per strand, uh, not for the two of them. So that's what, £6.50 for, for tourmaline? £6.50, only in a price avalanche. Okay, let's bring you... Oh... A little Marla Citrine set comes within the actual storage box as well, jewellery makers. You've even got your tassel ready made for you. You've got the threading material for you to actually knot in between your gemstones. You have the perfect amount of your citrine. 
Um, plus you also have the guru beads. Uh, with the actual storage, twelve ninety nine for glowing warm, uh, glowing warm citrine with the threading material, with the mala necklace, with the guru beads. There's only twenty of these, and there's a lot of you getting involved. It will be a stunning piece come the end of... Uh, I mean, you've got all the ingredients. You don't need to shop elsewhere. Everything is there um, in this uh, little little case of storage. June, hello to you, Cornelia. Hello to you, Northamptonshire. Lisa, Rosalind, Leslie, Angela. Check out those baskets again. If you want to multi-buy, you can at 12 99 That's amazing. Um, okay, let's move on to that beautiful Cal Sedney strand. Yeah, I brought this to where... Um, I remember it. It's, it's one of those memorable strands. But A, because we don't see Cal Sedney that frequently uh, a gemstone which actually has a really beautiful level of transparency um, but also look at this it's quite this is quite a quite a heavenly strand I think 11.99 it's such a beautiful beautiful strand never been at 11.99 and I know I've brought this to air previously not that long ago in actual fact um, look at that it's almost it is, it's almost heavenly, isn't it? It's almost got that spiritual glow behind the actual natural, genuine gemstones. Again, check out if you want to guarantee these. Um, so, okay, so, so we've got a, quite a message into the studio saying, how is this price avalanche? Okay, so let me explain. We can't go up. We can either match it or go down. You can eat, we can't go up. So a price avalanche is we can match it or we can go lower, like we've just done. So, yeah, the last uh, there's a couple of items that were the same just. That's still a massive reduction. We can match it or we can go lower. That's price avalanche. Uh, Hiya, June, saying, good morning, Elle. I bought this Carl Sandley strand uh, last time. It is just gorgeous. So, so pretty. Great deals today. Um, and it's on the verge of selling out, June, as well. Lots of items are selling out today. Um, okay, now let's move to, how about some beautiful mookite? <gasps> oh, I want that strand. That's amazing, beautiful. Look at the faceting. How is this under £10? Look at the cutting that you're getting here. The definition, the precision of each of those uh, described as lantern shapes. You've got some multiple facets um, on your lantern cut, but also this one locational gemstone um, that is mookite coming from the western regions of Australia. Look at that, beautiful. On, gone. That means now the next item we can either match $9.99 or go lower. That's what Price Avalanche, our sister channel, does it as well. <gasps> Oh, look at that beautiful, glistening clarity. Nine pounds and 49 pet. Look at that clarity. That's something we don't see very often. That's something we don't see very often in, uh, in fluorite clarity. It normally has this lovely, quite whimsical sleepiness about it. But look at that. It's actually the surface luster which has given you that performance of light. Um, all your multiple colours and shades of this natural gemstone, uh, as the name should suggest, it literally fluoresces under UV light. Um, and it comes in purples, pinks, greens. You can actually get some beautiful um, ice white coloured fluorite. 70 carats that you're getting in this strand. That's stunning. I think I'd actually just restrand it as so. Um, keep on dialing through. So now, um, next item. We can either match... Or go lower. Liam, but if you do that, it's just, it, it is that literally avalanche effect. Okay, I know our graphics don't say it, but this is very Indicolite-esque, which is one of the most sought-after colours of your tourmaline. Would we all agree with that? An indicolite is a teal. It's a teal bluey green. That's natural, because tourmaline always is. Oh, no, you can fill it, I suppose. That's natural, but that is a definite indicolite-esque strand. How on earth are we under £10 for this? 
Add this to my already extensive order today. Add this because that's, that, that's an opportunity I can't afford to miss. Again, beautiful luster, natural color saturations. Never in a million years should be a single figure price tag. Um, okay, let's move on to, I, I have my eye on this strand, Liam. It's absolutely stunning. Fire opal with... Look at, the, look at this beauty. It's the design's done for you. Just I just restrand that. Beautiful, unusual tumble. Yes, they are that. But also they're a mirror image. Hang on, ignore that, because that you can't do. We can't go up on a price avalanche. There you go. Look how beautifully mirror image that is as well. Natural, beautiful peachy tones. You've got your warm sort of reddish orange colours, your peachy pinks here. Um, really lovely. All completely natural. A lot of pop, uh, a lot of desire for this strand. Nine pounds. I'd literally restrand it. Put it on some sterling silver. It's almost sold out. Okay, moving on to... Uh, who loves who loves their uh, their beaded jewellery? Absolutely, you're in the right place then because this is amazing labradorite, and I'm also going to show you. No, whoa, whoa, whoa. Liam, what is in twenty four? Sorry, is it? it Look, I thought it was matrix opal. Can you imagine those together? Eight ninety nine for your faceted cashmere grey faceted labradorite look this is labradorescence here we go if ever you if ever you wondered you have these tiny platelets that capture and play with the light and bring you different spectrums of color labradorescence it absolutely should never be a single figure price tag not for this quality of labradorite um again keep on dialing through um that's beautiful uh, it from from uh, myself i don't mind saying it from a distance i picked it up and went is that is that Matrix Opal, which would never be single figures, of course. Even the feel of it feels like that. Are you sure? You've got these lovely valleys, these rivers of almost... Okay, so it's certified as your Zebra Jasper. Look at that. I can see where it gets its name from, actually. There's almost a pearlescence to these. That is absolutely amazing. But yeah, from a distance, it's very matrix opal, which would no way be nine pounds. Eight ninety nine only, jewelry makers. Again, lots of you getting involved. First time I think I've actually seen your green zebra jasper. Um, okay, moving on to fifteen minutes. Huh. And it's all going to disappear from your baskets if you haven't checked out, or until stocks last. Lovely in the coins. I don't think I've actually seen zebra jasper before. Have you? I've not seen it before. It's lovely. You've got this almost, uh, um, yeah, they're fab. It's very Chrysocola-esque, very Matrix Opal-esque with a little pearlescence. I think you're getting the best of many worlds here. 8 79 only. Stretchy bracelets again. Pop it in uh, um, with your gents' jewellery as well. You've got Father's Day around the corner, jewellery makers. Something for, um, for the gents and the ladies. Um, and at an £8.79 price tag, that's incredible. 10 millimetre rounds. I, I think the flat surface allows you to really ap appreciate those lovely details. Uh, good afternoon to you, Karen, Lynn, Sharon. Hello to you, Lynn and Ayrshire. New customers. Wow. Have you sorted your Father's Day presents? Is everybody organised this year? Are you organised? Um, I, yeah, I need to sort something out for Tom. I haven't done it as of yet. Haven't done it as of yet. Bottle of whiskey is always a firm favourite in our house. Not for me, but for him. If not, I can make him some lovely jewellery. Okay. Uh, please do make a comparison with this tiger's eye and that that you will find in Van Cleef and Arpels. I'm encouraging you to do that because it's all down to that quality of chatoyancy, that beautiful migration of light. I want you to see just how amazing their tiger's eye is and also ours. And these are very reminiscent in that you've got those lovely uh, slices. 7 dollars for natural tiger's eye. 
full of chatoyancy. It literally transfers across the entire surface um, of, they're, they're described as rose cut, but for me they're like kind of flat slices or, yeah, I can see where they get the rose from because you've got the actual faceting, checkerboard faceting across the surface. Yeah, they're beautiful, aren't they? Just one of those on a sterling silver chain. Seven ninety nine. So that means that every item that I bring you from here on in jewelry makers has to be lower um, sorry, matched or lower for the price at Avalanche. We can either match it or go lower. Um, I'm going to move on. Beautiful. Oh, look at the quality of this quartz again. You've got that lovely uh, purity, that beautiful natural white colour. Long strands too, 28, uh, 38 centimetres I believe, yeah, 38 centimetres you're actually getting here. A white quartz, a quartz of this quality is the is, is, is like our diamond opportunities, I think, uh, as jewellery makers. You know, it's one of those, it's our, it's our way of incorporating that sort of that beautiful, pure white brilliance um, to your design. So, for example, if you got hold of that Kunzai and uh, blue lace agate, look how lovely that goes as a combination. Yeah, really stunning. Two strands of eye clean, beautiful purity um, at £7.89. Keep on down through and then I'm gonna what did you say items are selling out by the way already how about some genuine natural garnet in your 10 millimeter rounds ah oh, there's that opulence that richness that passion that vibrant saturation that this gemstone is uh, is associated with any other day of the week, I, I, I truly think, uh, we, I wouldn't be surprised if I brought this to air at double that price tag. £7.20 um, within your avalanche. Again, that lovely pomegranate colour that we aspire to. Moving on to, <coughs> excuse me, uh, Burmese amber. The oldest of all ambers. Of all ambers. And also completely natural. I mean... I absolutely adore the likes of your uh, uh, Baltic region amber. I love that. But more often than not, it's actually gone through a treatment process. Burmese amber, very new to us here at Jewelry Maker, is the oldest in the world, it, and it is always completely and utterly natural. Um, how... I, I love, Six ninety nine. There's only a handful of these available in our entire vault now. I know that's very, very limited. We even brought you ring mounts and earring mounts that would maybe actually fit uh, this perfect calibration. It will actually uh, color change. It's not regarded as a color change gemstone, but you see that fluorescence, how you get that wonderful blue shimmer. Um, and that is completely natural. That's what the N stands for in your graphics. Six pounds and 99 pence. You do get one. We're showing that same image, that same gemstone under differing light sources. That's fascinating isn't it the oldest of all ambers in the world um okay so something that would go perfectly alongside um your amber and also i think alongside your garnet would be your sunstone uh beautiful shades of lovely uh sort of your nude tones uh, but what i particularly like about this opportunity is the patterns that you're getting we're at six pounds 80 now um with your price avalanche more often uh, especially when we come to the sort of latter stages sorry look at that sunstone there look at that beautiful iridescence um anyway when you come to the uh, sort of the latter stages of a sun uh, of an avalanche um we're more often than not it's non-profitable for us this is basically the it, it it's one of those opportunities where we might have minimal quantity um and you're basically getting them at ultimate clearance deals definitely the case here um moving on to oh i love it absolutely love it yeah these are very cool now, okay, so to broadcast this um, and to purchase this strand, it's costing us more than what's on your screens, obviously. Look at that whimsical, ethereal, beautiful coating on your rose quartz. Um, that uh, hammered cube, so it's done by hand. These aren't machine cut, they're actually done by hand, almost chiseled, if you like, into those lovely irregular shapes. Five ninety nine only. Yeah, for us to buy the strand and broadcast it, 
and the transportation as well. We've got to consider that. It would cost us more than what is on your screens right now. So I should imagine there's only a handful. Um, again, leave that with you. Uh, an absolute must-have. It's almost sold out, actually, jewellery makers. So you're getting three of your silks. Who does pearl knotting? Who does gemstone knotting? Um, these are on your number four cards. So you get two metres, uh, two metres. <laughs> <laughs> two meters of your uh, of your silk um in some lovely colors don't you think so they'll go through if you look at the number below a minimum of your 0.6 millimeter sorry your six mil gemstones yeah that's right so i uh, use that as a gauge um and they are threaded as well if i turn it around you can see there's a needle just there so you haven't got to worry about your needle um on the verge of selling up okay moving on to Oh, multicolored tourmaline. That's beautiful. You could just take each station, couldn't you, and create your chrome tourmaline pieces. You could create the pink tourmaline. You could cre create the blues, black tourmaline as well. You're getting pretty much every single color of tourmaline that there is to offer, pretty much. Four ninety nine. N totally natural. We are looking at one of the, the most complex gemstone. Each and every single one of these colours has got a different chemical composition than the one next to it. Uh, so, that, so the pink is different to the greens. The greens are different to the browns. The browns are different to the, the oranges. Every single one has a different chemical composition. So that means our next item we have to bring to you at 4 99 or lower. Are we doing this now? It's our finale. Oh, we can squeeze in a few more. Natural. Peridot. Our target price, and I don't mind sharing this, is still absolutely epic, is $9.99. So non-calibrated, these are faceted by Mother Nature. As you know that we either have to go $4.99 lower when it comes to peridot it's that perfect combination that perfect balance between green and also your yellows never should we be bringing you peridot particularly usa peridot um at four pounds and 79 pence you know this gemstone is one of the one of the most shallow forming gemstones in the world um alongside your diamonds it forms within the earth's mantle quite fascinating when you consider that this was in the one of the hottest parts of our planet um, and it's driven to the Earth's surface uh, through the movements of tectonic plates, but also volcanic activity. £4.79 only for vibrant and intense and genuine natural USA peridot. Keep on dialing through because I've got five minutes to squeeze in a few more. Um, okay. Uh... Oh, I love it. Not seen this before. Has this been on here? Oh, no, Liam says, that's why. Liam, this is like Russian Amazonite colour. Okay, again, for us to physically buy these and broadcast them and transport them, of course. These would, it's costing us money. It's cost more than what's on your screens right now. We do it from time to time as part of sort of an event like an avalanche or a PR like deal. Um, I'm not saying this is, I don't know, is it, is it Russian Amazonite? It might well be, it might be Peruvian. Um, African, okay. It's found in a few locations around the world. Ultimately, it's not necessarily the country of origin, it's the quality of the genuine gemstone. Um, Amazonite is a member of the Feldspar family. It is only ever natural. I think you know that. That's why so many of you are on the phone lines. Um, and you have this really quite unique uh, uh, combination, or quite unique colour. Um, again, it's on the verge of selling out. Um, it's not eye clean clarity that we're looking for with Amazonite. It's actually uh, um, beautiful opacity, but patterning. Um, okay, let's do now. Lovely pyrite stars. These would all be wish bracelets for me. Ah, oh, they've been added to my order as well. My because my little one um, would break up from her from nursery or reception they call it, don't they? Her first year in school. And um, wouldn't it be nice if she could gift a, a little wish bracelet to all her all her little friends and class buddies? Um, yeah, encourage hopes and dreams. £4.41 only for genuine 
genuine pyrite. I, I had this co a conversation with Willow only yesterday about this. I was like, Willow, what do you want to be? Because it changes. I want to be everything, mummy. I was like, well, can you narrow it down a little bit? Because that's a lot of time. She was like, no, I want to be, this is what her reply already is, always is, I want to be a superhero, doctor, nurse, fireman, policeman, everything. That's what she says every single time. It's like, you do that, girl. You do that, my darling. Four pounds and 41 pence only for this beautiful, genuine, natural gemstone. Um, okay. Essential eye pins. So eye pins have got the ready-made loop at the top there. Complete uniformity that you're getting. Um, anything that you do actually cut down, don't discard because you can actually use it within um, another one of your pieces and designs. £2.29, jewelry makers, for 100 of your essential silver-plated eye pins. Um, 100 of those, wow. Okay. <sighs> okay. 41, and then we're going to uh, end with a, an absolute shocking deal. Okay. In the best possible way. No, you, you can't take this under two... Is it? No, but it can't stay there, Liam. No, you can't go up, Liam. But this should be, I agree, way in excess of what's on your screens. Labradorite in four mil rounds. Add it to my order. Hang on, Liam, what was, what was the price of the eye pins? You've got to take this lower. Sorry, I've got your back, jewelry makers. Liam didn't realise that then. We've got to take it. 222, two up. 229. <laughs> yeah, that should have been before your eye pin, shouldn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, to end and complete our show, jewelry makers, are you ready? Ah, oh, you st I don't think you are, because this is crazy. Beautiful, genuine spinel with that wonderful mystic coating at one pound and ninety nine pence. Goodness me, of course that's crazy. What a way to finish what has been an absolutely incredible, incredible, incredible morning show. Um, I hope there's enough of these to go around. A lot of items have already sold out during your price avalanche, jewelry makers, and this probably is not going to be any different to those um do take a little look back and also anybody that's got items in their baskets you literally have 40 seconds left to make that check out because they will disappear after that and um, they will disappear um so sandra louise uh, joe debbie you have to check out otherwise they will disappear if you've got a phone in your hands you're okay but if it's, it's sat in those baskets it's not going to stay there i'm running out of time jewelry makers but do not go anywhere because i know you have an extra exciting show uh planned this morning coming up on this afternoon uh yes you have the fantastic dave troth i'll be back with you now on monday morning yes don't go anywhere jenny and dave after this jewelry maker are proud to be part of the gemporia partnership our partnership family includes Jewelry Maker, Gem Collector, Gemporia, Sewing Street and Yarn Lane. Hi guys, I'm Dave Troth, uh, you know, responsible for sourcing many of the incredible gemstones uh, that, that we bring you here. And uh, coming up this week, I'm really excited to share with you some of these exotic treasures for the most incredible deals you'll ever see. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker.
Sam in our brand new all singing, all dancing warehouse. We are so excited and this is going to make such a difference to what we can bring you here at Jewelry Maker. Mediums, products, treats, storage, because guess what? We've now got more storage. This is epic. Come and have a look here because come, come on, come on, come on. I'm like, challenge Annika, come on. So look at that. Just just all those drawers, all these points, all these locations that we can pick your brand new items from. Now, what does that mean for this weekend? Well, come here and I'll tell you. Come on, I've got to get the clipboard. Come on. Come on. Right. So, bear with me. Friday morning, we're starting with Carol. Milliput DVD launch with Gemma Crow. Oh, now in the afternoon. There's going to be a brand new, I'm so excited. It's a new offer for you, and it's going to be magnificent. It's going to be called Xena's Steel of the Week. I haven't decided what I'm going to steal yet, but <laughs> I'm in the right place, aren't I? So that's going to be Friday at 2 p.m. Now, Saturday morning, I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Claire McDonald, and she's going to be doing stacker rings with tube setting. Now, deal of the day, totally awesome tourmaline-tastic it is. That's going to be epic. In the afternoon, I'm so excited, we are launching Susie Menham's first ever DVD. Everybody has been asking for a Marla DVD and we've got it. So Sunday at 1pm, uh, I'm going to be joined by Hannah Osborne. Checkmates, triangles and tiles with a booklet. Yes. Now then, right, is that enough to start? Because we've then got the rest of this absolutely huge warehouse that we've now moved into and it opens this weekend. Once everything's stocked, every one of these boxes will be stocked with treats for you. So, you know that steel deal? Bear with me, I'm just going to go and get it. Here at Jewelry Maker, we've got some really exciting news. After 10 and a half years, we can finally launch Split Pay. The whole point of this is to make it as affordable as possible to buy things from Jewelry Maker. So you have the opportunity to pay either two or three fixed interest-free payments depending on the item's value. It's that simple. Thank you, Carols. We are so excited about this opportunity and we know that you will be as well. So enjoy this new way of shopping on Jewelry Maker. So from the three of us and everyone else here at Jewelry Maker, see it, love it, split it. Good afternoon to each and every one of you. You're watching Jewelry Maker and you join us as part of our afternoon masterclass. Have we got a stacked afternoon for you? Thank you so much to the wonderful Anne and to Jake for this morning's show. I didn't know what day it was, did you? I hope you're having a fantastic day though uh, so far. So we've got lots of craft for you in the first two hours of the show and it's all about memory wire. And we've got Dave Troff coming in to show us some incredible jade. De Bruges is going to be staying on to make, uh, and we're going to get all the education from Dave. So we're learning and we're crafting this afternoon. Please welcome our wonderful guest, the Medusa of Jewelry Maker. It is <laughs> De Bruges, everyone. Hello. It was Medusa I called was, you last yes, time, wasn't it? Yes, it was. It? I didn't know if you'd remember. I did, of course, you did. with your gorgeous yeah. wavy locks. Thanks. You look summer breeze today. You do as well. Yeah. Thank you. Well, let's breeze on through the, the show floral. together, shall we? Yeah. We'll breeze on through. we got the floral note. Uh, yeah. We are feeling very, 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 very summery and absolutely crafty. So, De Bruges, today it's all about um, easy makes, isn't it? Memory wire. Yeah, it is. And I like using memory wire not as a memory wire sort of spring but as a framework that you can work on and add to and create some structural pieces that aren't very heavy and do you know what they can come across as this one is is quite minimalistic but yes. really ultra modern and very expensive looking so that's something you can create we've got some very affordable kits coming up for you today we have got some ruby's oil site we've got some jadeite coming up for you we've got it all going on now all of the kits so that you can get ahead of us and have a look at the colorway are on pre-order have a look on our website it's www.jewelrymaker.com to go and have to go and see everything that's on pre-order in this show click watch us live and then have a scroll down you should see the little icon at the top that says pre-order here's how get, uh, you just keep scrolling down you go pre-order <laughs> clickety clack there's all the colorways on there uh, all the colorways there for you 
And those are the later on kits. So we're going to get crafty. We've got a masterclass hour at two o'clock. We're going to do the kit hour. Three o'clock, Dave Troff joins us and De Bruges is going to be making and Dave is going to be being inspiring us. There's three ways you can come and shop with us here at Jewelry Making. Get yourself on the dog and bone. It's 0800 644 com. if you're doing it online. But Big Ben in the style of a rugby <laughs> player. Oh, Hello. What's the quickest way to shop? Tap the app. Tap the app, <laughs> absolutely. I was going to do the thing where, what, the New Zealand ones, but I didn't know what the name was, where they're like, oh. Uh, tap the app, it's free to download in all the usual ways. If you've already shopped with Elle and with Jake this morning, utilise that 1 PMP. At the end of your order, there is a little box that says combine order. Give it a tick, and we will only charge you 3 95 all day long. Are you ready to shop? Lucy behind me and Michael behind me. They're ready, they're ready. Uh, guys in gallery, ready to shop? <laughs> yes. Rugby man. I don't know anyone who plays rugby, I don't think, apart from the one that's... Uh, Mike Tindall, are you ready to shop? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, that was just pen, like just him. Came off my... it's, it's uncanny, isn't it? Where's oh. Sarah? Uh, are you ready to shop to Bruges? I'm ready to shop, let's go, always. Let's get crafty, let's get crafty. We're going to start with... Ba -ba -ba. Silver and reds is how we're going to start. And it's called the Check of Hearts, is it called? There we go. So we have got, oh, I love these. Look at these great big silver ones. I've never seen, seen these before, I don't think. They're fabulous. These are brand new, I'm just uh, hearing in my ear. Then you've got Delicas. So you've got Delicas, 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 four Delicas and one of the big ones, uh, which I'm loving. Loads of you shopping ahead. This is the most popular so far, so we thought we'd bring it out first. Silver Memory Wire, let me talk to you. 15, cool, oh, oh I need Miss Specs, because I think I think it is 15 um, to the bracelet and the ring and 10 coils to the spool on your, um, on your necklace. So let's have a look, you've got three spools of there we go three spools of memory wire ixx c46 is your item code oh jack of hearts i thought you said check of hearts and i was like what's the check of hearts 34.94 <laughs> mm -hmm. that's the price that's on the website at the moment but of course we're going to give you a better price than that Already quite a large amount of stock has gone on pre-order. Oh gosh, 30% uh, uh, of the stock has gone on pre-order. We're taking it under 20 pounds. Do make sure you're checking out fast. And I'll tell you why. Memory wire is super popular. It's very easy to use. And seed beads, delicas. Need I say more? Let's go shopping today for the Jack of Hearts, 14.99. Now, Ross and I worked really hard to give you that price because we went in and we had a look at every element and what the lowest ever price you'd paid for them. And uh, I was eating ham at the time, yes, Paul. I thought you were just eating ham, said Paul, because he's always there to back me down when I feel like a little bit good. Paul's there with his back, ready to go, no, you're eating ham. No, um, what it, so you know, Ross and I were having a conversation before the, He's a disciplinarian, he like you all to know. Um, so uh, Ross and I were like, okay, what can we do? What can we do? Because this kit wasn't actually supposed to go under, what was it, Ross? 24 pounds was the guide price um, from our buyers. 22.99, sorry. And we were like, no, we, can, we, we know we can, we just really want to try and do better. And after yesterday's under 10, we just felt like this would be the best way of introducing you to the masterclass this afternoon by giving you a rock bottom price for your kit. This is the Jack of Hearts, $14.99. Lots of you going for it. Sharon, Caroline, Audrey, Angela, Anne, Carol, Sabine, Helen, Greater London, Wendy, Rachel, Elaine. Shop ahead if you want any of the other colourways. A lot of you do, especially with silk, with seed beads. You like to have a little, oh, what have I got? What haven't I got? I love that pink. I need to replenish that. I'm going to go for that kit. So go and have a look. It's on the, on the pre-order. On the pre-order. Now, <laughs> on the pre-order. So we're going to give to you BOXC25 next. Now, that's uh, also got silver memory wire in it. Exactly the same. But look at these. So what colour would you call these? I'm, I think they're sort of like a golden pewter. Is that a contradiction in terms, golden no, pewter? because the sheen is like a gold, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, but the base the is base like a pewter. Is... Tell you what, yeah. let's see what they're calling them, shall we? They're calling them... Dark olive baroque. Okay. Oh. Well, I. Uh, meh. Um, then we've got. I love them. I just think that's such a pewter. Then look at these delicate colours. They're gorgeous. 
You have got the most amazing colours. This is a bit my favourite in terms of colour. I love pink and the mermaidial teals are mm. a bit, I'm a bit about those. So those Delicas are all 11-0 Delicas and they're gorgeous. Then you've got the three lots of memory wire, three spool, spools and you've got 10 necklace coils. You've got 15 of the bracelet coils and you've got 15 of the ring coils. We're going to give you... The biggest discount we possibly can, BOX C25, is called Neptune. Look at the price. It's only £12.99. That price is absolutely phenomenal, isn't it? You, I, it is brilliant. So what's that an element? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, and we'll count that as uh, numbers. We'll count the memory wire as one. Yeah. £2.16 an element. Whoa. You can't argue it, Debrouge. That's good. Great yeah. value. You're bulk buying, you're making a great saving. B O X C 25, 12. When we started, Paul makes a good point. When we first started jewelry, make a memory wire, it was about £10 for the pack, wasn't it, Paul? About that. Paul's saying, yes, I think so. Um, now, B O X C 25, loads of you going for this. Bluebell, Maker in Suffolk, Angela, Susan, Barbara, Caroline, Anne, Sabine, Sally, Jane, Helen. Uh, lots of makers on the phone, it's a little cute. Cheshire's got seven of these kits. Go wow. on, Cheshire. Ali in Essex, Jackie in Sterling, come on now. Uh, Sarah in Essex, well now, you are going absolutely bananas for this one. Uh, 0800 644 experiencing small queues. Uh, only about 30 seconds long, but if you can hit your number one button, that would be grand. Uh, and it will make sure that you've secured your kit. Lots of you are shopping ahead on the memory wire. This is this is the last of the silver memory wire. I've got some gold coming up for you. I've got some rose gold coming up for you. If you want silver memory wire today, it's got to be this kit or it's got to be the Jack of Hearts, which is IXX C46, if you want that one. At the moment, BOX C25 is on your screens, 12 99 Look at what De Bruges has done. I mean, making tassels. It doesn't have to just be about loading yeah. them full of, uh, I love the Delicas on these. That that This is such a cool look for anklets. Yeah. You definitely could. I love a stack of bracelet. These look great. And they're so summery. They're so light to wear as well. They're light, comfortable, aren't they? And you know what? The particular this bracelet in front here with the gold on it, right? That's the sort of thing I would yeah. buy when I was on holiday just to go with your bikini. That is yeah. gorgeous. I love it. And those, you, could, you don't need to worry about it in terms of if you go in the pool or swim. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And just leave it. And Leave it yeah. on. You're it's grand. Fine. Mm. And comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Now, we're going to give you the rosa. And I'm going to give you first. Let me just move stuff out the way. I knew you were going to say that one. Give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Dusky Dunes. I love... Oh, I can oh, I thought the other one was my favourite colourway. Now I've just seen this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love this. Look at... I love that khaki green. That's yes. gorgeous. I, I would love it. definitely be getting multiple ones and mixing the colours oh, into combinations yeah. that you love. Oh, I love Ooh. those colours. Yeah. Look how gorgeous are they. <gasps> I love them. They're beautiful, aren't they? Yes. Ross thought that we've, we'd invested in a new rotating desk. <laughs> it's like if you've ever been to Swindon, they've got a club with a rotating bar. And you get very confused after a drink. Oh, wow. I mean, whose bright idea was that? No. A bar that spins around. You're only asking for trouble. Now, have a look at the memory wire. What a gorgeous colour. You've got 10 co coils, 15, then 15. You're going to be able to make a lot. I love this kit. Do you know what? I love that green. I don't think we've ever had a green like that no. in any seed beads. It's so classy. It was it just is, really it's, classy. It's almost like a herb colour, isn't it? Yeah. Like thyme or something. Or You're exactly right. I love mm, it. Really nice. I, this, it's perfect for the summer. Garden parties, With the jade dye, it would work brilliantly with the spaces, Do you know what? It? Or You're a not tassel. Wrong. Let's have a look in that front of me. I mean, lovely. look at the jadeite. I love Ooh. it. I love, I love this kit. I love it. It's this one's my favourite now. Dusky Dunes, <laughs> please be quick because these colours are going to be absolute flyers. Can you imagine at 16 99 can you imagine all the jewellery you're going to be able to create? And they're going to fly out in the summer. Yeah, um, definitely. So where have we got this, the Dusky Dunes in your jewellery so we can see it together? I don't know if I got that combination. Well, oh, you didn't get it, did you? I didn't get the first, the Jack of Spades combination either. 
Now we've just got a message from Joe. Says color contrast charms and combination max it matching. Mm. Excellent work, Deb. Is easily interchangeable between kits. Yes, Definitely. you're so right, Joe. Definitely. I love this kit so much. This is one of my favourite kits that I've seen all month. I think it's beautiful. Whoever put this together was on the money when it comes to colour. I can't <laughs> believe Deb is likened to Medusa. Oh, Deb is not scary at all. Well, she is scary and talented. Yeah. Oh, no, it was because of the gorgeous hair. <laughs> I suppose, but I does. felt sorry for Medusa. She wasn't. She, I did. It's she not just not got born fault. like that. She didn't know. Everyone not, was just. It's not her fault. Was well, she not born like that? No. How did she get like it? Oh, she was cursed. What was yeah. It? yeah. Not very fair, is it? No. No. Sixteen ninety nine FIXC seventy three. It's because of the gorgeous curly locks. <laughs> uh, but we we welcome Medusa. Like, yes, I like Medusa. Good. Yeah. Well, you know what? It's uh, isn't isn't Versace? Isn't their thing? It is. That's very Medusa. Yeah, so there is. you go. You wear it well, darling. You wear exactly. it well. Exactly. You're so Versace. You just don't <laughs> even know it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now then, where then? Here's the blues, which are always popular. I've got to say, this one's very Egyptian, though, mind the other one. Oh, I'll show that's you the nice Egyptian one, one. yeah. Mm, gorgeous. Now, I have got for you, for you now. So, just trying to see where you've got the green and the purples for. Oh, over there, I see, I see, I see. Now, you have got a lovely... And you've got the, the, the uh, nude uh, tone in here, which is great if you wanted to do um, sort of a white skin tone. You've also got bronze, the big bronze pearls. These are lovely as well, though, mind. And blue is always aren't popular. They? Yeah, yeah really I've got to say, nice. I love all these kits. I wish we'd done one big collection so you could get all of them. Now, you've got all your memory wear in Rosa. Marilyn says, oh, wow, I want all <laughs> yeah. the kits. Gorgeous kind of. Do you know, Marilyn, I would love to have given you one great big bundle with all of them, and we just didn't get time to do it this morning. I'm so sorry. The last of the rose gold for you just now. XOX C05. I love these kind of. And now these are great. If you can't decide today, I'll go for this one because blues, blue is um, statistically the world's favourite colour, isn't it? So you've got plenty of blues in there. You've got lovely yeah. neutral tones. And it's only fourteen pounds and ninety nine pence for denim and dreams. Ooh, denim and dreams. Fourteen ninety nine. And you've got the baroque pearls. They are, of course, um, Mayuki pearls. So. They're not pearl pearls, just so you know, uh, but I love them. And, and these Brock pearls, the Mayuki pearls, are so popular. They literally fly out of here. Great combination here again of, of lovely neutral tones. We're uplifting with those blues. And I think this is going to uh, maybe create some... Would you create masculine pieces or a bit too sparkly? A bit sparkly, maybe. You know, you could maybe. with those... Um, with the bronze? With, yeah. Yeah, you could, couldn't you? Yeah, you could. Yeah, absolutely. And could. also with the maybe with the midnight blue colour mm -hmm. and the yeah, oh yeah I the think midnight. you could. Yeah, you've got yeah. why got not some nice combinations there. You don't just have to use the me the memory wire and the seed beads together though. You can use the seed beads in your seed bead embroidery. They'd be perfect for that. Next kit coming along. That was the last of the rose gold. Now we're moving on to the gold, and we're going to give you T H X. That's the one we're going to... Right, this one is very Egyptian, and it's all... Okay, so this has gone ahead and, and the most popular. Lots of these have gone... i got to say, I really love the colours too. I love that lime green. I love the gold. I just feel like there's de a definite Egyptian vibe coming from, coming from this kit, for sure. Okay, so let's have a look. Aren't they lovely? Oh, they are lovely, Ooh, those colours, nice. aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. I do like them a very lot. So here we go. Thirty-one ninety-nine. Of course, is not your price, but already a large amount of the stock has gone on pre-order. So you've got your bracelet. Your I love that colour gold as well. You know when? Um, have you ever seen Star Wars when they bring um, C three PO out of the oil bath and he's dead, <laughs> oh, dead shiny? Yeah, yeah. That's what this Gleamy. is like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it he go, he yeah. goes to Obi Wan Kenobi's, doesn't he? And he comes out dead, dead shiny. Yeah. That's what that reminds me of. And I always think, you know, you're never as shiny as that, are you? No. In life. T H X C thirty one. I feel like if it's going to rain all weekend, I'm just going to sit at home and watch Star Wars all weekend. I feel like that's what's <laughs> going to happen this weekend for me. It's called Sun Bleached. 
and it's just $14.99. You've got to be quick if you want this. Check out baskets. You've got your Baroque pearls, uh, seed beads. Those are six O's. You've got your Delicas as well, 11 O Delicas. We are very, very busy for this one. I think this one might sell out first. Please be quick. Check out baskets. Uh, I have got Linda, Sue, Carol, Sabine. I've got Susan in Derbyshire, Nicolette, Lorraine. Maker in Wiltshire, Greater London Town. Barbara is in Guernsey. What a lovely place to be, Barbara. Uh, I have got uh, Sarah, you've got yours. Jean, you're shopping for this one as well. Another Susan uh, into the mix. I've got makers on the phone for this too. Uh, great big good afternoon to each and every one of you. Make sure you're checking out baskets. I love that design. It's so, it's so on trend at the moment to have that kind of minimalistic jewellery. It looks really boutique, doesn't it's just it? Really almost quiet it's a quiet piece yeah, it's not elegant it's a touch yeah. of elegance yes yeah. I, I didn't get this colorway so but any of the colorways that we've got you can this make one's any for the of the next kit that you're just yeah. seeing here which we're yeah. about to give to you uh, half the stock of this kit has it's now lovely. gone and been allocated make sure you are checking out baskets i am sorry about the cues they're only about a minute long if you can um, just hold on on the phone lines that would be absolutely wonderful you should be okay if you stay where you are Stay where you are. Now, last <laughs> but not least. Now, this one has purples in it and it's got greens in it. It's very Wimbledon. Have a look at that. Yes. <laughs> you can almost hear the patting of tennis balls and the grunts. I liked the white in that as well because it was just like a little punctuation of freshness in there. Yeah. Just to lift things. Oh, there's the cream for your there's strawberries. Oh, nice. Yum. Yeah, you could almost put red in there, and then there's a there, that's Wimbledon, isn't it? <laughs> oh, and there's Jenny just destroying the set. Oh, no, strawberry pink. We could have strawberry pink, because that's what you have got. Then you've got the whites in here. Oh, that's... I love that. And the white... Absolutely, the whites of the little tennis shorts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And you've got the gold memory wire. It's called Baroque Beauty. OBX C82. This is the last kit. It's got purple in it, which is your favourite colour, really, because, oh my gosh, $12.99. Well, I wasn't expecting that. We didn't discuss that, did we? Uh, Ross is doing a little Ross's rascally deal. He's <laughs> wagging the tail of his rascalness and giving you that price of just £12.99. OBX C82 Baroque Beauty Memory Wire. Uh, make sure you are checking out baskets. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here today on Jewelry Maker. We are so delighted to have your company. We are going to get crafty in this hour and the next, and even when Dave Trop is in. De Bruges is staying on, and she's going to be creating from the strands that Dave Trop is bringing us. So we're going to get the education from Dave. We're going to get the inspiration from De Bruges, and I'm just there to talk numbers. $12.99 <laughs> OVX C82. I'm going to have to nudge you into checking out now because this one's really busy. The lowest price of them all and i tell you what to be honest they're all as gorgeous as, as, as the, my favorite one you know is the one with that lovely khaki tone in it i just think it's gorgeous but any of these are, are, are a great choice any of them i think there are no bad choices here now i'm going to show you some k2 jasper Ooh, I love this those. is our first style buy of this hour and it's in six mil rounds these are brand new and you know something we've never had these before they're going under 10 pounds today we're going to stick it on pre-order for you so you can shop ahead go shopping ahead now as de bruges creates her wonderful masterclass i want you to keep your eyes peeled on the screens for the deals that ross is going to load into the show if we've got something that de bruges is using i will let you know but for now let's hand you over to the medusa of make it's it's the wonderful de bruges Thanks, Jen. So, um, yeah, with the memory wire, what, when I get it to start with, I think, right frames. Um, <clears throat> and it works brilliantly if you use um, your sort of 0.4 wire and you can wrap onto it because it keeps the structure so well. But um, what I wanted to, to start off with is the, there's, Lots of motives. The th where are they? It's this one on the end. Uh, it's the ones with the tassel, the leaf, or the really simple one. So in there, there's um, bas a basic beady bead that I've added into, and it turns it into a square bead, which is quite cool, I think, using the, the rondelles. And you can, you can use... Um, 
you could use gemstone rondelles as well that would give a similar look. So um, if, we, if we focus on that to start with, so what you need, I used um, wildfire because I love the, the green, um, can't see it when I do that, I love the green wildfire because it just blends with any colour. So um, HOBN05. Um, so I basically threaded up a size 10 beading needle and started off with these little bronze rondelles. So move that out of the way. Um, what we've got is a basic starter of a CD bead. So pop four on to your thread. And then what I do when I've got the, um, the beading needle is I just keep most of the thread over that side. So normally you'd put the beads into the center and then, you know, cross over. Um, but I've probably got about six inches of thread on the left hand side and the rest of the thread on the needle. So now all I'm going to do is scoot back through that first bead to create the little four and then I'll put two of the beads on this side just by hand. You can, if you want to, you can thread up um, this end with a, a beading needle as well but because these have got such massive holes in the centre, you don't really need to. You can do it by hand. Probably take you longer to thread the needle and <laughs> than it does to actually do the. Hang on. Than it does to actually do the the weave. So you have to put your bead on first and then come back through the second two on that side. So repeat that until you've got a section that looks like that with four beads down the centre. So once you've got that sorted, you put one on this side and one on that side and then come back through that first center bead there. So from the left and then the right and pull them together. So at this point it's it's um, a little bit unstable. So what I did was I held everything together and just stitched all the way around those four keep wanting to say gemstones. It's been such a long time since I did any seed beading. It's messing with my head. Um, stitch all the way around until you're back at the point where you can tie a knot in those threads. So just a basic overhand knot and pull it tight. And then another one just to make sure that's fixed. So now what we need to do is, it looks a bit like a blackberry. What you need to do is find where you've got, um, it might be better if Ben looks at this from the other direction rather than overhead. You can see you've got like a little cross at the center there of your beads here. So you're going to use that to then um, stitch more beads into. So where's my thread? That side. So if I show you there and then I come through, if I hold it that way you can see them. If I come through here, so I'm lined up coming out of this top bead, bring the next one in and go through on the side. Next one. And come through at the bottom 
So you're just filling in, hang on, where's the, there you go. You're just filling in those spaces on the corners through that. And then through that final one there. So we now have a beady bead that's got corners. So it's lined up there. So now if I bring the thread, so I bring the needle and thread through from there onto the opposite side and just repeat that on that side. So I think this would make really nice um, like big spacer beads and things if you put mm. it in with your chunky gemstones. This would look good with the jade eye actually because yeah. of the colourway. So we're just filling in those gaps and it's it's super easy to do because um, a beady bead is like one of the first things we tend to to learn really it's one of the first techniques so all you're doing is building on that to create something slightly different so now we've done both the top and the bottom of the beady bead and we've got a cube there which is something else that you can then either use like that as a focal point or you can build onto it. So what I did was I then took some of the, the blue, because I love the contrast with that bronze and the blue. So this is exactly what I did for that minimalist necklace as well with the, yeah. the cream colored um, beads in. So all I did was take then 10 of your seed beads, your delicates, four, five, six, seven, ten, and come across. So I'm coming out of the the seed bead on this side, I'm mm -hmm. coming all the way across and I'm coming through the seed bead on the diagonal. So, like that. And then I stitched through to the other side and up. So that's, that's our piece of thread from when we started off. We don't really use that. And then 10 on this side. Four, six, and then again stitch diagonally and go all the way through two, miss out that top one because now we need to bring that thread across so I can stitch behind that corner bead there and stitch across and then come from behind this seed bead here. Oops, no I didn't. That was wrong, because now you can see the thread. From there, I stitch through back to the other side. So that's, with, the th with this, um, yeah, you can obviously turn your work around. So now, that's hidden that thread. Five. So this side, what I'm going to do now, because we need to compensate for the fact that we've got this row of delicas, we need to put 11 seed beads, or delicas even, <laughs> on. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and come across on the diagonal all the way through to the other side. And when you're doing this stitching all the way through to the other side, what it's doing is realigning those beads so that they sit 
square and make sure that everything lines up. Otherwise, you've just got like a jumble <laughs> if, it's not, if it's not lined up. So that's quite key. Six. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. So now stitch all the way through, back to the other side. So that's then put your, your little crosses on either side. Mm -hmm. um, and what you've got is a real, if you wanted to pop it onto, say, leather or a thick paracord even yeah. as a feature bead, you've actually got a really good sized um, uh, gap in the center to okay. be able to feed something quite chunky through there. So we've got a Viking nice. Mitt show coming up next oh, weekend. Oh, that'd be cool. Next week. Yeah. Um, and so that'd be good for that. Yeah. Viking. I've just realized I'm not Definitely. here next weekend, by the way, Ross. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> by the way. <laughs> yeah, because we were prepping the show earlier and I was like, hang on a minute, I've got that weekend off. Is it the 20, 25th, weekend of the 25th? I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So now what I've done is I've stitched back through that top, um, so just thread in back through that top strip of delicas, and that's reinforcing that, so making it a little bit more structured and a little bit stronger, because I used these crossovers to actually hang then the Russian leaf, um, the tassel, and also the little feature beads so they need to be nice and strong. So, just feed that back through and then all you need to do, once you've done that, is come back to this thread and I just tied them off with another knot so that they were then um, all fixed. Then, because you've got such a, a gap through that center section you can then feed in if I use my cutters just to chop so make sure you're using the right cutters for your memory wire don't don't use the wrong ones because you'll end up having to buy new pliers so then you can feed multiple strands of your memory wire through that center and if you then, what did I do? Two or three of these, I think, either side, just to fill in the little gap when it first comes through, and then you can pop on some of these. And really, you can just play from there in terms of what you want to do with the, um, the feature bead. So um, I've put a jump ring through, if I, I show that to Ben. I've got a jump ring that goes through the center of those. Um, they're just the jump rings from the, the findings packs. So standard size, but you can play around with that. If you want to make smaller or bigger jump rings, then that's quite a nice thing to do as well. And then um, just hang whatever it is you've made, your decoration or your charm mm -hmm. from the the, the section at the bottom there. So they're actually quite strong and structured once you've obviously stitched through a few times. Perfect. Now, Deb, um, I'm just going just gonna to interrupt you very quickly to give everybody our memory wire that we've got singularly. Ah, we, it's the only, nice. The, we've only got the gold, um, but it's your opportunity. Now, we don't have loads of these, so come in fast if you've been waiting for them. Look how gleaming that gold is. Memory wire is super easy to use. You can put it into bracelets, as you've seen, how De Bruges has uh, created gorgeous pieces right in front of me, stacking bracelets. Again, really easy and work with your delicas, which I'm so delighted for, because a lot of you, have, you might have little tubes of seed beads left, which have just got sort of a tenth yeah, of a tube left. Bits. This yeah. is a great way of using up those delicas and those seed beads and being able to sell your makes on. RSP 060, I cannot believe you're getting this 
for $3.99. It does so much. We've got 14 uh, coils on the bracelet and on the ring, 10 on the necklace. That's potentially 10 necklaces, 14 bracelets, 14 rings. Uh, it's just, it's wonderful. Uh, which is 38 items altogether if you're just using them singularly. Uh, now, before we go back over to De Bruges, uh, we are oh, we done? We're done. Yeah, we're done. But thank you then. Thank you so <laughs> sorry. I thought you That's were adding okay. on to that. I'm so sorry. That's okay. Thank you so much, De Bruges. I have got goodies for you. Have you seen this opal? Because I want to buy it. It's unreal. There's two opals, but this one in particular oh. is next level lushness. It's it's the pair. It's it's so unreal. This is it is the one. Ross just went. This is the one. Look, that's in a packet. Ooh. And look, look. I need it. How much is it? I need it. I want to know everything about it right now. <laughs> I need this in my life. I need it. Unreal. This is the sexiest opal I think I've ever seen in my life. It's coming up for you in a couple of items time. You need it in your life, don't you? Oh my. Oh goodness me. Ooh. Oh, I need it. Like literally, honestly. I've got a couple of opals, but not loads. Wow. That is the nicest opal. I love it. But let me give you a bundle of seed beads first. Let's ease you into that opal gently, shall we? Let's not just throw <laughs> you into the fiery pin fire water of opal, because that was that's going to take some easing into. That is, that is unreal. Now, a brand new bundle. I've got Ruby's Oil Site, which we're going to be learning quite a lot about uh, from Dave Trough later today. So from the Zoisite family, as is Tanzanite, we have got the most amazing ruby and emeralds uh, tones in here, and they, they really are beautiful, aren't they? Labradorite in a seed bead. Now, these are faceted, so they're super sparkly and gorgeous. Labradorite in a plain round seed bead, which means they could go into men's makes. I definitely think these would be lovely in stacker ideas. Then we've got is this topaz, white topaz, just giving us, a, oh, it's moonstone. <gasps> Oh my gosh, it's Rainbow Moonstone. This is this month's birth gemstone. Then I'm going to give you some black rutile quartz. Ooh la la. Okay, <laughs> we're delighted with this, aren't we? IZX C79 is your item code, your two millimeter round. So you've got one, two, three, four strands. Remember that, four strands for a tiny $12.99. £3.24 each. Let's go shopping. Make sure you're checking out baskets. That really is a, a really very special price. And these are all at least 38 centimetre strands. I reckon one of them's longer. Because look, hang on. Doop. We're saying guaranteed minimum. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Or maybe not, it's the tassels. Do, 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 do. You got some long strands in here. They are gorgeous. Lots of you there. Well done to Cheryl, who came in first. Angela, Rachel, Hilary, you've got yours. Another one for you. I'm going to keep powering through. A little bit of Moo Coins. Let's go to Australia, shall we? Here we go. So from Mooka Creek in Australia. Well, in fact, the, the mine is just outside of Mooka Creek in Australia. Mooka, in uh, Aboriginal dialect, means something to do with water, doesn't it? Water, it means. Mooka is water. Oh, is it? Um, so uh, this is a gemstone found in the outback in Australia. It's also referred to as Aborigine Jasper or Australian Jasper. This is, of course, a form of Jasper. But this ch Jasper is totally natural. It has a real unique makeup. You can see these incredibly different colours. And it's amazing how Mother Nature creates these. You can see how, you know, there would have been a certain climate and chemical composition and something changes dramatically and then the colour changes dramatically and it creates this very unique Jasper. It's beautiful. The colours are really rich, really intense and very unique. And I can't believe you're getting these for just $4.99, by the way. So you've got a pack of five, guaranteed five. You've got seven, eight, nine, ten and an eleven millimetre. I think these these would be ideal to prong set if you're trying to prong set for the first time. But if you've got mm, bezeling yeah. wire, this is a great idea. Great to go with your Argentium if you've, if you've invested in that. $4.99. It's a pound of mookite, which is just remarkable. All the way from the outback in Australia with the a very unique striations. In fact, have a look at these ones going around here. Mine are entirely different, but you can see the dramatic tones still. I love this one. It looks like the sunset, doesn't it? I just think that's gorgeous. You, but then you again, could um, bezel set those with your Delicas out of any of yes, the kits that could. we've just done. That you would look magnificent. Could. Look at the, the look at the difference in like it's quite a dramatic difference. Yeah. The change is very di is very dramatic, isn't it? Is. It, it Next is. Next up, yeah. we're going to give you. Ooh, I love this. 
we're gonna go a little bit Versace on you. I love this chain. Have a look at this. Sterling silver hammered oh, yeah. link bracelets. You don't just get one, you get two. If you buy two lots of this, you can put them all together and make a long necklace. And that was that, that was the sort of Versace look that made this design really, really popular. Now you can get a similar chain in Thomas Sabo. You get a similar chain in, well, quite a lot of the designers are doing them. Of course, it started yeah. with a Versace, I think about five or six years ago. And it went wild on the catwalk. Everyone was wearing them on the red carpet. And of course, then that, that look always spills out into uh, the other designers. For $17.99, you're actually paying a lot normally if you would let's say you were going to Thomas Sable or somewhere like that expect to pay between 50 and 70 pounds for a bracelet that looks like this you're paying 17.99 you're not just getting one bracelet you're getting two now you've got a really lovely lobster claw clasp on this so it's got a substantial clasp that's what you want when you're holding on to those nice big links you don't want a bolt ring clasp that's much smaller because it's not going to be substantial enough and the reason I say that is because you've got nice long links and you're probably going to want to hang some charms from them if mm -hmm. you're going to want to hang some charms from them you're going to want to make sure that you've got a nice strong clasp the lobster claw clasp is the one that you're looking for and that's exactly what we've got it's not a tiny lobster claw clasp it's a nice substantial lobster claw clasp 17.99 vcr f09 i feel like i said lobster claw clasp about eight times then <laughs> i was counting it was at least Maker eight. in dunbury you're at home aren't you going stop saying lobster claw <laughs> clasp woman uh, and carney you've got yours and in essex you've got yours uh, there's loads of you shopping for this i think it's a great gift idea and it's almost like a keep one gift one keep one mm. sell one and of course if you've got lots of charms that you're creating at home this is a charm carry if you are then or in your studio then you're going out and selling them you've got the apparatus for your for your customers to then hang them from now these have to they have to be a star buy don't they these opals they've got to be i've got two for you i'm going to start they're both they're both exceptional they're both unreal they have to be a star buyer demand it So I dropped it then, wait there. I went, <gasps> oh gosh, this is so gorgeous. I'm, do you know what, I do apologize. My gem grabber is not, not gonna, it's not doing its job today. You got one job, gem grabber, one job. It's not, fine, you're fired. Now, <laughs> I'm gonna just grab hold of this and just get it. I just wanna make sure I show you this opal to the best of my ability because I'm telling you, this is the oval. You saw the teardrop earlier, which is li literally the best opal I've ever seen. The oval is also unreal. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Now remember, that look, come on, these are gorgeous. Remember that, that, you know, opals don't like our studio lights. So the fact that you're seeing this much pinfire, and of course, when you're at home, you'll have one of your, you'll have your one studio light, your one living room light, your one, outside light, you know, or the sun. Um, <laughs> I just want you to see the incredible pinfire. Now, do you know that our ancients believed that the rainbow goddess had been enchanted inside a gemstone? That gemstone became opal. You can see where that prophecy mm. comes from, can't you? Now, this is an Ethiopian opal, and let me just tell you about Ethiopian opal. To mine for this, and they don't let Westerners in anymore, but luckily Steve Bennett did manage to get there with, um, with Matt before they closed it. To mine for this, you have to abseil to the mines. They're on cliff edges. Cliff edges. And I'm talking the scariest cliff edge ever. Mm. Now, they're, they're sort of mined in stripes. It looks like stripes that go across, and some of those mines are only a metre high. A metre high. And, and, you know, you're in there all day, 12-hour shifts, looking for these beautiful treasures. But, you know, Ethiopian opal um, it wasn't being mined until about, I think it was the, either the 70s or the 90s. I always get the two eras mixed up. Now, uh, uh, so anyway, recent in, in terms of uh, gemstone history. And the reason for that is um, they discovered during an archaeological dig in Kenya, in a cave in Kenya, uh, some artefacts that had this, the most remarkable opal in it. And the historians and the gemologists, uh, the archaeologists, uh, sort of came to the conclusion there's no way the ancients, the ancient Africans would have been able to get this gemstone at this quality from Australia. It wouldn't have happened, no. you know, when they dated the artefacts back. And so they started looking for opal in Africa and they found it in Ethiopia in the most bizarre of places because it literally, they, they are 
mined on cliff edges. It's mm. unreal. So the effort that goes into mining these incredible treasures, and let me just tell you something, the GIA made an announcement that we can no longer say, it was in the 90s, was it 97? Oh, 94. Uh, so in 1994. Now, the GIA, uh, some years later, made a statement that in the... In the gem world, we're not allowed to say that the best opals come from Australia anymore because growing up, that was Australian yeah, opal, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was just taken. Everyone, yeah. yeah, because before the Ethiopian opal, uh, you know, resurfaced, was rediscovered, if you like, uh, you know, the best opal did come from Australia, but that's not the case mm. anymore. Australia and Ethiopia together, and there are other places you can get Mexican opal, you can get Peruvian opal, but Australian and Ethiopian opal together hold the market in opals. They are king and queen of of the opals. Now this is, this should be set into gold. It, it should be set next to diamonds. It's incredible. What an example we're seeing here. At 99.99, we're being incredibly, incredibly competitive with today's prices, today's retail prices. If you were to walk into a jeweler today, and see an opal like this set into gold, you'd probably see it with some diamonds, and it would be hundreds and hundreds of pounds. Quite right, too, because this kind of quality is just that. This, this is what we're speaking about. When we speak of opal, and uh, when people get enchanted by opal, you fall in love with it because of this, because of the pin fire, because it does seem, and, and you know, the prophecy, remember our ancients believing that the, the rainbow goddess has been encapsulated inside a stone, and that stone is opal there seems to be an inner magic and it literally is mesmeric this gemstone it gets you in that wonderful trance of just looking and seeing the, the beauty of mother nature and at 29.99 today you have got the most amazing deal do you know what if you wanted to get this and sell it at a rock and gem fair we don't give you there's no angel policy attached to this gemstone you can do that you can set it into gold you can set it into argentium you can send it to a jeweler and have have them do something with it but let me tell you you even get the certificate of authenticity with this so if you want to go and get it valued i think it would be a great idea you can see this opal is not enhanced in any way it's totally natural it's been put into a cabochon for you which i just think gives you that window into the pin fire it is like literally looking into a well of fire isn't it you get all of that wonderful silica you get all of that fantastic pin fire and the pin fire is just like a little firework going off inside literally inside the ocean isn't it five chances left tlc i47 is your item code this is probably i've got two of probably the best opals i've seen here at gemporia since i've been back with the company um, for the last two years mm -hmm. I, I do i genuinely genuinely believe that that was a wonderful wonderful purchase for you we've only got one of those left if you want it if not I think I might get one. I think I'm going to get both of these today. I'm definitely getting the pair. I, I, do you know what? The opal, the oval, though, it's going to be easy to set, isn't it? I think it I'm going is, to get that, yeah. too. It is, yeah. It's a good size. Yeah, I think I'm going to get mm -hmm. that. If there's any, how many's left? Is it only the one left? Okay, well, hopefully I can get it. Now, so the oh. first thing I saw was this one. I mean, both of them are incredible. Don't get me wrong at all. You just saw how incredible that one was. Mm -hmm. Please just give me a moment to clutch this. It's hard to hold onto a pair with a pair of tweezers. Unreal. Unreal. The reds, the violets, all the money colours, the oranges, the mm. greens. Oh my good giddy aunt. Every angle is phenomenal. It's like the Aurora Borealis going off inside an opal. First one gone, second one gone, third one gone. How many have I got? It's oh my gosh, you've got these come certified. We've only got 25 of them. They're 149.99. Uh, or are they? XWC, I01. Any day of the week, 149.99. Anywhere else in the world. Let's take Gemporia out of the equation for a minute and let's see where else you're going to get these treasures unless you're going to tucson gem fair i don't think you're going to get anything like this for anywhere below the price that you're on that is on your screen right now but we do go to tucson we did get the tucson deals we're going to hand them over to you right now and i'm telling you that you are going to be mesmerized just think of yourself unearthing this treasure for 24.99 today and just seeing what i'm seeing here the pin fire up close and personal thinking about how you're going to put it into perhaps a ring Maybe you're going to put it into one of the uh, pendants that just sits here at the dip of your throat that everybody is wearing right now. All the celebrities are on that. This would be ideal for that. And the point of those pendants is as you talk, the pendant moves a little bit. Well, what an ideal way of displaying this opal because you're giving it some movement. Eight chances at $24.99. XWC I01, $24.99. And I've got lots of multi buyers. Angela with three. Cheryl, Francesca, Kerry with three. Shan, Carola, Haley. I've got. Uh, 
So, Wisconsin, you've got yours. Un unreal. Unreal. I can't believe the pin fire in this. October's birth gemstone. Remember, Ethiopia and Australia holding the crown, holding, sitting at the throne when it comes to opal. The best opals in the world, according to the GIA, are both Australian and Ethiopian. Now, before that, the statement was always made that it was Australian, but Ethiopia coming up with, the, with, with opals like this? How can the rest of the world compete? This is outstanding quality. <laughs> this material is outstanding. Three chances left. We, they, these have been purchased off the back of Tucson Gem Fair. We're lucky to have them. And, you know, we're thankful to Jake for bringing these to us today because they, they really are quite something else. I think that's going to sell out. Listen, if it doesn't sell out, please can give, get me one, please. Okay, one of the oval, oval two of the pair. Okay, I'll take one pair. If I have to wait till after the show. Oh, over-allocated by a mile. Of course they are. I loved that, you know. What? You know, sometimes when you just see something, you're just like, yeah, wow, yeah. that's got to come out. They were incredible. All right. I'm going to give you the carved swirls now, which are brilliant if you want to work your wire work around those uh, carves, but also if you want to, you know, draw a point of difference to your jewellery. I think these work really well with skinny cords. I think they yeah. look great with, like, micro macrame. Because you've got that point of interest with the swirls. Yeah, you've got, you've got that lovely colour. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you know what? It's a, the thing about flora. It's very tranquil, but it's still quite dramatic because it um, it's glowing. It mm. glows. It naturally fluoresces, hence its name, fluorite. Uh, now, when when you see it for the first time, when you're wearing this gemstone, it starts to glow. You'll be delighted with yourself because it it really is a, a wonderful thing. And if you're selling this gemstone on, you can tell your customers, you know what? This is a bracelet made from fluorite. This will glow, so just watch for it. And it's, it's another added little bit of excitement, isn't it? Toby Cavill gave us the price of $9.99 when he came in and uh, launched this wonderful strand. And I tell you what, we're matching it today. Don't forget, Dave Trough is coming up at 3 o'clock to teach us uh, all that we did not know. And uh, De Bruges is going to be inspiring <laughs> us with all that Dave brings to us. 180 carats of fluorite. These 8 mil rounds are spread across a 38 centimeter strand. ZJG P87 is your item code at uh, Lisa in Bedfordshire. This time. I know. Well, it's raining in Bedfordshire, no, isn't it, no. Lise? Paul thinks that you're... Um... It's our thing, isn't it? We do it. Yeah. Uh, so we like it, don't we? <laughs> Paul gets well grumpy. He's like, I'm not your performing monkey. I'm not doing the Bedfordshire thing. I'm like, oh. he's just grumpy. He's not. Ben's just... Up for bants. Have a look. <laughs> Black spinel, plain rounds. These are four millimetres. I think, again, micro and crummy. These could be uh, going into men's makes. They're definitely great for stacker bracelets, absolutely for anklets, and also for bringing together in beady beads, much like Deb just showed us earlier. They're only $5.99. Spinel is a, a wonderful gemstone. It's in the crown jewels. Uh, spinel is a gemstone. Uh, that, that has been dubbed the master of disguise because uh, a ruby that's in the uh, in the crown jewels uh, actually turned out to be red spinel. It was uh, the black prince's ruby. Uh, this does shine like a black diamond when it's faceted. But I love the fact that you've got plain rounds here because that's not something that's done every day. When, no. when it comes to spinel, it's exactly. usually faceted. faceted. It might yeah. be that you want to make your, your dad something or your, your mm. son something or your partner something and you or a man clip for Paul. Um, yeah. And Paul likes to wear just mainly black actually so this would be ideal for him but Paul wouldn't be one to sparkle that'd be far too much fun for Paul <laughs> too much fun for Paul now <laughs> it's time for the K2 Okay, so we promised you this under £10. You put it on pre-order though, eh, Ross? A eh, Ross, aye. Uh, <laughs> yes, he did. And uh, I'll give you a stock date, a stock update on that. Over 20% have gone on pre-order. So, K2 Jasper Plain Rounds. They are 6mm. They're spread across a 38cm strand. And I think these are going to be great for pearl knotting. I would like to see these with a similar blue to the yes. K2. Yeah. Um, the, the little, what I think look like little yeah. poppies just mm. in between each one but i think k2 jasper is a great unisex gem yes anybody yeah. can wear this gemstone yep definitely it's a bit like um 
it, it just has that little accent of colour, mm. but it's not um, girly, is it, in any... No. any Arty, yes. yes. Yeah. A little like bit little modern art. Paint. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. It is a bit Jackson Pollock, the mm. splicing. Yeah, absolutely. I think, but then having that interest with the colour there just adds something, doesn't it? Does, it does, yeah. Just, it, it takes it from being something that's just a boring monochrome, doesn't it, mm. to something that is interesting and different. Gives you something to twist and turn and look at. Yeah. So it could be sensory at nine yeah. ninety nine. Uh, we've taken it under ten pounds. This is a brand new strand, and you've got six mil rounds. So the six, six mils yeah. are six great for earrings. They're great for necklaces. Yep. They're great for suites of jewelry, but rowing up as well. I don't think I've seen a K two in a plain six mil round before. Usually they are in either big cabochons get, yeah, or shapes, yeah, we've the had them in the moons. Shields and yeah, yeah, yeah. But I haven't seen a plain round. So maybe you've got the moons, maybe you've got the shields, and you're looking uh, for a bead, a, a plain bead or a smooth bead, should I say, to go either side of that. Mm. Then this is going to work its way into your collection really nicely. We're not staying at that price, by the way. We're already at your price promise of under ten. Already twenty percent of the stock has gone. Was it? But we've got another, another deal coming up for you. If you were delighted at 9 dollars don't worry, everybody pays the same low price. Doesn't matter what time you check out the deal, everybody pays the same low price. 90 carats, K2 Jasper, plain round, six millimeters. Let's go. Six pounds and 99 Ooh. pence, a pocket money price. Now these could be, it's Jasper, so it is a, a healing gemstone. So. You can uh, you can wear Jasper to give courage or protection. If you wanted to create uh, wish bracelets, you only need one, yes. one gemstone and the cord, and you'd be able to make absolutely stacks of these. They've only cost you six ninety nine. ULGP seventy one is your item code. Lots of you coming in. This is your star buy. Make sure you are checking out baskets. Make sure you are ticking the box that says combine order. If you've shopped with us today already, it's 1 p.m.p. all day long. Uh, Eunice, you've got yours. Geraldine, Rita in Nottinghamshire. Julie in Gloucestershire is also shopping. Hit your number one button if you are one of the many on the phone lines. It'll just bypass the queues and take you to the automated. Uh, and if you want the item that's on the screen right now, which is this one, hit your number one button. Six pounds and 99 pence for a plain round. Now... In the next hour, we have got kit hour uh, because three o'clock is all about Dave Trough. We're going to be learning all about uh, Jade. We're going to be, of course, uh, inspired by De Bruges as well. We've got some Zoisite coming up for you too. There's so much more to come here today on Jewelry Maker. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Hi guys, I'm Dave Troth, uh, you know, responsible for sourcing many of the incredible gemstones uh, that, that we bring you here. And uh, coming up this week, I'm really excited to share with you some of these exotic treasures for the most incredible deals you'll ever see. Makers. Did you know that no matter how many times you purchase, no matter how many times you check out, you only pay one postage and packaging per day? Say that you've purchased an item during our morning show and then decide to buy something else later on in the afternoon. As long as all of your products have been purchased within the same day by midnight, your orders will all be combined and your postage and packaging will work out at that of just a single fee. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Guess where I am?
Dan in our brand new all singing, all dancing warehouse. We are so excited and this is going to make such a difference to what we can bring you here at Jewelry Maker. Medians, products, treats, storage, because guess what? We've now got more storage. This is epic. Come and have a look here because come, come on, come on, come on. I'm like, challenge Annika, come on. So look at that. Just just all those drawers, all these points, all these locations that we can pick your brand new items from. Now, what does that mean for this weekend? Well, come in, I'll tell you. Come on, I've got to get the clipboard. Come on. Come on. Right. So, bear with me. Friday morning, we're starting with Carol. Milliput DVD launch with Gemma Crow. Oh, now in the afternoon. There's going to be a brand new, I'm so excited. It's a new offer for you, and it's going to be magnificent. It's going to be called Xena's Steel of the Week. I haven't decided what I'm going to steal yet, but <laughs> I'm in the right place, aren't I? So that's going to be Friday at 2 p.m. Now, Saturday morning, I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Claire McDonald, and she's going to be doing stacker rings with tube setting. Now, deal of the day, totally awesome tourmaline-tastic it is. That's going to be epic. In the afternoon, I'm so excited, we are launching Susie Menham's first ever DVD. Everybody has been asking for a Marla DVD and we've got it. So Sunday at 1pm, uh, I'm going to be joined by Hannah Osborne. Checkmates, triangles and tiles with a booklet. Yes. Now then, right, is that enough to start? Because we've then got the rest of this absolutely huge warehouse that we've now moved into and it opens this weekend. Once everything's stocked, every one of these boxes will be stocked with treats for you. So, you know that steel deal? Bear with me, I'm just going to go and get it. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 655 and press option 2. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewellery Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30 day money back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Makers, we have a new Facebook group dedicated to sharing your makes and jewelry making advice. To join the group, simply head over to the page and hit request. You'll then be able to share your designs with our JM community and join like minded people. Create, wear, share. Welcome back. Yes, it's another wonderful inspirational hour here at Jewelry Maker. We're bringing you the kit hour forward and don't forget Dave Trop will be back uh, back here uh, in the next hour to educate us about our Jade. De Bruges is staying on because she's here to inspire. We have got a wonderful strand of satellite beads in multi barrel. We've put them on pre-order for you. We might have them on the spinny spinny. But let's have a look. Um, so, I mean, the colour is incredible get yourself to the website www.jurymaker.com have a look at uh, pre-order in the way that we showed you earlier and you can get these in your basket nice and early probably our most popular shape certainly of the last two months are these incredible satellite beads and we are giving you the last opportunity so it's final chance so now we are going to give to you I'll tell you what, one of these kits got the most amazing strand of Labradorite ever in it. Mm -hmm. We've got to start with it. We've got to start with the Both kits are lush. I love these kits. Most popular in pre-order is this one. Look at this. Listen, it's the only way you can get this Labradorite strand. You've got to have it. Look. Look. It it's unreal. It is outrageous. Yeah. If this kit doesn't sell out, do you even love the magic of gemstones? Because this <laughs> is... Oh, my God. 
Lorks Alive. This is absolutely fabulous. It looks like something out of Middle Earth. It's wonderfully magic. It looks enchanted. I've got to have that. It could be a brooch. It could be going in a hat pin. Could be a great big ring. Could be a pendant. It could be going uh, in, in so many different ways. We'll have a look at how De Bruges has utilized hers, but I love this. This is my favorite strand. I love it. Yep. One, two, three, it four, five, incredible. six, seven, eight. This strand on its own should be 19.99. Hasn't been on its own yet. Now listen, if all of the kits sell out today, you won't ever see this strand again because all of this, all of the stock of the uh, strand has gone into the kit stock. So if all of this sells out, do you know, I'm going to be totally honest with you. I don't even care what comes with the kit as long as I get that. Do you know yeah. what I mean? I yeah. feel that strongly about this. Like, I don't even care. I'll pay £30 for that strand today and take it away gleefully. But I'm giving you. And the thing is... We could be giving you anything else because this strand is so... But we're not. We're giving you two really wonderful gemstone strands. Neon Appetite, one of the gemstones of the summer, isn't it? It's one of the big ones for the summer, one of the faces. And it goes so well with that Labradorite. That is the, that's the colour of that Labradorite. Labradorite is made up of many, many layers. It's actually named not after Labrador dogs, but after Labrador, uh, Labrador the state in Canada. Um, and that's where it was first founded. Now, this quality is literally remarkable. This is like the Labradorite that you pay a lot of money for that is called double-A Labradorite. Yeah. The Appetite is an endless strand. That's $9.99 on its own, and you can get it outside of the kit. Uh, the, lab the Labradorite is exclusive to the kit. Uh, you've seen the strand of... Um... This one's brand new as well. Okay, it's brand new, but it's outlined for $9.99, so that's £30. To get. I'm happy to pay it. Happy to pay £30 for those two. Happy to pay it. Then one of my all-time favourite gemstones, Peridot, August birth gemstone, brand spanking new. Never, never, never been seen before. Six ninety nine for that. Is that all? Okay, so all three together today should be... And I haven't finished because you've still got findings. Should be about... It's about 46. I'm, I'm happy to pay that. But, and I'd be honest with you, right? If that was the only... If, if you gave me this strand and it was 46 95 and that's the only price that was ever put on that, I'd still buy it because I love it. You know, it's one of those, isn't it? Now, let me tell you something. Mm. You also get your findings. So you have got your eye pins, your ball head pins, your flat head pins, your crimp tubes, your spacers. You've got 75 pieces, a metre of chain. I love this kit. Who made this kit? Hannah. Hannah, you are legendary. Right, we need a clock, don't we? We need a clock. Okay, I've got to, hang on, I need to just tell you something. There are so many of these kits in baskets and we've got a one minute queue on the phone lines, it's going to sell out, so we're gonna give you one minute. If you're not ready yet, if you're like, hang on a minute, I didn't realize, this is gonna go. How, what price are you gonna, Ross? Oh, you run. <laughs> okay, look at me a minute. If you trust me, you know when I, you know when I'm like, I don't like that, I just tell you. <laughs> Let me just tell you something now. If you don't get on the phone, trust me now, I would pay double the price we're going to give you for this entire kit for this strand. That's how good the price is. This kit will sell out today or I am going to walk out and go home. 1990. You would pay... Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. What's that per lavender? right? This is, this is the best yeah, value kit. Two pounds. Like, two pounds 49, a Labradorite. This is incredible value. This will sell out today, otherwise I don't know you like I thought I knew you. This is, I mean, this, this strand is unspeakably wonderful. Mm. We are rammed on the phone lines, we are rammed. Literally, if we were a cocktail bar, you would open the door and feel the heat hit you in the face from how rammed we are. You're on the phones, you've got to hit your number one button. 43 chances, but these are the, my unchecked baskets. Jane, Dorothy, Marilyn, Christina, Jackie, Pamela, Mary, Elaine, Maureen, Susan. Uh, you, you're all in an unchecked basket. I've got about 20 of you on the phone lines. Look 
at the quality, not just that piece. I just picked a piece of at random. I wasn't even looking at so the one I was looking at. Every single one. Every single yep. one. I have not seen Labradorite like this in a no. very long time. Anywhere else would be calling this double A <clears throat> graded. Anywhere else would be selling you this strand alone for higher than the price on your screen right now. Even if you wanted to sell this strand on for that price and keep the rest, we can't stop you doing that. And I think it would be a great idea. Uh, Helen, you, you've got to check out. Sandra, Pete, you've got to check out. I've got far too many unchecked baskets. Patrick, check out. Casey, check out. I'm seeing Sadie, you've got to check out. Hannah, Stephanie, check out. Helen in Gloucestershire, check out. We are now very limited stock. The kit's now gone limited. We've only got 14 chances and I'm over allocated by a mile and a half. <gasps> I love that strand. It's seriously I love it. good. Yeah. Yep. But Seri let's not, let's not, I mean, that, that kit was, un, un, I mean, you can't deny how wonderful that kit was, mm -hmm. can you? Now, yeah. I'm about to give you something else that, we, in the same shape as the Labradorite, I think you might get more on this. I'll have a look. But you've got Mookite, I love it. So, we've got, that's not Magnesite. That's Jasper, isn't it? Oh, I haven't got mm -hmm. that kit, Ross. I don't have it, sorry. I've only got the gold kit. He's just coming with it. Sorry, I only have two kits. I was like, that's not how I like. We were having an argument. He's like, yes, it is. I'm like, well, it's not. Here comes Michael now with your little tan. Here we are. <laughs> You've a tan, you have. It's a lovely tan. There you go, thank you. Look, have you been on holiday? No, in the garden. He's been in his garden. That's all. Thanks a million. Now, how light you've got there. I think how light's good for men's makes. Okay, so you, it, this is called Lalek Moon. So you've got the how light there in the same, I really like that, um, I really like that shape, don't you? Mm, then yeah. I'm gonna give you Lodalite Amethyst. Lodalite Amethyst, which I think is Canadian, isn't it? Lodalite Am. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah, it's uh, it's lovely, isn't it? So then we have your regular amethyst. Well, it's lavender amethyst actually. Your Lodalite, and then you've got your Howlite. Now listen, we've got about two two of those Labradorite kits left. You've got to be quick. <laughs> two left. <laughs> two. You've got all the you've got all the findings that go with this as well. But of course, we're not going to give you that price tag. You've got them in rose gold. You've got a meter of them. Oh, you've got to, listen. Two of the Labradorite kits left, and then they're gone. Be quicker. MVXC 63 1999. Gorgeous amethyst. February's birth gemstone here. You've got the findings. You've got the uh, the how light there, which I think is totally unisex. I, I'm going to be honest with you, that Labradorite kit is the most popular and it is really flying. Mm. Any minute now, you've I've got about 30 of you that are going to miss out with an unchecked basket. You must check it out. 19.99 for Lilac Moon with your Magnesite hexagons. See, yeah, I'd have sworn that was Howlite as well. You were right. <laughs> I was like, oh, Magnesite Howlite, very, very similar gemstones. Uh, Lilac uh, Moon there for you. Now we have got... I've got another kit for you, which I think is really deserty. Mm -hmm. Still available on this one, flat head pins, uh, open jump rings. You've got your 75 pieces in your, uh, in your rose gold findings. I've, I, I love this shape. I think these new shapes are great. And I think, think about bezeling around them. Now, I really like the next one as well. Yeah, yeah, that's what I thought, mahogany obsidian which is something we just don't get a lot of. We don't. And then I'm going to give you picture. Right, so if I was Gemma Crow, I'd be going for this one today. Or, and the Labradorite, because the lady's mad for that too. <laughs> Look, at, you've got to have been delighted with this strand. Did you get this strand, I Deb? didn't get that She didn't one. get no, it. What's got, going on? Oh, I only got the Labradorite, which I'm perfectly happy with. I'm sure you are, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You'd have been annoyed if you didn't get the Labradorite, yeah. wouldn't you? I love the colours of this kit. Right, so first of all, really interested in, in this gemstone. Love the earthy tones. And I love myself some Mookite chips. I think this goes really nicely together. So don't you think these go really well together? Really well. And then I'm going to give you... 
picture Jasper. So this to me is deserts, it's it Mad is. Max, yeah. and I'm Tina yes. Turner. Yeah. That's what it feels like, you know? <laughs> she, she was wearing all that crazy sort of warrior princess gear, wasn't she? I, I really fancied myself as looking like that. Now, you have got all of this sort of wonderful desert outback colours, and I really love this. Now, you know where we're going on price, and I've got to say, all the, the, price of, the prices that we're giving you for the last kit with the Howlite and the, with the Magnesite and the, that was so good because it was under £20. And it just reflects on even, you know, because actually that strand of Labradorite should have been £40 on, like oh, that definitely. should have, really, it just it's, goes to show the value yeah. today. Now the Mookite chips, again, you know this gemstone is from Australia. You've got African Jasper and, you know, got gemstones from all over the world here. And they're really giving you a really strong impact. You've got some wonderful colour. You've got some wonderful vibrance in these, but you're getting earthy. And I do feel sort of desert vibes coming from this one. Now you've got gold findings this time. So you get your chain in gold. You've got a, a meter of gold chain. You've got eye pins. You've got featherweight head pins, flat head pins. You've got it all going on. MDXC 75 is your item code. Arabian Nights with mahogany obsidian. It's the only way you can get mahogany obsidian outside of around is in this kit today. And look at this. I See, I wasn't expecting oh. that actually. That is a very, Brilliant. very good price because mahogany obsidian we don't get. Picture Jasper is probably one of our, it, it, it is probably our most uh, popular of the Jaspers. My favourite uh, of the Jaspers is always Mookite. I love Mookite. I love the fact that it gives me that sort of outback vibe. Sharon, you've got yours. Make a Rita. This is a pocket money price, isn't it? The I'll let you know on the Labradorite kit. I know a lot of you are asking. Uh, make sure you're quick. I will refresh if some have bounced back, which sometimes does happen. MDXC 75, but for now... De Bruges, please take over our hour and inspire us. Okie dokie. Um, so I'm going to show you how I sort of framed the Labradorite. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> oh, it's very wonky. I can't cope if it's wonky. She can't it cope. stresses me out. I, I go around straightening up picture frames on walls. Even, I bet. Even when it's not my house. I'll just like go around straightening things up. I need to get over it, really, but <laughs> no. So, because you get, in this kit, because you get the uh, findings pack, you've got the eye pins in there, which is what I've used to frame the Labradorite. I mean, it's, it is just the most outrageous strand ever. It's, it's incredible. So choosing um, the ones you want to work with is just a joy. Um, so we're going to use the eye pins, we'll use the um, jump rings and we'll also use the fine head pins. So I've, I've started off with the, the fine head pin through the drill hole on the gemstone. Whichever kit you get obviously you can, you can do this whichever. So just Bring those, both of those wires up to the top and then grip them with your chain nose pliers and twist so that that twists down and it hugs the top of the point of the gemstone. So that's sitting there neatly and then get rid of the little bit of excess there. And what we're now going to do is a, a wrapped loop. So we need the loop to be sitting um, not crossways so we can see around, but so it's whoops, in line from the top of the gemstone. So pop your round those pliers in. And I usually go to where, the, where I was gripping the wires because that's where the double wire finishes. So I'll go there and bring the wire across and then I'm just going to wrap this and because it's um, one of the fine head pins I've got the, the decorative ball on the end there so I, I tend to keep that and what I want to do is wrap that around so that the ball is sitting the bead if you like is is on the front of that um, wrap so at this point it's around the side so I'm just going to grip that there and then ease it round 
so that I've wrapped all of the wire section and that is then sitting in the centre. So come back in and just straighten up that loop and make sure it's nice and straight that way as well. Just give it a little bit of a, a grip with the pliers. So that's then ready to create your, um, your frame. So I got two of the eye pins and just held them together. And then what we want to do is make a frame section like this. So hold it. So there, what I did was make multiple frames and connect them up um, for the necklace. And for the earrings, it's obviously choose two, two gemstones that match and do each section on each earring at the same time, because otherwise you end up on pliers, I prefer these. Um, <clears throat> you end up with mismatched earrings. So what we're going to do is come in and we need to bend the eye pin. So start off just bending them out at the top. And what you need to do is just measure each time against your gemstone because obviously each one is slightly different. Um, so you need to just make sure your frame sits with each sort of shape. So then come back in and bend that wire down. And again, over the other side. And it did, it did take me quite a while to make sure that I got all of the angles right. So that one, I'm not looking at it quite right, but hey ho. Just check against that. No, that's gonna come up too big. So bend that one there. So if you overbend the the um, the wire, like that one, isn't it's not sitting very well at all. So I realise that I need to reopen that bend there, so that that then comes down at a better angle, and that needs to open up slightly there because I've come at too sharp an angle. That's better. So test this one again and bring that down and open that up slightly. And then come back in. It's easier if you can look right down on top, but you don't want to see the top of my head. <laughs> so there. And then at the bottom, of that point, if I come in, I think it was about there, I've moved, moved my pliers, which wasn't very clever. So it's a little bit too far over, I need to bring that back. So you're okay, because the, the head pins are so good, you can actually open it up and redo it, and you don't notice at all where it was bent previously. So just just work your way around. So if I bend that in and I can then, it's not going to be perfect, but we can, um, we can pretend. See, that's not, that's, I've got to readjust all of those. Let's try that one. Yay, happy with that. So, <laughs> <clears throat> then to connect everything up, what I did was I connected it at this point rather than when I'd finished at the bottom because then I can just check that everything fits how I want it. So pop those in. Obviously, if you're putting a chain or whatever on, you can do that now and close that up. Just lie that down again. Check that they're sitting correctly. And then if you come down to the 
the section at the bottom. So hold the two wires together and then I just trimmed them down so that they were the same size. They're probably about a centimetre of wire. And then you just make your loops. So a nice little section at the bottom. Make them so that they're sitting next to each other. And then that way round. <laughs> All you need then is another of your jump rings to connect those two loops up at the bottom and then you can pop a charm on or you know one of the other gemstones from the kit. So find the, the opening just come back in through both of those loops one and two you may need to just give them a little bit of a twist just to align them properly but again just take your time and then that is your your finished pendant or earring so it's quite a simple um, little motif really and you can it's just brilliant that you can use your findings pack to create that look. You don't need extra wire. Perfect. Thank you so much, Debrood. Uh, any welcome. questions for Debrood? <laughs> Get them through to us in, in all the usual ways. 78070. I've got my favourite pick of this hour, which I'm going to put... I love mm. these Chrysocola pips. They're gorgeous. I yeah. love them. They're gorgeous. They are. They're beautiful. Aren't they? Mm-hmm. Yep. Now, uh, they're coming up when, sorry, Rossi? In about 10 minutes. Half an hour, Dave Troth joins us. Uh, we've got a little Chrysocola section, actually. Uh, now, we're going to give you, but let's go to Australia just now. You can tell, you can tell what I'm going to give you, can't you? It's a little <laughs> bit of moo, guys. Now. We have for you here hexagons. Uh, now these hexagons are gonna go really, really well if you just bought the kit. See, obviously, hex to hex. Uh, then we have got, you know, the great thing about these hexagons is that if you've got the bead loom, they're gonna sort of knit together really, really nicely. I think they make great rings too. I think you've got a lot, lot to clutch yeah. onto there. Yeah. DMP 009 is your item code, 290 caps of Mookite fancy hexagons. Now these are 15 by 18 and they're spread across a 38 centimeter strand. Masculine or feminine, I don't think it matters, but I think these make great cuff bracelets. DMP 009, 12 pounds and 99 pence for you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 26 on my strand. And don't forget this gemstone comes all the way from Australia, from the Australian Outback. And you've got those Aborigine, uh, you know, if you've ever seen Aborigine art, the cave paintings, they always look this colour. I mean, it yeah. won't be out of this gemstone, it's too hard. But it, could it be a coincidence? I don't know. I just think, you know, it's just, it feels so smooth. It's such a tactile gemstone. What was that per gemstone? 45 pence per gem, 49 pence per gemstone. It can't be, can't be half bad, can it? Shirley in Essex, Maker, Sarah in Cambridgeshire, Rita in Nottinghamshire, you've got yours. I just love the shape of them. Should I put them around my wrist so you can see what they would look like as a cuff bracelet? I just think they're ideal for that. It's they really point perfect. of difference, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And you can imagine sort of white shirt, jeans, Nice pair of flat shoes, this on, sauntering through Cambridge. Really sim it just looks really classy, really, really, really classy. That's yeah. why I put myself in Cambridge. Yeah, obviously, yeah. Just sauntering through, darling. Yeah. About to get on the punts, yeah. <laughs> DMP 009, 12.99, lots of multi-buyers. Uh, Karen in Anglesey, Eunice in Surrey, Virginia in Hampshire. You've got yours. Don't forget to text us in. Let us know what you're up to today. We'd love to hear from you. Now, we're going to give you... Oh, these are lovely. These will go with my Chrysocola. So my pick of the hour is this Chrysocola, and I quite like to see these two together. They sort of, they, they were good together, aren't they? Sky blue appetite, uh, light appetite is a new term to me. Sky blue appetite nuggets. These are five by two on an 86 centimeter strand. TQG P45 is your item code. Uh, you have got, now we, we had quite a few nuggets yesterday, didn't we? But these, in fact, 
are, are the gemstone that maketh that piece there, Paul. Not telling you what to do, Paul, just a suggestion. There we go. He hates it. Four ninety tiny nine. Get them in your basket. They're that lovely, uplifting <laughs> colour, aren't they? They are. They are. They're actually looking really nice with the uh, jadeite that's behind you on the stand. Yes, she's not wrong there. Yeah. Back nice. of the net to brew. So because it was there and I spotted the two together. Have you had your jadeite yet? I not haven't. Yet. No. It's here oh, now. it's here. Oh, it's here now. Yay. I put my request in to De Bruges. Don't worry about me. <laughs> I'm uh, <laughs> just looking for some elastic. Oh, I think I've got some. Oh, you've got some here, if not. I think mm. there'll be some. Now, Russian dioxide. Watch this, because Chrysocola has got uh, malachite in its makeup. So you know it's got a strong green like that. Uh, these go great together, don't they? But diopside, you, I mean, if you've seen the VTs here at Jewelry Maker, you know that Steve Bennett will, will, has been telling us that his, uh, you know, he's going to the mines and it's just dust. They're going through the dust to try and find small pieces and it can take a long time just to find a, a piece. But, you know, so a lot of our appetite is coming out of, it's coming out of Brazil, isn't it, at the moment? So Russia, not really a lot coming out of Russia and Russia is, um, this is Brazilian as well. Uh, so y y you have got really an incredible, rich colour. Small chips. SCGP43 is your item code straight down to under £5 at £4.99. and pence. 60 carats of diopside. These small chips are 2 by 4 to 3 by 9 on a 38 centimetre strand. 0800, 644, 655 is your item code. No, it's not. It's your telephone number. What am I talking about? I've actually gone bananas. <laughs> <laughs> I knew when I said that. I was like, it's not. What are you saying, Jenny Cleary? Eight <laughs> pence per carat of chrome dioxide here, giving you that wonderful zest of colour. Don't forget, Dave Troff is going to be gracing our screens in about 20 minutes' time. Jade, you know it's one of my favourites. The luckiest gemstone on earth. That's what they say, isn't it? And we've got one black jade for you too. Ooh, now. Nice. Yes, can we do my little pips? Pippity pips. I just loved them. I just picked them up and thought they belong around my wrist. Look at the colour. They're uplifting. It's striking. Got, it's just a wonderful colour. I love this Chrysocola, I do. They are a good colour, aren't they? Yeah. Fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, absolutely fantastic. Love it. Here we go. RGG P63 is your item code. Chrysocola faceted coins. These are four millimetres there on a 38 centimetre strand. Oh, well, they're the faceted pips that everyone's going bananas for because you know what? These are great for making charms out of. Can you imagine yeah, those charm bracelets and just loads of these? They're great for bubble techniques. They're great for adding texture. But they're also brilliant for stacking. I just love them. They're easy to wear. They're not overstated, but they're a powerful colour. They look really bohemian. Uh, and that's definitely something that appeals to me. And you know what? I think these are going to go so well with that Labradorite that you just bought. Oh, yeah. Cool. I love that combination, yes. I do. Love it. We're going to give you an outstanding price tag. 25 carats of Chrysocola, a gemstone uh, that actually has malachite in its, in its makeup. So you can see those malachite greens in there. You can see those azurites in there. And you've got a big pop of colour here. I, yeah, I love them, I do. RGG P63 is your item code, 25 carats. eight pounds and 99 pence a remarkable price tag 25 carats under 10 pounds for chrysocola and this is definitely a summery gemstone i feel like it's it's on the it same is, yeah. sort of vibe path as a turquoise turquoise yeah appetites turquoise yeah somewhere in between i've got the appetite here it's gonna go great with that it just does it mm. just does doesn't it yeah you've got it that but it also goes with a peridot I think that's really pretty too. Look at those, oh. come on. 899 
for your Chrysocola. Lots of you there, Virginia, you've got yours, Elaine in Cheshire, Karen's got two, Nicolette's got two, Sabine's got two, Jane, Catherine, Maker in Surrey, Anne in Care Philly, Lynn in Hampshire, Maker in Angus, uh, Gloria in Staffordshire. I've got you all sorted, don't you worry. Fasted coins, four millimetre, 38 centimetre strand, 35 pence a carat. Every single one, totally unique. All, to all absolutely natural. Q for me on the phone lines. Please hold, your, hold the line. Uh, it's about 30 seconds. If you press your one key, we can still guarantee you one. Uh, lots of multi buyers coming through. Mari, uh, Cynthia, Sue, Pamela, Gloria, Jane, Maker in Surrey, Anne in Care, Philly, Lynn in Hampshire, Angus takes two. Uh, loads of you there. Happy Thursday, everybody. It's weekend eve. Let's get excited <laughs> about that, shall we? Yay. We are ready for the weekend. This weekend here at Jewelry Maker, Hayley Kruger uh, is up, isn't she? And also we've got Susie launching a new DVD. We've got loads of things coming up this weekend uh, to be gassed about here. So make sure you are keeping your eyes peeled. 8 99 lots of you coming through. Uh, yeah, this was my pick. I'm so glad you love it as much as I do. And you know what? I don't even want to over glorify it. I just want to wear it as a stacker bracelet in truth. Yeah. Yeah, just keep it simple. A few silver beads yeah. in there. Yeah, I think it goes really nice with yeah, silver, it does. doesn't it? Yeah. Now, I'm going to keep going, and I'm going to I'm going to let you get even more out of your money for the coin, because I'm going to give you the nuggets that go with it. And I just think you put them together, you're laughing. Especially, right, if... So this is my idea. So I'd have this as my anklet, and then I would hang four... Um, Four silver jump rings, and I would hang the pips from the silver jump rings as put that on my ankle. Ooh, Not even, really com pretty. there's nothing complicated about that, no. but I feel like I would be like boho chic. You definitely I feel like would. I'd be sauntering. Yeah. I think very I'd feel arty, breezy. Very, yeah. yeah. On the beach. Absolutely. Hmm. Yeah. The beach. The beach. In the words of uh, All Saints, take me to the beach. It is a great tune, isn't it? It's a great. It's my, yeah, my favourite All Saints song, and it's a great film. I went to that beach yeah. where they filmed that. That was just after I'd had that, uh, that snorkelling incident, or whatever it was. Not snorkelling that I was doing, was it, Paul? What was, was it? it I was scuba. Scuba. scuba in. Yeah. Yeah, I went to that beach. It was, it was lovely. Mm. I went to the beach from the beach. That's when I had the scuba diving incident right before it. I went back in 1998, I think it was, so it was like... It was proper, it was amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'd seen the film. That's why I wanted to go there, so it must have been. 98 or 99 it was, I went. Three, one, uh, 313 carats of Chrysocola. YPB0081 is your item code. Not your telephone number. 12.99 is your price. This is an endless strand. Beautiful colour, isn't it? Malachite colours, you've got your greens, you've got your blues. Got it all going on. I would. Do you know what this would be great for as well? If you got mm. all of the memory wire earlier, memory wire bracelets. Absolutely. Ooh, yeah. And mixing it with some of those um, delicates, some of the colours would work so nicely. Yeah, they would. Wouldn't be really they? good. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say. I'd say so. I'd say so too. Twelve pounds yeah. ninety nine pence uh, for three hundred and thirteen carats of Chrysocola. Make sure you're shopping quickly. I don't want anyone missing out on this one. £12.99, YPB081 is your item code. Last but certainly not least. What is this gemstone? I've never seen... Are you sure? Never in my life have I seen Chrysocola this big. I've never seen this strand, have I? Chrysocola? Apparently I have. Oh. Well, it's definitely Chrysocola. Do you know what you've got to do? If you've just got that nugget strand, I would take this, that's the feature, and then the rest is in a stretchy bracelet. Yeah, yeah. It has got indicolite teals, sort of, that's hasn't really it? really interesting. It almost looks appetite as well. I really? Some of those blues. I can't get over the oh. fact that you've got this this big. Woohoo! Okay. Yeah, I'm happy about that, De Bruges. Yeah, they're nice. I really like this strand. I can't believe I've seen this before. I must have been on a. Ah, you can see the blues that are there when you move one. it, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Well, I thought when I picked up from the, I'm going to be honest with you, right? I went to pick it up and I thought it was Labradorite because that it looks like the yeah. blue of the Labrador yeah. essence. That's why I was like, oh, because I thought, oh my gosh, Labradorite. <laughs> and then I looked at it, I was like, what have I got here? <laughs> 145 carats of pure colour. I love this strand. We're going to give you a one minute warning to your price, so make sure you're nice and quick. Yeah, great colour, really great colour. I mean, look at that. It is like a big piece of appetite, isn't it? Mm. So the makeup of Chrysocola is malachite. And is it azurite? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've got midnight blues. You've got... Oh, I love it. I really love it. Right, OK, are you on the phones? Are you logged in online, ready to make your purchase? Because if not, you might miss out. Last, last chance to own this. You've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You are correct there, Russie. Uh, and you've got how many carrots? 145 carrots. That one in the middle is huge. Let's shop. Let's shop for a great big Chrysler tumbles like that I've never seen. Well, I apparently have seen this, but... <laughs> Ross is like, you have seen this. I, I can have. Someone must have been... Sometimes uh, people accidentally log in on each other's names because I think I would have remembered this. MKRU09 is your item code. The colour is peak. It is peaking in colour, isn't it? I love it. And so summery. OK, let's go. One price for you. A pound of gemstone. Yes, mm -hmm. I am happy with that. Thank you. I've had a tail, I'd wag it. We're going to give you a price that is lower than launch. A pound. A pound, a pound of gemstone at £11.99. 145 carats of Chrysocola. Graduated faceted tumbles. These are 13 by 9 uh, to 23.5 by 15 millimetres. And they're spread across a 19 centimetre strand. You have got a lot of room to... Do you know what? I think wire work around, a lot of room to stretchy around, a lot of room to use as... You know, these could be brooches, add feathers, add shibori. Yeah, add, add so much. You've got such an organic flavour to this uh, strand. It's a great addition, a great addition for 100, 145 carats for 11.99. It's super. Mari, you've got yours. Karen, you've got yours. Mari, that's a lovely name, isn't it? Mari. Sophia, you've got yours too. Uh, Sabine, Virginia, Penny, and Rhonda, you've got yours for 11.99. I think you'll, I think you'll be delighted with yourself. Don't forget your text messages and get any questions through. If you've got any questions uh, that you want to put to Dave Troff about gemstones. He's coming up. We're going to get him to give us the full experience. We're going to get the full trough experience. <laughs> we could call it the trough overflow. <laughs> you could. That's got VT <laughs> written all over it. But I tell you what, I've got a cheeky little star by for you now. So Dave Troff is actually in the building and he is delighted with the idea of his new section here at Jewelry Maker called The Trough Overfloweth. So here we go. He's going to give us his knowledge today and we're going to learn so much. Deb's here to inspire us as well. We have got for you an amazing strand. Now these satellite beads are just wonderful. They are, the I'd say they're the biggest selling shape that we've got at the moment. Yeah, they're really popular. It's because they're, they've got that difference about them that makes you stop and, and look, wakes, wakes your brain up. Yeah, and I think they sort of lend themselves to different eras. I think on, yeah, the, one, yeah, on the one side of the, the pillow, this gemstone look, cut looks really modern. Mm -hmm. And on the other side of the pillow, this gemstone cut looks really 1920s. Yeah. And yeah. I think that works really nicely because not only are you, are you sort of completing some really fresh new designs, but then you're looking at vintage designs and you're getting inspired by them. If you look at 1920s jewellery, I mean, gosh, it's some of the nice, it's some of the most beautiful jewellery in the world comes from the 1920s, it does. It, from that era, doesn't it? And when you start looking, you're just getting more and more of a flavour of inspiration. And, you, you know, and that can take your designs in so many different avenues just from the fact you picked up a strand like this and it inspired you to look yeah. at 1920s jewellery. 
that's going to take you on a whole new journey. Now, let's talk about beryl as a gemstone uh, within itself. The, the, the beryl family, as we know, if you watch us very often, if you're, if you're new to jewelry maker and you don't know a lot about gemstones, the beryl family is a really important family in, in the gemstone industry. It, it houses the likes of emerald, of, of aquamarine, heliodor, which you may or no, may not know, it is a yellow form of beryl and it's absolutely beautiful. Morganite, a gemstone uh, that was launched by Tiffany & Co. Uh, you, you know, just to name but a few, you've got Goshenite, which is the white or the clear uh, of the beryl. But look, aquamarine is a gemstone that I do feel like most people know within their lifetime. Yes, the yeah, same with emerald. Same. Both of these gems, both of these gemstones, are of course um, forms of beryl. DSG P09 is your item code. Twenty-two pounds and fifty pence. Now I'm going to count the strand. I'm going to count how many gemstones you've actually got on here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Thirty-one, two, three, four. Thirty-four gemstones to your strand. So we're already at sixty-six pence a gemstone. We're not stopping there. 66 pence for an aquamarine. Now yesterday, do you remember we had all of that satellite jewellery in to inspire you? So if you remember yesterday, you saw loads and loads. 12.99 for this. How many gemstones did I say were on my strand? 34 for 12.99. I mean, gosh, you've got, and these are all barrels. Earrings, simple, but do you know what? I'm so silly. I've got this bracelet on me right now. <laughs> I'm so silly. I actually <laughs> brought this in with me today. I'm just going to come forward be, uh, so that I can show you. So I've this is a bracelet that we had from yesterday's makes. Same gemstone. Easy, easy. You can just do that in... Yeah, absolutely. You can completely and utterly just create the same thing. Uh, but uh, And I think that much more feminine version of mm, the same bracelet. Yeah. But earrings, so easy to make. Yesterday, we, we were surrounded by loads of satellite pieces. Uh, and just stretchy bracelets. Again, just such an easy make. There's This doesn't have to be difficult, but then we can think about the chokers with the long chain coming down your back. These are the accent bead right at the bottom that are going to allow you to take your jewellery into that sort of 1920s dimension. 12.99 DSG P09 is your item code. Loads of you multi buying. I've got Florence and Jacqueline and Virginia, Paula, Make Great to Manchester with two, Mandy Elaine with two, Essex with two, Susan with three. Thank you for shopping with Jewellery Maker. Multi buying, definitely the way forward if you want to get the best value out of your money. Uh, Angela, you've got yours. Lynn, you've got yours. Mari in Renfrewshire with a gorgeous name, you've got yours. Hit your one button. If you are on the phone lines, there's been queues all day today. We have been so busy. I have got to just grab this strand because it keeps looking at me. Is it multi-gem? I just, I, I want to put them next to each other because you might see one and think, oh, well, gosh, they're quite similar. But they're not. There's a lot more purples in this. I am getting, I'm definitely getting a lot of aquamarines in this strand as well. But this one has, uh, have I got, I've got kunzite in here, I'm going to hazard a guess. I've got some rose quartz in here, I've got amethyst in here. Isn't that, so I'm just showing you the difference uh, between them. Oh, I love that. I feel, is this new, this strand? Yeah. It's only ever been on once before, not with me, because I've never seen it. We've only 23 left, most of the stock actually uh, sold out uh, at launch. Multi-gemstone, fastest satellite beads. These are 10 by nine on a 38 centimeter strand. FVG P97 is your item code, here we go. For 12, you knew the price. You were in on this already from the start. 12.99, and you can take this home today. Uh, and you've got that multi-gem. Uh, and Deb, these are really sort of harmonious violets and, they are. and blue yeah. barrel colours, aren't they? Yeah. So they work really well together if you wanted to keep it like that, maybe just not in between, or separate them out and work with the cooler tones and the warmer tones. And it's it. You can add other gemstones in as well. Then definitely. Um, maybe the chrysocolla pips that we had would work really nicely with the cool tones or some of the mook with the blues with the yeah yeah absolutely stunning strand such a versatile strand it's a, yeah but it's more it, of the blues and the violets isn't yeah, it it is but well, almost like floral ones like the viola colors that you get these are lovely now over allocated i'm afraid on that one i'm going to give to you dave trough is on his way in oh no he is in just saw him, just spoke to him <laughs> on his way in. He's here. Now, the gemstone of political prisoners. Do you remember me telling you about this yesterday? Uh, named after the river Shah in Russia, in Siberia, this gemstone. 
And it was a gemstone uh, that was mined in an area where there were uh, political prison camps, and it became the gemstone of hope, um, a gemstone of, uh, yeah, of, you know, of inspiration to those that felt that they were in situations where there was no hope, this was the gemstone mm. of hope. So it became quite a symbol in Siberia, and, and it was a fairly new discovery. This wasn't discovered that long ago. I think it was in the, was it in the 1940s they discovered this gemstone? And, um, and so in terms of gemstones, it is a very recent discovery. But my gosh, doesn't it pack a punch for fourteen ninety nine? You've got uh, those wonderful natural purples. So these purples are totally natural, which I always think is a, is a mesmerizing thing. Then you get the, these sort of silky rivers of color that run through it. Like, do you see that? That, that pearly, yeah. silky, yeah. It, it looks almost like liquid, but it's not. Then you've got those deep colors. Now I'm gonna put mine next to the Chrysler color because I really love Ooh, those yes. strong colors together. And I just think, wow, yeah, what that's a striking gorgeous. combination. Purple, the color of creativity. Mm. So this is gonna be really, really appealing to, to a lot of you out there that are, of course, very creative, which is pretty much all of you. Are you shopping to put this into a bracelet to make to sell? Are you just a massive fan of this gemstone? Any, any of the above, make sure you're checking out because these are six mil rounds. The optimum size for creating a lot of diverse uh, genres in, in your jewellery. Now, we are going to make our way into the next hour, which sees Dave Trough bringing his knowledge to our tables. We've got Jade coming up for you. We've also got some Ruby Zoysite coming up for you. And of course, Deb is sticking around to make from what Dave is going to bring to us. So if you want to learn and be inspired, go no further than here at Jewellery Maker. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option two. Email help at jewellerymaker.com or drop us a message on our Facebook page. Hi guys, I'm Dave Troth, uh, you know, responsible for sourcing many of the incredible gemstones uh, that, that we bring you here. And uh, coming up this week, I'm really excited to share with you some of these exotic treasures for the most incredible deals you'll ever see. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. In our brand new all singing all dancing warehouse we are so excited and this is going to make such a difference to what we can bring you here at jewelry maker medians products treats storage because guess what we've now got more storage this is epic come and have a look here because come, come on come on come on i'm like challenge annika come on so look at that just just all those drawers, all these points, all these locations that we can pick your brand new items from. Now, what does that mean for this weekend? Well, come in, I'll tell you. Come on, I've got to get the clipboard. Come on. Come on. Right. So, bear with me. Friday morning, we're starting with Carol. Milliput DVD launch with Gemma Crow. Oh, now in the afternoon, there's going to be a brand new, I'm so excited. It's a new offer for you, and it's going to be magnificent. It's going to be called Xena's Steel of the Week. I haven't decided what I'm going to steal yet, but <laughs> I'm in the right place, aren't I? So that's going to be Friday at 2 p.m. Now, Saturday morning, I'm going to be joined by the fantastic Claire McDonald, and she's going to be doing stacker rings with tube setting. Now, deal of the day, totally awesome tourmaline-tastic it is. That's going to be epic. In the afternoon, I'm so excited, we are launching Susie Menham's first ever DVD. Everybody has been asking for a Marla DVD and we've got it. So Sunday at 1pm, uh, I'm going to be joined by Hannah Osborne. Checkmates, 
triangles and tiles with a booklet. Yes, now then, right, is that enough to start? Because we've then got the rest of this absolutely huge warehouse that we've now moved into and it opens this weekend. Once everything's stocked, every one of these boxes will be stocked with treats for you. So, you know that steel deal? Bear with me, I'm just gonna go and get it. Jewelry Makers, exciting news. We're going to be bringing you the opportunity to acquire further treats on web exclusive deals. They'll be loaded on the 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. hour. You will be able to acquire all of your usual essentials plus extra treats between those limited time restraints. All you have to do is go to jewelrymaker.com at the hours of 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. Click on Watch Live and you'll see all the deals available for that hour. That's 7 a.m. and 5 p.m. each and every day. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Welcome back. You're watching Jewelry Maker, and we are absolutely delighted to welcome our fantastic guest. It's Dave Trough, Jewelry Makers. Hi, Dave. Hi, hey, Jenny. How are you? I'm so good, and I'm so looking forward to this uh, uh, next couple of hours with you. This is fast becoming my favourite ever gemstone. Yeah, you know, I don't uh, wear jewellery. I'm not, uh, you know, fascinated with the, the, the beauty of gemstones. For me, it's all about uh, the rarity, which may be different to some other people. Here we have a gemstone that has eluded um, Gemporia, jewelry maker, mm -hmm. for probably, well, Gemporia certainly 17 years. You know, wow. we've, we've been able to bring you jade over the years, you know, uh, type B, type C, type jade, which is dyed or polymer impregnated. But when it comes to type A material, which is completely void of any enhancement, uh, it's, it's material that we just have never been able to source for you guys. Now, we have a great relationship with a gentleman called Bernard, um, who is um, you know, Chinese. He's been buying, him and his family have been buying incredible jadeite from Magot, from Burma, the only known source in the world for this material for generations. Mm. Literally goes back at least six generations. Okay. Uh, you know, we're talking about an ancient trade. Wow. And his family are one of the kingpins of, of this incredible uh, um, trade that we're dealing in. Um, and he brings us the pearls. So if you guys have met Charlie Barron here, yeah. a jewelry maker, um, who also supplies pearls to Bond Street, he deals with Bernard in selecting some of the finest South Sea pearls in the world. And we've known Bernard uh, in that facility for, for over a decade. And we knew also that his family are probably the biggest, and I can actually almost factually say this, the biggest wholesaler of jadeites in the world. Wow. And that is, you know, Huge credentials. Yeah, huge credentials. He is the man. But 100%, 100% of his trade is in China. So he goes to Magok and, uh, you know, um, his employees go to Magok in the season and they're buying literally $10 million boulders of jadeite. Wow. And then they're, sent wow. To, yeah, they're, then they're sent to these incredible cutting facilities, which has been the same way. That dynamic has existed for over, you know, 800 years. It goes from Burma to China and never leaves. The only material the West gets, and you can pay thousands for it, is type B material, which is, you know, like I said, dyed material or polymer impregnated material. But the type A stays in Asia. And the only time, unfortunately, that we get to see it in the West, and I've been fortunate to have, to have been at some of the auctions, is the likes of Christie's and Bonhams, yeah. where it's by way of a private collection. It yeah. was maybe collated mm -hmm. in the, the 1940s or the 1960s, yeah. and then it's offered to the market. And that's the only way. COVID, has changed everything and I have to it has. I have there to, are a few things that I think COVID has done yeah. uh, you know and it's been a positive uh, for some of us Absolutely. and a lot of things that have been a negative one of the positive things for us yeah. is, is what you're uh, about to explain uh, absolutely. isn't it so, so I mean let's not beat around the bush COVID's been rubbish for, 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 for everyone course, it's affected yeah. all of our lives you know uh, some more than others uh, but we have to look for the silver linings you know we have to and one of the silver linings as you mentioned mm -hmm. is us being able to bring this jade out but it's a finite opportunity and by that, I mean that this opportunity is likely to end. I don't know what of you course, guys have left yes. in the vault here. Mm -hmm. but very we very little, actually. Well, we put everything in, in the show today. Well, everything. We don't have any in Jaipur. 
uh, that relationship that we have with Bernard, which has been for over a decade, mm -hmm. unfortunately won't sustain, sustain us bringing you Jadeite after this year. You know, and, and the only reason we can do it, and I'm just going to tell you the bare bones of it, because I like to be transparent. Sometimes it gets me in trouble. Sometimes I say things that maybe I shouldn't say, but I'm going to tell you just the truth, because you're going to be saying today, well, how are you bringing type A jade out for those prices? And I'm going to tell you exactly how it is. We, um, you know, if you think of the Hong Kong gem show, that yeah. is where everyone buys their jade out. Unless you're um, a, a jade out carver or a jade out wholesaler and you're going to Magok, and I, I've been to Magok, the, the world buys its jade out at the Hong Kong gem show. It's where 90% of, of Bernard's and his family's revenue comes from. Wow. So you, I know you were lucky to get to Magok because, as we know, yeah. uh, you know, we've been speaking to Toby Cavill and he's saying, no one's getting into Burma. Uh, look, no the, one is getting into the, Burma now. I think now. the last time the GIA went to Magok, I mean, Myanmar, Burma is different on a wider scale. Yeah. The last time uh, the GIA, for instance, went to Magok was in 1957. That's how hard it is to get into Magog. Getting into Myanmar, getting into Mandalay is okay. That, that, that people have been able to do that for a good 20, 30 years. But getting into Magog is incredibly difficult. And we were fortunate, like I said, to get there. Now, when 90% of Bernard's revenue is done in the Hong Kong gem show, that's, you know, you're talking 91 countries descend on this one gem show twice a year, mm -hmm. you know, talking over 100,000 people going through and buying up all of their jade at these incredible upwards auctions. When Hong Kong was postponed, there was a massive problem because that's, that's unprecedented. It's never happened before. So people like Bernard, people like uh, us, if we were a vendor there, anyone, whether you're from Paris, New York, Italy, anyone who's got a booth at Hong Kong, they get uh, a shipment container, they fill it with whatever they want to take there, they ship it into Hong Kong, which is one of the most expensive ports in the world. It's a smooth operation. Okay, they, they, it's there for maybe half a day, it's offloaded, it goes into the convention center, it's under lock and key, the best security as you can imagine in the world, and that's just how it works, and they sell it. When the show was postponed, all of these shipment containers were there, and they were accumulating a cost that no one had factored in. So when Bernard ah. puts his shipment container in Hong Kong, yeah. when a Parisian designer, yeah, of course, Van Cleef they're never, they're or anyone, to be there for long, they're exactly, because you're moving so, so along. the cost, the cost that they factored in and have factored in for decades, all of a sudden, let's figuratively say I don't know the price, but say it's ten thousand dollars a day. Just say it's that. Yeah. Every single day. Wow. Whereas and before, you know, before it was like, okay, ten thousand dollars, fine. It was I'm getting, out. I'm getting two million dollars worth of goods in. Uh -huh. Paying ten thousand yeah. dollars on that. Yeah. He's going into the convention center. That's fine. Uh, we've already costed that up. Uh -huh. All of a sudden, Hong Kong Gem Show turned around and said, look, because of COVID, it's, it's cancelled. Uh, first of all, they said it was postponed. So right, they, they okay. postponed it for... So then they don't send the stuff back. So they there's goes, no okay, point in sending it back. Uh, when is it going to be open? Yeah. We, think, we think in the next 30 days we'll get a clearer picture. Well, 30 times $10,000. Yeah, you're talking $300,000, almost half a million dollars. Wow. And then they said, we're going to postpone it again, another month. And it continued and continued and continued until basically there still hasn't been another Hong Kong gem show since 2020. Wow. There wasn't one in the whole of 2020. So there's a huge cost factored in. So at some point... These people said, well, if we want a business, when, when everything opens up, yeah. we need to get rid of this cost. Right? At this point, it's not about making money. We, you know, we either, we'd rather give it away than lose $10,000 a day, essentially. Well, indeed. So they said, OK, well, let's open it up to the market. They couldn't open it up uh, to, to the Asian market because the Asian market went into lockdown sooner than the European market. As you know, you know the COVID originated there. It went into lockdown yeah. earlier. So Bernard came to us and he said, are you interested in taking this? Now, usually a seat at that table would be fierce negotiating. We'd be, let's be honest, you know, that's, if that's being offered to the West, okay, not East right now, West, Tiffany, Van Cleef, Boucheron, Bulgari, Fabergé, we're all at the table, I won't get a look in. But think about it. Tiffany's doors were closed. Van Cleef's doors were closed. Yeah, Bond Street was in lockdown. Yeah, of course, they were um, all closed. You know, Place Vendôme was in lockdown. Fifth Avenue was in lockdown. The, you know, the whole retail side of things, bricks and mortar, was in lockdown. I was at this seat at the table on my own. And so, cool. I, you know, we, 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 we hadn't factored in buying this jade, so we kind of went in with a really low offer. And in the end, Bernard just said to us, look, take it, I'll accept that offer, take it, and you ship it out of Hong Kong. You get it to Jaipur or wherever okay. you want to take it. I don't want to be responsible for this huge cost every single so day. So that was something that we had to so, factor got, in. So I'll just be honest with you. For the last 16 months, we've been bringing the most incredible jade eye deals yeah. to our collectors, both at Gemporia, online at Gemporia, and Jewelry Maker. Yeah. We've had some incredible deals. Once that shipment container, we only bought one, once that's empty, 
there's nothing. And we'll never get that chance again. You know, sometimes we say, oh, you know, once in a lifetime. This is well, yeah, beyond no, we that. Didn't, this we, we never could have predicted COVID, could we? Yeah. So, you know, if somebody had come along and said, COVID's going to happen, we'd be like, um, I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah. You know, you just don't know what's around the corner, sure. But I think we can all say we've never experienced anything like this before. And it's very, very unlikely once everything's OK again uh, to happen again. But it's never happened in, in 17 years before. that Gemporia has been in business. Yeah. We haven't brought you Taipei J. Exactly. The West hasn't brought you Taipei Jadai. No matter what store you walk into on Bond Street, you're not going to find new Taipei Jadai. You'll find old mine, estate material, one of a kind, mm. and you'll be paying the twenty, thirty thousand dollars in okay. Beijing yeah. for a bracelet. And look at the carrot weight you've got there, Jenny. Well, we're we going to start with the biggest yeah. carrot weight, actually, Dave, okay. and it's these big cubes. I think that these could go into masculine pieces, but also things like decorative pieces. So we talk about this gemstone as a symbol of luck, mm -hmm. and, and uh, it, it's said to be a blessing to whomever it touches. It's said to bless whomever it touches, uh, which is, um, you know, a, a big reason yeah. why the Chinese market love it so much. They see it as, as probably the luckiest gemstone and also a great gift to give to those that, you know, are going about a new journey, whether it be marriage, whether it be graduation, whether it be a new baby. But what you're holding there is essentially what every uh, Asian investor aspires to own. Okay, that's Taipei. Yeah. Borderline imperial green. Yeah. Burmese jadeite. It's not nephrite. Uh -huh. It's not a stone that looks like it. It's not adventuring. That right there is the real deal. It's and it's the actually, real deal. It's actually embarrassing that we have such a, um, a carrot weight available. I'll be honest. Because we should be because we should be selling it in individuals. Like if, these if, squares we, if, if we were a conventional business be, yeah. and we were concerned with actually making money, let's be honest. If if if, if, if I had a store, if this was my ship. And I was steering it. That's exactly what I'll do. I'll break okay. that up. And I know we have a lot of the trade tuning in. You're more than welcome to this because there is no trade show. This is it. This is as good as it gets. And in fact, I went to Magok, Jenny. Okay? Yeah. You're so lucky. To I went there. to Magok and I tried to buy a piece of jade out for my daughter. Yeah. Okay. This is before COVID, obviously. Yeah. Before, you know, us having this opportunity. And I yeah. thought, well, I'm in Magok. Um, this is the best I'll ever, the best chance ever. Of course, I'll ever be able You're to get Taipei Jade. I've never seen like it. This. I've yeah. never seen it. Of all the studying that I've done with gemology, with with going to all of these gem shows, going to mines, I've never at this point when I went there, I'd never held a piece of Taipei Jade. Never wow. seen one. And I went to the Jadeite market, and I picked up. Obviously, I'm not going to pick up an imperial green or an apple green because I know they're thousands of dollars. Yeah. So I picked up a bangle. Okay. And what you're, I'm telling you now, is the only person here that has seen both. The bangle I'm about to show you and what you're holding, you have a better grade than what I held. Are you serious? And I picked it up and I was with my good friend Roshan, who is from Magok, he's, he's from Manama, and I asked him, can you speak to this lady and ask her how much for me to, to buy this? And Paul, would I be able to show that clip of film, please? Uh, this is oh, me in Magok, just before COVID, deliberately thinking, thinking I'm a good gem buyer, saying, right, well, I'm not going to pick the best piece. I'm going to pick a piece that's not the best quality ever, but it's a souvenir, it's a memento. And I genuinely thought, and I'm not, you know, I'm not wealthy or anything, but I thought, I can justify, you know, 500 mm -hmm. to 1,000 pounds. Well, you're going to get on this acquisition for my daughter. daughter. It was a, yeah. This is me trying to make an investment. And I thought 1,000 pounds would be my absolute limit, but let's see what I can get in Magot. Take a look at this. We found out a Burmese dealer with carved incredible bangle of natural jade. They tell me that this is one of the most prized colors here in Burma and in the Chinese market. I just asked the price for this incredible carved natural jade bangle, 15,000 US dollars at trade. Incredible. 15,000 And Jenny just looked at me, it, not even on camera, like, she looked at me and she went, <laughs> yeah, you did that. <laughs> And this is why I say, this is why it drives <laughs> me mad. It's so frustrating because we're here. Yeah. And we, I, we don't even know what the, the, the carrot weight is on this. I, hang on. Right. So there's no way. We've got 600 carrots, but there's no way we're charging you $15,000. You know that's not going to happen. So you know that the best idea now is to make sure you're securing yours. And, you know, we're not... We're not qualified, Dave or I, to talk to you about investments, but you've got to ask yourself, could this be, uh, you know, for me, is this a great idea? Is this something? And now let me just say, and I'm, I'm sure, Dave, you'll agree with me, uh, so our customers can get certificates of authenticity Absolutely. for everything. I think it costs 25p, doesn't it? In the card, but it's actually free if you go into your back order. Get the physical, get the physical get card, the 25 physical pence. Card, 25 pence, because people are going to say this to you. Can't be. Yeah. That, Burmese Jade... 
But look, no, when, when I'm at the gem, when I'm at the gem shows, if we if we buy a stone, say a loose stone, yeah, and I want a gem certificate done on that on that stone, that day cost me three figures. Yes, three we were figures, talking not about like this, a pound. Yeah. I'm talking hundreds of pounds. Uh -huh. And you're getting 25 pence for that peace of mind, for that proof. Mm -hmm. A gemstone is only as valuable as you can prove it, it is uh, what it is. 100%. It's so important you get that. Hi, all. I have these and they are stunning. That's going in the dollar. That's, 39 uh, You just look, heard what Dave said about, you know, you know we just saw that clip. $15,000 for a bangle. And look how many I've got. I mean, there's more. Not even look at, That's look like at, a big yeah. necklace worth. It's not but a not, bangle's Not even worth. just the, 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 the size or how many you've got. Paul, I don't know if we can, and I don't want to put you on your toes or whatever, is there any chance you could get a still of me holding that bangle at some point, or maybe? Because it's the colour, it's the quality. The bangle I picked up was, you know, opaque, okay? Mm -hmm. And it was a, a much lighter shade than this, because I know that the more, the more green, the more saturation, the more expensive, the more yeah, expensive of right? So I deliberately picked up uh, a piece that I thought I might be able to afford. In <laughs> my God, no middlemen. You know, I'm not going through Asia, I'm not in Hong Kong, yeah, I'm not at Bonhams, I'm not in Sotheby's. I'm in Magot. They've dug this out of the ground. It's unreal. You know, maybe a, a hundred meters from where we stand. And I was being asked 15,000 US dollars. Now, Goodness Jenny, me. I know you're doing it by the book and you're saying, look, we're not uh, uh, qualified to give you investment advice, whatever. No, I'll, tell you you one know, thing, can... I'll tell you one thing that's a fact yeah. from someone who's been to Magot. You're saving a hell of a lot more than, you, than you're course. spending. Of okay? course. And I think, you know, for me, if I was going to do it, is this a good idea? You know, I work here for Gemporer. For me, this is absolutely, it's, it's, I'm not even going to think too much about it. It's £40 today. I know that I could... Thank you, I Paul. Could, That's amazing. Look, there it is. Right, there, there it is. is. That colour. It's the same colour. Yeah. And you've got 600 carats, which we know is a bigger carat weight. And that was $15,000. That's how much COVID has changed the market. But only fleeting. Only fleeting. It's about to, 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 you know, once everything reopens, which it is doing now, I can't get this jade out for you. That's just a fact. Haven't been able to get it before, can't get it after. Make the most out of these opportunities whilst you can. And at £40, that's, you know, to buy a piece, to, 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 to acquire something like that, that's the kind of uh, you know, transfer that you'd have to wire the money from Switzerland to someone. That's what it should be, 600 crowns of Taipei jade. You can walk out of an ATM and get £40. To acquire right. 600 yeah. carats of Taipei jadeite. And we say things a lot here, and I get it because we're dealing with rare gemstones all the time, whether it be tanzanite, topaz, whatever. We say, look, this might be once in a lifetime. You could live a number of lifetimes and never, ever <laughs> yeah. get, get that opportunity again. And it seriously is an opportunity, but only for those of you that are fast enough. So congratulations. And in one particular uh, bidder in West Yorkshire, got three of those. So well done. That's... Am Do I know, doing the maths again, right? Is that 1,800 carats in total? You're that asking the wrong a... girl because I am right. absolutely terrible, but apparently you're being told yes. Good. Now, we've got some finished, we've got some finished jewellery, which I've just put in my ears because I just think how summery are these, and I just, just had to. How beautiful mm -hmm. are these? Now, we've all seen the Sotheby's auction, Dave, which I think was the... Um, I, the don't, most I don't want to do a price on these. Piece. Look at look at it, right? So we know that jade jewelry can fetch absolute high yeah. thousands. That's the best jade. Look so I'm at talking this. to our collectors now. That's the best, the single best jade you will ever see. And the reason I tell you that is because you've got a, 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 an incredible water content, which is how they refer to the body of and the jade. And how do you tell it's got that? Well, how do you tell? It's got this slight. Incredible! It's not completely opaque. It's not chalky. No. Uh, when you get top grade jade, you're doing it right now, Jenny. For me, they're tactile. They make you want to touch them. You won't understand That's it. that. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. You won't understand it until you see it. Now, Bernard's wife, okay, and we've been to meals out with with Bernard and his family when they're entertaining us. I tell you right now, she's got a pair of earrings that are identical to that. Okay? Yeah. And he told me they're valued at a million US dollars. Oh, she's dripping in jade. Oh my gosh, a and million. And she's married to the man that can get any jade oh. out in the world, and that's what she chooses to wear. That's a joke of a price. Genuinely, it's a joke of a price. And not only that, Dave. Hampshire, they're West on Midlands. They're split pay for 33, 33. You can split the yeah. payment interest well, free. You, uh, three split payments of 99.99. You shouldn't be able to acquire these. <laughs> no, that's no, true. Right. You shouldn't be able to walk out with those for £300. That. Pounds. No. They're Taipei. Even if they were dyed, that would be an incredible deal because of the water content of the jade eye. But let's be real right now. Look how good they look in the studio. And by the way, let me tell you one thing. That's the worst they're ever going to look. 
Not because they're on Jenny. I just mean because ears. the lights. Because the I lights mean, I'm are terrible. I'm deeply offended by Look, that. The thing. lights are terrible. Look, if you go to Christie's, okay, and they're yeah. selling Jada oh, for a million they're, dollars, they're, yeah. they're going to spend more on their lighting than I spend on my car. Of okay? course. And here, our lights are designed to make Jenny look great, which they do because they, you know, the what are they? Floodlights or something? I mean, this I'm is just this is not you know daylight like replicating. This, Dave. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, yeah, absolutely. But <laughs> I'm telling you right now, that's the worst they're ever no, going to look. Yeah, honestly, the, the studio lights are here to make us look less dead, uh, and look they don't the actually necessarily do anything for the gemstone. Whereas if you, of course, if you go to London, if you go to Bond Street, if you go even in the concessions in, um, in, Selfridges. in Selfridges, which I was that was there last weekend, they told me off for taking a picture in Cartier. Um, literally, it's full of amazing lights, and, and everything sparkles yeah. so amazing. And isn't it a shame, right? You Imagine buying something from Cartier in Selfridges, okay? It's going to be a huge acquisition, okay? Yeah. Over a thousand pounds, let's just say that. You buy a piece, okay? It's looked incredible. You took a picture of it, it's yeah. amazing. Unless you're spending $40,000 on your lights in your kitchen, yeah, no, it's, it's never going to look that good again. Yeah. So the best it's <laughs> ever going to look, the best it's ever going to look is at the point of transaction. I 100% agree that, with that. It's never going to yeah. look that good again. Yeah. Whereas you're right. what you've just seen here, is not a patch on what it's going to look like when you get it home. 100%. And that's what's incredible about I was, what we I was do there here. just last week. Um, I, was, I was telling you at home, I think it was last Tuesday or Thursday, actually, not the weekend. Uh, we went into London, we went to Selfridges, and I went across all of them, and I'm looking at Chopard, and I'm looking at all, and everything's so sparkly. It literally sparkles like wild, and it is the most amazing lighting. You're Let me ask so you a right. question. You walk past Cartier, you walk past Chopard, you were in London. Yeah. You see one piece of Taipei Jade? No, no, I didn't see any. It was all no one, actually no one can get diamonds it. in the Because when the yeah. deal was there, when the only time in history, in history, that that deal has been available to the West, everyone was shut down. Everyone was locked down, except us. We have a very unique business model here, which means we can safely broadcast into your living room, keeping us all safe, and we've been able to bring you incredible deals throughout this, this pandemic, this unprecedented time, which meant we could snap up deals without competition. But we have to all understand that these deals are unfortunately coming to an end. So if you mm -hmm. want to own something like this, you have, what, an hour? Genuinely, exactly. I'm just being exactly. straight up with you. I mean, this and is... Honestly, this is true. Everything that we have here in the building, everything we have here in the company, in the vault, has gone into this show. We knew we had Dave in. And, of course, Dave is the font of knowledge. He's, he's giving us all this wonderful information. You've seen how, you know, Dave, at a show, has been asked for $15,000 for one piece. Uh, it wasn't even really a show. If that was a show... Actually, Jenny, I'll be honest. Sorry, you're a joke yeah, that was, there, that was right? literally at the Jade Market in Magot. That's as close. That's the source. I went to the source, and fifteen thousand wow. dollars was the prior to COVID. Yeah. Any of this here would be in that realm, and I'm just being frank. I mean, I've yeah. took you there with the camera. Absolutely. I'm absolutely transparent. If that was at a show, if you know, which we do go to, go to Hong Kong every year prior to COVID. That bangle would most likely be $100,000. Because it would have passed through much more, uh, you know, The Chinese hands. will pay $100,000 in my of hands course. there. Now, I need to give you our only graduated strand. I know we've got some lovely coins next to you there yeah. uh, as well, Dave. But again, rounds. So let's talk about rounds because, I mean, these just make the easiest jewellery. For yeah. us, for our customers, Dave, the jewellery makers... Uh, they, they want to make. They want to make this into a, a piece of jewellery that they can to. sell. So probably one of the easiest strands to get, if you can only afford to buy one strand today, would be a graduated one. And the reason is that you can create it's a really necklace made. out of this section. Well, sure, it's ready made. You can make a straight up necklace, but you can create a suite of jewellery. Yep. And you could just continue there with some chain. You've got enough then to make a bracelet out of the next size up. And then perhaps earrings or something else or charms from the next. Yeah. So you've got options here. Yeah. You should Sure, we can make one big piece yeah. of jewellery, but you can also make a suite or two suites of jewellery. Yeah. So this is probably going to be one of the best I don't value. Think we, well, that's, it's crazy that we're saying that, because I don't think any of us... I mean, I, I actually do, but I'm just being honest. I don't think any of us right now realise how special what you're holding is. And it's because, yeah, we're on, we're on a TV network, we're called Jewellery Maker, uh, and it, it's fun and quirky. But I'm telling you right now, if you was to look at that bangle that I held up, okay, and we saw how mottled. Look, look how mottled it is. There's patches exact, of green. Yes. There's patches of the white. You're that's right. just that's how jade forms. Exactly. So what you're looking at essentially is many, many boulders of jade exactly. that have been yeah. sorted into that grade. Look at the consistency of colour. They haven't been carved from one jade out boulder. That's been accumulated. That was going to be in Hong Kong, Jenny. That's where it was shipped. I mean, something like that could should and would sell for. Thousands and thousands of dollars. Absolutely. And Dave, this shouldn't even really, I mean, realistically, I don't want to look on at an, a price, in a normal a year, 
this would never be gracing our screens right now. It's, it's every cloud, like Dave said, you know, because of the backlash of, uh, of COVID, we have managed to, to secure these for you. Mm -hmm. This is very, very Pam highly Pamshi, you've bought two of these. The Congratulations. Well done. And uh, if, if I can, you know, I'm not an expert or whatever. I, I'm Dave. very fortunate to travel, very fortunate to acquire these gemstones. I'm passionate about it, just like you guys. But I, if I can offer any piece of advice from someone who's been there and tried to do it, tried to do it, I would say to your multi-buy, where, where is a possibility? Because well, we're certainly going to say if I had suggest, 15, that's not even our price. Have you seen the price on the screen? Yeah, I have. I'm that so is our sorry price. to interrupt you. If that is because our price, Because I knew Jenny. you were just sort of going on like, yep, yep, come on. It's not even our price, right. Dave. I have to stop you there because Ross uh, is saying that we could do even better, which actually for you is pretty heartbreaking right it's, now. It's crazy. It? I'm so thrilled for you guys. 20 quid is unbelievable. I'd put that in a voucher for uh, a distant it's, relative. Yeah. It's it is. A big it's the kind maker. of thing you put in a voucher, isn't yeah. it? For, for, yeah. For, you know, a, a second cousin or something. That's mad that you can acquire something that was literally unattainable uh, 16 months ago. In fact, if I said, I remember saying to our, um, our, our MD here, Colin, I remember saying to him, when I got back from a got, he asked me, how was it? It was incredible. Before we had all the footage in the can and edited, and I said, you know what? If I had $15,000 to my name, I'd have bought a bangle. And I, I remember saying, <laughs> no, no, I remember saying to <laughs> Biggest Colin, regret, yeah. it would have been something that we could sell for here at $30,000, $40,000 and still be cheaper than anywhere else. Okay. And I'm glad I didn't because COVID hit. And now we're bringing you that material oh, yeah. for 20 pounds. I'd have been 50, oh, my deal. you'd have been fuming. You know if I'd have been here, Jenny, right? Yeah. And you I've just come back from a got, I've just come back from a got, and I'm bringing you an incredible show of all the treasure we got from a got. Me and Jenny here, as we are now, and COVID hadn't taken place, hadn't happened, your price, I wouldn't, not one zero, not two. You could be looking, uh, it, look, it could look like a phone number, that price. So, Dave, be honest with you. let's look at the opportunity that our jewellery makers have got here because 80% of our customers yeah. buy from us to make something that they sell, yeah, which is why it's so important to get your certificate of authenticity. But you've got to see this opportunity right in front of you. It's an opportunity that Dave himself, with all the buying yeah. power in the world and all the experience, had, had never had. This is your opportunity as a jewellery maker that makes to sell, to get something of the most amazing quality, of, of the hugest reputation yeah. at the lowest price Guys, you're ever going to see it. Forget, forget seeing the opportunity. Forget seeing the opportunity. Seize the opportunity. It, it is my advice to anyone here. As, as a gemstone by myself, and I've been doing it for, for some years now, going to Magog was a once in a lifetime experience. But what you have here is a once in a generation mm -hmm. opportunity. Mm -hmm. Truly is. It's a good look. Now Dave, I want you to look at the color of the coins that we've got coming up. They're the only coins, they, they happen to be my favorite for wearing in bracelets. They're the only coins we have. The color yeah. is, it's just can, on can, point, can, isn't it? I just want to share something with you if I may. Philips Auction House, who we are, uh, you know, we follow a lot. We, we, we you know, uh, we subscribe to them. We get their incredible publications. We've been fortunate enough to attend some of their incredible auctions. Um, they, just prior to COVID, they, they produced an incredible catalog, a brochure, a portfolio of Jadeite, okay? And let me show you what I'm talking about, because you're probably thinking, oh, what's he talking about, bloody bar? You know, I showed you a $15,000 bangle, okay? I'm going to show you one now that had an estimate of between 780 and eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Take a look at that. Yeah. Eight hundred and eighty thousand dollars. Hong Kong dollars. And that's wow. the estimate. I've never I'm yet to see in the West a Jedi piece not surpass its pre-sale estimate. I'm yet to see one. Really? Not, yeah, hundred percent. And more often than not. So that would be the bare minimum double price more that they're gonna go for. That that is essentially a sales tool. But they, they put it low, so loads of people bid on it. So it's like offers in region yeah, off. Yeah. Well, it's, no, then... it's, be, it's, it's below that. It's to encourage, because people think, oh, 780 to 880, we're going to come in. So loads of people tune in, yeah. and the upper auction takes off, and it will more than double or triple that. And I see that routinely really? for Jade Eye. And then you and look at that. So Let me show you one more you. time. Sorry, just before I do this. Let me show you that one more time if I can. can we'll try and get a still of it if we can, if that's OK. But we're talking about an incredible Jade Eye bangle there. And still, it's almost impossible to get that consistency of color yeah. that you're offering right now. Yeah. Okay, we know the most valued color is the green. Yes. But yet, yet you have to compromise there with the white. Yes. And you, then we, look, at what, you look at what you're yeah. offering. There's no I've compromise. Got, there is no compromise. And I tell you something, the coins that are coming up have such a deep color to them. 
And these drops, again, what a great consistency of colour, exactly what Dave's talking about. You have got... Uh, now, here is an opportunity with just three gemstones, yep. Dave. Our jewellery makers would make a pair of earrings, so one of these drops in each ear, and a pendant. You know, a, that is a suite of jewellery. Then all you need is precious metal chain, because I wouldn't touch this with base, base metal. We know this has got such a high reputation. For me, it's jade. Put it with a precious metal and sell it on. Absolutely. Like that. Now, so you can imagine here, if I count them, we've got suites of jewellery. So you've got one suite of jewellery there. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. Oh my eight, god, it looks divine nine, in the studio. Ten suites of jewelry with two left over to make just earrings. So that's ten pendant and uh, an earring it's incredible. sets. Incredible. This is a huge profit maker but, for, for absolutely. jewelry makers. You know, I'm actually loving being here at jewelry making because I'm learning how to make jewelry. Yeah. I, I actually want to make a business out of it, Jenny. I'll be really honest, because we're giving away jewellery here. Indeed. And, and it's of huge, huge value, and I want some of that. I've, I, I'm, I'm not going to you know, uh, mislead you. I've bought a lot of this jade out myself. I think and it would be a mistake plan. not to. I think all of us... I'm going to be really honest with you at home. Most of us presenters, crew, everybody has invested in at least one piece of jade because we all think for, our, for us it's the smart thing to do. But you must get your certificate of authenticity exactly like Dave said. You're hard, you have a very hard time proving that this is Burmese jade if you don't have that certificate. Also, there's not, there's not many people... People because it's such a rarity. There's also not many people qualified in the West to yeah. actually certify type jade. Uh -huh. In fact, the Gem Guide... You guys know about the Gem Guide, don't you? The Gem Guide is the, the, yeah. the, the industry publication that gives you the kind of uh, market read of pricing of different gemstones. It's published, you know, uh, seasonally, literally every two months. Okay. And it has been that way ever since it first ever went into circulation. It had to suspend its publication during COVID, okay, because oh. there was no gem shows to gather that data. Of course, yes. So they, for, it was unprecedented. First time ever they, they suspended the publication. Yeah. Then, in the, middle, in the middle of this COVID pandemic, as it stands right now, Yeah. They put an emergency um, edition of it out, which we have at Gemporia. I'm sure there's a copy here. And they literally said, look, don't, don't look at this for pricing because there is no uh, you know, up-to-date market data. Yeah. The whole reason we've published this is aimed at professionals. And, and, and there was a whole article on telling professional appraisers, people that have been to, had a degree in the appraisal and value of jewellery, yeah. teaching them how to ascertain and how to value type A jadeite. And the, the, the title of the article is, you know, essentially, the first time ever that Type A Jadeite has been available in the West wow. and how you should value it. Now, I'll tell you right now, there was a Type A Jadeite ring in there, um, and they was using it as like an exercise. And the estimated replacement value on, of it, and it wasn't imperial green. In fact, it was a, a grey green. It wasn't the best colour, it wasn't, uh, you know, gemmy, it was opaque, and they were using it as an average. The estimated retail value on that one ring was 28,000 yeah. US dollars. Oof. And that's just the reality of what we're dealing with. I've bought a hell of a lot of jade eye from these shows and, and from others like it that I'm holding for 10 years. And I'm going to bring my own collection of jewellery. And I tell you right now, I'll be offering it at the correct price. I'm just being straight up with you. I'll be, I'm, I'll be looking to but offer this big, material you know, you're, you're at thousands of dollars. Of yeah. course. And our jewellery makers, they're running their businesses. They're running them through Etsy pages. They're running them through pop-up shops. They're running them through the artisan markets, through their websites. And it's the smart thing to do. Well, my, my first ever creation of jewellery that I've ever done was with Jade mm -hmm. And I took what you've got in your ears, essentially. And I launched it, actually, a couple of weekends ago. And we placed a diamond in the center. The, the, the donut wasn't as large, okay? They call that a haigu. Um, there's a the haigu. shape in Chinese, yeah. Um, it's, it's a wonderful, wonderful shape. Yeah, it has to be completely like the even. The whole has Is it to the be... ring of heaven or something like that? Yeah, the it circle of heaven, the they call it. Um, and basically, I, it was a much smaller hole, but we fashioned a diamond into the center, a VSI wow. diamond. And if you guys want to do that, if you want to take this jewelry and take that earring, one of them, you've got two, and have a ring and a pendant with a diamond suspended in the center, go for it. We're talking, you know, multi, multi thousand dollar suites of jewelry here. And the prices we're doing are stupid. They are. Well, I think, I think uh, that's going to, of course, reflect upon our next star buy. It is the only strand of coins that we have here in the show today. The last strand of coins that we have available here at Jewelry Maker. It's got to be a star buy.
This star buy is going to be the last opportunity for you to own these amazing coins. Now, coins are always very, very popular wow. uh, for, for, for you at home because they're so easy to use. So Deb has just uh, literally in the last 10 minutes made us a, a beautiful stretchy bracelet, oh, which is so easy to do. All you need is, is six and a half inches of gemstones. Uh, she hasn't used that many of the coins. You'll be able to make about three or four of these bracelets uh, just out of this stand. Oh, oh, Jenny. I'm sorry, but we're so kind of casual with it. We're like, we have type A green. This it's not is even like a green, green jade. And we're like, we jade. can make five or six bracelets out of this. We put a star by uh, intro, which I completely get because I know that Ross has got an incredible deal for you guys, which justifies the use of that. But we use this every single day, right? And we have to understand that this is not uh, a star by. Me and, me and Jenny should be, should be genuinely presenting this to you with white gloves okay we should be offering you champagne it should be a, a, an acquisition that you need to spend a good 12 hours thinking about yeah that's the kind of price we should be dealing with this sh you should only be offered to the one percent that's how it works outside of this moment and we're here and we have a stretchy bracelet we have it laid out on the back of the hand and i just think we need to get across right now that i hope you're on the phone lines because if you're not and you see what the, and also are we for real is that the carrot way 250 it's carats a joke. in total, 12 millimetres uh, in, in the coins, and they are spread across a 38 centimetre strand. Now, we would think, okay, so uh, this, is a, this is beyond a star buy. Uh -huh. this, is, this is probably a once in a lifetime opportunity. I see not, these. No, not probably. This is yeah, definitely that's right. for you at home yeah. a once in a lifetime opportunity. So, this is beyond a star buy. This is beyond a deal of the week, yeah. a deal of the a day, year, a decade, deal of the month, whatever. an annual, uh, you, know, you know, a Christmas special. Special. This is one of those opportunities that is laid in front of you because of a bizarre situation yep. Yep. that has happened to us human beings over the last two years. This is this is presenting itself to you as a business opportunity, as a profit-making opportunity, perhaps. Do you agree? Uh, this is being presented to you as an opportunity to own something that you perhaps have never had the chance. This should be to an upward auction. Before should be an upward auction. That's how that's how Jada is sold. Yeah, yeah, in a hundred percent of the time, a hundred percent of the time, jade eye like that is sold in a production. This is we say it's once in a lifetime. This is once in a generation, and you people tuning in right now are the only generation in the history of the jade eye trade. The only generation that have had this opportunity once in a lifetime implies that the next lifetime or, or, or once in a generation implies that another generation will have this opportunity available. This has never happened. There is no uh, uh, data to support the fact that this has ever been offered like this before. And here we go, because at 29.99, you're getting oh 250 God. carats of green Burmese. How many do we have? millimeter coins. We've got 124 of these. TFP okay. 059, a third of the stock has now gone. Are you telling me and then? And sold out. He's put a clock on the screen. That I little know, rascal. an egg timer. And it's crazy that I see that. This, this gimmicky All egg timer things. with type A Jada. If Bernard could see what we were doing now, it's, it's insane. You, you can never talk to you again, Dave. Well, you can buy. Let me put it like this. When I look at that 30 pounds, and I say you can buy 10 of these and you should if you can you should for 300 pounds that means you can buy 2,500 carats of type a natural burmese jadeite for it's three oh my, what are we unreal. doing what are we doing by the way we call it this coin shape in 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 hong kong Oof. i see i see necklaces like this one of a kind necklaces on busts behind glass and they're called jadeite baroque Necklace. It's this baroque, asymmetrical, un you know, it's not, it's, it's not a, a conformational shape that, that exists, and you get it. And it follows the contours and the shapes of the, the jade that comes out of the ground. It's ridiculous. Hampshire, you've got five. Absolutely, it's what I'd be doing. Well, have you seen uh, the price, Collector Dave? Wiltshire's got three. I don't even want to talk about it. Bedfordshire's got two. Wiltshire's got two. Theresa, you, you've got two. I mean, you, so many of you are multi-buying. In fact, it's the first time I've actually seen a call screen where there's more people multi-buying than not. not. And I support you on that, I 100%. need to just, I need to talk to you about your certificate of authenticity. It's so important with this opportunity because this is going to be one that you want to go and get valued. This is going to be one that you might want to then go and get insured. And to do that, I've got to tell you, you must go and just make that 25 pence investment. Get the certificate of authenticity in a card. It's going to make your life a lot easier when you go and get this valued, a lot easier 
when you get it insured. And I don't say that lightly. When you get this insured, when you get this valued, and I'm not and sure you have to get it how much you paid for it, um, but I, I know this, you are going to walk out of that place you are gonna. You, you will have got that 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 valuation, and you are gonna have a big fat smile on your face because just paying nineteen ninety nine today oh, is is an unheard of opportunity for Burmese jade. I pay more than that a month for my phone, it, my indeed, mobile phone, right? Indeed, a month. And granted, yes. I get uh, I don't know how many. But is your mobile phone an investment? But now? am I going to be able to it? hand down my mobile phone in twenty years to my daughter? No, she's going to be like, what is this brick there? Yeah. You know, I can't do anything on it. You can't do that. Twenty pounds. In fact, I'm just going to say it right now. There's not a better acquisition, I believe, that you can make for twenty pounds than Agreed. this opportunity today. Agreed. And that makes mine and Jenny's job so easy, right now, because it's, it's I'm just un offering you an unmissable opportunity. And it's unmissable. This mm -hmm. is just, I've put it here, your, your only um, uh, thing that's going to stop you missing out is when the, the quantity's gone, okay? Because my call screen here is full. Well, we are. The it's full. Yeah, entirely over-allocated. That means that we've far more in uh, baskets or on the phone lines than we actually have physical stock of. Now, I have just heard in my Get ear that somebody's bought eight yeah, of these. Yeah, Virginia, congratulations. But, but, but that does say, if you've got this in an unchecked basket and people are buying this in quantities of eights, sixes, fives, it does bring your chances of actually being able to get this if you don't check out much, much I don't lower. think, I know we're doing a crazy uh, uh, Jade Eye event right now in this, uh, this hour, this two hours. Can you do me a massive favour, Jenny? Anything, Dave. Uh, please may you take one of the earrings out, just if you one. can. Yeah, and I want you to put it next to what you're calling the coins and I call the Baroque Jade Eye. Okay? Okay. Right. These earrings were an unmissable deal at 99.99. Yeah. And, and that was Ooh, phenomenal. Phenomenal. Same grade. It is the same and grade. And you've got yeah. 250 carats. And you couldn't, I mean, literally, the split payment on the earrings, yeah. you know, is, 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 uh, is more than the final price of yeah. this. Not makes to, no not sense. Not to devalue the earrings, of course. I'm, I don't care. Like, I'm just being honest. Yeah. You guys have been you're present in this show. It's incredible to get the Haigu shape. It's a big carat weight in a single stone, and it's a matched pair. Of course, we pay a premium for that. But let's not lose sight of the fact that you're getting 250 carats of not a, you know, a grade that's inferior. It's the same grade. This is the Hong Kong grade. I love those coins, Dave. I love them. Uh, the, the coins are always a favourite of mine. Now, let's talk, because the traditional thing to do with jade is to wear it next to your skin, mm -hmm. is to wear it on your left hand, isn't it, to receive luck um, and, and prosperity, on your right to give out luck and, and prosperity. That's the, that's, that's the way China, the Chinese do it, isn't right. it? Yeah. So, um, of course, a round is going to lend itself to a stretchy bracelet. Oh, you wow, just see, look at that. Uh, De Bruges is just loving life at the moment, just bringing out incredible jewellery. She's having a way I'm looking time. at that and I'm just thinking, OK, the, you've used three jade. There. Yeah. And that necklace literally looks a million dollars. Of course. And, and it's we've beautiful. just offered a 250 carat parcel for 20 pounds. Yeah. It's, I mean, does that, it's it makes unreal, no right? sense. It actually makes no sense. It doesn't make any sense. It, it's an opportunity that's been placed in front of us because of a pandemic, which none of us could have ever predicted. And when it first happened, we all thought, what's this crazy thing happening? This will be over in a, in a you know, really? we, we didn't know what was going to happen. And the craziest things since then have happened. And this is one of those crazy things. Now, because we can wear this on our wrist with ease because it's a six mil round and have the little matching earrings, because we can make wish bracelets out of this, because it's such a diverse shape for all the different styles of jewellery you want to create, it's neither feminine or masculine in, in this shape or size, I think this is going to be incredibly How popular. many do we have? We've only, this is the only strand of rounds we've got, Dave, yeah. and we've only got a hundred of them. Okay, let me tell you right now, these, these incredible strands, very difficult to do. And the reason for that is Jade is incredibly hard it's very dense oh my god look at the saturation but on top of that these are literally carved in the same way that the million dollar jades are it's it's you know a series of ancient workshops these are polished on wet bamboo Ooh, okay so that's just, how it's on, done okay, it's so not let's just take done. us through that process then yeah. because we don't get to hear a lot about this uh, here yeah. in jewelry maker so take us so this is a very unique way of cutting Absolutely. a gemstone yeah. why do they do it this way is it because they respect it so much because it's a lucky gemstone Absolutely. to a lot of cultures it, it, when we talk about jadeite yeah. It's the history, yeah. the culture of jade. Of okay, yeah. it has to be respected. No one takes jade out of China, even though we manufacture in Jaipur yeah. the majority of our jewelry. 
we wouldn't dream. First of all, we wouldn't be able to get it, and we haven't been able to get it. Jade does not leave China for okay, anywhere so else. There is a, such a huge respect for this gemstone. This is the most even expensive the way stone in the world. It's cut is unique to the rest yep. of the gemstones in the world. Yeah. So in the West, we sit here and we go, oh my God, I'd love to own a pink diamond or a yeah. red diamond. Okay, what you have on the back of your hand, Jenny, yeah. is the most expensive gemstone in the world. Okay, so. When we talk about uh, you know, the, the, the auction records and we talk yeah. about cashmere sapphires, we talk about pink diamonds, they do not compare to the prices that are paid for jadeites in the East. Okay? Okay. And for that respect, this material, this is how it happens and it will always happen. It is bought in, in Magot, as we know. Yeah. It is then shipped to China. Yeah. And the same workshops that carve for the different dynasties throughout history, the same ones, okay, through generations, have been carving the jadeites. Okay. The type B and type C will be carved elsewhere in China or in Magot, which is the dyed and the polymer impregnated, but the type A, which is the finest that, that you can, can, can achieve. That's what we've got here, the 100%, type A. 100%. Okay. And this material is carved in the traditional way, and I've seen the equipment that they use. Literally, they're lap wheels. Uh, you know, it's not machine, it's not battery, it's not petrol. It's old bicycle chains, and they're, they're literally cycling the, the wheel as they're carving it. That's oh how it happens. God. So it's and then it's really finished. traditional. That's why it's not mass produced. That's why I'm losing my mind when we go, 250 carats, it's like, this is not done in a machine. It's not, you know, lab grown. It's not mass manufactured. This is traditional, ancient, type wow. A jadeite. And we need to give it that respect. It is, it is treated with the utmost respect in the East. And we need to also offer the same respect. Uh, yeah, because, I agree, because actually, this is, yeah. And then it's finished, it's finished on, on um, essentially wet bamboo. So mm. it's bamboo mm. shoots yeah. over a bucket, halved, and they're literally polishing each of those. I don't even know. It'd probably take us longer to count those, right? Yeah. Each individual one. And each individual one has the same respect, attention, and detail placed on it. So it's not a case of, right, guys, we've got a factory. Uh, we need this many six mils, this many. No, each jade decides how it's going to be produced. And then eventually, when it gets to the back end and they create the jewelry. Wow. So when you're buying this, if you're going to create a necklace, yeah. I'm telling you right now, go and spend. The money you're saving is 15 quid. I mean, you could spend more at Claire's accessories on, on an Alice band or something. I've seen it. My daughter was always begging for things from there. And I'm telling you right now, that there. Take it to London, take mm -hmm. it to one of the only known places that still string pearls in the UK and pay the 200, 300 pounds that it will take to have each of those individually knotted. Because if that breaks well, and you lose a strand of jade... Here. They can do it. We've got the silk, we've got the, you, we, we, look, yeah. we, we have DVDs to do that. Well, so then do it. Take the care to it. individually wrap these Absolutely. in silk. Again, another collector's bought eight of these. Can I just tell you right now, if, can you imagine, pre-COVID, I know it's changed a lot of things, Imagine that, that bangle that I picked up, and it was fifteen thousand. Thank you, Paul. Fifteen thousand dollars. You've got a whole bracelet there or a necklace for fifteen pounds. For fifteen pounds. So when I but say look, add three zeros, Dave, you've got a it's few the reality. bracelets. Yeah. You've got a few bracelets. You've probably got three bracelets here. So I mean, keep just because we're giving you this price. And, and honestly, if you're going to sell multiples of your jewelry, please get multiples of the certificate of authenticity, and then you can give those to the person that is buying your jewelry from you. And you can charge that higher price just because we're giving this to you for fourteen ninety nine. Doesn't mean you you don't sell your bracelet. One of the oh bracelets my God. for hundred two hundred pounds. Do not. And do you know what? Um, we always honour the, the, the savings that we made when we got it. Okay, you don't have to do that. If you run a, a normal business, conventional business, we're not. That's, we, we, we rely on, on yeah. quantity. We rely on being Absolutely. busy. So we, that's our rule. We yeah. say, right, we, and we did get a great deal because when I bought that shipment container, I wasn't competing with anyone else. So I got the best deal I've probably ever been paid for Jada. Wow. I bet and you were as happy yeah. as Larry when you Absolutely. got that deal. When, when Wayne rang me up last week, okay, manager Wayne, and he said, Dave, we want you to come over. What gemstone would you like to bring to everyone? I said, I'm bringing Jade until we've got no more Jade because it's the biggest news story that's ever happened in the gem market. And he said, great, should we call it a, a Jade trade show event? I said, Wayne, these are not trade deals. If they were trade deals, I'd bring them every year. This is better than trade. And like, not by a little bit by a huge amount. I could fly you to Hong Kong, you know, prior to COVID, and we could look at strands like that, and you wouldn't get even a certificate for under 100 pounds, let alone the actual jadeite. This is beyond, and if, if there is a trade deal or a trade show that exists that's offering jadeite at these prices, then sign me up and we'll buy a whole year's supply every year. 
we've been dying to bring it to everyone for 17 years. But the part of Jade, the Jade story is all the special things you've told us today. Yeah. And these all relate back to the ancient Chinese traditions of this gemstone being the gemstone of great fortune, a gemstone that in, the, in you know, Chinese beliefs is said to bless whomever it touches, and that's what makes it, because the superstition towards this gemstone is incredibly But this high. is the material that... And what we're dealing with right now is the material that turned the whole jade uh, industry on its head, right? Before, through the different dynasties, going all the way back thousands of years, thousands yeah. of years, they would, they would work with incredible jadeites from mines in China, but it wasn't jadeite, it was nephrite. And, and as, as, you know, as we know, yeah. it doesn't attain, it doesn't reach jewelry quality. So there is no artifacts of jadeite jewelry. It's always ornamental or yeah. statues yes, or slabs right. yes, or carvings. Yes. carvings. That's it. Yes. When they found this material in Magog, they tried to buy Magog. And they this tried is why to it's so buy unique Magog. Because you, can now, because you can then fasten it. Now they you create can, you jewelry. Know, you can cut it to create jewelry. So you've jewelry. not only got Taipei Jade Eye, yeah. you've got jewelry quality Jade Eye. It doesn't get better than this. You can find ornamental grade Taipei Jade Eye, yeah. and it will command, again, thousands. You uh -huh. know, vases, yeah. incredible, beautiful, um, you know, all sorts of incredible, beautiful artifacts and, and different homewares and things like that of jade eye. Yeah. And it will command, you know, literally $100,000. I've seen a jade eye bowl sell for $100,000. Oh, and Christie's lovely. seen it. How and lovely. it doesn't have, it's not green, it's white. Is it And really? then you've got... It's white? Yes, yeah, and I tell you, if it had been jewellery quality, it wouldn't have been a bowl. It would have been a series of necklaces. And that's the difference you've got here. You've got the best boulders of jade eye that exist. And that's why they've created this incredible Baroque shape that we're dealing with here. And all this, all this information you're giving to us. What do we call it? Puff, puffy we ovals, we we're call it We're giving you this entire strand for 14 99 yeah. Puffy ovals, which, um, which means that these are not flat on yeah, either I side. Yeah, I can see it. It's, 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 it's an incredible kind of cylindrical shape. For me, again, it's that, it's that unique form of, of almost like a Baroque. It's this elongated, beautiful teardrop that we're viewing. And these jadeites lend themselves, these in particular, lend themselves to a drop pair of earrings. Yeah. And that's just taking two stones out of this parcel. And I refuse to call it a strand or whatever. That is a parcel of jadeite. And it's type A and it's you're, certified. You're so right. And, and to have it at 14 99 yep. is not reflective of any of the prices historically of this type A jadeite. It just isn't. So this, this unique opportunity that's in front of you right now, see it just as that. If you invest in one thing today, let it be some jadeite because these deals we cannot ever guarantee again. I mean, it's this not even guaranteed. It's just not it's, gonna it's happen again. It's not even again. guaranteed, you're right, that's it. It's, it's, I mean, as a gem buyer that has tried to get you jadeite for the, the best part of 10 years, I've tried to get it, okay? I've been trying to twist Bernard's arm for so long, please let us deal with some jadeite, let us deal with some jadeite. We've never been able to afford it. I cannot compete with the prices that they pay in China. Neither can Tiffany, neither can anyone. That's why you don't see it. This is an opportunity that you have right now. That's it. And collectors mm. in Derbyshire are buying two. Lincolnshire, you're buying three. Go collectors all around the world are welcome to take advantage of, of these incredible savings. And that's exactly what we're dealing with here, these incredible savings. We do have queues on the phone lines, which I can only apologise for. Please utilise that number one facility. It will just take you straight to the item that's on the screen and you'll go through the automated. They're a couple of minutes long. Now, if you've got the app open, quickest way to shop. We can't guarantee stock of anything at this point. So if you get on to, go back onto the website, have a look. Anything that we've still got, anything that bounces back, you might just quickly see, comes back in stock. Grab it fast. Ross, have, your, have your browser open. You know have that, a look at it um, all. You know the article that I sent you about Jada that, that we had? There's a, there's, um, if you can just get that up for me, I just want to single something out for, for, you, for you at home. And this is the price of jade in China. Thank you, mate. This is perfect. So this is Forbes. Uh, and it's talking about a New York Times article, okay? And okay. this is Forbes not long ago saying, New York Times had an intriguing story of the skyrocketing price of jade in China. They say, according to the article, the demand for jade among China's newly rich appears to have reached a frenzy in the past year or two. This is just prior to COVID. They say the price of the finest jade has increased tenfold over the past decade to $3,000 an ounce, making it far more valuable than gold. Wow. And then they said, I'm glad someone report is reporting on this trend. This is what Forbes is saying, which I started noticing late last year. 
and my son's baptism in December, a friend of mine came to China from the US to serve as the godfather. They say on his last day here in Beijing, we took him to our local department store to pick out a gift for his wife, like I tried to do for my yeah. daughter while I was yeah. in Magot. He's in Beijing. He said, when we looked at the jade pieces on display, we were astonished at the prices. Several modest looking bracelets were going for over 100,000 US dollars a piece. Okay, and then he stipulates, we're not in Christie's here, we're not in the world of Christie's, he says, uh, while only a few of the smaller items cost less than a thousand US dollars. And keep in mind, this was a mid-range neighborhood, retail, retail there, not there. a high-end establishment. Hmm. So we are talking about, in, this is why you don't get it in the West. And this gentleman that came over from America to, to China prior to COVID said, I'm, gonna, I'm here, so I'm going to try and get a piece of jade out for Just my like wife. Just like you did. Absolutely. The exact same. And... Um, we're talking a modest bracelet. Nothing special, no ostentatious diamonds. Modest JDR bracelet, $100,000 in a normal retail outlet. That's the reality. And we're giving away strands at 15 pounds. It makes no sense, it makes no money, but what it does do is it makes it extremely busy for us. And if it's two minute wait on the phone lines, wait. Because you're going to be waiting a lot longer to see anything like this ever again. Mm -hmm. Quickest Way to Shop is on the app. A lot of you are being, uh, of course, disappointed on the phone lines because we are selling out so fast. Apologise for again, that. Again, the the, uh, the consistency of colour is the first thing yep. that we, we notice here. It's and an again, embarrassment of riches that we have. Honestly, it an is. An embarrassment of riches. I, do you know what? You're... I can you the thing is jewelry makers you can clearly see that this is something that Dave has is 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 frustrated almost in in trying to get across to us this the opportunity that is in front of us right now mm -hmm. is beyond a once in a lifetime opportunity it is beyond you know the the result of the most bizarre event that's yeah. ever happened to us as a human race it is something that could never ever ever have been predicted and there's only one thing to do and that is react on the exact situation that is in front of us right now if you've got the funds to do that today then we are saying to you this the opportunity that's here is an opportunity that's here once and once only. And if you, you know, if you can afford to today, get as much of this well, as you if, possibly if, if can. If you can't afford to today, then you'll never be able to get Jade out. And that's just a yes, fact. Because yes. uh -huh. before this moment, I tried to get a piece of Jade out and I had to compromise. I had to compromise. Yeah. I could never have been in that Magok market and said, I'm gonna, I want that grade, I want that consistency of colour, I want that level of polish, yeah. I want this carrot weight. Yeah. So I picked up a piece that wasn't particularly as attractive because I thought, well, look, I don't want to be spending thousands, I don't have the money. So I picked up a bangle, and it was fifteen thousand dollars. Now if that if And that you was were there G in Magog expecting yeah. to to get the Base level that is price. The base, but that is the best level. It's not like yes. no one was ripping me off. I mean, we saw no. in China at the same time, something like that would be $100,000. Uh -huh. So that's 10 times increase. <laughs> yeah. I was getting an incredible deal. I was getting it at the tenth of the market price. You were, $15, you were expecting for it to be affordable, yeah. though. And then, and then it just somewhere wasn't. in between is what we're looking at here. Actually, this would be the top end. Yeah. And the pre sale estimate in the West on this is, is between 780 and 880 uh -huh. ho thousand Hong Kong dollars. Can anyone do that translation? I don't know what that is. What to In uh, GBP or USD. We'll, we'll get someone on it just now. That's but, the, remember, that's, it's going to exceed that. I know that it's almost an embarrassment of a, a price in front of you right now because you've just given us all that wonderful information. You've been there yourself. You've been part of that. You know, you, you've been there in Magok. You, you've you've experienced yeah. the price tag at its rock bottom. And I had and to yet pay here thousands here. to get to Magok. So even to, to get the best deal available, <laughs> even to get the to best. Get it. If, yeah. you, if you before this moment, if you said right, I'm, I'm determined to get a piece of jade out for my family's heirloom collection. That's what I'm going to invest in uh, where's the best place to go well it certainly isn't China okay and you can't get it in the West so let's go to Magok okay you've got a flight to Magok how much does that cost you two grand two yeah. and a half thousand pounds you got there hotels you know then you've got to pay uh, an agent to put together a dossier like this thick, which is your visa to get into Magot. For, forget my Crikey. Animal. So you have to get the okay to go well, in there in the first the, place. The, the, the reason people go to Magot is because Jada is only sold in Magot. When you get a Mandalay, yeah. which is outside of Magot, which is where the material that, that comes out of Magot and is sold to the rest of the world usually. Okay. Again, that's going to have a ten time increase so or a five times increase. So the premium jade, you've the got premium to go jade, into Magot yeah, to get. And the only people that are going into Magot is the Chinese. Because that dynamic has been the same for like a thousand years. And do you think now, I mean now, we're not going to get into Magok, it's just not going to happen, no, is it? So Magok's been open to the West, to me, yeah. 
and not even in my lifetime, but just throughout history, since the creation of Magot, yeah. it's been open three times. Well, you were lucky enough to be yeah. there it was, one That's what I'm saying. It was a times. window of opportunity that we couldn't miss. We were actually meant to go to Nepal. And how, how frustrating was it? Then to to be there with that bangle in your hand and it be out of your out of you know reach what? to you financially. Colin, our MD, will tell you this verbatim. We were just so excited to film Jadeite, to see Jadeite, to show our customers a documentary. We wanted to introduce our people to Jadeite. We never thought we'd be able to offer them Jadeite. We were just like, well, we're going to show you Jada. We're going to produce a documentary, perhaps a book, just yeah. about the secret world of Jada. Because there's, there's, there's you so can't much, get. I mean, just what the information you're giving us now, mm. which is based, you know, primarily on pricing. You know, th th there is so much more to this story. Think about, you know, the, the travel that you took, the people that you met. You know, the, the uh, way um, the world I'll tell you one trades thing. around the reason we got into the, the reason we got into the Jada is very secretive. The market, yeah. Jada market, is because of Bernard, biggest buyer of, of, of Jada in the world. Because of your Wonderful connections. Yeah. And so we go in and we're in there and we're with some delegates of Bernard's who are there. And there was this one gentleman, and I, you're going to think I'm fibbing or whatever. Go on. God's honest truth. I'm walking around with him and there's jade boulders, right? And they've got prices on them. And How the, big the, are they? Some of them are as big as me. Some of them are like this big. Yeah, all and you're sorts. just walking along and, and there. And there's jadeites here for sale, right? Yeah. And people say you're buying blind, okay, with jadeite because it comes in a boulder and it's all rock on the, on the exterior. Yeah. And inside you might have a vein of jadeite and you're buying blind. Or you can pay a price, a huge premium, to have a window cut in the side of the jadeite, but yeah. then you're obligated to buy it at a, a, a certain oh, price, and right? What, and, and, and you've you already paid tens of thousands. And it's rubbish inside. Exactly. And then so this is what happens. Yeah. This gentleman I was with, he was, he was, he was an older gentleman and Bernard has, has used him for years and years and years to help him select the best jadeites. Yeah. He's like an expert. Yeah. I mean, God knows what he charges for his service. So you can tell service. from the outside of the boulder, do you think? He has, or? He has this d the device. Let's call it device. It's really yeah. rudimentary. It's essentially almost a hammer and chisel, right? Right. And he dings the boulder. And they let you do that? Yeah, yeah, you can inspect them. You okay. just can't, uh, you know, uh, peer into them. You can't okay. carve them. It's just, it looks like a rock. And he can go around, and this is how good he is. And like Bernard said, nine times out of ten, he's absolutely on the money. And he dings them. And he can tell by the vibration, by the sound... What, not, not only if there's jade within, but what grade the jade is. Stop. And we're talking, they because trust this guy. Because it is a lottery. Guy. It's a lottery. Yeah, you're literally they, betting. You're gambling. So they trust this guy. Yeah. And we're not talking, oh, go on then, here's, here's the money for a lottery ticket. It's not like £1.50. That boulder might cost five million US dollars. Ooh. And no one knows what's inside. And this guy will say, you'll just ding it. Oh and like, my. So Bernard's paying for this gentleman's service, okay, and has them forever. He's exclusive to Bernard. He comes over from China every year. Everyone else is, is, is following him, trying to listen to what he's doing because they're all going to bid on the same boulder. Oh my and so he has to do it to every boulder and he doesn't give anything, anything away with away. his face. He doesn't give anything away. And then he'll come back and tell Bernard which ones to go and buy. It's like a whole new yeah, world. Yeah, it's incredible. It's like you're playing poker with bowl, you know, you're looking for his face yeah. and see. I mean, just, uh, th yeah, I agree with you. We want a book. We want, we want, we want the secrets well, of Forget Jade. the book. Forget the documentary. Huh. That was going to be... Can I tell you something, Jenny? The documentary that we're putting together... Yeah. It would cost more than that Jade I. <laughs> of course. 14, 20 pounds. 90, 20 pounds today. the DVD will be. If we decide to go ahead with you know, it, which is almost impossible. But what an interesting DVD. And if you're interested in gemstones, it's just a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful thing to have, isn't it? I'm definitely behind that uh, project. Uh, now, Deb's just made some gorgeous earrings out of these. Just using two of them, mixing them uh, with little moonstones wow. and putting them into rose gold. HNPO 59, 14.99. We are very low in stock for this. It should have sold out. It should have sold out. I know that you're busy listening to the, the wonderful things that Dave's got to teach us. We've got a few more strands. We, right, we are coming to the end of the jade now. We don't have loads left. Um, but the next one I'm going to give to you, uh, Deb has made this necklace I mean, with that you just saw. But it is the second largest wow. carat weight that we're going to give you now. And these drums, again, you know, the thing is, Dave, one of these on a bracelet is your feature. So you could just create what's called a wish bracelet, yeah. which is perfectly in keeping with the with the benefits of jade, isn't it? Because we know it as a, 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 yeah, as a, a cultural significance uh -huh. in China. It brings wealth. It brings prosperity. Uh -huh. So but this for me, is a gemstone. I, 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 the moment I saw it, I fell in love with it. 
when I saw Top Quality Jade, which is what you're seeing now. And I love superstitions. So it's go. my favourite as there well. There you go. I, 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 honestly, anything that I think our ancients have believed for hundreds of years, and that we've, you know, we've thrown a dedication into, and that there is a superstition yeah. behind that's to do with Mother Nature. People talk I'm about diamonds, for. right? And we talk about diamonds forever. We talk about the De Beers monopoly, which stretches back maybe yeah, just that, over a hundred years, or does, whatever it is. Yeah. This goes back over a thousand years. Exactly. That's why I prefer that's, it. If this you is the first gem. A jade or a diamond, the, the you know, diamonds, of course, I love them, but jade has far more sentiment to me, so I go with the sentiment every single time. Yeah. I think... It's I, also I am, far rarer than diamonds. It, it is, and, you know, for me, if you are slightly superstitious or if you just love tradition or if you, if you know the true price of this gemstone, of course, it's, it, 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 you wouldn't even think about it twice, would you? You're going to go for this strand. So the big cubes, they sold out. So now this is the biggest carat weight available. Again, Dave, you can see the saturation of colour throughout just, the whole I strand. Am, is I'm, I'm actually kind of, and I don't mean this in, a, in the way that it might sound, I'm furious with our team for committing these huge, monstrous carat weights to, to single auctions. We should not be having the opportunity to acquire 320 carats of these barrel-shaped Type A mm -hmm. jadeites. They're huge. We should, we should not. I never saw, I, except for boulders, which I don't know what was in. I was never offered an opportunity for incredible uh, 320 carats. We wasn't offered it. Dave, as a business, would we not have been better off keeping a really high price yes. on our jade to reflect the prices yep. globally. Yes. Uh, and, and we could have done that. We, we could have kept this. If and this was our business, said, Jenny, yeah, yours and mine, and we I had a store in the Burlington Arcade. I'd have stored it. Why not? We want to be, a business is gone, designed to make money, right? Yeah, I'd have stored it and I'd have gone, right, Dave, you and me, in two years' time, that's going to be a big that's collection. That's it, we're going to Barbados. We're sitting on that. That's our yeah. pension. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But that's how people view jade. It is your pension. It should be your pension. Yes, uh, and that's how I would have done it. So how come... That's how you guys, you know, when, you, when you're being offered an opportunity, I, I can only, I can't imagine what it's like for you guys right now on the other side of the screen. All I know is this opportunity did not exist two years ago for anybody. Exactly. It doesn't matter who you are. You know, it doesn't matter what opportunities, what relationships you have. This does not, we spend, uh, again, these are the kind of things that can get me in trouble, but I don't mind being transparent because yeah. I want you guys to understand. Bernard, we spend millions of dollars with Bernard each year. Of in course, Pearls, and that's and why you've got such a great a relationship with him. We have an excellent relationship with him. And I've so, asked him for Jade Eye for 10 years, and we've never had it. So, Dave, you and I were just talking about personally what we would do if this was our business. And, of course, we're talking yeah. personally. Why haven't we at Gemporia because then got gone, it, be honest. keep it, sit on it? I know that we're having, we've got, we've got to get things out of yeah. warehouses. No, it's not even what's that. The, it's not even that. What's the, the, the logic here for okay, us as a business? Let me just be frank. And this is me again. Yeah. You might get me in trouble. There is no logic. And that's the truth. And let me tell you, right, Steve Bennett, you guys have met him. I know. He's crazy, yeah. right? He's, cra he's a crazy guy in, in the best way. This incredible, incredible business uh, makes no sense. It, you know, it, it doesn't. It's, to it's me revolutionized. You, it's making no well, sense. It's revolutionized the jewelry industry. You and I, Jenny, should not be able to afford Taipei Jade Eye. Steve Bennett made it so we could. The jewelry industry, we have to understand, is very historic. What does this do to Steve Bennett's snobbery. relationship with people that are holding their prices? With I mean, are they looking at him saying, what are you doing Steve to cares. the industry? I don't like, think Steve cares. Because care. Steve looks at, again, Steve looks at relationships. And him and Bernard have a very good, close relationship, okay? And Bernard was losing, like we said, thousands of dollars a day on this. And Steve said, let me help you out. We'll it's take this from you and we'll offer it to our collectors. And, and he's not saying to Bernard, I'm going to make a fortune on this. I'm going to hold it at the right prices. Yeah. He's saying, I'm going to offer them at the same deal. He could have done that. Yeah, he he could have. Do you know what, Dave? 39.99, you can see it's the alarming. stock's already going. No, it's alarming. But they've put a clock on the screen, which I know you don't love. And yeah. I know that you're trying not I, to I, look I, at that I, clock. I, listen, now is the time to check out your baskets immediately because you know when the clock comes on, the price is going lower. It doesn't matter what point you check out, whether you checked out when Dave and I were talking to you about, gosh, if this was us, uh, I wouldn't do this. Can, can, just, put, can, we, can we do business, one thing? We wouldn't do this. Um, you're I don't doing know who controls that clock. Please, may you pause it? Is that Okay, just give me an extra 10 seconds. I know it's you're going to crush it. We know it's going to crash. Paused. Let me just tell you something, right? I've been on your screen for an hour and five minutes. And in that time, my only job has been to explain why our prices are this low. Because it's alarming. I said at the very start, you're going to look at me and go, 
Well, why are the prices this good? Do you remember when I said that? Yeah. And I've spent over well, an hour. I'm asking I've spent you over, the same exactly. question over and over. I'm like, why? And I've spent why? over an hour why? trying to explain why prices are so low. Yeah. Name me another business on earth where that happens. Okay. Every other business is the opposite. They have to spend time justifying why their prices are so high. Correct. It's because of this expertise, it's because of the research, it's because yeah. of the parts. Of course. You don't walk into Mercedes or BMW and they go, look, I know you're probably thinking this deal's too good. I know you're thinking you should be paying a lot more. You know, the, the you're reason so is- You're so right, you know, you this is a brilliant, in, When yeah. a new iPhone no, comes right. out, no one's going, well, why is it that low? I might buy two yeah. or three of them. Yeah. Their, their whole marketing, everything, their whole strategy is about how, you know, it's this expensive because they've got this new technology in the camera. You're correct. They've got a bigger memory. Absolutely. They've got a faster charging port. Yes. We're here, and we've been here for an hour, and we've been here for over a decade, telling you why our prices are so good. We've got to start the clock, Dave, because it, these it. are going to sell out. You saw the start quantity. We're down to the last 30, uh, 39 of these. At 39.99, you're secure and you're checking out, but everybody pays the same low price, no matter what point there it is. you it's, check I mean, out an your egg baskets. Timer. It's an egg a timer. Ding. You and might that. want to look away now, Dave, because your heart's going to break I a know. little tiny I piece. I know, I know. At under £20 today for, uh, at the moment, the largest available carrot weight we had. Larger in the cubes they've sold out. Right now, this is the largest carrot weight available for Type Jeez. A Burmese Jade in the entire jewellery maker stock. Jenny, and we're taking store, it to just such a low price. If we had a store in Burlington Arcade, yeah. you and I, right, and we were offering people the chance of a lifetime. To, you know, no other store can compete with us. We've got Jade Eye. No one else has got it certified. Yeah. Um, would you have an egg timer in there? Absolutely not. Okay. I'd also have someone at the door and yeah. you have to ring a bell to get in. That's okay. the only bell I'm having. Okay, okay. And we, we wouldn't be here with, with all of these gimmicks and doing these nuts Bells and prices. whistles. Yeah, we you don't need and them. that's why we are this busy. That's why there's a queue on the phone lines. You know, our store in Burlington Arcade, this is how the businesses are different in the jewellery industry. Let me yeah. explain it. There is a you snobbery go to, go to attached to high-end gemstones. You go to London a lot. Remember you yeah. told me last time you, you, yeah. you, know, you don't live, live too far. Yeah, yeah, there you go. So you go on Burlington Arcade, Bond Street, you get to window shops, see these things. Have you ever seen a queue of like 200 people outside Tiffany or Cartier? No. Queuing up to get in? No. No, okay. That's what I've, I've got I've on the phone lines right now. I've seen a queue once when I was in Chicago outside a Tiffany because they had an event on. Okay. That's the only time I've ever seen We've a queue. We've got hundreds of people trying We've to get on the lines on the right phones, now, okay? Yeah. That's, how, that's how our business works. Yeah. People like, I'm not going to say right. any names, but these high-end jewellery houses, they rely on what we call whales, okay? And that's... Yeah, you know, very, very small uh, clientele yeah. but with huge spend. Okay, we yeah. don't. We, we have a huge array of people watching globally yeah. and we don't ask you for a huge spend. In fact, I was speaking to one of the people that are quite happy in Harry Winston the last time I was in Las Vegas at the JCK event. Yeah. And he told me, uh, no, sorry, it was Lawrence Graff. It was Graff. And he told me that the Graff wanted to go public. The company wanted to go public. They wanted to float the IPO, do all of that. Yeah. And they said everyone got cold feet. 24 hours before, because once they started revealing all their paperwork and their things that had been private before, yeah. they realized that they don't have this huge portfolio of, of clientele. They have very few, but with right, huge okay. spend. Yeah. And we're here right now offering you this opportunity for 20 pounds. And we're globally, you know, it's successful business. You can reach us online. We have customers from all over the world. We ship to all over the world. You can't say that, you know, about a, an, ind an independent jewellers in the Burlington Arcade. The, the independent sure, jewellers, the industry yeah. is, is very old, very archaic, very different. Diamonds are still yeah. sold with a handshake. And Everything there is a snobbery attached to gemstones you know of that, and of I, this caliber. I say this all the time. The jewellery industry is so old that they are dinosaurs. And we are the asteroid. Yeah. That's changing the whole industry and offering you these incredible deals. Now, I have got for you a cabochon. Yeah. A beautiful, solitaire yeah. cabochon of jadeite. And this does come with its certificate of authenticity. Type A Burmese jade. N for natural. Gives you the carrot, gives you everything you Can you, you throw need. that over to me a minute? I can get you, yeah, absolutely. I'll, take, I'll bring you two on the tray. You're as probably though asking we were yourselves, well, well, why, why is this on its own? Why is this like a tenth of some of the carrot weights I've seen? Let me show you why. This is how they should be sold on their own. But, yeah. There we go. You're going to see why right now. 
Uh, but it's great to have that certificate of authenticity. Remember, you've got it here. That, crucial. When, when we've been talking about get your certificate, that certificate that you see there that comes with, that's the certificate we're on about. Now, of course, everything that you buy that's a genuine gemstone here at Je uh, in the Gemporia Group, or it, certainly here at Je uh, Jewelry Maker, you go back into your past order and you can print it off. I wouldn't just stop see with that? the print. Right. Yeah? Look, at, wow. if I can just show you. I don't know if it'll... You can see it, you can see. Straight through. You see through. the clarity? Yeah, I'll the move it away a bit. All... But look at that colour, you've got that wonderful green Sorry, there. guys, I'm not very good at showing this, but... If you put... Maybe if you put it down on the... And then put it on top. Oh, okay. That sometimes like works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then put it on top of the entire... That's it. There you go, look at that. Right. This is what we're dealing look. with. Look! This is gem quality. Wow! Jadeite. And, and I'll tell you right now, this is... Certainly for me, anyway the most valuable jade I've ever held in a pair of tweezers. And I was so, when we bought the shipping container, this is what I was more excited about than anything else. Yes, it's amazing to bring you 600 carats. Yes, it's amazing to bring you the, the opaque donuts. And that is incredible. It's Taipei, it's green. It should be thousands of dollars. Yeah. But this is what I like to call the million dollar jade eye. Wow. And, and you can see, okay, so we see the difference here. We see the difference between the beads. Right. And we've been giving you rock bottom if prices you're a jeweler, for beads. If you're a jeweler, which I know a lot of you are, you create your own yeah. jewelry, surround this with genuinely d colored diamonds or fancy colored diamonds but you know vsi grade yeah platinum that's Showcase how this should be set it. honestly Showcase that's how it should it. be set frame it do not do and uh, that that statement goes even with ross's price we're just giving you a saving this is not in any way indicative of the market value of that stone. Yet, yeah, please do not associate Taipei Burmese jade I ever again with the price that's nineteen ninety nine. See this for the opportunity that it is. It's certainly a, a once in a lifetime opportunity. The only opportunity that you're going to get uh, to see this association nineteen ninety nine. That's an engagement Type A Burmese jade I. And, and and yes, it is. And remember, in fact, this I'm is going to hand this over and you globally. Can Perhaps, maybe even, I don't know if you can, put it on the back of your hand. Of course you I see can. how it would look with a, with a stunning kind of Harry Winston inspired halo of diamonds around it. I just 18K. want to visualize that, absolutely. Uh, didn't Cartier do a jade ring with a halo of diamonds around mm -hmm. it? I'm yeah. sure they did. I don't know the price because it was price and application. It was POA, yeah. Yeah. Whereas look Ross has gone 20 quid. I mean, even just saying that, you know, 20 yeah, know. quid, it just seems such a, uh, it, it doesn't seem right. I've got a collector right. who's bought two of seem... these. Congratulations. Please reach out to me on social media or whatever it may be. Show me what you end up doing with these. Because I'll tell you what, if you are aiming to create a pair of earrings, how phenomenal they'd be on I, a drop because the be light would ring. be able to pass through them. It's got to be a ring right, surrounded yeah. by diamonds. You put, the, you put the image in my head now. Yeah. If you can do it, then, and you can do it at that price, and then, again, get this valued. Get this insured. But I, I, I actually had... Um, a huge conversation at board level with the mm -hmm. team here when we were, you know, essentially divvying up this shipment container. I said to our team, I want those cabochons. And I was going to ask uh, Rio Tinto, who we work with with the Argyle deposit, for some pink diamonds to accent them. And they would have been Lariques, and you've just, which is our highest 18 karat gold collection at Gemporia. You just got it for 20 pounds. Now, Dave, we're going to move on to the black jade, which is in front of you just now. Thank I'm just you. going to wait to get handed uh, handed the black jade. This is the only black jade that we For have. Good Thank reason. you so much. Okay, so talk to me okay. about black jade it's not according black jade. to your experience. But that's not black jade. Okay, okay tell okay, me so everything. I'm going to be, uh, um, again, very honest with you guys, that's the furthest from black jade it could be. What it essentially is, is oversaturated imperial jade it's known as omphacite jade in the market it's probably the rarest jade on earth it takes three times longer to form uh, than imperial jade now search is almost certainly three times rarer than imperial jade don't tell me that's an auction of four oh yeah i was tell gonna say that's... why have you given no, us four in a set and not individualize them we're not doing that there is no way we're doing that a set of four? Yeah. So, so you is, wanted to individualize is, these, did you? Yeah, this material, if you hit that with a light, you'll see this transparency coming through, which is essentially um, so will jade I hand one? Shall I green. hand one to you and then you put the yeah, light on it? Is that okay? I'm just going to pop one. The largest one. The largest one. Please, it would be easier for me to do on my... Uh, thank you. Okay. Right. Okay, look, so look, you can see that Dave genuinely is not happy about these being put into a four pack. We could have, we, I mean, we're already giving you rock bottom prices. We should have given you these individually. 
Yeah. It's not been done. Today, you are getting four. Dave's got the largest there one, you go. actually. That's, that's literally green. I don't know if this will come along. Have you pressing. got your tweezers okay? Do you want a gem grabber? Can you see it? It's just under, sorry. I don't know if you can. Stop! That's amazing! <gasps> okay. Have you seen the Cartier piece that was the um, highest auctioned piece? Uh, this that is was that the, material. The necklace? It looks that green. It looks that green, that the, the, Cartier it's not necklace in here. green. It's not in here because I didn't even know we had black jade eye today. But I tell you right now, this is the rarest That's and the most valuable jade eye on earth. If you type in omphacite jade, it's O M P H A C I T yeah. jade. Come up with, with essentially the most valuable jade eye in the world. And I can't believe we have it because there's a documentary right now you guys can watch on YouTube where the last, the last omphacite jade eye was pulled from the jade eye market and it was in like 2012. They can't find this anymore. They can't find I can't it. believe this. I it's think so you stop this auction here because that's too low. I'm mm. as crazy right now at this price as I am on the deal. The deals you've done at 15 pounds on the green jade. That is ridiculous. I'm telling you now. I will take all of these. I'll actually figure out a way to pay for these with Jim. We'll Borea get to our Burlington Arcade shop that we want you know to do. It. You know, but li literally, guys, this is. I've just proved it live on TV. What we're dealing with is not black jade. It is. Omphacite jade, the rarest Can we just see that colour again? Because I think this is really important. You see it here on my hand and it's as black it's not, as the night. Yeah, which and is, then look at this. But this is what they're looking for. When they're buying jade boulders, I've seen like <gasps> a few kilos so of this green. sell for like 200,000 mm. euros. Really? Yeah, I've seen it. It's on the YouTube documentary. You guys can watch it. Good. I do so a lot of studying. So go and look at that YouTube documentary. I didn't see any of this material when I was in Magot and we went to the jade market. It doesn't exist there anymore. And it's essentially material that's imperial this? green that mm. has been in the yeah. ground for three times longer, like thousands, millions of years. And that's why it's so dark? And it goes inky, inky, inky with the saturation and it becomes what would appear as black in the daylight. In, yeah, in the daylight. When you actually have it with a the, with the strong light source, you're dealing with the most valuable jade on Earth. You're not going to be okay about this. I think you uh, might no, have a little we're bit. Not. We're no. not moving. We're not moving. Is this the specifications on this? How many? We have four stones. Yeah, yeah. Okay. four loose gemstones, yeah. 12 carats in total. Yeah, the smallest is 1.5 carats. Which is this one here. Yeah. Perfect polish on them. The largest is four and a half carats. Which is the one you have over yeah. there. So I've got a four and a half carat black. Okay, whatever you do, Ross, I know, I know Ross is going to do it. He's determined to give you guys great deals. Whatever you do, I'll tell you right now, Take one off the quantity, uh, and me and Jenny will take it, and we'll split it between ourselves. Unfortunately, we can't do that because the details are already on the screen. Well, <gasps> let me get the app then. I think you should just quickly buy us one, Dave. Yeah, I'll I, go halves these with you. Well, uh, yeah. No, in fact, Dave, we can buy one each at this price. You probably want to just close your ears a minute. Twenty-nine ninety-nine buys you not one, not two, but four of these incredible gemstones. If you want to individualize them and sell them individually, we don't have angel policies attached to loose gemstones. We just don't. You can do what you like. I've got a collector in, in Hampshire. I want to say a massive congratulations to you because you bought five of these. Savvy. And I'm telling you right now, if genuinely, if, if, if I wasn't as professional as I'm trying to be, I would disappear right now and go and buy There'd one. be bleep words. There right. would be bleep yeah. words if Dave could make them right now, but we can't. We're professional. Yeah. Let's have another look at that green before these sell oh. out, Dave. YOP 019, you get three here, but you get another one. You got a, So I've got the three here. You get four in total. And this is why, this is the reason today is a good day to buy jade. Black jade, but but you're not you're saying it's not. Jade. It's not black jade. jade. It's not dyed jade. This is the real deal, 100% natural. Get your certification. Look at that green. And obviously, the camera is not doing it justice. In fact, can I do something? Um, if you just come back, to the, like, yeah. I want to show you, because you're only seeing it through the camera. Look at it. Look at how green it really is. And it's we can't really pick that, that up. Unreal. Yeah, we can't really pick that up on camera. You know, we're compromised it is like by the cartier, cameras. But it's that Cartier green, that piece, that Sotheby's piece that I'm obsessed with. It went for, I think, 27 million pounds. It's, it's phenomenal. We're going to drop the lights a little bit, Dave, oh, yeah, so that we you. can really see that glow. Look. Cheers, guys. Come on. What a, an amazing opportunity that's right in front of you now. Invest your time with us here today in these couple of hours and learn about this jade and why it's so special. Well, Make sure you're checking out your baskets. This is the only opportunity. opportunity as well. Don't be waiting. Don't be thinking, well, I'll get the next black jade out. 
Not going to happen. Unreal. Unreal. Now, Dave, those, how many of those Cheers, have Paul. we got left? Do we have any of those left? Stock, what's going on with the stock of that? If they're very, very over allocated. I'm going to give you that so that you can just pop that well, in there. No now, one's getting these back, I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> I'm serious as well, Same and I'm being me, honest Dave. about it. Now, Taking those home with me. I'm not, again, I don't think Dave's really going to be okay with this because you just saw how we were like, why have you not individualized these? They shouldn't be. Unfortunately, Dave, what we've done here is we've put a bundle together. I can together. hear it. I can hear Jade being rustled around like it's I, some plastic beads. I almost beads. feel, I, I do feel bad, like, we couldn't, I don't know why we're doing this, okay? okay? that's an eternity of Jade out. It, it really is. It is. Now I'm you've actually got, in love with that as is. Is it lovely? It's Look at the drops here. So we've got some jewellery that's been made up out of these uh, uh, the big fat drops here. Gorgeous earrings. You've seen these. I've got a pendant just next to me here as well. Now, whoops, a daisy. In fact, let's have a look. So you've got the pendant there. What I'll do is I'll just move that out of the way. So you've got the pendant. And, I mean, that's just three pieces right. of jade. Look, look, it's just all about presentation. If that is in a glass box in a store window uh -huh. in yeah. the capital, yeah. then it is POA, I'm afraid. Absolutely. We see like that. Like for life. Like for life. We see POA, we see that price on application next to so many big, you know, high-end jewellers uh, pieces. And, and these are, this, is, this is your opportunity to create those pieces of jewellery that you Please can do. demand a higher price tag for. You can. What Get is going your on? certificates. It's so important you buy as many of those certificates as you possibly can so that when you what sell your jewellery on, you can what give your customers offering? that backup. What are, which one are we offering right now? No, this is what I'm saying to you. It's not a choice. You get all three. Right. On my screen, is this right? Is yes, this it's right? A Let me show you. Is this right? Yeah. No. Ovals, pairs, look at it. drops. No, look. 140 carats of green, yeah, in pairs. 220. Yeah, that's right. Right. Are you angry? A little yeah, bit. I, am I feel. I can feel the vibe off you. Yeah. Because a word like bundle, bundle. And jade. Yeah. Is you're not okay. Absolutely not. Are you? Are you okay with it? Um, do you know... Uh, you might be more used I, to it, I, but this is like walking you. into like a fantasy land, honestly, not in a good way. Yeah, I, I sometimes think that, you know, when you do go and you see, you know, the auction houses and you see the documentaries and yeah. you see all this and then suddenly, and you get into such this wonderful, you know, there, there's such a huge romance behind the search for this gemstone. Do you know what I find really behind hard? The history. Is I'm really, we're all really fortunate to work under the Gemporia umbrella, mm. okay? Whether that be jewelry maker, Gemporia, and any other facet of the, of the business that we find ourselves in. It's incredible. And as uh, customers, you know, you are part of that family, and we exist in this Gemporia or jewelry maker bubble. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And it's, you have to understand it's not reality. This, I 100% and, and agree with you. You know, outside of COVID, you know, a few times a year I get to get out of this bubble, okay? So I go to Tucson. I go to the auction houses, mm. I go to Las Vegas, I go to Magot, I go uh, to, to these different locations, and I get to see the real world. And I, I tell know, you right I now, if you're at Christie's, you. and uh, they don't go, okay guys, we've got lot three, lot seven, and lot 31, we're going to bundle it? We're yes. going to bundle it right now, that doesn't happen, does it? <laughs> we're going to bundle it and save you money guys, and not it's make getting, it's getting late in the money. day. It's getting yeah. late in the day, lot four, lot 32, yeah, lot 71. We're going to bundle it, okay? And we're going to do this. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. But this, that's the same it gemstone. It, it, no, that's, you know, that you gemstone Dave, you will find at Christie's yeah. in a lot on its own. And here we are going, on, on my little specification thing here on this little iPad, it, I was looking at it and it said, okay, 140 carats of green Burmese jade pears, uh, 12 mil. 210 carats of gre uh, green Burmese jade oval, 14 mil. And then 220 carats of Burmede, Burmese jade top drilled teardrops, 12 mil. Together. But these really, I mean, these are plump drops rather than teardrops. Look, at, look how big they are. Oh, these, I, love I, them. Would, I mean, Dave is absolutely right in what he's saying. And we can justify the price on your screen at 80 pounds over and over and that's over not our price. and over and we are not staying there 80 pounds with a penny change is the most exceptional deal for three strands based on all of the information that dave's given us based on the history like of torture. these gemstones honestly it's like torture 
Because I can't justify that pricing screen. I actually cannot okay, just, I, got, I can't right, justify why it's that Can we just go to gallery low. cam a minute? You can just see our big boss Colin is, is now in and he's not happy about this. So we're going to just, what do you, what do you want to go do a break? Can we pull it? Because that, honestly, you know, uh, you know who makes it? my job here. I come over here and we say, "Look, Dave, what, what, how rare is Jade? You've been to Magol, what, you know, this and that." And you know who makes my job the hardest? Okay. Well, this has never happened to me here before ever at Jewelry Maker. We are going to have to go to a quick sting because uh, we we have perhaps made a bit of a mistake. We shouldn't really have what put is this in the a bundle. Uh, we've got Colin in, so we're going to give you some information on how to shop here at Jewelry Maker. Um, take a look at this. Take a look at this. Okay, okay, so I'm, so I'd like to apologise to you at home. Right, okay, our big bosses, together with Dave, are not happy about us bundling this. It's not something that we should have done, and it is not our intention to disrespect anybody in the jade, in the jade trade. It's, that's not our intention here. Can, can we we do interject? feel like we, we may have done that, and that is not our intention. Look. We are going to have to honour this because yeah. we've put the details on and, you know, the laws of shopping TV uh, and of retail. We have to honour this bundle. I've got to let you know at home, this is not something that our uh, our superiors are happy about and this is not something that we are going to repeat. We, we apologise if, if, if we've offended anybody in the jade uh, industry and, and Dave, this isn't something that uh, you are happy about. Uh, well, look, but we have I'm, to not, I'm not angry, I'm not against it, it, it per se. Like I said, we exist in this wonderful bubble. I understand where Colin's coming from because this is absolutely something yeah. that shouldn't okay. have gone ahead. We shouldn't be doing this, but we have to now. We have to well, honour Look, I'm, I'm happy for this to go ahead, but I want you to know right now, you're never, ever, ever, in my opinion anyway, get a deal this good on your screens again. You're never getting okay. so. So if you want it, we're also then nervous be fast. Now. We are nervous. We're on eggshells, but we're like going to do just, it. I feel like I'm just about to get on like the worst roller coaster of my life. I don't feel. Good. I've been riding it for an hour and a half. Oh God. I'm not okay with, okay, look, we, we've got into some genuine trouble here and um, we can't repeat deals like this and, and again, it's... And this although, is a, by the way, there was a, the, the conversation we were just having there is essentially whether we put all of the quantity into this auction because we said, okay, we put it legally, we have well, to do we it. Take well, we couldn't take it out, we, it was we, Do we take some out, <laughs> do we take some out? We've had a conversation with Colin, we said, look, we're going to do it, but whatever doesn't sell right now won't be on your screens again. Okay, this is it. I don't, think Ross, be, I don't think Ross will be in the gallery. <laughs> caraway I've ever seen for the deal you're about to do. Okay, let's go shopping for Jade for the only time you're, you're going to see. You're not shopping today, you're saving. Let's, uh, for type A Jade, the only time you will ever see anything like this here at Jewelry Maker for 49 oh 99 today. Oh, my God. Um, it, it, again, you, you're just going to have to take the opportunity and run with it. It's here in front of you now. Basket run. Let's never talk about this ever again. Yeah. Let's do it now. I'm not going to be able to repeat deals like this. We are well, not going to Collector in Hampshire's got four. Collector in Merseyside's got two. Yorkshire's got two. West Midland. Loads of you multiplying. Somerset. Absolutely do it. Uh, we've got uh, Leicestershire. We've got Devon. Mm -hmm. uh, Herefordshire. Cambridgeshire. Buckinghamshire. We've got so many of you on the front lines. I'm actually struggling to keep up. It's gone off my screen. County Antrim. Congratulations. Lots of you multi-buying. What an incredible deal. Again, you're saving more than you're spending. Of course. Okay, now if we could just go to gallery cam while I speak. Um, as you can see, Colin is there right now and he's just said uh, no more. We, right, so Colin, you're saying there is a ban now on bundles of jade? Yeah. Okay, right, so I've we will gone. not I'm... be bundling jade. You just heard from our boss, Colin, who said no bundles of jade any, ever again. Uh, look, I we can we appreciate that. More, That's fine. I mean, we, I'm, I made a mistake because I. I accidentally took my eye off the ball and, and allowed the black jadeite to be bundled. And this has happened. Yes, and I and that's, it I'm going to be honest with you, off the back of that, and then this happened, yeah. it's not something that, that no. Colin's okay and about. I've only seen Colin um, that animated a couple of times. And, you know, look, all I'm saying is... He's telling the, you to be the quiet. The sooner this him. goes, the better. 
Okay, um, right. I, I feel like there's going to be some big meeting after the show, and I'm, I'm, not, I'm not okay with that. No. VBXC01 49.99. Okay, we can now make the statement that our boss has just told us that there will never be any more bundles of jade. The email's going to be going out uh, on a circular. Do you we know will what? Not it's be able to it's very easy. There's jade. no way around that anyway. There's no like loophole that anyone can find because there's no more jade. There's no more type A jade here. You know? At Jewelry Maker, it's not going to happen. This is the last bundle you've ever seen. Greater London, Hertfordshire, Devon, West Midlands, Northamptonshire, Leicestershire, Greater London, Shropshire, Essex, uh, Gloucestershire again, mm -hmm. Lancashire, Hampshire's now got five, Tynham Weir, uh, Surrey, Norfolk, West Midlands, Buckinghamshire, Lanarkshire, Staffordshire, Surrey, Greater Manchester. Congratulations, multi buyers across the, across the country. Congratulations. 570 carats across the three separate strands. Eight pence per carat. Don't do type that, Jenny. Are you a, trying to annoy Colin? Type a. Get your certificate of authenticity. I love my jewellery makers. This has got to be your opportunity. Again, the, the whole two hours has been an opportunity of a lifetime. This is something, uh, this is the biggest, the best saving that you're ever going to have. And if you bought that black jade, which we are That's not supposed to be calling deal. black jade, um, th then and you jade. got this today, I think you were shopping so smart. VBX C01 49.99. Is jewellery making your business is this something you do to profit if it from? isn't it is now exactly you know if it if it is and you're then you're already steps and steps ahead of any other retailers out there that are going to be selling their uh, artisan jewelry if you're selling artisan jewelry and you're selling it at the pop-up shop if you're selling it at the farmers markets if you're selling it you know at the corn hall exchange and things like that which i know a lot of you do you go to the uh, to to those wonderful stately homes when they have the spring summer sales and you sell your gorgeous jewelry your bespoke jewelry how many other Jewelry maker. That's how it should be sold. Have type A jade. That's how it should be sold. Bespoke, you know, limited, one of a kind. You know, can I just, um, Paul? Again, can we just show quickly that image of me with the bangle? Um, one with this, right? It's imagine if I said to Roshan. Color. Imagine if I said to Roshan, who's the gentleman who's translating for me and is one of the biggest spinel dealers mm -hmm. in the world and ruby dealers. Imagine if I said to him, offer eight pence a carat. You'd, you'd be um, asked to leave. I'd be arrested. Would, I would well, they, never. To be I mean, honest with you, a they would find that so incredibly disrespectful. I would disrespectful. never do it, of course. It, it would be really disrespectful. But that's and the are reality we, of what's... In reflection to that, being disrespectful to this gemstone, there is a, there is a huge... There is a huge risk of that, Dave, and that is yeah. not anything that we would ever Look, want to... Look, to be honest, to... yes, we're at risk of doing that. Yes, we're at ris you know, risk of doing that. But we've always made a point of saying, if we get a saving, you get the same saving. We mm -hmm. pass it on to you. And for therefore, we have to hold true to our, our, our morals, our of moral course. compass, and do that. But So we're doing it. We're passing on the saving. But Colin's frustration is the fact that we're, we're now devaluing the stone, not just because it's eight pence per carat, but because of the sheer carat weight and the amount of jade. He, he's okay with us passing on the saving, but what he's saying is, don't bundle it. And that's the politest way of... Of, of me translating what Colin yeah. has communicated to us. I mean, yes, without the bleep words. VBX C01, uh, this is going to sell out today. This will be the last time you ever see this bundle at 49.99. I must urge you to, at this point, check out baskets. Please remember, do you know what the joke of it is? We're, we, we only charge one P and P all day long here at Jury Maker. I don't it's know if you do that at Gemporia. It is a joke. It's, it, it, the, 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 and you know what, like you said, oh, don't forget to shipped. check out your, your, your basket. This isn't ASOS. You're not going to get an email tomorrow going, did you forget something, your basket is still yeah, waiting gone. for you. This is gone. You know, we're having multi-buyers upon multi-buyers. Again, it's another one of those auctions where there's more multi-buyers than there is uh, people that, that are buying singularly. And it's because of the opportunity. Absolutely. You must check out baskets today. And even I'm going to tell you to utilize your 1PMP, uh, tick that box, and uh, just make sure that if you do anything today, if you can afford to buy this bundle today, make sure you're checking it out. Go again, again and research all of the type yeah. A Birmingham. Go and do your research. Look at that documentary on YouTube that Dave was talking to you about. Go and have a look. You're going to get so excited for that parcel to arrive. Use this time to research the gemstone. Think about the designs you're going to 
going to put this into get your certificates of authenticity think about how you're going to put the package together for your customers a lovely little pendant with the certificate of authenticity perhaps yeah 100 100 pounds of easy use precious metal please respect the gemstones and use precious metal set it into solid silver solid gold uh, make sure you're using uh, because people won't they'll question your integrity if you don't do that you've got two minutes and then we are taking this away we are closing this this deal is the hardest bit more. okay so the, the exciting fun bit is for you guys to like you said do your research watch the documentary decide on your designs the way you're going to market this the, the, the one thing you're not going to want to miss out on is the opportunity right now. This is the hardest bit. Absolutely. This, this won't come around again. Absolutely. That YouTube on documentary isn't going to be taken down. You know, the, the designs that you're working on, your collectors, they're always going to be there. People have wanted Jade for over a thousand years and they're going to want it in a thousand years more. You're right. All you're I'm so saying right. is, this is the moment. This is the, the window of opportunity. And, and literally, in 90 seconds' time, the window closes. It slams shut. There is that little egg timer, which is mad. I mean, when One you're minute. offering your bespoke, couture, high-end, high jewellery, jade outline mm -hmm. that you're offering to your collectors, you don't have to have the egg timer. You don't have to have the, the crazy gimmicks like the little mm -hmm. squirrel you've got on the back of the um, shelf there. <laughs> That is not something that goes with type A jade is it? You know, that's no, not the, it, it you don't really walk isn't. into Christie's really and you isn't. sit, you ring a bell to get in, you're literally vetted before yeah. you go in. Yeah. You sit down the security and there's a squirrel that's got like a tail, like remember those little wish trolls? It's one, it's one of our needle felting projects. I mean, there's no Dave. doubt he, he's, he's got a, a, an inquisitive little look about him. He's got that cheeky grin. But we're dealing with the world's rarest and most valuable gemstone. And this is not how I would choose to offer this. No, so no, you guys get I, it right. We've got that. it wrong. I respect that. You guys get it right. You've got five seconds and this Jade Showcase is over. There will be no more left. Uh, of course, we're going to keep what's still available in stock of anything that I've given you is now on the website, www.jewelrymaker.com. Well Thank you so much to my darling jewelry makers. Now, listen, we've got Ruby's Oil site coming up after a very short break. So now take your time to quickly check Check your baskets out and, and go back and see if any stock has bounced back because sometimes that happens. A lot of our jewellery makers today have been putting eights and nines in a basket. If they've changed their minds, some stock may have bounced back. If that's happened, it'll be on the website for you. Go and have a look. There might be ones or twos uh, of any strand uh, left available. So go and have a look. Check it out. Take this time and then we're going to learn more about Ruby's eyesight. You may be wondering how to buy here at Jewelry Maker. So here is a quick overview of what to do. When you see a product that comes on screen, the graphics will appear, you'll see an item code and a starting price. As time goes on, we will drop the price on screen and as viewers call in or order online, the quantity decreases too. No matter what point you order, everybody pays the final low price. And there's just one P&P on all items that you order in a day. We offer you a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk, whether you're buying for the first time or any time. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Guess where I am? In our brand new all singing, all dancing warehouse. We are so excited and this is going to make such a difference to what we can bring you here at Jewelry Maker. Mediums, products, treats, storage, because guess what? We've now got more storage. This is epic. Come and have a look here because come, come on, come on, come on. I'm like, challenge Annika, come on. So look at that. Just 
just all those drawers, all these points, all these locations that we can pick your brand new items from. Now, what does that mean for this weekend? Well, come in, I'll tell you. Come on, gotta get me clipboard. Come on, come on. <laughs> right, so bear with me. Friday morning, we're starting with Carol. Milliput DVD launch with Gemma Crow. Oh, now in the afternoon, there's gonna be a brand new, I'm so excited. It's a new offer for you, and it's going to be magnificent. It's gonna be called Xena's Steel of the Week. I haven't decided what I'm gonna steal yet, but <laughs> I'm in the right place, aren't I? So that's gonna be Friday at 2 p.m. Now, Saturday morning, I'm gonna be joined by the fantastic Claire McDonald, and she's gonna be doing stacker rings with tube setting. Now, deal of the day, totally awesome tourmaline-tastic it is. That's gonna be epic. In the afternoon, I'm so excited, we are launching Susie Menham's first ever DVD. Everybody has been asking for a Marla DVD and we've got it. So Sunday at 1 p.m., uh, I'm going to be joined by Hannah Osborne. Checkmates, triangles and tiles with a booklet. Yes, now then, right, is that enough to start? Because we've then got the rest of this absolutely huge warehouse that we've now moved into and it opens this weekend. Once everything's stocked, every one of these boxes will be stocked with treats for you. So, you know that steel deal? Bear with me, I'm just going to go and get it. Have you ever just missed out on the auction for a piece that you really loved? Well, it's not too late. Just ask our helpful call centre team to add the item to your wish list. Then, if it comes back into stock, we'll call you and give you a chance to purchase it at the same closing price of the auction. It couldn't be easier, so start adding to your wish list the next time you just miss out. Welcome back, Jewelry Makers. We continue our journey with Dave Trough. And this uh, journey that we're going to take right now is all about Ruby Zoisite. So if you are familiar with this gemstone, but you don't know its backstory, Dave is here to fill in the gaps for us. Why is this such a special gemstone? Why is it so sought after? What place does it have in my jewellery? And Dave, you're going to answer all those questions yeah, for I us. Am. What is the hype about Ruby Zoisite? What What is this gemstone? You know, what are the compositions okay. of it? What makes yeah. it sought after? Okay, for starters, there's an opportunity that I've got coming up for you right now. That I've, just before we came to screen, you might have noticed Jenny was filling a bit of time there. Yeah, you were. You were I don't you want to say you were waffling on Jenny, but you were. You were. You were trying to. Just prep be careful them. There, Dave, no, 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 absolutely not. But <laughs> Jenny was filling a bit of time, and the reason is I was talking to producer Ross. He came into the studio. I don't have an earpiece, and I told him that the first time that I'm going to bring you, I'm buying, and I'm buying it for my daughter who is behind me. And, um, you know, my daughter's started to take an interest in gemstones and um, minerals because that's what daddy does. And obviously, anything that your kids um, get passionate about, you want to foster that enthusiasm. You want to push them, drive them. And obviously, what I do to her is probably quite boring. I'm sure there's loads of other people that do really interesting things to kids, you know. And so I'm trying to make it uh, encourage her into this. And we've now been going through, especially during lockdown when we were homeschooling, uh, we've been talking about gemstones, we've been bringing gemstones home, and this is the, her favourite gemstone, okay? It is ruby zoocyte, that is a piece of ruby zoocyte that she is holding. How okay? funny that, that that's so, it's ruby zoocyte that's... Yeah. that's uh, but the reason is... What's her name, your daughter, by the way? Mila. Mila. Yeah, so, so this... So Mila's favourite gemstone is the gemstone we have right here. What makes this gemstone well, so special to uh, her? I'm going to tell you why right now. When, when Mila was asking me about gemstones, she asked me about diamonds, she yeah. asked me about sapphires, and she asked she me about... Because she knew them. Yeah, yeah. she asked me about ruby, and she, she, when I went to Magok, when I went to Burma, I'd video call her, yeah. and I talked to her about Burma, and I was, show, I was literally showing my daughter a million dollar rubies. Wow. You know, and it was just interesting and exciting. And then when I explained to her, there, was, there is a ruby that's even rarer than the pigeon blood Burmese ruby, and that is a ruby that forms essentially in green tanzanite. Okay, and she knows about Tanzanite, I've told yeah. her about that. So we're talking about zoocyte yeah. forming around a ruby crystal. Now, okay, this... so we know Tanzanite is from the zoocyte family. Yeah, uh, and, and this is essentially green, it's green zoocyte. Right. Zoocyte, right, it's ruby zoocyte. So yeah. that is what we're talking about. Green Tanzanite with ruby crystals growing within it. And this was discovered in Longido in Tanzania, yeah. which is the most famous source for this material. It's now completely mined out. It's owned by the Maasai tribes people now, this mine. Okay. It was gifted back to them. 
Um, we did an incredible event for the 50th anniversary of Tanzanite at Gemporia. Okay. And we invited over Manuel de Souza's son, Cosma de Souza, who is literally gemstone royalty. He was there when his father, Manuel de Souza, discovered Tanzanite. He was mining it in 1968, literally in the mining Tanzanite. He was talking about when it was just four feet deep, okay, and there was lions and elephants there. It was literally this clearing. And he said he remembers, Cosmo de Souza, I went over to his house in Denmark, which is where he lives now. Yeah. And I was talking to him and he says he remembers being sat around a fire. Yeah. With, there was 20 of them mining this stone. Wow. Tanzanite. And he said, um, we were sat there and it was the day that America landed on the moon. And these people in Africa had no idea. They were looking at the, the, the brightest moon in the sky in Africa, no light pollution. And he was explaining to them, right now, there are people on the moon. Yeah. Explain to these Maasai tribes people. And he was there when Henry Platt, who was the president of Tiffany's, came across yeah. and said, this is the gemstone that we want to bring everybody. Okay? Yeah. There was another gentleman that was instrumental in that story, and his name is Anthony Wolfe. Yeah. He's English. Um, and they, they called him, the, the, literally, and this sounds made up, but they called him the Wolf of Tanzania, right? Genuinely. Yeah. And he was over there in the late 60s, early 70s, and he was uh, essentially buying up this incredible material taking it back to Edo Robestein. One of the gemstones that he essentially discovered was this ruby zoocyte. So this is a fairly new discovery then? Pretty much, zoocyte. yeah, for, for, especially for Edo. Now, when you find it, and you find it from uh, like Longido, and essentially when you get a lot of ruby within it. Mm. So you see this piece here, you can see in the picture there, yeah, I think I can make it larger it. for you in a moment. Um, here you go. Yeah. A big chunk of ruby with less ruby zoocyte. That's optimal, okay? You want more ruby than zoocyte. Of course, yeah. Now, the pre-sale estimate on that is 71 to 110,000 pounds. Right, British and you pounds. were saying pre-sale, yeah. it usually, goes, usually ends about three times um, more. Absolutely, and let me just go back to this. This is a massive ruby crystal in zoocyte, the largest ruby crystal to be offered at public auction. It's from Arusha, the Longido mine in Tanzania, and they talk about it being discovered in 1949, but the gem material started coming out in the 60s. The, the nice stuff. And that material was sent to Jaipur. Um, and I've got a clip of Anthony Wolfe now. So this yeah. is the gentleman that was sending it from, from the, the late 60s to Edar yeah. Oberstein. Yeah. And he sent a lot of it to Jaipur. And because the rubies were that good, they would cut the rubies out right. of the ruby zoocyte. So they'd waste the zoocyte. Yeah. So now there's not much ruby zoocyte that exists from Tanzania. Because it was all, they the... cut all the rubies out and wasted the, the, the zoocyte. So that incredible mix of stones, you cannot find in the market anymore. So, so this it's has got to just become, now. This, this is becoming rarer and rarer yeah. and rarer because yeah. they're cutting out the ruby. Yeah. And the reason that I bought, the, the first auction I'm going to bring you is, is very special. And the reason that I bought it before it came to where is I know this is going to sell out. Okay. But before I do that, I want you to hear from Anthony Wolfe. Okay. Talking about the ruby zoocyte um, and sending it all the way to Jaipur way back when. This is the first time this has ever been seen. So this is really, really interesting. This is a gentleman that was buying Tanzanite before Tiffany. Take a look. I actually had a, a room which I don't have anymore. It was about that size, hexagonal, with a cobweb of hexagonals within it. I had it cut and everything. Absolutely beautiful. And then one sample goes by like a lump of meat like that red like that and the, the green stone around it that I think is in Gubelin, Gubelin Museum, Museum in Switzerland. A lot of the ruby zoocyte went to Edoberstein and was made into ashtrays and things like I have an ashtray at home, beautiful with rubies in it and zoocyte. So they made those kind of ornaments and eggs and things like that. Even one guy made a, a parrot out of it. There's a guy there who used to do to, to, to animals out of stones. So he made a parrot with a red, red ruby out of it, things, things like that. The Longino mine production came partly to us and partly mostly to Sapir's house in Nairobi, which is a beautiful house next to a coffee plantation. Now he's, he's not alive anymore, but his daughter lives there. And she told me she came across some, some sort of, uh, a whole pile of stuff that had been buried. He said, I said, what are you going to do with it? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it, you know. So. There may be, I'll call her and see what she's going to do with it, what it is, and if you're interested, I'll let you know, I'll let you know what it is, maybe you can photograph it. So 
So the, the only material that exists today is material that was that valuable that it was buried in this incredible stately home in, in Arusha. Now, I managed to get some rubies out of sight from Tanzania, okay? And uh, another day, when we've got more time, I'll bring you that material, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It's incredible, this is some of the material that doesn't have the rubies taken out of it. Uh, I'm not gonna sell this today, but I wanna show you what we're looking for. This material, you know, like I said, essentially you want more ruby if you can, but the reality is all that's left now is this material with the ruby, with the, the zoocyte. But if you remember, just before COVID, I was in Magot, where the most valuable rubies in the world come from. Um, pigeon blood, no heat, Burmese rubies. And um, Roshan told me that they had found, very recently, ruby zoocyte in Magok. No way. This is the, the first time I'm aware that this has ever been offered for public auction, okay? Right. And we know the value is all in the ruby. Yeah. Okay, not the zoocyte, although it's an incredible, interesting specimen. They use it for ashtrays. They use it for carving parrots and eat our Yeah. And what they were doing in Burma is very much the same as what they were doing back in the 60s in Tanzania. They were clipping the rubies out of it because the rubies were so fine. Melee Burmese pigeon blood rubies can sell yeah. for thousands of dollars per carat because yeah. it's no heat. Uh -huh. I think I've got the most exquisite opportunity that I've ever offered for sale. And I was going to take this to Gemporia. Colin was in there. He said, bring it to you guys today. So I'm going to do it. It's a one-time deal. This well, he did take Bur our bundles away from this us. This is so. Burmese ruby zoocyte, pigeon... And it's Ooh. all ruby, essentially. And you can see... I've never seen it like that. It's, it's practically... I've never seen it like that. Oh, amazing. Thank you, Paul. So this is essentially, what, 80% ruby? Yes. And I'm talking no heat, Magok, pigeon blood ruby, 200 carats. Wow. From Magok, from my time there. A one-time deal. Create rings, create uh, necklaces, create mm. rings. Now, I just want to st straight off the bat tell you, I've only got 100 of these available today. Uh, and make that 99, because before we even put this on auction, because I knew now from my dealings before in the previous two hours, that I have to do it before the graphics come on. So I said to Ross, get one. 20% is already gone, yeah, just I got with one, the graphics going straight I've on. already got one for my daughter. This is the first time this has ever, not just in the UK, anywhere. Because in Burma, so what they do. So this is a world TV exclusive. Yeah, in Burma. See this one here? Yeah. Where my finger is. That's almost yeah. exclusively ruby. So that is essentially a no heat, probably plus one carat Burmese ruby. Yeah. So they clip it out. And we've got you a whole incredible strand of Burmese Magok ruby zoocyte. Ross, I'm not even going to mess around with the egg timer. I know we've only got like five minutes left. There's a hundred of these. Usually I would look to, to, to achieve the highest possible price for something of this caliber. I know I have five minutes. I know I've got mine. So my daughter has hers. So now I'm going to offer it to every single one of you. I hope you're multi-buying. All 100 of these are going to disappear because I'm going to bring it into double figures, Jenny, and not just 99.99. For every single one of you today, you can get, I think, the world's first offering, uh, as far as I'm concerned, of Burmese. So the this most isn't even expensive... going to be on split pay today? No. The most expensive rubies on earth are contained in this. This is not Longido ruby. This is not South African or Madagascar, and this is Burmese, no heat, wow. pigeon blood ruby, mixed in with the zoocyte from the legendary Magok mines. Ross, just give it to everyone for 50 quid. 50 pounds? 50 pounds, 49.99, one-off deal. You don't need split play, you don't need anything. Make sure, and I mean this, which camera, this one, make sure you get your certificate, your physical certificate, 25 pence, no heat, Burmese rubies mixed in with this incredible zoocyte from this new discovery in Magok, in Burma, in Myanmar. This is here on your screens in 2021. Probably the biggest deal in, in jewelry makers history. Certainly the biggest deal in, wow. in my history on TV. This is, like I said, we came back from Magok with um, spinels, mm -hmm. Namya Jedi spinels. Mm -hmm. We came back with some beautiful blue spinel. We came back with the octahedral spinels. We came back with some incredible rubies, some no heat sapphires. The one thing that we were more excited about than anywhere else was this. And we were actually looking when, when we can travel again, when we can do things, we're looking to actually submit one to the GIA for further verifications. Because so we're getting we don't this know. right at the beginning stages. If this goes to the GIA, it, it could absolutely rocket into... Like I said, in, in Magot, Jenny, into... they're, they're cutting the rubies out of this. Because the like... rubies are that valuable. And this is, I mean, that's what Ruby Zoosite looks like from, from Tanzania. Yes, and that's historic. With the green. It's all green, it's, it's essentially. Lovely. Look at it. Yes. Look at this. 
Now look what Deb's made from one... You've got one pure, pretty much pure ruby piece, which I'm going to put towards you, Dave. Thank you. And, and I mean, if you put a value at that piece of jewellery, but I've got to let you know, this is a world Sean, exclusive. you've got two. Essex, you've got two. I've got Greater London, exclusive. Dorset, Essex, Hertfordshire. Uh, I've got uh, uh, Denbyshire. I've got Lancashire. I've got Yorkshire. I've got Suffolk. I've got Aberdeen. Mm -hmm. Guys, it doesn't get better than this. A launch. Uh, the most expensive coloured gemstone in the world, 100% natural, and it's in double figures for 49.99. This is it, as good as it gets for every single one of you today. Magok Burmese pigeon blood ruby mixed in with this zoocyte beautiful matrix, this host rock, and you're multi buying in your droves, and I completely support that. Well, 100%. over half of the stock has gone. Well if everybody checks out, we are over allocated, which means we've got more in stock. Than, uh, more in baskets than we actually have stock of. We've got about one minute left. Now's the time to make sure you are checking out your baskets. Make sure you're utilizing that one PMP and remember your 30 day money back guarantee. Get your certificate of authenticity. We cannot push you into doing that anymore. It's no. 25 pence, it'll be the best 25 pence you've spent, uh, especially when we, we're looking at uh, gemstones like the jade we've given you today and this unique opportunity. A huge, genuine thank you, Dave. I hate to call it a bundle. They're absolutely gorgeous and I can't wait to get them. And that's from Sari and Staffs uh, referring to the jade earlier. I've got my thank you, Dave, referring Alison uh, to this deal right here. Well done, 49 congratulations. Now. We've got 30 seconds and I'd love to take this opportunity to thank Dave absolutely thank you, massively. Thank you, Jenny. When are you coming back? Uh, uh, I'm actually back with you. Do, oh, I'm back uh, Wednesday, I think. Wednesday next week. Uh, so that will be with Zena, I think. Uh, now, you do need to take this opportunity to please, please, please check out your baskets. This is a World TV exclusive. We'll see you bright and early with the gorgeous Carolyn in the morning. Thank you again Thank today. Thank you, Jenny. The Jewellery Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewellery designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewellery Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry maker. Create. Wear. Share. Hi guys, I'm Dave Troth, uh, you know, responsible for sourcing many of the incredible gemstones uh, that, that we bring you here. And uh, coming up this week, I'm really excited to share with you some of these exotic treasures for the most incredible deals you'll ever see. singing all dancing warehouse we are so excited and this is going to make such a difference to what we can bring you here at jewelry maker mediums products treats storage because guess what we've now got more storage this is epic come and have a look here because come, come on come on come on i'm like challenge annika come on so look at that just just all those drawers all these points all these locations that we can pick your brand new items from now what does that mean for this weekend well come here and i'll tell you come on gotta get the clipboard come on Right, so, bear with me. Friday morning, we're starting with Carol. Milliput DVD launch with Gemacro. Oh, now in the afternoon, there's gonna be a brand new, I'm so excited. It's a new offer for you, and it's going to be magnificent. It's gonna be called Xena's Steel of the Week. I haven't decided what I'm gonna steal yet, but <laughs> I'm in the right place, aren't I? So that's gonna be Friday at 2 p.m. Now, Saturday morning, I'm gonna be joined by the fantastic Claire McDonald, and she's gonna be doing stacker rings with tube setting. Now, deal of the day, totally awesome tourmaline-tastic it is. That's gonna be epic. In the afternoon, I'm so excited, we are launching Susie Menham's first ever DVD. 
Everybody has been asking for a Marla DVD and we've got it. So Sunday at 1pm, uh, I'm going to be joined by Hannah Osborne. Checkmates, triangles and tiles with a booklet. Yes, now then, right, is that enough to start? Because we've then got the rest of this absolutely huge warehouse that we've now moved into and it opens this weekend. Once everything's stocked, every one of these boxes will be stocked with treats for you. So, you know that steel deal? Bear with me, I'm just going to go and get it. Jake Thompson travels the globe to find the very best gemstone deals in the industry. As Gemporia's gemstone buyer and investor, Jake is confident in supplying the finest gemstones firsthand, directly from the source. So your jewellery is of the highest standard at remarkable prices. With the inside knowledge Jake has collected and the relationships he has forged, we are able to bring you the most up-to-date